A thousand years ago before the colonization of Gilinor, two conquerors set foot on a landmass for the first time. The continent was uninhabited, covered by a mysterious poison fog that swept through the land. Both conquerors realized that there was a lot of the new world where the fog was slowly dissipating, allowing them to traverse the once forgotten land. Quickly, the conquerors became aware of each other and knew they could not let the other continue and vowed to claim the land for their own followers. Both tried building their own kingdoms, populating the land with citizens, shops, livestock, and vegetation as the fog continued to dissipate. With each new area came new raw materials that each kingdom could craft new weapons and armor to gain the upper hand. For years they fought until one of the kingdoms fell. This is the story of Lincoln Rock. Hey guys, and welcome to the new series. I am incredibly nervous about this because this, this we can't really forge our own path. And I, I like having control of situations but I feel like this series, we aren't really going to have much control over the situation. Um, but of course, it's about making the best of your situation with the chunks that we are given. So, of course, we have the random number generator. Um, it goes from 1 to 472. And this will get us to our first starting square. So without further ado, guys, let's hit generate and let's see where it takes us. 346 oh god i have no idea where that is guys let's go check it out on the map chunk number 346 it pushes everything aside by the way guys so the numbers do change around it but wow 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 guys okay i'm gonna have to think about this for a little bit because we can get some okay stuff we can even go into varrock if we want access to banks the scimitar shop? Oh, wait. Oh, no. This is great. We can head into Lumbridge if we want. This is an unreal start. We're definitely not going to head into Mortania. At least not in episode one. So I'm going to think about this, guys, and I'll come right back. But I am pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked about this. Welcome, Bs and Gs. Oh, my God. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to get straight into is working out what chunk we are going to go to. Uh, we have 472 chunks max. So let's generate and see where we're going. Wow, 427. Let's have a look where that goes. Let's have a look. 427 is going to take us. Ooh, okay. Uh, the left of your nail. So this is our starting square, and as you can see, we have uh, darkness around us, and thanks to Slay to Stay, uh, this is a plugin that uh, means that we can see exactly where we're allowed to go. And as you can see, just darkness, so I'm obviously not allowed to go out of here unless I unlock it. So, from the Yanil square, I now have five unlocks I can choose. As long as they go in a line, I can go to wherever I want from here. What am I going to pick? That's the question. You go out of the zone and everything just goes black. But you go back in and your character... Like, you could see the shade enter or leave your character. So we know for... Oh my gosh, and I've been <laughs> exposed. So we have to start in the square that we unlocked. No biggie at all. But I had to unlock this one and this one just to leave the dual arena in general. But they're both pretty good squares because this one leads us down here, which give us kebabs, the scimitar shop, and if we go up a little bit, I also decided to go into Varrock a little bit as well because there's some mining if I choose to do that. And there are also T's to get thieving up really fast. Plus, just inches us closer to Varrock. But of course, there's no guarantee I'm anywhere near this region next episode, but they're unlocked the remaining time. But since we always start in the square that we're given that episode, there might not be a connected bridge to get us to those two locations. So this is what we're given episode one, and I have to be honest, I'm buzzing. We got a leg shop to you over here. Let's start the timer, guys. Let's start it here. Where's that timer? I'm, I'm going. So the first thing we're doing in the series is we are pickpocketing 
some men. And it looks like we're actually doing this pretty efficiently. We, we unfortunately can't get the left click pickpocket because there's a talk to option. Do they all have that? Oh, this guy. Apparently this guy's not too friendly. You can't talk to him. But you know what? That makes my life very easy. So basically, gonna get five thieving until we can go to tea stalls. And in the meantime, we're gonna collect all the coins, of course, so we can uh, get the scimitars and get some kebabs. Because kebabs are really, really, really cheap. And there's two thieving. The first level on the account. So unfortunately, buying these aren't the most uh, memorable experience here. It's quite annoying clicking through these dialogues. But, um, I, you know, I shouldn't really complain considering they're one GP each. I should also remember to stock up on these because again there's a i mean let's be honest there's no way we're gonna have this region again or get close to it if we get close we can connect but if we are on the other side of gilinor which very well could happen who's to say i have food this good but for now definitely gonna be the best food i think for this episode for sure but also maybe the next few as well okay so the chunks are gonna pick oh i'm gonna get the other side of Yanil, get a bank, an anvil, etc, etc, some cows. Uh, gonna do the fight arena chunk. Can't really do fight arena right now as a level 3, it's not really gonna work. Um, but it will be good to have that later on because I'm sure we can come back to it. Uh, then we're gonna take this chunk, we get an altar. We also are able to do monk's friend. Uh, so that is one, two, three chunks picked. Then I'm gonna take East Ardoin again. Um, we get a furnace, which is nice. Having an anvil and a furnace will be very nice. Um, and then it leads us onto this chunk here, which of course has the bakery stall and probably going to be my food going to fight one. Um, being able to take cakes to fight one probably would be pretty OP, I think, um, because of the heals that they can give. Uh, there's also the plate body shop, which I do plan on going to. So, four hours on the clock and the start of a new series. Let's see who's going to take this series. Good luck, Kins. Here we go, four hours begins. All right, so got a few things to do. And uh, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is get some Khazard armor um, because we'll get some uh, defensive bonuses for absolutely free. And of course, we'll also uh, get no magic or range negatives, which is awesome. Okay, so this is Fight Arena started. And that's just so that we can go and get the Khazard armor because I don't think you can get it unless you've started the quest. Just absolutely make sure we started it. Fight Arena, awesome. Boom, there we go. So, yeah, defensive bonuses and no negative magic, which is really, really nice. So, that'll be nice to go into the fight with. I think we will go ahead and do Hazil's Cult now, actually. Uh, it's going to give me some thieving XP, which will mean that we can go straight to cake stalls. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I just needed to talk to you. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What have I done? Talk. Serves a laggy as fuck today. Oh my god. Come on. Talk. Hi. I've just attacked you, but you forgot about it. Beautiful. Whew, thank god. Didn't want to have to take on a level 13 there. Boom, there we go. 1,500 thieving XP taking us to level 11 and also 2k GP. Very, very useful. Let's go get ourselves some cakes so we've got food for the fight. Five thieving. So we're going to fly up north, just go in a massive straight line to the tea trader over here and shoot right for 25. Pretty cool as well because thieving is a, is a pretty good skill to have very early on, um, especially as far as money is concerned. So very happy with our location. I'm very happy with the plan. I'm only six minutes in and I'm already tooting my own horn here. Gosh, come on, get a grip card. Look how close we are to not being able to use the T-Star right now. Literally. It's... No, oh, dog, don't go in the darkness! I feel like this is Stephen King's The Mist. That's that's going on right here. And, like, you can enter the fog where you die or something. And, uh, by the way, we aren't keeping the T's because the bank is incredibly far away. I would keep them, and I do have to turn on shift drop. Uh, I will do that in a sec. But, um, yeah, so we're just gonna literally power through 25 thieving. And then I'll probably see you guys then, because this might take a little bit of time, but it's necessary for success. So we are now 53 minutes in, 25 thieving has been achieved. So we shot right back down to Alcarid, and we will now be doing warriors, the Alcarid warriors, which take 25 thieving, of course. And this is going to get us the money for the scimitars and the plate legs. It'd be great if we can max out on both. How cool, the first region we get a myth scimitar and Addy plate legs. Honestly, it, it would be amazing, but let's see how much GP we actually get per pickpocket here. Oh, just run out of run, of course. 
This might be a bit annoying. And we get 18 coins per pickpocket. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to continue thieving, but I think I actually do have enough money to buy the iron, the steel, and then the mithril scimitar. Yes, just enough. So I actually had like 25 pouches too, so I'm already at 500 coins. I didn't even realize it. So maybe it's a little faster than I thought. Okay, so it's time to start training. Um, I'm going to be saving the cowhide for a future episode. I'm sure we'll unlock a tanner at some point and we can get some crafting levels with it. So I'm going to be banking. Uh, we got loads of cake, loads of bread. I don't think I'm really going to need it, to be honest. We're fairly kitted out in terms of taking on cows. Um, slight problem with the weapon. I... I don't think I can really upgrade it. Uh, little bit tempted, little bit tempted to go down the range route, to be honest. Because um, we could cut trees, fletch, make maybe an oak short bow, etc. The only issue is I don't know how I would get arrows together. So weapons are a little bit harsh in this location, to be honest. Yeah, I don't really know what I could do. I'll have a little think, but right now I'm just going to... Do melee because it, you know, it never hurts. So we're getting on quite nicely. I'm actually quickly going to make a sinew. Just, you know, there might be a case where I'm fuming I don't have a sinew in the bank. And I can't get to this area um, to get cows or something. So I want to have a sinew in the bank just in case. So, you know, preparing for future episodes. Um, we're currently 5 strength and 5 attack. Going to go for 5 defense now. And that will allow me to then wear the steel plate body from Zanish. And then, uh, yeah, I'll probably wear that for the fight because that's going to be a pretty big, big upgrade, I think. Okay, we have that 2k that we got from Hazil's cult. I think that's enough. Yes, it is to buy a steel plate body. Boom. This is going to be a huge upgrade. Huge. Look at those. 20 plus is 31 plus in range if he does go range. Chuck that on. Uh, might as well drop this. I can always get it back if I really want it, but I don't think I'm going to. And I'm now going to test my uh, luck at Hobgoblins, um, which do sit just underneath the clock tower. There's a uh, Hobgoblin in one of these cages. Um, the reason for that is they drop steel weapons. Um, and I think they might also drop a shield, but I'm not 100% sure. I know they drop at least a steel dagger. Iron sword, steel long sword, something like that. And obviously that's going to be a massive upgrade compared to the bronze sword. I've had a look. I don't think there's any other weapon I could go and get uh, with what I've unlocked here. And uh, I've looked into all the dungeons and stuff. I think that is going to be the way. The trick is trying to find the balance right now between training and just making more money. Because of course there's that leg shop or the plate skirt shop that I keep talking about. And uh, securing Addy legs would be awesome, but it's like 6k. So it's going to take a lot of time off this episode going for him so i i really don't know i'm gonna get 1k extra i'm gonna buy a bunch of kebabs and then i'm just gonna start training and uh i think i'm gonna have to train on men i'm actually gonna look real quick this is pretty important um there's men here i think there's like scorpions here which are actually stronger than these guys in the alcohol palace i definitely can't really kill them yet yeah it's looking like i'm gonna have to kill men and then move on to these guys which are level nine but these guys aggro you once you kill one or attack one. It's a mess. So we're, we're going to have to try to figure it out. I don't think this is a great spot for training purposes. So maybe I will focus on just making money. But I definitely don't want to throw the first episode. Because it's going to be a big win. It's going to set the tone for the series. 280? Screw it. We're going to do it anyway. I want the best legs. It'll be faster training, hopefully. Gosh, that's... <sighs> more expensive than i thought i think there's also boots in here that i can grab yes okay we're looking fully kitted out not really but um okay let's start some training definitely want to start with strength um oh that's right okay this is going to be really interesting how slow this is going to be but we're now going to train Work away up to, to the level 9s, which is going to take a while because I think they hit pretty well. So kebabs have like a 4% chance to hire your stats. So this looks really, really odd to me. But strangely enough, it actually increased the XP pretty well. I started hitting a lot more often and I looked into it. I actually had no idea. It's a 4% chance of that happening. So just to give you guys a little bit of an update, we are here with an hour and 51 minutes left. We're 14 strength. I stopped at 14 strength, switched to attack because we can now hit threes using the steel scimitar as you just saw on chop, which takes away that plus invisible plus three strength bonus or plus three strength level. 
So I'm going to go right to 20 attack. Just having the Mithril Scimitar, I think, is going to be the most important thing because it's more accurate, it's harder. And then we can just focus on strength and defense after that. So, going to go test our luck. Hopefully, we don't get battered too badly by the uh, Hobgoblin. But we'll see. If I do, I'll have to get their defense up. But uh, I'm just hoping that having this much food will make it okay. Um, and, of course, we can always go back and get some more cake from the stall. What level? 28. <sighs> might, might have to come back to this in a bit. Uh, 29 HP though, that's the problem. Like, it's just so much. Yeah, no, this isn't going to work, is it? Alright. We'll leave that for now. And I will do a, a slightly worse plan I had. It's definitely not um, the plan that I want to go with. But if we go down here, there's some goblins here. And there's some armed goblins, meaning that, you know, they're carrying some sort of weapon. And I believe they can drop me a few weapon upgrades as well. So we'll go do that. I'll probably train on the goblins over there, and then we'll come back to this hobgoblin and see if we can get ourselves the uh, the fabled steel weaponry. So, no luck at the goblins as of yet, but I have got 10 in all of the uh, melee stats now, and actually really, really close to 11 strength there. I'm quickly going to do the monk's friend quest. Might as well get it out of the way. Obviously, in two hours, I'm going to be losing these squares quite possibly, or I won't be able to connect back to them. Um, so I might as well get this quest done, get some woodcutting XP and also get some law runes as well. They're not massive right now, but having some law runes just in the bank and just being able to use them would be uh, very useful later on. Because I know they're not the easiest thing to come across as a low level Iron Man like we are. So uh, yeah, we're going to do this quest quickly. Okay, there we go. Got to do a little bit of a jig here and then we should get our XP. Man's boogieing. <laughs> There we go, 2,000 woodcutting XP and 8 law runes, 13 woodcutting coming in there, very, very nice. Right, back to the grind, I don't think I'm quite ready for the hobgoblin yet, I'm going to do a little bit more of the goblins, hopefully we can get a shield upgrade from the goblins, um, and then over to the hobgoblin, looking for iron sword, steel dagger, and uh, I think a steel longsword as well I'd probably take, but I don't really want it, it's 1 in 1, 2, 8 as well, so we'll see. Just got my first upgrade through Killing Men, the Bronze Medium Helmet. Arguably the worst helmet in the game, but you know what? It's better than nothing. This should be 20 attack. I just need to hit one more time. Boom, 20 attack. Let's put that right back on strength. Hopefully our max hit is now four, but even if it's not, we should be shooting through the max hits a little quicker now, especially only being 14 strength. I mean, that's not high at all. If I could hit fours at 14 strength, I'd be buzzing, but um, just want to check the stats on this real quick. So we went from 14 strength bonus to 20 and 15 slash to 21 slash. So pretty good upgrade. All right, I'm actually going to test my luck here. I'm scared it's not going to be worth it yet because of that. They they scream and their friends try to help them out over here. Um, but as long as I can hit them pretty well, I'm not going to really care about how much I get hit. As long as it's not ridiculous, plus I could start training some defense. I just want 20 strength first. But then again, I could be far from max hit. And maybe it's better just to get some defense first. Because if I have better defense, it means better armor, better legs. And I spend less time buying kebabs. So, you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's just get 10 defense by black plate legs. And then we'll just focus on strength probably for the rest of the episode. Okay, that method didn't work. But I have an idea. There are goblins over here. Now, I can't go in the black, obviously, but the goblins do wander in sometimes. And goblins, very, very low. Very easy to hit. I probably should have been here. Honestly, I didn't know this little slither really existed. Or, actually, I did, but I didn't know they included goblins. I thought it was much, much more narrow of a slit. Um, but, they also drop a bronze square shield, which I believe is an upgrade over my wooden shield, which now I actually totally forgot I had in my bank. I'm a bit fuming now, to be honest. But um, it is an upgrade. So the only problem is, is this. They don't walk in all the time. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it because that's the best shield I can get right now. I don't think I can attack you. Can I? Oh, I can. Okay, maybe this won't be so bad. It's not multi. I can't aggro multiple of them, unfortunately. But this could work. 
just wanted to say real quick guys that link and i actually have a second channel where we do then we fight style ideas on other games so link what do you have to say about that man <laughs> why you how do you have a crit <laughs> say your line yeah. say your line <laughs> <laughs> Click the card, guys. Click the card in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Hey, there we go. Bronze Square Shield. Not a huge upgrade, but, you know, it's worth, worth having. Worth having, so we'll take it. There's a lot of upgrade. Hopefully, we can move on to these uh, Hobgoblins soon. That is the first Hobgoblin kill. Took, I think, three cakes there to kill. It wasn't too bad. It's definitely a huge improvement from when we tried last time. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bank all of this, bring just a whole inventory of cakes, and we'll just see how many kills we can get. Yes! <laughs> we got an upgrade, a steel dagger. Not really the one I wanted to see, but it does give a plus two melee strength bonus, and it adds plus four stab. Yes! <laughs> I'm over the moon at that. I am over the moon. Um, You know what? While I while I think about what I'm going to do, because I don't really know if I need to kill the hobgoblins now, because, yeah, they might drop me a steel sword, but uh, I sort of just want to get a load of XP. Uh, let me have a think. I'll get back to you guys. But I am buzzing. Okay, so I've just done the maths. If I get 21 strength, then I can hit fours in the fight. I think that's going to be worth it. Getting that, getting that max hit up is going to be huge. Uh, we've got, what, 57 minutes left. I've got about 3k XP I need. So this should take, like, half an hour, 20 minutes max to get 21 strength. And then I'll be able to hit those fours. I can move on. Unfortunately, just with what I unlocked, I just don't have the, the nicest of unlocks in terms of being able to do other stuff right now. Like, I don't really feel like... <sighs> I guess I could try and upgrade the plate body. The black plate body is 3.8k though, so I'd have to make some money. Uh, maybe I could steal some silk. You know what? I'm going to go steal silk. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to steal silk now, because by the time the cooldown's done, I'll be able to sell it back to the merchant. That might give us enough money selling the plate body and having enough money from the silk. We might be able to afford a black plate body, which uh, is obviously superior um, by actually quite a bit. I had a look. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I think we can easily get 21 strength in 56 minutes. So, yeah, let's do it. Hey, there it is. The bronze square shield. Guys, I am actually pretty upset with myself that I didn't discover this place much, much sooner. Don't you go in the blackness. Good boy. Um, I, I'm really upset, but I guess it's better late than never. So we're almost 10 defense, and when we are 10, I will see you guys at the, um, at the leg shop, because I think I can afford black plate legs. I don't think I'll be getting 20 this episode, because I want to focus my efforts more on strength than defense, but, um, so I think black plate legs is what I'll bring to the fight. Sold all my loot to the general store that has value, and I sold my steel scimitar back to Zeke. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's 1.9k crud. Crud, 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 crud. I don't know what to do. I have to think about future episodes and not just this episode. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, while I think, why I think I'm just going to start hacking away at Goblin still. I'm going to bake everything. I don't really regret killing men now that I think about it. I want to show you guys my herb collection real quick. I actually got a lot of stuff. We don't have access to Herblore yet until we unlock that region, but, um, you know, it's a great start. When we do unlock Herblore, we will have a lot of herbs. Check this out. Check this out. How, how many Renars? How many Renars? Three of them already. So I'm just killing this one man real quick just for bones because uh, I'm actually really close to a prior level right here. And I just would rather top that off. But um, after really thinking about this as I was buying kebabs, I decided to just say screw it and go for the Addy Plate Legs. I can then have it in any episode and I'm, I'm sure I won't see Alcarid for, for a very long time. I think it really stems down to the fact that I just don't think I can unlock Addy Plate Legs for a long time if I don't get it now. But training spots are a dime a dozen. Um, so it's 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 a sacrifice I'm willing to take. Hopefully Link had a really bad first region. And uh, hopefully this Mithril Scimitar just powers through whatever he does. 
To be honest, I'm a bit scared he went range because I know, you know, bronze knives are incredibly easy to make and they're incredibly strong. Um, so, oh, well, we'll just see, won't we? But we're thieving away now, so <laughs> the money's coming in really slow, but it is coming in. Just had to quickly top up the thieving. I didn't realize that I didn't have 20 thieving. That was uh, very dumb. So we are just sort of power thieving at the moment, but this is about to come to an end. And then we'll go over to the silk store. I want to have 30 minutes. I want 30 minutes to do the combat. I think I'm going to need it. Boom, there we go. There's 20 coming in. Beautiful. And we're going to drop it all actually because we need to have a full inventory of silk. So I can't remember where you go. It's here, isn't it? And I'm going to need to work out how much money um, or how many silks I need to be able to buy this black plate body. Okay, so I need around 40 uh, silk is what we're looking at. So nothing too crazy. To be honest, guys, I think I'm just going to have to go back to the cows. They're just the quickest XP, uh, which isn't the most fun, honestly. I mean, I'm more sicker than the new are. I can't go that way. Um, but yeah, I think they're just the best XP that I've got access to right now. Uh, yeah, so we'll go back to the cows. I'll get myself this uh, 21 strength. I'm a little bit tempted to go for 20 defense and get a myth plate body. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to get it, then have enough money to buy the plate body, and I don't really want to leave it to chance. So I'm going to go down the safer route and uh, go for the 21 strength. Okay, this is going to be 21 strength coming in, meaning we can now hit fours in the fight which is going to be huge boom i think what i'm going to do is a bit more silk uh you know the next squares that i get or the next chunks i get i maybe there'll be no money or i'll be really really tight for cash and i want to get as much money as possible together so we're going to go back up we're going to sell the silk to start with the ones that we bought earlier and then i'm just going to go ahead and thieve for like 15 minutes and hopefully uh, I think it's like a 15 to 30 minute cooldown that you can start doing that, uh, that you can sell back. I don't know. Who is this? I thought that was Kins for a second. I was like, what? He's got the exact same thing as me. So when I was doing teas before, I actually got five sapphires from a random event. Um, I'm pretty desperate for cash, so I am just going to sell them, hop a world, sell one, hop a world. And then I have eight cast runes as well that I'm just going to um, sell to the general store and see how much money I have. I have enough time to get it, I think. Wow, that was a slow hop. But um, I also would love to get a, um, a strength level or two in the process and buy kebabs. So really pressured for time, only 10 minutes left, and these hops are ridiculous, come on. So I have just enough money for the Addy Plate Legs. I can't even wear them yet, but again, they are for future episodes. Um, but that also means, actually, I wanna see how much those steel plate legs are, because I do wanna upgrade it, and it's probably really cheap. And I could probably get it in no time through thieving and still have enough time to get 1k for steel plate legs. Uh, okay, screw it. We're sticking with iron. We're sticking with iron, guys. I'm going to do a few more thieves and buy a bunch of kebabs, like a bunch of them, like a hundred of them, and uh, then finish off just training strength for the episode. And this is the last kill I can do. Nope, I can't even pick up those bones. Can't even do it. It's after the timer. 17 strength on the account, 20 attack, 10 defense. Unfortunately, we didn't upgrade the legs for this episode, but I think going forward, we, we are looking really nice, and I'll explain why more at the bank, so I'll show you everything I got. Guys, I am extremely happy with my final gear. I mean, I shouldn't really say that, because I, I do have iron plate legs, but, you know, factoring the adamant plate legs, I, I am very happy moving the account forward. Also, with a Mithril Scimitar, probably the best weapon for melee you could realistically get because let's say you did have access to Zaya and got like a Adamant Scimitar or access to Varric and Adamant Short Sword. Could you even realistically get 30 attack? I mean, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Depending on your regions, every region's different uh, depending on where you start. But along with the Yaddy Plate Legs, we also got 105 kebabs and 281 coins left over. Also, like I said before, a bunch of herbs on the account that we can't even touch yet because of one herb lore, but definitely get a stockpile of those because those will become incredibly useful. So this is actually going to be our final gear, and we do keep the gear in the fight or after the fight, even if we lose to bring to next episode, but we will lose our food, all the food we consume. 
um, which is why I got a bunch of extra kebabs. Maybe next region, I won't have any good food source and I'll need food for the fight or to do something else, maybe, depending on where I'm put. So here we are. And uh, I'll see you guys in the fight. Good luck for the first fight, guys. Let's do this. Okay, so I think if we offer 120 coins, he'll offer 50 and we say 60. Boom, there we go. We've got another inventory to do as well. 1.6k, very nice. Okay, so it turns out I'm actually really not far off being able to afford a mithril plate body. And I've got a load of cakes in the bank that I could sell to the baker. So I didn't thieve um, silk after I sold it. I'm going to try and get 20 defense in the 18 minutes we have left or 15, 16 minutes because obviously I need to run back and get myself um, the plate body. But I think it'll be awesome if we could turn up with a myth plate body. And I don't really want to spend my money on a black plate body if I can get really close to getting this myth. So I think this is the best place to train. There's just so many spiders around here. And, uh, you know, they have 5 HP, which isn't too bad for me at the moment. Um, so let's see. Can we get 20 defense in the time? Okay, we are on a ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous time frame here. Three minutes left. What do we need? One more kill? I can do that on a goblin on the way out. Go on, one more hit. Come on, get a hit. There we go. What do we need? 9 XP? Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whew. Okay, so we sell this. How much is this? 5,200 coins. Okay, cool. Got loads of cakes in the bank, so we can go ahead and sell these. That is level 20 coming in. I don't know if I recorded the last thing of me buying the myth plate. I don't know if the recording worked or not, but there we go. We have enough. 154 coins actually left over as well. Um, and yeah, I've got enough cakes in the bank to uh, get us a full inventory. So let me show you the setup. So I fucked up a little bit. I didn't have enough cakes in the bank, which is a little bit annoying, but we did have some chocolate slices to bring as well, and they do heal five, so, you know. A little bit annoying, but hopefully we should be good. Managed to get the myth plate body, which is awesome. Um, and of course, we got ourselves the steel dagger and the bronze square shield, along with the Khazard helmet. It's impossible to know whether this is going to be good enough. He could have had a great start. He could have had a lovely chunk, which is like right by, I don't know, a rune shop. And he just, you know, goes magic. There's no way to know whether this is going to do it or not. We will see. Let's go into the fight and see who's going to take episode one. Link. We made it. Here we are again. Progression style series. Episode one. There is yep. zero baseline. We have no idea where each other was. We have no idea how strong each other's plan yeah. was. Yeah. I say we, we no do the reveal. I, I say we do the reveal before we even give away what sort of region we're in. That way okay. we're sitting there stressing the hell out. You keen? I, I'm not gonna lie. I think you'll know where I am from what I put on. I really will. I really. Think what if I said so... same? Oh wow! <laughs> well, okay. towards the end, you'll see. In the beginning, okay. you might not know, but oh god! Okay. Now, now I'm actually really nervous. Fuck. Okay. Um, <laughs> like start us off, bro. Give right, us an go, item uh, for slot. Shield, mate. Let's go shield. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> oh god, did you have goblins uh, where you were? <laughs> I did have goblins. Yeah, Fuck's yeah. sake. Not a massive telltale, but yeah. No there, there are goblins everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, gonna go boots. I don't have any boots. Good. Alright, at least I know we're not the same region now. <laughs> What's it got? Just leathers. Well, that, that could be same region. You never know. Well, I... Uh, it's not exactly an upgrade I, that is massive. I mean, I can't, I can't say why or why not, but all right, fair enough. Okay, all right. Uh, let's go body, mate. Let's see what you managed to pull together. Do not have a body. Oh my! No way. There, in my region, I don't think it's even possible. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> we had Barak. You got Varrock? We'll see, mate. We'll see. It's either that or Ardune. Oh my gosh. That is a joke and a half. <laughs> Guys, I just want to say, after after we recorded, Link's like, I had bad, I had a bad region. And then here he is with no, fucking no, 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 myth. No, no, no. I said I was fuming. I didn't say I had a bad Oh region. my gosh. Dude, I'd be buzzing with that. Are you kidding me? Okay. Fuck. 
Well, we'll see. If he's got legs too, I think that shop sells legs. So that's 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 my that's my next one. Legs, go. I don't have any legs. Oh, fuck. Maybe it's already then. I have iron. <laughs> fuck. Okay. Alcarid, leather boots on the floor and, and iron plate legs. No plate body though. Yeah, I'm going I'm going desert he's got. I'm not gonna go confirm help. nor deny. Let's go help, kids. Oh god. Ooh. Okay. Oh, you did have already. That's the Kazard, isn't it? Fuck. You got cakes then? Oh my gosh. It's a strong start. It's a strong start. It's got fucking cakes. I mean, okay. Just, I mean, I to be honest, all I have is a weapon. Me too, say that. Me too, okay. Me too. Um, try, I'm trying to think, because obviously I speculate now where you've been. Um, it seems like that really is the Kazard helm you got there. Yeah, it and, is. And, um... Uh, I mean, honestly, I I would have assumed you would have gotten range there. Maybe you still are with, uh, with with a plate body. I don't know, but uh, I I'll, I got a I'll, on, I'll I'll be honest, dude. I act. I looked at your level by mistake, so I know you're 24, oh. and I'm fucking fuming. Oh, you're 21. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, uh, I say we just chuck up the weapons, man, because this is right. giving me so much anxiety. He's got uh, cakes and shit. Fuck. Okay. All right. I'll, you know what? On go. Yeah. You count us in. Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You got. You got our crit, didn't you? Yeah, Is dude. I got the chunk. I got the chunk with the with the mage training arena, like the one wow, above the duel okay, arena. Right. Yeah. So Alcarid was really the only way to go. Yeah, uh, I got up to Varrock T stars as well, but right. you do not have T's. No, you I I I told that. myself that I would never <laughs> bring T's to a fight again. I have kebabs, correct? Correct. So the chunks I picked, mate. <sighs> there was no way to buy a weapon. There was no way to get from where I started. I started the left side of your nail. You know where the ogres are. Yeah. Um, there was no way to get a furnace, anvil, and wow. uh, I, uh, and copper and thingy rocks. So I wasn't able to get smithing up, and okay. there was no way to get weapons, like buy any. Mm -hmm. So I had to get my level up, and I just kept getting levels up on like spiders, cows, etc. And then I just went wow. nuclear and took a beating from hobgoblins for a very long time. And best drops they dropped was steel dagger or a steel longsword. So did you get cakes? Was that your? I did get cakes. Oh. I have eight chocolate cakes, and the rest are full, you know, full cakes things. Okay, I um, I actually spent a lot of my time going for adamant plate legs, which I did get. Wow! But I can't wear. I can't wear them. Wow. Okay, that's a pretty big upgrade. So I really wanted to get them because I was just thinking uh, this was a gift. I might have to chuck this episode aside, but. You know, Correct. I mean, plate you legs can't are huge. Not take any plate legs when you're giving them. Yeah, you, you, exactly. There's a good chance you won't be able to access that in for, for several episodes. So I also, yeah, I also, that's... I also didn't expect a mithril plate body though. <laughs> so oh, same, same thought process on me, man. I actually bought a steel to start with, and then I was like, nah, I need to get this myth before I leave. I need right, to. So right, right, you know, right, right. I did, I did a couple of quests, gave me a bit of GP, and then I did silk. Um, sold it. Right. Well, All good stuff. I know your inventory, you know mine, so let's grab it, do a quick trade, and hop into the fight, man. Let's right. get this over with. So, Link, just real quick, um, read me your slash defense. A 55. Fuck, I'm 19 stab defense. Crap. Wow. Yeah, okay. that's that's brutal. Um, um, my 7 melee strength with 8 stab. Okay, I'm 21 slash 20 strength, so... Uh, uh, I mean, you oh, have cakes oh, and... Level. I have 11. 20 attack, 17 strength, 10 defense. Ooh, okay. I have 18 attack, 21 strength, 20 defense, and 21 HP. Okay, 19 HP here. 13 <sighs> prayer as well. 16 prayer here. I'm not full, but I, I doesn't give me a max hit anyway. I checked, yeah. so... Okay, man. Let's do this. Ready? So you get first hit, man. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Come on. Oh, okay. No, All right. No. Oh, what a start. No, no. Maybe the plate body's not going to do it.
Oh no! Uh, the decimation of Link! Some hits, please! Dude, I, I was even sitting in the episode yes. saying these Addy Plate Legs are my downfall for this episode. <laughs> Oh, no. my, my saving grace is the cakes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do have to do a lot more DPS, I think, for this victory. Nice. I gotta be careful, because kebabs sometimes don't heal, <laughs> so I can't. Yeah, I think, can't they take health away? I don't think they can. I think it used to be like that, you know, right. back in like 2005, but I'm pretty sure it's been removed. Because I ate a lot of kebabs this episode and <laughs> like a lot, dude. Oh, yes. <sighs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, shouldn't, yeah, yeah, I shouldn't yeah, risk it that low. Oh, you can hit fours? Yeah, I got the strength level on purpose so I could hit fours if I'm on aggressive. That was my that was my goal of getting 21 strength. Maybe I freaking can hit fives then. Maybe the plugin is lying to me because you have eight. But how? All right, hold on. I'm trying to hit a five. I'm going for it, guys. I'm going for it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I want to know if I've been lied to. I could also uh, probably actually get a strength level this fight, so you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna do it, guys. Change the plan. Oh, I'm lagging. I'm lagging hard. Can't risk it that low. God, yes. kebabs. Come on, kebabs. Heal more than fucking. Oh! Oh! Heal. Oh my god. These things suck, kebabs, because a lot yeah, of it's like based on percentage of your total hit points. Yeah. <sighs> I think it, it's like it's got an average here of ten, though, doesn't it? Not when I'm this slow, I can tell you that. For okay. Sure, it's it's like a nine percent chance of of healing nothing. Too. Come on. Come on. I'm feeling confident. Oh, the server's still laggy. Yeah. Wow. I don't think I can hit fives. Uh, I'm switching back to improved reflexes. How can you hit fours? <laughs> 21 strength, mate. 21 strength. Yeah, but I have 12 higher strength bonus. With, I mean, granted, it is four less. Um, I actually go for the strength level still, so fuck it. Um, I don't know, I'm still shocked. It just really shows how insignificant the low-level weapons are. Yeah, I, I do think so. Ooh, that's a nice lag. Uh, I'm feeling confident. As long as I don't get banged out, I'm feeling confident. Ooh, I was really surprised you went melee, mate. I was so sure we were getting range or mage from you. Uh, it's just not your your style, you know? Uh, it, it depends. It depends when you're asking the question. I mean, a year ago, it was Rargo is goes melee. <laughs> and, and now I get yelled at for going fucking melee. So I, <laughs> after going you range you for really fucking anything, seven months. You? What's that? You couldn't have really done anything else with what you had, could you? I guess you I could have, have I could have bought mithril plate legs, but I mean, I, I took... No, but I mean like attack style. Could you have gone archery with Varrock? Oh yeah, I, I, I could have made bronze. Um, right, right, right. But could I? Is there an anvil? Is there an anvil anywhere? No, I don't, I don't think there is. I don't think I had access to one, so maybe not. To be honest, it really wasn't ever in my head as a plan. I saw the Simi shop and um, just wanted to go for it. Because it, with this type of series, I was thinking like, okay, if I do go knives, super OP early on, but I might be stuck with them for a very, very long time. And then if you get put in a region where you need more knives and you can't get more knives, kind of yeah. fucked. Makes training difficult. Yeah, this is bad. Ooh. Sending a train on you. Oh, GZ, right, please. Thank you. you. Get? Strength level. Fives <laughs> now, please. <laughs> I still won't be able to hit fives. You watch you pull a five and kill me with it. <laughs> Perfectly played. I mean, Perfectly played. you do have more than five health. Oh, grats. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> it's a cheeky uh, HP level, actually, that one was. Come of course, on. he gets a myth plate body. 
hit. Haven't hit in a while. No more zeros. We're not having one of those episodes. Hit. Nice four. Oh my god, I really haven't hit for a while. Yes. What? Stop Strength gaining level. fucking levels, dude. <laughs> I got up a combat level, bro. Watch, watch you hit a five now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fucking ages away from a five. I think I need like 25 strength for this or something. It's insane. The prayer drains so slowly. What the fuck? I know. <laughs> Come on, no. Oh, lag. Are you out? Not yet. Whew. Come on. Oh. Dude, you, you, you don't know what a kebab is going to fucking heal when you eat it, bro. <laughs> legit. Legit. Uh, Oof. Nice. Yeah. Fours, man. <sighs> I'm out. Okay. Fantastic. Finish. Just get me out of my misery now, Link. How much food? Boom. 16 cakes. I, I cannot believe you got Artie. <laughs> yeah, they, they're... I mean, I'm, I'm not even that stressed about not bringing the Mithril Plate Legs because I don't think... I Even if my DPS was double, there's no way I was getting that. Regardless. No, I think I think you I think you made the right decision by going for the Addy and, and just playing the long game because oh. I don't think Myth help you there. Oh man, I'm just glad you still got that dildo. Yeah, you take that into next episode, man. I hope you get thrown in the fucking swamps with swamp lettuce. Oh, I, I need to upgrade that shit ASAP. Oh. ASAP. Okay, guys, we are now gonna pick the next region for the next episode. Now on this episode, to give you guys a little sneak peek of what to expect. So. Got Link next to me. We are actually are hidden right now in the call, so we can't hear each other. But uh, I'm going to spin 20. That's so small. Okay, let's see where that is. Are you kidding me? I got Winter Tot? I... Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. I mean, Winter Tot's good, but... How about you to get food to keep doing Winter Tot? And how's Winter Tot going to help me in the long term? Well, that's that's more for next episode, but holy shit. Okay. Oh, God. All right, piece of Gs. Got to randomize our number to see where we're going next. Let's generate and see where we're going. 429? Isn't that like really close to where I was before? Four, two, nine. Oh, you are joking. You have got to be joking. You've got to be fucking shitting me. So we have now unlocked the other side of your nil. <laughs> what? Oh, man. So in the next episode, obviously, I've got a few of these unlocked. We'll be able to make a larger square um, and we'll go and see what we can make. But that is for next episode. Let's hop back into a call with Kins. No, Link. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't even have words. I don't even have words. Mate. Oh, God. Oh, save, bro. I don't even know who the fuck I am. <laughs> oh, oh, well, God. obviously, we can't tell each other. We'll find out in the next episode. Yeah. Fuck me, dude. Yeah. Okay. B's and G's, welcome back to episode two. If you missed episode one, I will leave a playlist in the description. Give that a click and that will take you to episode one and also have episode two in it. So you'll just be able to click that and watch both episodes. So now that I've got you guys who haven't seen it out of the way, let's get into what I did. I put my 7,500 XP into magic, which I know sounds very odd right now, but I will explain why. Um, obviously in the last episode, I somehow got this chunk. I, I don't know how, I really don't. Um, so we are confined back to this area, which I'm fuming about, but it's the way it goes, isn't it? So 
I'm going to be opening up some squares around here. We're going to be taking the first one is going to be Tree Gnome Village. Uh, we got the Tree Gnome Village quest uh, to do there. And we've also got the dungeon with some hobgoblins, zombies in it, the general store as well, which could be useful. It does sell arrows. Um, then we're going to be using the here up one, the Khazard Battlefield, because you need it for the quest. Uh, there's also an iron medhelm. Uh, spawn there as well so we might be able to pick that up and get ourselves an upgrade um, then I'm going to be getting the ZMI altar um, and I'll explain my plans through the episode but there's a very good reason why I'm unlocking this chunk uh, then we also need this chunk here so we can actually walk over and do the tree gnome village quest a little bit annoying because I really pff, I'm not going to be able to use anything else inside because obviously I can't actually get into west Ardy. Um, so that is one, two, three, four chosen. Obviously, five with the one we were given. I've got one more pick. And I am a little bit tempted to go West Ardy, so I do have access. But at the same time, I also kind of want to take Port Cazard. So I have to have a little think about this. Hey guys, and welcome to episode two of the PvP challenge series. Now, in this episode, as you can see, my stats are a little higher. I had 5k XP that I can spend in any combat skill of my choice, not including prayer. So I decided to dump it in strength and defense. 3.4k XP went to strength, 1.6k went into defense. As I was trading strength, I realized that in my region, it's much higher level monsters than goblins and men and alcohard warriors. So definitely decided to uh, get my defense up a little bit just so I can tank some hits. Now I can't actually start in the square I unlocked because uh, you need 50 fire making. I can't get in winter tot at all. I mean, I would have to unlock this one anyway. First thing I notice is boom, we get a bank, which is awesome. And secondly, we actually have a games necklace teleport spot, which means in all the next regions I unlock, even if I can't access these squares through foot, I can access these if I have a games necklace and can teleport. I do think I need the fire making level, but for later episodes, this could come in extreme handy. Now, I'm not really left with much of a choice. I'm not going right. I'm not going left. So we have to keep going down. So we get an extra five unlocks. We have another bank over here. Now, here's where I really struggled in my next move. I could either go magic, cause you know, magic shop and everything, but I only have one unlock left. So I can't unlock both the Arceus main square, I'll call it, and the current castle, because we have one, two, three, four, five. But if I unlock the center of the current castle over here, I have cakes, I can make money through silk, and I have access to all of the catacombs. So I've just looked into it. I actually can't do Plague City, which would mean I, I can't get into West Ardy, even if I unlocked it, because we need Dwellberries from up um, in the McGrober's Woods or whatever it's called. Um, so that would literally be a pointless chunk. Unfortunately, yeah, not going to be able to get in there. So we are going to unlock Port Khazard, um, unlock some ores that we'll be able to then mine and get our mining up. And obviously there's an anvil there, and we've also got the furnace up in Ardy. So gonna lock that in and boom there are my unlocks for this episode let's get into it and i'll explain why i've done this okay so the reason i unlocked the zmi is because down here there are some zamorak crafters and they're fairly low level i think we'll be able to beat them fairly easily and they walk down here and i think we can actually do this which i am going to give a go because i want to see if this is going to work so if we go through the easy way there is one if we go through the easy way there's two actually wow i didn't realize two came at a time but anyway if we go through the easy way we can get ourselves up to the altar and uh, over here by the altar we'll be able to kill them as they come to do their rune crafting um, and we'll be right by the zmi altar so they drop runes they drop pure essence etc etc if i'm able to kill them and they don't do much damage to me i can effectively sit here keep killing them keep hopping and just craft runes and get rune drops from them um, and that will then unlock obviously the ability for us to go ahead and use either you know water bolt wind bolt if we get some chaos runes if not some fire strike um and then we can get ourselves fight arena done tree gnome village done etc etc so that's the plan that's what i'm going to try and do we'll see what happens i don't know how this is going to come off 
Obviously, don't want to be going this route because look at all of this going on. I do not want to be involved in that. Um, if they don't drop too much pure essence, I might just sit up by the bank and kill them there. But uh, there is one right there. So let's uh, let's try and grab him. That's multi. Let's try and get them both. Nice. Okay, so we've got them both lured. Uh, let's do it so that they... Oh, they're one of those NPCs where they can both stand on top of each other. Okay, bit annoying. But uh, it looks like we're doing absolutely fine against two at once. There's the first one down. And we get some air runes. Nice. Already got a few airs, mines, waters in the bank from killing all those hobgoblins and goblins. So uh, we got an alright stack at the moment. I don't know exactly how much it was. But uh, we'll go from there. Got a little bit of bread with me as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Now... I'm extremely low leveled, which really sucks because I can't fully use the catacombs. I'm thinking of all the upgrades I can get in here. And the main problem with this is I'll have to stick with ghosts. Maybe if I, you know, gain combat level pretty quickly, I can go to things like hill giants and moss giants, which they, they, do, they can, in fact, drop upgrades. But for this episode, it won't be too useful. But it comes back to the point where I can get a games necklace and telly back even if I can't connect these squares in future episodes. I was really considering going magic, but I also figured if I took this square, how would I make my money? Which would be the main concern. I was initially thinking, do I actually do winter tot? But then I would need food. I don't want to use up all my kebabs and I don't have 50 fire making anyway. So these are the six squares. It's a straight line all the way down here. It's going to be a lot of thieving, a lot of combat training. And let's see just how well we can do. Let's start the timer and begin. So the first thing we are going to do is try to steal silk. The thing with silk, it's not going to help me in this episode. But in future episodes, if I have a decent amount of money, guess what? I could buy anything I want with any shop as long as I have access to that shop. And if I'm sitting on a decent cash pile, um, this might be a problem. But I guess it's free training XP, but level 21... Yeah, it might be a bit hard to kill. Let's go back to strength. Crud. Okay, I'm going to try my best. Maybe I'll try to do a step back um, when I continue. I don't know if this guy can see me here, but we're going to try. We're going to try to get a decent cash stack because I want to do this first because I can't actually sell it back right away. I'll have to wait like the 30 minutes or whatever, and we can hit fives now, thankfully. So, um, yeah, first start of the plan, and then it's going to leave a bunch of cakes, and then it's going to be going maybe in the catacombs and killing ghosts or something. I'm really trying to get these combat stats up. So it looks like I found a way to trap the guard over here. I, that that might be the only guard that could walk over here. I tried to stand on the silk merchant like you can do with the baker in Artie. It didn't work. So um, I think that might be my fastest method. And like I said, I'm also going to bank all of them. Um, thankfully, I am out of the darkness and I can come right up these stairs where there is in fact a bank. So it's not going to be too hard to bank. It is kind of an annoying spot. Okay, I guess I should go up the other stairwell, but um, yeah, so I'm going to bank everything here. I'm probably going to try to get like 200 silk, guys, to be honest. And uh, of course, for all my food, um, for anything I do this episode, I'm just going to steal cakes, which is very easy. I can hide behind the stall for that. So yeah, let's do it. It's going to be a while, guys. But like I said, I need that solid cash stack that I can bring episode to episode in case I get an awesome chunk to unlock. Okay, we got our first bit of pure essence, if we can get the kill. Okay, we got our first bit of pure essence. Oh god, I've lured one of these over. 50 GP, okay, I'll take that. Uh, let's see what we get. I think we can pretty much only, like, the chances of getting anything higher than air and mind are pretty low. There we go, a few more airs to add to the collection. This is what we're looking for, 10 pure essence dropped. That is exactly the drop that we want, because that is going to be mainly airs and minds. Let's, uh... Let's give this a go. Boom. Ha oh, beautiful. Okay, we're getting this going. There's two runecrafting coming in as well. So this has been a lot slower than I thought it was gonna be. Um, uh, got like, got a few casts here, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do fight arena. I really thought this would be a lot better. As I say, I do have some runes in the bank, so we need to go and check that. I also need to get myself some more cakes because I'm now out of food. Uh, so we'll go to the bank and we'll see what we have total, but a bit annoying seeing like death runes, blood runes, soul runes, all that stuff. A little bit annoying, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I think uh, 
I've just got to stick with it now. I've sort of committed. We will be able to do Tree Gnome Village. I'm almost certain I'll be able to do Tree Gnome Village. So uh, as long as I can do that, I'll get the uh, necklace, which is really, really good bonuses melee-wise uh, for defense. And we'll also get that attack XP, and we'll see where we're at from there. Would like to do Fight Arena, but I just think it's going to be too much to, to get the runes together. So we're actually just shy of like 200 casts, which actually isn't too bad. I think I probably could go and do it right now, but I want to be absolutely sure, because if I get it to like half health, then can't kill it. It's such a waste of the runes that I just got together. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get caught here. No, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do maybe like another... I don't want to waste too much time, but maybe another 20 minutes of it, 30 minutes, and we'll see if uh, that'll be enough. Right, that's going to be me done. I've nearly spent two hours here. I'm hating it, and I really need to get on and uh, try and do this Tree Gnome Village quest. So, we're going to go and do it. Got a decent amount of uh, Chaos Runes. I think I put around 20 in the bank as well, so that's going to help massively. We lagging? No. Um, very, very tempted to go magic for this fight. Uh, Kins, at the end of last episode, mentioned that he had Addy Plate Legs. He's going to get a body this episode. I'm sure he will. Um... I can't see any upgrades for me because I'm in the exact same area in terms of shops that I was last episode. So I can't really see any upgrades. I think what I might do is I'll get the Khazard Helm and Body back. Wear that because it gives no negative magic. Um, and then go into the fight with the Steel Dagger which actually gives one positive magic. Uh, daggers do that for whatever reason. Um, so I think we might be going magic. So to be honest, I'm hoping I don't use too many runes doing the tree no village quest and then we'll be able to bring uh probably no fire strike maybe or maybe uh, it'd have to be fire strike really wouldn't it to be decent 35 minutes in and we have 222 silk now if you pull up the calculator 222 times 60 that is 13.3k in silk that we could sell now of course we can't sell it right this second but i think it's about 30 minutes time but we'll wait till way later in the episode to do it um, but that's going to be a nice chunk of change to take into another region. If I feel comfortable with the XP I'm gaining, I might try to get a little bit more. But I definitely don't want to spend all episode thieving because obviously at right this second, Link is stronger than me. Especially he had an extra 2.5k um, as an XP reward, which at these small levels is huge. I mean, he was 24th at the end of last episode and I'm 25 at the start of this one. I can only imagine what combat level he's going to get to. So... We're going to thieve some food, go right down into here, and kill some ghosts. So, really excited about having the catacombs. Um, I really don't think they're going to be that beneficial in this episode, because ghosts are pretty hard to kill, but I don't have much of a choice. I think they're the lowest level I can kill that isn't, like, the occasional bat that's just flying around Arceus. So, definitely not going to do that. But we have food right above. We don't even have to bank. We can kill ghosts, come up, steal more food, go right back in. And that's the plan. All right, so we got a full inventory of cakes and breads, and I think the ghosts are right up here. We're still going to focus on strength. Oh my gosh, it's multi. Okay, crap. This might be good and bad if I could stack them up. Okay, it's not going to be as bad as it looks. They might be pretty easy to hit. I don't know. They have 18 defense, so it is quite high. So I don't know what to expect, but it looks like I am hitting enough to where I could get some levels. Some, some decent training could happen this episode. So I don't totally know how I'm going to divvy up my levels. Maybe I might focus on a little bit of defense first, just so I'm not constantly stealing cakes the whole episode. But we're going to kind of just play it by ear and see what happens. So we've been here for a while, but the XP really is flying through, guys. We're already almost 30 strength. I'm going to keep training strength until I can hit a 6, and then it's 30 attack, and then 30 defense. Um, I'm assuming... Sixes will come either at level 30 or at level 31, so I know I'm pretty close to that. But uh, this was all in one trip as well. So defense really isn't as important as I thought here, but um, it still comes down to the fact... Can you move guard? Oh my gosh, I'm just going to kill him. No, I'm going to die. That was a mistake. Anyways, but it comes down to the fact that I really want to wear the Addy Plate Legs in the fight because um, I think they're, they are that crucial. I mean, this is all the armor I have. Plus, I do want to try to kill Hill Giants because they dropped some upgrades, so... I, I think it's worth getting some defense. And it's going to be much quicker levels just because, you know, the total XP in defense is so much more than that of strength. Okay, got everything I need to finish this quest. So let's start it. Right, that is orb number one and the easy part of the quest done. We are about to fight the Khazard Warlord. So I've got my food ready. I've got my mage spells ready. 
We're gonna be using. We're gonna be using Water Bolt. Okay. Chuck the run on. Talk to him. And I think we run down here. Cast this at him and he will run away and we just keep doing that over and over again. Unfortunately, I don't have a staff so I can't auto cast. But we are not hitting, which is not good. Oh, there's no, it's, it's less XP. Right, that makes sense. And boom, we got him caught. Very, very nice. That should just keep him in the corner there. As long as we keep hitting him before he runs out, and boom, we should be good to go. We are burning through these though. We've got 25 left. There we go. Actually, just just used all of my chaos runes, and then just had a, like three or four casts of uh, Earth Strike, and boom, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. We still got loads of runes as well. Oh, I'm hyped about that. Didn't use any food. That was great. And boom, this is going to be the quest completed and it is going to send our attack through the roof. Boom, there we go, 11,450 XP, 34 attack coming in and this is the, the big thing, 13 defense in melee defense. It's almost a fury in defensive stat wise, almost a fury, which is insane. Can also use the tree now as well, but obviously the only thing I've got unlocked is the Khazard. Uh, battlefield because I can't go into the gnome stronghold which is a little bit annoying but that is very very good now I'm actually I think I could do fight arena I really do I think I need a few more runes but I think fight arena is on the cards we've obviously gone through the roof on attack so killing these uh crafters should be a lot quicker now as well so we're going to do that I'm going to get a few more runes together a few more essence maybe get our we're nearly level 10 rune crafting bloody hell um and just see how much we can get together, because I think if we can do Fight Arena, I think I'm going to have 40 attack. And Zamorak Warriors drop Rune Scimitars in here. So, you know, that could be a thing. We could safe spot with Mage, kill the Zamorak Warriors, and possibly... We'd need insane luck, but it could happen. It's possible. Go into the fight with a Rune Scimitar. Well guys, just hit my first six. I actually want to get four defense levels just real quick because I can get those really fast and then 30 attack and then we're just going to send defense to 30 as well. Hopefully we can still do this in the time and sell our silk and steal a lot of cakes. I'm going to assume we can, but you never know. So an hour and a half has passed. We had a random event. We got ourselves a shiny gold necklace. We are 27 attack, but we are slowly ticking out of time and of course i can't be killing things until you know zero time is left on the timer so i do want to mosey on up here to hill giants and see what it's like if it sucks we go back to ghosts if not we'll stick with these oh it's multi oh gosh it's already going downhill fast but um these guys drop big bones which of course are pretty amazing for prayer and they drop some upgrades they drop a Iron full helm and an iron kite shield. Very small upgrades, but I'm dealing with a bronze med helm and a bronze square shield. Literally the two worst items in the game, so um, any upgrade would be massively appreciated. Oh, I haven't been here long at all, but guys, the XP is so much slower, and not to mention I'm getting hit so frequently here. So I, I don't think it's worth it. If the upgrades were better, I'd stay, but just to go to iron, I feel like I can get an extra few defensive levels if I really needed it, which might be better than the iron upgrades. Um, so after this hill giant, I'm going to go restock on cakes and unfortunately go back to the ghosts. I know it's not the most exciting content, but it really is my best move right now. I can't kill anything else. I guess skeletons I could kill maybe so we're now 30 attack so that means we're on to defensive mode now and um a bit nervous on time if i'm being completely honest but um you know i'm really basing it off the first two 30s but when i got these levels of course i didn't have 30 attack and 31 strength so this will be the fastest one theoretically speaking but still i don't think it'll be that much faster but i do think i have enough time let's just hope we have enough time to uh sell that silk at the end and buy some cakes which I'm thinking 15 minutes. If I have 15 minutes, that's all I really need. Maybe 20. Change that to 20. Yeah. Okay, I've decided against my magic plan, and we are going to use magic on the Zamrak Warrior right now. So I need to get him into position. I need to make sure this lizard doesn't attack me, because that would be very annoying. Um, so yeah, 
He drops Rune Scimitar, Addy Longsword, all sorts of stuff. Um, I think a Steel Scimitar as well. Uh, so we are going to try and get a few kills here. And we've got some Chaos Runes to use up. We've got like 150 casts of probably Earth and Water. Yeah, so we got a little bit of chance here. Need to get lucky. Hopefully we can get ourselves something decent. I do not want to get attacked by him. Let's stand here. Nice. And let's see what we're going to get on the first drop. Also drops lobsters as well, which would be a decent uh, heal. And they are cooked. There we go. There's the first kill. And it's coins. Oh, <laughs> I got another steel dagger. No. Literally the weapon we already have. Um, that's the same chance as like, the steel scimitar, etc, etc. I'm running out of runes very, very rapidly here. I think if we go to the bank, I do have like 70 fire runes, which might give me one, maybe two. Actually, it uses three. It'll probably give me one more kill. It's worth the risk. It's worth trying. Because if we can get a weapon, that would be huge. And while I'm here, I'm going to get myself some more cakes, just so we have some more in the bank. Right, this is going to be the last chance. I don't have enough runes for another kill. Yeah, I don't. Oh, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Uh, okay, well, that is super annoying. Two steel daggers, that's really annoying. Could have landed on anything else and I would have been... I would have got an upgrade. That's really, really annoying. But, uh, right, I need to focus on getting some upgrades elsewhere. And I think plate legs and a shield probably is the way to go. So, let's do that. So I'm going to try and get some upgrades from the Hill Giants here. They uh, drop an Iron Full Helm, an Iron Kite Shield, Steel Longsword, which I don't think would be better than a Steel Dagger, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, they also drop a few runes as well, which might add to what we've already got. Um, and on top of that, it's just decent XP compared to the uh, Zamorak Crafters, I believe. So we will see what happens. Uh, i got a load of food here just from a quick bit of uh, thieving. And hopefully we can get some upgrades. And we get that 30 defense and we're instantly zooming out of there. I'll probably just top off on cakes before I actually go up to the bank to uh, grab the silk and sell it since I'm already down here. And I can't wait to also pop on that uh, pair of Addy plate legs that we have because that was ultimately the main goal this episode was to wear those suckers and finally get the use out of them. Just because we're in the bank, I want to show you guys real quick the difference. With just the legs, he was going stab last time, 33 from 11. If he's going slash, plus 31. Incredible, incredible difference. So if my calculations were correct, we should have about 13k, a little over 13k. And yes, 13.7k coins with 26 cake. We have nine minutes left, so we can, in fact, get a bunch of cake. And I'm really, really... Ooh, lag! Oh, no, the servers have been really horrible lately. I've been trying to avoid bad filming times for this, but sometimes it's impossible to avoid. It really hasn't been bad today, so I'm very thankful for that. But we have nine minutes to steal cake. That's almost too much time. Because you have too much cake. Should I spend, like, five minutes doing this or just send the cake? I... In... Nah, screw it, screw it. You know what I'll do? I'll just eat the bread and the chocolate slices and just get the cake. Um, you know, maximize how much cake I can get in eight and a half minutes. I really don't think I could have timed this episode any more perfect. I got everything I wanted to get done. Over a hundred cakes. We have the Addy Plate Legs now that we can actually wear, which is incredibly, incredibly reassuring. I mean, there's nothing I can do in, like... 15 seconds but this is the final gear for the fight we're looking absolutely awesome let me pause that timer i don't want the beeper to go off but guys really i i'm i'm happy i'm happy this is probably the best thing i could have done and the best part about it is that we have 13k cash that we can take to our next region and when we start to get decent combat stats, all we have to get is that games necklace and we can get right in the catacombs and the upgrades are unreal down here. They are absolutely unreal. And of course, since the dungeon spot is um, accessible, it means we have access to the entire dungeon. That's how the underground system works in this series. So 
really excited. Hey, there's one of the upgrades, an iron full helm coming in. So we can chuck that on, get a few bonuses there. Very nice. Hey, and there's the other upgrade as well. We get the uh, iron kite shield, which is very nice. Nice upgrade over the bronze square. Okay, all right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get myself the prayer level. We need to kill, what, four more? And then I'll try and move on, because I think that's all the upgrades I can get. I could get a steel longsword, but I'm still not sure if it's actually better um, than, than what I currently have, because it is slower. Now I can actually upgrade the helm, and I'm going to, through the charter ships. 1,375 GP to get a Tyrus helm, which is actually better than uh, the Ironfall helm. So I'm going to crack that on, and I'm going to give it one more go. We're going to do a few more Zamorak crafters, and then we are going to see if we can get one or two more uh, Zamorak warrior kills and hopefully upgrade this weapon, because this is not enough to go into this fight. I know that. Okay, this is the last attempt. I think I'll get two kills out of the runes that we got, but I'm not feeling too confident. I am not feeling too confident here. I, I'm i so fuming I didn't get another area because I've just had to sort of deal with parts of the area I didn't want. But here we go. Right. Let's get him. Come on. No. Coins. Fuck's sake. Here we go. And coins. Yeah, I don't think I'll get another kill. 10, yeah, there's no way I'd get another kill there. So, I'm going to go outside, and I am going to try and get myself a couple of monk's robes, or Zamorak monk robes, because they give prayer bonus, they also give magic bonus, and I think it would just be quite a good thing to have uh, later on in the account. So, this is going to be my last four minutes. I've got all the food I need in the bank. I don't think I'm winning this episode too difficult too difficult to do it without being given some new region i just i think he's gonna he's gonna upgrade he's gonna have new things to uh to use and i've just sort of you know had to deal with the outer areas of something that i didn't really want so you know what for what we've done i'm feeling okay this is a huge upgrade which we'll probably use for the next few episodes so i'm quite happy we were able to get that and we'll see what happens but uh yeah i'll let you know if we get any of the monk robes and uh yeah we'll go into the fight no monk's robes Let's go and fight Kins. Kiddos, we are back. Yeah. Uh, just want to say to the viewers that before we got in this call, Link said you're not going to believe what happened. So I'm, I'm already sad. <laughs> I just want it, to put mate, that out it's, 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 it's not a good thing. For, for who? For me. Well, I, oh. I you know. Oh, yeah. oh, me, maybe I heard that wrong. Man. I think you've I taken know, you it. You had a little giggle. You had a little giggle in your voice. You've you taken it, it in a slightly wrong context, I think. Um, so I'm just going to come out and okay. say it. It's going to actually be my location, I'm going to tell you. Okay. Um, yeah, you're not going to believe this, but I got the other side of your nail. <laughs> Literally <laughs> two squares away from my first unlock. Oh my gosh, so you can... You... Oh, so he's got cakes and shit again. Oh my gosh. But but dude, like, around that area, I unlocked everything that I wanted to. Like, the things I wanted to do, I'd unlocked. So I then had to go and unlock things around it that I didn't really want to do. Yeah, but it's still a great <laughs> spot, Link. Dude, like... I, did, I did one thing for like three hours because there was nothing else to do. <laughs> It was fucking oh horrible. Gosh. It was horrible. I hated every minute of it. I'll tell you that wow. right now. So yeah, that I, was my unlock. I was thrown to another continent, Link. Wow. Where'd you go? I, so the viewers won't know this, but we bantered about what if one of us gets Winter Tot. Sure, if I didn't land smack oh my right God. on Winter Tot. Really? So I, now I obviously can't do winter tot. I probably wouldn't anyway, but I need 50 fire making to even get in there. Yeah. But I did a line straight down mm -hmm. five extra squares to get to the Curren Castle Center. Oh wow, you can get that a from that. Fantastic unlock. Yeah. But not when you are like 21 combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but there are some things that, you know, we will get into, I'm sure. So you got the catacombs. On, yes. And it unlocks the entire uh, the thing, entire which is thing. huge. But I can't use it to my potential. So I was like happy because I can use the games necklace teleport to get there anytime I want, assuming mm -hmm. I can get a games necklace. Yeah. But the problem is, is that, you know, it, I saw, I got to get stats up. I got to get better gear before I can even think about doing that. 
talking about stats, so last episode I got 7,500 XP, you got 5,000. What yes. did you put it into, mate? I put, uh, I, I might have this a little wrong, I said mm -hmm. it in the beginning of the episode, but it's like 3.4k in strength and 1.6k in defense. Because okay. it had the catacombs and I was just thinking, I don't want to get popped if I walk right. in there, so yeah. I started off with some defense as well. Okay, so it's um, I put 7,500 XP into magic. So I am now... I thought about it as well, but I didn't go for it. I am okay. actually oh. 27 magic because I did a bit of magic this episode. Um, uh, do you have access to a magic shop over there? I don't, I don't and I'll tell know. you what I did for three hours, mate. I went to the end of ZMI and killed Zamrak crafters for XP, and they dropped rune essence and runes, and I just sat there rune crafting and getting rune drops so that I could then go and do Trinome Village to kill the Khazar Warlord with magic. Oh, um, I wanted to do Fight Arena as well, but that method was so slow for runes. I, did, like, I couldn't do it. So what I did was I used the Chaoses and stuff like that that I got to try and kill Zamrak Warriors. I think I killed about 10 to try and get a rune scimitar right. and didn't get a rune scimitar. Wow. Yeah, but dude, that's huge though. That rune sim that's fucking really big, actually. Shit. Yeah, so hopefully, I rune sim -y hopefully relatively quick. later on in the account I can go back and try and get one. But oh. yeah, so that was pretty much what I did this episode, mate, to be honest. Let's do it. Two, one, go. <sighs> wow. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Let's wow. go. Let's I'm go. I'm actually thirty six point nine. Oh wow! Okay, so, so I'm. I think I'm low thirty-seven because I wow. kind of just got it. So I, at that case, we're basically even. I'll just read through my stats. Uh, strength thirty. No, sorry, attack thirty. Strength thirty-one. Defense thirty. Uh, hit points thirty-one. Uh, I have thirty-five attack, twenty-seven strength, twenty-nine Ooh. defense, and thirty hit points. And I so did get rushed the in for the like forty, aren't you? You're fucking rushing. For the I 40. think it needs to happen because, like, there was a chance <sighs> to get a rune dagger this episode as well, and I was like, if I get that, I'm gonna need the forty. Oh, so yeah. Um, I'm human at that. That's a huge upgrade. I'm not gonna lie, mate. Shit. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to this reveal at all. I'm um, worried. I'm I... worried. Uh, uh, well, I, 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 I hope you're still rocking that steel dagger. <laughs> okay. I'm still rocking okay, this. Okay, so. all right. Uh, that's that's uh, not good, though. I the strength you level's got. Play party. I was yeah. just scared you were going magic after you told me. I, I did plan on it. I did plan on it if I could have got enough runes together, but it just wasn't enough. Right, 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 um, right, right. Yeah, dude, I, I have that Arceus shop, but oh, yeah. if, I, if I unlocked Arceus, it meant I couldn't lock the catacombs. And right. you'll, uh, I'll just say it. There's a cake stall. And obviously, Kabaz lost me. The, well, I didn't lose with the fight, but it's a big reason as to why I wasn't contending. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I was like, guys, I need cakes. So I got a bunch of fucking cakes in my bank. So. Right, yeah. I, I, I yeah. think this is yours, to be honest. I think this is yours. What you got Please in your body, mate? Please stacked up on, on cakes. I do. I, don't, I, I don't do have, have cakes. You don't have a body. Okay, okay all right. I, I, body, I did no. stack up on cakes, yeah. Um, Let's go necklace, mate. Oh, I actually did get a random event. Oh, wow. Okay, nice. So, I got the uh, the Gnome Amulet from Trinome Village, which is... Dude, okay. it's nearly a Fury in defense stats. Yeah, which is dude, insane. It's, it's really good. It's really it's good. And 13, I'm sure you'll be rocking that for a long time. That's. Yeah. I mean, I looked at it, I was like, I cannot. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see you in a minute, Mesa Jinx. <laughs> you will be rocking that for a while, for sure. Yes. But that, that also means you got attack XP, which, right... Yeah, 35 attack I got total, so I think Fuck. he gets 12 12k or something, something like that, right. which is quite nice. Because so, yeah. I was I was just trying to piece it together, like, how did you train so much mm -hmm. with doing all that? And then it clicked, like, the the quest. So. And I, I mean, also, I was just meleeing the Xamarite Crafters, which was like 7 or 8k XP an hour as well, so we did get some XP doing that. Oh, right, 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 um, okay. Um, you'll pick cool, I'm, I'm going to go Helm. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. What's he got? Yep. Oh, yep. okay. All right. Uh, let's go shield kids. Same thing. Uh, same. I got an upgrade. Yes. Oh, 
Hill Giants. Hill Giants uh, dropping me. Yeah, shields. dude. I tried to kill Hill Giants too, but they just were taking too long. I'd rather get the XP, so I right. fucking can that idea. Wow. I mean, wow, I, so I did it after I got the upgrade. 30. Yeah, I needed it, mate, because I, uh, there wasn't much to go on, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, my, I know my what he's thought process this episode was just to uh, train, train, mm. train, 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 train. I know what those I legs are going to be. You know, fuck it, I'll just fire yeah, them that's, right up. That's dude. worrying. That's really worrying. Well, what do you have on your legs? Nothing. Yes, thank you. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Fuck. This is going to be interesting. Uh, but I have other boots, so. I've got nothing else, fire mate. That up. <sighs> I mean, it's pretty similar to last time, sort of. You have a shield upgrade. I mean,. To be honest, if there's one thing I don't like about your upgrade, it's, it's your necklace. Yeah. That, that's the worry. That's going to be the best in slot for so new... long. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, the time it's going to take us to get shit and chant stuff and mm -hmm. or get drops from monsters for a necklace slot, yeah. it's going to be a while. It's so. going to be a while for sure. Yeah, Definitely so... best in slot for a while. Very happy with that. Kins, mate. Whenever you're ready, see who's going to take episode two. All right. All I have to say, Link, is fuck Last Recall, man. Wow. It's the shittiest perk there is. Hit. Go oh, God. Don't fucking on. start this already. Come on. I Come can on. hit sixes, Link, Ooh. so... Yeah, a little bit uh, worried I'm, about that. I think, I I can, I think I'm still fours. <sighs> yeah, he hit fucking two of them. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there's a five. five. Let's go. It's going to be a slow fight, kid. <laughs> I know. With Kate, oh, no, Jesus Christ. God, it really will be. No, oh, he's starting to hit now. He's starting to hit. Oh, not one. Yes. Shit, this is going to be grueling, dude. I think your max hit's going to take it. Ah, oh, yes. I think your I want to see a six. Oh, oh my god. god. I want to see a six. Let's no go. Sixes, I hope bro. it's not six on, on strength. I'm, I'm going to have to change it to strength. I'm hitting lots of fives. I see the fives. All right, yes. hold on. Let's try slash. Let's try slash. Try slash. That DPS goes right down. I like it. Yeah, I have to be on strength, I think, to hit it, which is a bummer. But oh well. Fuck Can't say. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is this is gonna hurt. Yeah. This is, this is painful. This is going to be a ridiculously long fight. <laughs> it really is, man. Uh... Did I nice. wait so long? Come on, don't do this to me. That's a one, mate. A one. Brilliant. Fucking oh my brilliant. god, Dude, we're going to get to fucking hitting. overdrive here. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. You watch me fucking lose this now. Wow. Hit! Come on, defend. Hit! Why are we hitting zeros now? No. Dude, I've been hitting fucking zeros. <laughs> After like, that stint, what would you say if I told you I'm out? I would say, what the hell have you done with your cakes? You've been dropping them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fuming, though. I, I did just eat a bunch, bro. That is... Yeah, no, that's definitely leveled oh, it up. Crazy. Definitely leveled it up. Come on. Oh, come on. There's no way this weapon's this fucking inaccurate. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, Can I get like four of these? Oh Thank my you. god. One more. Yes. What the yes! fuck? <laughs> oh, that's BS, Ask, man. That is... Asking how shall receive, bro. Oh, Holy you. shit. That was like 15 damage and three attacks there. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yes. God, all, all you do is fucking mention it and you always get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually uh, a joke. Yes. Oh, uh, how are you so accurate? 35 attack mate being a beast. 
dude, you have a steel <laughs> dagger. Do you know how annoyed is I am I can't poison this? Think how OP a poison weapon would be uh, early uh, on. Fuck me. Dude, I was trying to theory craft how to fucking kill Ankus in the <laughs> oh <my> At the start, I was so far behind. I think the accuracy. Ah! Oh, one more right big there. hit. One more six. One, one, one more six before he hits. One more six before he hits. Come on. Would that Come make you on. feel good? Brilliant. Really. A one. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yes. A three. Fuck. He's just chipping away at my fucking armor right now. A four. It's that open body, mate. Ooh. I'll fucking Ooh. slash your knees off then. <laughs> <laughs> It became fucking Did I hang up on my wall? Ooh. That's a joke. That's a fucking joke oh. how accurate you are with that thing. Another one. No. DJ Khaled. Another one. <laughs> At the moment I said that. <laughs> yes. Like, train. No. no. I feel like we're both going on the train. I train know, too, dude. Though, man. Uh, uh. Your ticket's about to run out, mate. Dude, I've been out one prayer point for the past fucking three minutes. Me too, mate. It makes me it makes me angry that I wasted fifteen so easily. <laughs> like what was I doing? I know, I know. To, well to be honest, I didn't expect this fight to last <laughs> this long. Come on. Come on, I need to see a couple fours here. Couple fours. Fuck mm. off for the five. They're detrimental. Oh, he's hit though. twos and ones and threes and fours. It, it's a joke how accurate that is. <laughs> train. <laughs> Fucking train. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Hit. Hit. Yes. Hit. Hit. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. my yes. God. Jesus Christ. Yes! Oh, yes. fuck off! Yes! There's the two. There's the two. There's Go. the three. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Is he oh out? Oh my god. Oh, he's out. I have 1k. I oh have my 1K fucking god! I've got 1k! <sighs> oh, man. That's painful. Yes. That is painful. <laughs> One cake. <sighs> See, man, the, D the the DPS looked better, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I'm Fuck. shocked. Dude, you had so many ones and twos. Dude, I, I wanted to cry. <sighs> Fuming. Fuming. <laughs> but it's put me in a good spot. It's put me in a good spot. Okay, Beats of Gs. Numbers 1 to 472. This is going to pick where my next chunk is. I don't want anywhere near Yanil or Ardy, to be honest. <sighs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. So, here we go. Generate. 81. Oof. Okay. That is going to be the Chasm of Fire chunk. So we got access to probably Karend over there. Okay. All right. That's something to work with. That's something to work with. I think there's a there's a sword shop here. We can upgrade our fucking weapon. Yes. Okay. There's there's stuff to work with. There is stuff to work with. All right, guys, we are back again for the third episode spin. So um, we got the random number generator up. Let's chuck her spin. 335. Oh, gosh. Okay, I have no idea what that is off the top of my head. So I'm going to have to actually control F this and type in 335. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Oh, this is kind of where we were before. Guys, we can connect. What? 335? We can connect. Oh, because... 
I mean, obviously these don't show the ones that we already unlocked, but this is all unlocked. And then we can come up here and get Varrock, the plate body shop, the sword shop. Oh, I'm feeling good about this one, guys. I am feeling really good about 335. There we go, Kins. We have our chunks. Uh, How are you feeling? We do, we do. Um, I'm going to say that I feel okay with it, man. I'm going to yeah. try not to give too much away. I, uh, I'm, I'm a bit upset for certain reasons, but I'm happy for others. That's as, that's as honestly as deep as I could go, man. As deep as I could go. Okay. All right. I'm, uh... You? You seem uh... kind of happy over there. I'm just... I'll tell you, it's not fucking your nail, mate. So th that's why I'm happy. <laughs> oh, We're away. Right. We're away. <laughs> Right, okay, okay, um, that's good to know. But uh, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's going to be a case of doing some research and seeing how good that's going to be. Hey guys, Brimington's here, aka Rarg, back with episode 3 of the PvP challenges. We learned in the last episode that I unlocked where the old clan wars used to be. This is the exact same square. This square is kind of dead, and we actually have to unlock the square next to it because it's the only way to actually leave this spot over here. Now, that square might be a dead one, but this square actually has some hill giants in it that were added, which I didn't know until I walked here, which was quite an amazing find if i'm honest because they're a great thing to kill at my level but we'll get back to that more later so that's two out of six unlocks and i'm connected now to my first region which means since it's connected i can do two things one use the region everything because it connects and i can get there without walking in the fog and two i can now unlock things up here because i can lead a path all the way down to my original unlock this episode so i'm allowed to spend my next four unlocks anywhere next to these open squares right now and of course for my third we are going to varrock a magic shop a plate body shop a sword shop and a telly spot to get back to this region if I ever want to when I'm in a different region. So that is an amazing, an amazing unlock. And I wanted to do two more going west because we can get the stronghold security and the helmet shop. And I guess a fishing location too, if I can get my hands on the tools to do that. I can't even use these hill giants because I do need to go up here. Now I do have one more unlock and I was thinking Edgeville, but who knows how hard it is to get laws and stuff. I decided to come down here to Lumbridge. Mainly for the home Lumbridge teleport spell. The free one that requires no runes. This one right here. So no matter where I spawn, if it's a very shitty location, I can get to this location any time I want. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six unlocks this episode hello bees and g's welcome back to episode three of the chunk pvp progression series thing we don't really have a name for it but you guys know what i mean and uh we have our chunk from last episode and it is this one right here and i actually thought wow that's when i first saw it i was like mm, not that great and then i had a little think and i was like wow this is amazing we can up we can unlock the square next to it obviously we get five unlocks from the random uh from the first one that we get so we get five unlocks after that one, two, three, opens up Krend. Four, five, opens up a magic shop. And my plan was to steal silk, sell the silk, buy runes, buy a staff, and then go down into the catacombs and safe spot fire giants with magic. And I was like, yeah, brilliant. That would take four hours possibly, but I'll probably end up with a rune scimitar by the end of the episode. Uh, no, turns out that... Uh, the chunk stops right here. So obviously I'm not playing yet, so I, you know, I can step out. But there's no way to get into this chunk, which is where it would be unlocked, without unlocking the one below. Which then means that I would have to unlock one, two, three, four, five, and obviously that then doesn't get me to the magic shop, which means then I can't save spot fire giants anymore, because I can't get over to this and this. So fire giants are then off, which makes that annoying. So I was like, okay, we'll get some Shazian favor, 
which will then allow me to use the sword shop and the shield shop. We can get some upgrades. You need 20% Shazian favor. I was also like, oh, we'll get the uh, Shazian upgraded armor. You need 60% for that. I was like, I'll do the medical thing where you just heal those soldiers. No, because the Shazian task where you start is outside. And this is the tent where you get the supplies. And that's also outside. So we're now going on to plan three, which I'm not happy about. And that is unlocking this, this, this. All completely pointless squares. All four of those, to be honest. One, two, three, four. And then I'm unlocking here. The reason I'm going this way around is because this is all pretty much inaccessible like none of it is useful to me at all because it's all locked behind shades in favor this way i get a general store uh we get a bank here we also get a pub which i do think sells kebabs so there's a bit of food there but obviously we've also got the uh cake store here but uh i want to unlock the catacombs of karend and with that kill moss giants because they do drop runes mithril armor mithril weapons etc so i think my plan is going to be Thieve a bit of silk, make a load of money. Uh, very similar to what Rag did in the last episode, I believe. He was thieving silk here as well. Um, and then once we've thieved a load of silk, we will go and try and kill Moss Giants. Get our stats up and, uh, and just hope that we get some Chaos Runes. So the first thing I want to do, and I actually saw this in a comment. Um, they yelled at me because I didn't buy molds. And it was a very, very, very stupid thing to do, having moles on the account. You know what? Just gonna buy freaking everything. Everything in this shop is so cheap. Um, I definitely want molds. Technically, I can get here anytime I want now because I do have the Lumbridge Telly, but it's better just to have them on the account. Now, I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful that the plan I had last episode actually paid off with getting coins because we are about to go on a massive shopping spree so i'm gonna see you guys in varrock and our new unlocks over here because there's a lot of things you have to buy so we're at our first upgrade the mithril plate body and we can get this which is really really nice as well you know if he does want to go magic um oh my gosh like a tank and as i was buying that i just realized i forgot to tell you what i put my 7.5k combat xp into and it went all into strength i was i was very much thinking magic but all that could do is give me a nice easy win right now but won't really affect me long term i don't think i mean i guess i could have gotten 25 magic for the teleport but you know i have the um the home telly so i didn't actually go for it but anyways still 6k <laughs> <laughs> the upgrades we're just we're just upgrading our account left and right right now guys we still have one more to get to which is just which is awesome probably the greatest thing about this unlock is the stronghold security i can't really make much use of it now but similarly like the catacombs that's going to come in much handy later on and what a freaking start to the episode holy crud guys let's train Let's train. Just made use of my first ever teleport on the account, the home teleport, to get back here really, really quick. Um, I was just talking about how I have the stronghold that I unlock, and I do think the monsters in there would give me slightly better XP than killing hill giants, but the much needed prayer experience is just being presented to me right now with hill giants, so I'm gonna go for it. I really wanna go for as many stat upgrades as they possibly can because things like um all these prayers steel skin ultimate strength incredible reflexes even smite when we get to it eventually they're going to be massive for the fights so going to focus on that i do think with all these upgrades it's going to be a lot easier to kill the hill giants than in last episode and we have the kebab shop right here that we can restock on whenever we need to but we have 77 so we're going to start ourselves off with these first so I'll see you guys over at the Hill Giants for uh, some much needed stat upgrades. So yeah, my squares are really, really, really bad. I'm not going to lie. I'm really not happy with them. Oh, actually, this is one more thing. I was like, oh, I'll just use the, uh, the underground bit and then I'll run up and I can, you know, link up here and I won't have to bother opening the catacombs up. But uh, it turns out, yeah, it's uh, locked. I think you have to go up through it first to unlock it i don't know exactly how you unlock it but it's not unlocked on this account so yeah uh, <laughs> i'm not happy i'm not happy i thought i had great squares no 
Anyway, let's get the timer up on the screen and let's get into this progression. Oh, and I also put uh, about 400 XP into defense and 5,600 into strength from my uh, 5k loss. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. So what we're going to do is lure the guards in a way that we will then be able to thieve this stall without ever getting caught. If we go around here, oh, I've run out of run. Of course I have. Of course I've run out of run. Uh, boom, there we go. So now we can just steal from the stall and not have any issues. Ooh, just got a strength pot. Nice. We will take that. Uh, yeah, 25 minutes in and I'm closing in on 200 silk, which would be 12k GP. Uh, so not going too badly at all, but I don't want to assign too much time to getting silk because to be honest, I think having like 12k will be fine. And, you know, we can make our money in another chunk when we get it. But I do want to get my combat stats up. And I do want to try and see how many runes we can get together from Moss Giants. I don't even know if Moss Giants are going to be very viable to kill. If not, I'll trade on something else in the Catacombs. And just try and get these stats to, like, close 40s, maybe 40s. Um, would be really, really nice. And then probably give the Moss Giants a go and see what we can do. But uh, I might try and go for... 30 thieving. Will I go for 30 thieving? I don't know. Sort of want to nail down being able to thieve guards because guards are everywhere. But then at the same time, that is 40 thieving, which is going to take some time. So I don't think I'll do that. There is 29 thieving coming in and actually a full inventory. I'll show you what the uh, silk is looking like right now. I think I'm going to go to 200. There we go. 167 right now. Right, that's 195. I am going to stick with that and say that is enough. We are going to go and give Moss Giants a go. <laughs> I hope, I hope we can, I hope we can kill them. I'm not feeling too confident though, guys. I won't lie, but uh, we'll give it a go. If not, as I say, we'll, we'll kill something else down there. So it's just over an hour here at the Hill Giants, and I have two main goals um, that I want to hit before I leave. Both are relatively easy. To be honest, I thought I'd have both by now but I don't, but it's no biggie um, because we're still getting XP. We're still being efficient or as efficient as possible. The first one is to be able to hit eight with my Addy Sword. I know flicking it right now technically is not doing anything because I can't hit eights, but I'm hoping maybe it just hasn't hit an eight in like 1.7K XP. I should probably be flicking this truthfully, um, but I do want to be able to hit eights. I do think in my next level, it will happen. Um, so that's one goal. The next goal is going to be get an iron kite shield, which these guys drop. It's one out of 42, and I've killed 76 of them. So it, a bit of a bummer it hasn't happened, but we're going to keep trucking along until we hit both those goals and then move on to the next one, which is quite an exciting one. So stay tuned for that one, guys. And after 83 kills, there it is. Let's grab those bones. Let's bury them too, because I know the meme. Rog doesn't like bones. Um, is this even that much of an upgrade? No, it's not. But you know what? An upgrade's an upgrade, and we are going for the best. We're not going for fucking second best here. An eight. There it is. 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 Okay, we are going away from the hill giants now on to our next goal. A lot of exciting things we can still do in this area, guys. Let's actually buy a cape, because why not? Uh, we can also buy these two things. Actually, we're about to do the stronghold, so we really don't need that, but um, let's fully... All right, <laughs> that's so awkward. <laughs> guys, I had this huge master plan, okay? I had a master plan to go for recoils, but to be honest, it's... It's kind of it's kind of fallen through. Um, I was gonna get the 10k here, then use that 10k to get 33 magic, and then get a law rune somewhere, telegrab grab the gold bar underneath Varrock, and then buy a sapphire from Alcarid. And the mold's there and everything. If I have 33 magic, I'll have the seven to enchant it. I think cosmics aren't too hard to get somewhere. Um, but the problem is that getting 20 crafting seems to be like a waste of time. And I say that because I'll just show you guys really quick what I mean. Um, I can't even mine clay. The clay's blocked off over here. I can't mine the clay over here because I would need a necklace of passage and I have to walk around, which I can't. Um, and I don't have a necklace of passage. Um, the best way to probably train crafting here is silver, but I need like... 16 or something to actually do that i can't even shear sheep with the region i'm in right here we go it is multi as well so we need to uh be careful 
probably go over there, I think. Ooh, that's not a good start. Come on. Come on, Linky boy. This might be okay. It might be okay. Oh, I'm getting aggroed by the ghost behind me now as well. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, man, that's so annoying. Uh, okay, that really wasn't too bad. And if I stand over here, the ghost won't be able to aggro me. We get cold. But we do get big bones from this, which is nice. Obviously, with the big bones, we'll be able to get prayer levels a lot quicker. I'll give it a go for a bit, and I'll assess the situation. You are fucking with me. In Trailblazers, I killed about a thousand of these to try and get one of them. <laughs> Well, there we go. We could do our first boss if we ever get that location. Oh my god. Oh, this is not nice. Just had 33 strength come in, which means I can now hit fives while I'm on accurate. So we're switching over to accurate. Really need to upgrade this steel dagger. Uh, one of the upgrades we can get from the Moss Giants is a mithril sword, which would be huge if we could get it. But uh, oof, we're actually close to dying here. I do have one cake left. Boom, there's the kill. And are we going to get it on the record? Come on, give me the luck. No, we're going to get a white berry seed, which I really don't want. Hey, there we go. How long did that take? <sighs> let's get out of here for a second. Uh, well, I think let's get some XP. Okay, we've got the Mithril Sword, which is a massive upgrade. That is a huge, huge upgrade. What is the difference? 10 melee strength. Oh, my God. Uh... 8 plus stab. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. They do drop another upgrade, and they also drop a magic staff. I'm a little bit tempted to go for that. But at the same time, I sort of want to get XP. And my XP is going to go through the roof now with all of this. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Do you know what? I think I'll go and get, like, 40 attack, maybe close to 35s. Maybe 35s in both of those, and then come back and just try and be a bit more efficient at killing them. And hopefully get the rest of the upgrades. But that is lovely. I mean, I'm so happy to see the fucking end of this thing. Oh, there we go. I still want the 10k though. So we're still going to get that and then move on to plan B. And here we are for our final, what is it, 5k? Or do you just get the boots here? No, I already got the 5k. Always the colorful ones. You never not go the colorful boots we'll even get rid of the leather that's how serious i am to these boots okay guys so plan a fell through plan b was actually to cook and get in the cooking's guild over here and find a way to actually get those apple pies which i think heal 14 or one pie in there heals 14 i forgot which one it was but i don't even know how i'm gonna cook this whole region lock thing is is much harder than i thought and i'm, and I'm honestly just thinking maybe it's best just to train 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 maybe we'll hit up the minotaurs i know those are pretty good for training maybe i can try to um kill barbarians they might be pretty good i'm gonna have to really think about this one because still two and a half hours left and i definitely don't want to waste it let's see how these guys are um yeah i'm gonna have to just attack these guys and really think about what i could possibly do um maybe i could just get magic just for some magic defense you know, it'd be really quick to do. And if he does go magic, it is a pretty good defensive mechanism in the process. All right, guys. Excuse me, almost about to die here. It's just Gunther. The other guys don't hit me, but Gunther destroys me and I keep attacking him by mistake. Um, also getting like 14 cakes being an hour just stabbing away at Barbarians. So that's why I'm still here as I'm thinking what to do. Decided to actually stay here until 35 attack strictly because you know i want to make sure i get some more training in this episode because i definitely will be going melee in the fight but even though i'm definitely going melee i'm really thinking about it maybe 33 magic isn't the worst thing to do in this episode link might feel inclined to go magic if he gets put next to a magic store especially considering he lands a steel dagger as of last episode and the whole cake situation the fight takes forever if he has magic he'd rip through me magic defense is pretty big and i would say if i have 33 it could double as magic defense i can get the gold bars anytime i want especially now that i can teleport i mean if i get 33 magic i can tell you to varrock but even if i don't have laws i can still tell you home i can still walk my way up to varrock um but i'm gonna get it in a very specific way i'm gonna spend my 13,000 coins and get fire strike lots of fire strikes once i hit 13 magic and i'm gonna go for the weapon poison at the ankus 
it's not going to be the fastest XP by any means because safe spotting them might be kind of a bitch. But they drop their weapon poison 1 in 50. And I can get an Addy Dagger from Varrock as well, provided I have like, uh, I'm going to assume it's around like 2k, maybe 3k at most. And uh, I'm going to die if I attack Gunther over there. And then I could poison the dagger and that would be huge in the fight. It'd be huge. He also might have a rune scimitar. I don't know. If he got put in already, I can't imagine. But uh, that's going to be the plan. So the moment we get 35 attack, we're out of here. To buy runes and to get 33 magic. Just saw that a possessed pickaxe was here. So I attacked it to get a eye pickaxe upgrade. Because uh, we're currently rocking bronze. I thought might as well attack it. It did take a little bit of... Uh, they are level 50. So it did take a bit of my food away. But it was worth it. Oh, it spawned here again. I thought that was a steel pickaxe on the floor. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, so for my next training, I'm going to be training on dwarves. The reason is they drop bars, which are going to be useful. They also drop ore, just like that, um, which we can then smelt straight away here. There's also quite a few spawns. I think there's six around this area. Um, and along with that, they also drop nature runes and chaos runes. So uh, just a nice, like, all-round sort of monster. Um, and because they've got, like, three defense or something, I hit them pretty much every time, which gives really good XP rates. Um, so, yeah, this is what we're going to be doing. We'll see what we can get together and then uh, hopefully return to the Moss Giants later on with our stats a little bit higher. And this is going to be 40 attack coming in. Uh... I don't know whether it's going for strength or defense next. I am going to jump onto defense for now. Um, just while I work out whether we can get a max hit or not with this myth uh, sword. So if I get 36 strength, I will be able to hit sixes while on accurate. And that's definitely something I want to be doing. So we're going to go for 36 strength now. Hopefully hit up the moss giants very soon as well. So because we haven't stolen from anything, I am now going to go ahead and sell all my silk off because as soon as we steal cakes or from the silk stall again, then we won't be able to sell to the silk merchant for 30 minutes. Then we're going to spend the last hour 24 um, over at Moss Giants, try and get those upgrades that we're looking for and go for that 36 strength as well. So that's the plan. Let's see how we do. Yes, get it in there that's exactly what we wanted actually decent uh a decent upgrade seven stab six slash i will take that if we can just get the uh to be honest i don't really need it but if we can get the uh, magic staff i'd be very happy <sighs> do i just sack this and get better xp though i don't really need the magic staff there's a very good chance i'll get a staff at some point <sighs> Yeah, okay, we'll do this kill. We'll do this kill, and then uh, and then I'm out of here, because uh, I'd rather the XP. I really would. All right, there we go, guys. 35 attack. Not going to waste any time at all. Going to buy staff, buy the runes, swing on up here. I'm actually probably going to mage the barbarians for 13 magic. The moment I get 13, it's down in the stronghold of security. I'm going to use my leftover kebabs to... Go in there because it's not a perfect safe spot. I definitely will take some damage. So I'll take more armor along with me as well. And if I ever need more food, I'm not going to waste my cakes. Because again, I don't know if I'm going to have access to more cakes in the future. So all my cakes will be saved for specifically the final fight until I get better food that I'm able to unlock. I doubt I'm going to get much for this, but uh, we're basically 14k of 14.7. Okay, so I'm not going to buy too many staffs. I think I'm just going to buy an air and a fire. Um, the rest I could just use the normal runes for because I am not working with too much money here. And um, then, yeah, just going to dump money in runes and hopefully that'll suffice. Let's do this. And there's 13 magic, guys, wasting absolutely no time running straight down there. We don't really have too many casts. I didn't realize how expensive it actually would be, um, but I don't really regret my decision either. It's going to be fun. Um, something to look forward to. Maybe we can get that first big drop of the series because the weapon poison would be huge. And even if we don't get it, we're still getting our magic level, getting ready for recoils um, whenever that time may be when we can get that crafting level together, which it won't be this episode, but we're planning ahead. All right, so we're going to run in. We're going to have to tank some. Um, of course, I don't want to mage with the armor on. I'm a little bit scared. Like in this fucker coming oh my gosh can i not all right hold on a sec it's gonna take some getting used to guys 
This one I can do it over. That one I can't. Okay. It's going to take some juggling. Uh, maybe I can aggro them here like that. Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. They have a decent amount of HP. So if we get the drop, we will be getting lucky. Because I don't think I'll be able to kill 50 with 8, 17 casts. Um, I don't know why I haven't switched spells yet. Bit awkward. So we actually changed rooms. I... I googled a safe spot because the other one really was not working out at all and I was kind of panicking a little bit, but uh, we sorted it out. So we're going to camp here until we use up all of our runes, which is already going through pretty quick, but really hoping we get lucky. But even if we don't, like I said, we just get a nice magic level um, and then it might be just back to training. If we can get 33 magic at the very least, I'll be happy. I actually missed the level because I was getting so into my Spotify playlist. Um, so we can now hit sixes with um, Accura on. But if I go to 38 and ensure that I have superhuman strength on for every hit, then we can actually stick on aggressive and hit sevens in the fight. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to get 38 strength. We're easily going to get that in the time. Um, and then I'll just put the rest of the time into defense. Hopefully get like, I don't know, 33, 34, somewhere like that. Um, not feeling too confident. I don't feel like this area offered too much. But we did get the upgrades we wanted, which is nice. Um, just a real, real shame that we couldn't unlock the magic shop. And down here, because we would have had such a good, such a good head start. But it's the way it goes. So I do think we are going to lose this fight. But I am happy with the gains that we've got. This is, there we go, 38 strength coming in. So we can now hit 7s in the fight as long as we're on aggressive. Just going to spend the next probably 10, 15 minutes getting some defense levels. Uh, and then I'll allocate the next like 5, 10 to getting some cakes. So, yeah, as I say, I really think he would have had to have some poor, poor picks to not beat this build. Because he was already looking pretty strong. He had a better weapon than this last episode. Yeah, it's not looking good for me. It is not looking good for me. But the one thing we could control was getting the stats up. And that is what we've done. And uh, yeah, let's see what these last 19 minutes bring me and then uh, we'll get into the fight. And there we go, 32 defense coming in. And that is where I'm going to stop there and we are going to get cakes and stuff like that for the rest of the time. Just so I've got it in case I don't have access to cakes in the next region. To be honest, in the next region, I want to have better than cakes anyway. So I'm not going to get too many. I think I've got like 12 in the bank right now. So... We're not going to go absolutely crazy here because next region, surely we can upgrade this food. We're not going back in with bloody cake, surely not. So guys, we are at 31 magic. We didn't get 33, but we do have access now to teleport to Lumbridge and teleport to Varrock, which are two huge upgrades. I actually went to teleport there just now, but I used literally every single air rune I had. So a little awkward. We're just going back to Varrock now. Actually, do I want to go back to Varrock? I could just start training right back at the um, at the Barbarians. I don't actually need to bang. We already have our food sorted. I actually want to try to get pots as well, but um, unfortunately, I'm one unlock away from getting in the Edgeville dungeon, both from this side and from this side. It just, just, just missed it um, because the Apothecary... He will give you a strength pot if you have Limpwort Roots, which you have a ton from Hill Giants and Red Spider's Eggs. So unfortunately, we didn't get any pots, we didn't get any recoils, we didn't get any poison. But the account is definitely coming along, and I'm pretty happy. Now, if we can unlock some better crafting method, we can teleport right to Varrock and complete recoils. Um, the poison as well, we can teleport right to Varrock and do that. The problem is with that is just... It's just going to take time. Magic isn't the quickest skill when you're only casting level 13 spell. But um, it is what it is. Sometimes you're going to roll with the punches. Today it wasn't in the stars, but um, next episode it might be. So uh, what do I want to train, actually? You know, I'm going to get some defense levels. I'm going to stay pretty rounded just because right now we're, you know, the defense levels will come much quicker than attack levels. And, you know, every level will help in a fight. So... Let's get some defense and 37 minutes. I will let you guys know what stats I am and then we're going to hop into the fight. And we are coming up on the last 10 seconds of the episode. So I'm going to get in a few more hits before I stop the timer. Let's get in one more after this. 
And we had a four at night. Let's pause that. Okay, let's run away. Just so we don't get attacked because we didn't end up killing him. Cool. So, 35 attack, 40 strength, 35 defense. We actually just got 35 defense and then I switched to attack. Barely got any XP into it. Uh, we are now 45 combat, 20 prayer. Um, I will replenish my stats, of course, before the fight. We have that full inventory of cakes. Um, we have magic defense now in case he does go magic this episode. I, I feel like I'm pretty well-rounded. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the recoils. Unfortunately, we didn't get the poison. But we now have Televarok and Teleport to Lumbridge. So we can get back to this region pretty much no matter where we are. So, or where we are next episode, I should say. Really excited about this fight. Fairly confident. We're looking like an absolute tank. Two Addy pieces, Mithril, and an Iron Kite Shield. Basically, everything here is an upgrade, which is amazing. So I will see you guys in the final fight. So I've not done three rounds of food. We've got plenty in the bank. We're going to spend the last three minutes trying to get an HP level and get close to a defense level. Wow, Snake Grass Seed? That is rare as shit. Underpaid. How rare is that? Show everyone. That's got to be rare. Don't think we're going to get the HP level, but we will get a prayer level if we drop one of these. Let's take that quickly. I also made sure that we got enough bread here so that if we do get Death Plateau, I'll have the bread in the bank ready. Uh, i got a few more pieces in the bank as well. We'll just need Trout and Iron Bars, which we also got from the Dwarves earlier. So, you know, maybe we'll get the Hail Mary and uh, land on death plateau and all that good stuff <laughs> but uh yeah that is going to be the time 46 seconds left i don't think we get the hp level we need four more guard kills that's not going to happen in that time so we will probably get that hp level in the fight which uh you know doesn't really matter whether we get it now or then but uh there we go the setup is what we're wearing to be honest plus an inventory of cakes um i did look into it if i bring the strength pot i can hit eight but only when the strength pot is at full I don't really want to waste it for that, so uh, yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. We are gonna just uh, leave the strength pot for another day. Here we go, ten seconds left, and then we will go and fight Kinos and see who's gonna take this. Let's take the coins. Let's take the coins. Coins over XP, and then let's get one hit in. Bang, and another one. <sighs> Some might say that was under the timer. Some might say it wasn't. You probably Team Link if you said it was under the timer, and Team Rog if you said it wasn't. But anyway. Let's go into it, and we are 57 XP away from 37 uh, HP. 32 defense, 38 strength, and 40 attack. Not feeling too confident. We're looking way too bare from the waist down, but uh, we'll give it a go, as always. Let's see who's going to take this. Link, episode 3 reveal. Here we are. How do you feel about your progression, man? Uh... That's a good think, start. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, we spoke briefly off camera, and I told you that I wasn't too happy with my uh, my chunk. Yeah, you said you fucked up or something. You thought you <laughs> well, could... Well, I didn't fuck up, mate. But oh. I'll tell you what I got. I got the Chasm of Fire chunk. Um, oh. Which obviously isn't too far away from the Catacombs of Karen. Oh, and I was no. Like, dude, stop reliving my fucking last episode. Legit, legit, what the legit. Fuck? So I oh, was like, oh, sick. God. It was it was three squares to the Catacombs of Karen, then one up, and then one to the right magic shop. So I was like, I'll steal th silk, I'll buy a staff and magic runes, and I'll go down and safe spot fire giants. Rune Simi by the end of the episode, no worries. Turns out the Chasm of Fire chunk is right on the line of where some barricades are, and you have to go one down to are get to Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like, like, yes. Pins. Not even like, not even like two or three squares. It is exactly lined up with the chunk. So you have to go down. Oh, so I was. I, my so gosh. it became. It became very similar to your situation. Choose the magic shop or choose the catacombs of Karen. And I had no way to make money, so I had to choose the catacombs of Karen. <laughs> that was oh, so fucking fuming, bro. So I literally pretty much did what you did last episode. <laughs> <laughs> so first you're reliving past seasons, Link, and now you're fucking doing what I did last episode. Great. I'm, this, I'm this hating is, it. <laughs> this is what they came to watch. I was able to connect to my first region. So I was also reliving. Really? Yeah, I had the clan wars, What where the old clan wars was. 
Well, they actually right. put hill giants now, which I didn't realize that. So that was... off camera, Ken said that he had a he had a chunk that changed, and I was like, "What the hell is he talking about?" They've changed it to like an altar or something, haven't they? Yeah, there's like a cathedral type shit there, an abbey is right. what they call it. That's fucking barbarian village, probably. Oh fuck, that's really bad. That's really bad. He sounds oh, no. so stressed. Because I can already picture what you've got. Okay. I, I, all right, I'm going to take a stab at it. You ready? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Addy plate legs, Miss plate body, Addy full helm, Addy sword. <laughs> yeah, fucking BS, mate. BS. Fucking BS. <laughs> I'm fucking raging. Dude, I also spent an hour, <laughs> an hour maybe. Uh, so I did the stronghold of security, got 10k. Spent it all oh, on runes. Of course you did. All on runes. I got 31 magic killing ankus. Killed 35 of them. No weapon poison. So you're oh, lucky. God you're that. fucking lucky for that. But teleport Varrock. And I also unlock Lumber's teleport. So anytime I want to go back there, oh. I can. So watch out. Like, but you didn't unlock the Grand Exchange Square. No. Just or because I know reason. someone's going to say it, why didn't I unlock the um, Champions Guild? Is because getting 32 quest points would be <laughs> the most difficult thing in the series. So. Yeah, I think later on when a lot of chunks are open, you could probably scrape it together. But right now it's not even worth it. Trying yeah. to get into your plan, I don't think so. I agree with that. Hard agree. You'll have man. a you'll have a chance to just click that square at some point later on. So, yeah, um, it. Link. So you had the um, the chasm of fire, or where it used yeah, to be, because that, that's also changed, hasn't it? I could have sworn that was like chasm ooh. of fire is just above Shazian. Right. So then you have and... the Shazian shop. Don't they sell like an Addy Sim in there? Or is that yeah, what no, no, no. So, so my chunks got even better, mate. Um, so I was like, oh, no worries. There's, a sh there's an armor and a weapon shop. I'll just go and use that. Turns out you need 45 favor to get there. So I was like, okay, no worries. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, no worries. I'll just go one chunk down and I'll do the zero favor task. It won't take that long. Turns out the whole task is in that chunk except for one. And this is again, one oh. chunk, <laughs> one, one tile where you pick up the bandages and 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 that's where you get your bandages from. So I could not do anything in Shazian. I had to go up to the fucking Dwarven Mine shit and go that way. <laughs> Mate, I'm fuming. I am raging. Because I guess I'm going to guess you are still using that. I, actually. Oh, okay. Moss Giants. Moss oh, giants. right, 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 right. Um, okay. okay. And then Moss Giants also dropped me a black. Nice. Any legs? No. I. This is what I have. Okay, so that's everything. That's everything. Okay. I'm so um... I'm so far behind. I can't believe this. I so, cannot believe. It. Did get a shield upgrade? Not much, but it is from Hill Giants, an Iron Kite shield. Right. Yep. Um, bought a red cape. Bought leather gloves. And I have God. these, and oh, I God. have the gold necklace from the episode prior. So I now have every spot filled except for a ring. I'm assuming you were training all episode two. I mean, looking at your sword. Uh, the uh, only thing I did other than train was steel silk. Ooh, did you did you do you have a nice reserve of cash then? Or uh, I think I got about twenty k in the bank now. Right, I do that. When I save money, I blew it all in the first like five minutes of this episode. Wow. So, yeah. At least you could blow it, kids. Look at you. You actually look like you're ready for a fight. I've I've turned out half half assed. Oh mate, I'm I'm actually fuming with how far behind <laughs> yes. I look right now. Kins, I've got cakes. I don't know what you've got. Same. I wanna see your okay. combat level first though, man. Alright. So On go. Yeah, cool. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Oh, okay. Wow, Ooh, wow, 40 wow. attack. Yeah, I mean, you did say attack. you had that rune simi plan, so I guess that makes sense. 38 strength, 32 defense. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I guess you you, you did say you had that plan for the rune simi with fire giants and. Yeah, and I feel like I now have two places that have rune simis in the Zami warriors and the fire giants. So I was like, I'll get the 40. So if I do get a magic shop and possibly a teleport then I'll be able to just go and head over and try and get the rune simi. So that's why I got the 40 attack. Right, right. No, makes sense.
All right, man, <sighs> I'm going to go grab my cakes and we will fire into this fight. Cool. Link's talking about how he's scared to fight me right now, guys. Can you believe this? Mate, look at this. Oh! <laughs> oh dude. I better get a good chunk. I better get a good oh, chunk. Oh, gosh. All right, Link. You attack the Never Man, and we'll fly right into this. We won't keep him waiting. All right. Here we go. Here's your two-second warning, mate. Thank you, thank you. Oh, nice. Good starting start. Starting off strong. Link, I could hit eight, so watch out, okay? I can hit sevens, actually. Really? Wow, weapons yeah. are fucking dog shit when they're this slow. And if I brought my strength pot, I could have hit eights, but I was like, I'm not bringing it. <laughs> like, I'm not <laughs> wasting it. Point, I'm just trying to deplete into your cakes, mate. Oh, but I really hope neither of us turn up with cakes next episode, mate. That's got to be our homework, okay? <laughs> oh, dude, I'm telling you, if if cakes are an option and I can't think of anything better, I'm bringing cakes. So don't don't even try to. I want to see those teas from you, mate. That 200 IQ tea strap. It's funny though, Link. If I never got cakes that one day, um. I think you'd have this because genuinely i don't know what else i would get for food kebabs they they, they they're trash they, they are, are trash. trash and i think someone in the comments said they actually did lower your stats no they they can they just don't hit damage anymore right yeah yeah so, they can so i think you're actually lowered stats at some point in the fight Ooh. Ooh, i should probably eat <sighs> yeah man you're getting a bit bit casual over there Ooh. oh turn down man I mean, I, one. to be honest, I am out of prayer points. Um, so, my guy's probably flicking away like crazy over there. I am, mate. I'm flicking the bean. Okay. Right. No. Come on, one more. One more fat stack. Stab him in the joints. Like, you know, right wow. between the shoulder. Cause I'm not stabbing through that plate mail, dude. Going for my willy, mate. <laughs> I can't believe I've just said that. I... Ugh, dear. I'm happy that Willy's in some way made an appearance in the PvP challenges. And he'll never know it. That's great. When I go for my runs, I run past him and sometimes I give him a carrot. There's some context for everyone listening. <laughs> I, I will underpaid leave this in. Would you leave this in if you were editing it? Probably not. <laughs> no. In, in, in fact, he probably just cuts half the fight out and this will just... Poor Willy won't get any fame whatsoever. Imagine you click on a RuneScape video expecting RuneScape content, it's just two fuckers talking about a fucking <laughs> Shetland pony. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. No. Is he out? Oh, he's <sighs> out. He is out. How much food? How much food, Kins? 15 HP. 11 cakes. Okay, it's, it's, it's okay. It's not awful. Less it's than a gap of episode one, to be fair. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Yes. Uh. Yes, 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 yes. 20k combat XP, 15k for you, Link. But yeah. we have uh, regions to pick. So we'll see Correct. you back here. So next week isn't going to be combat XP, mate. This is the last consecutive week of uh, combat XP. So use it wisely. Yes. Use it wisely, mate. All right, guys. So let's pull up the RNG, the random number generator, and let's waste absolutely no time. 321. Where's that? Where's 321? Um, fuck. Okay. Okay. Hold on. We're going to have to control F this. 321. Where's that? Oh. <gasps> Gosh, we can still connect to our previous region, but we have that's Barrows. That's Barrows. That literally is the Barrows one. <laughs> I can't do it. But oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do here. This is big. I get the abandoned mine, which they drop a bunch of weird shit down there. 
Oh my gosh. I I really don't know what I'm going to do with this. There's definitely some stuff I can do. And even if I can't do much with it now, like I said, I can connect to the Mage Training Arena. That's three of six. And then I could just expand the region I'm already at. What the fudge, man? Okay. All right. Let's go talk to Link. Okay, Beezer Jeez. It is time. Please, please, please. Can we get a decent chunk? Please. Generate 56. That is... That's over. That's Zaya. That's Zaya. Oh, please. Please, please, please let me connect up. Guys. It is Hasidious. It's middle of Hasidious. That is huge. It means we've obviously got these chunks unlocked over here so I can then connect up to the magic shop. I can do the plan I wanted to do this episode. We can also get into the Forthos dungeon or whatever you want to call it. There's weapon poison. There's rune daggers from the... Uh, from what are they called? The, the red spiders. There's dragons in there. I'm pretty sure the dragons can be safe spotted as well. There's all sorts of other stuff. There's sand crabs if I want to sit in AFK. There's... I'm very happy. Very, very happy. I think there's some fishing spots here as well. I don't know if we can use them or not. We will see. This is good. This is probably the best chunk we've had in a very long while. Or probably whole, the whole series, to be honest. I'm super satisfied, as Kins would say. Oh. <laughs> is that a happy or an unhappy? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you sound happy. No, sound no, happy. no. Trust me, I'm giggling to to hide my fear of not knowing how I, to handle this situation. If that webcam was on right now, I know there'd be a massive grin. He <laughs> no. zoomed in. <laughs> Fuck's sake. He's probably pulled like fucking more of Varrock and he's gonna go out to Falador now and oh mate. <laughs> no, no, it's not it's uh... not Varrock. I did not land in Varrock, Link. I'll I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Okay. Well, I mean, right. you sound stressed again. Um, all I'm gonna say is, like, I can fucking love the uh, the randomizer <laughs> choke picker mix. It, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. So that's sarcasm. You got a you got a Fantastic. fucking shitty unlock. Yes. Love being thrown at the bottom of Mosler Harmless. That's great. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the PvP progression series. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist in the description and in the top right corner of this video. If you just click that, it will take you through every single episode and you can get yourself caught up. Just finished up doing my magic. Just finished up doing my rewards. That's why these stats are down a little bit. Um, and we got 15k XP to use and I put that into magic. So we now have 36 magic, which unlocks a few more spells. And to be honest, we're getting close to like the Falador's, Teleport to House, etc. Wind Blast. Um, and we'll probably get those today, hopefully. So, we got the Hasidious chunk last episode. I have five unlocks, five squares I can click now. And I've got a few good reasons for why I'm going to do this. So, the first one is going to be this chunk here. Uh, mainly because I'll be able to start fishing. Um, and we can get ourselves shrimps here. There's also snake grass on here, which will be useful for when we make prayer potions later on in the account, so it's good to unlock those now. Um, 15 fishing will allow me to then use the fishing trawler minigame teleport and get back here, uh, so I'll be able to use the chunks that I previously unlocked. I don't know why that's locked, there we go. Uh, so I'll be able to use the previously unlocked chunks over here by using the minigame teleport. Unfortunately, with what I'm gonna be unlocking, there's no way for me to get back to Zaya um so it will be a case of when i'm ready to do it um then we will leave there and we'll go back to the fishing trawler um you know squares i could unlock the tie farm down here and then if i walk in i get the tie farm tally and that would be a mini game teleport back to zaya but unfortunately if i go down to those squares i can't do what i want to do here so next up we're going to unlock port piscarillus um and this will unlock the ship to port Sarim slash land's end and so hopefully at some point we will be unlocking port sarim and then once we unlock that we'll have uh, free travel between port sarim and zaya so that's why i've done that and then obviously to get to this chunk i actually need this one unlocked it does have a pub which sells wines might be useful um for just some cheap healing food um and then we're going to unlock this chunk here not for any particular reason there is a lesser demon which is actually where i got my magic xp there is a lesser demon up 
stairs here and it's actually not behind a cage or anything. You can safe spot it, but it is um, freely moving. So any drops are very easy to just pick up. And then for my last unlock, obviously, is going to be the Archaeus Chunk getting ourselves the Staff Shop and the Magic Shops as well which is going to be really, really nice. That means we can have access to runes. We've got the catacombs. Hey guys, and welcome to episode four of the PvP progression series. As you guys know, I spun the Barrows chunk, which is pretty big, I think, in terms of not having to worry too much about it later. I mean, the problem right now, I'm, I'm kind of trapped in Mauritania, or I should say I'm trapped from getting back to Mauritania. There are ways to get here, of course. Um, but like the minigame teleports locked and everything, but what what I really should be talking about is how Martini can't really offer me anything uh, From from where I am on the account right now Bergerot is blocked off I'd waste so many squares going to Canifist. I'd waste so many going to Port Fastimus, which is kind of blocked off anyway I would only do it for the charter ships, but there's no ships currently leading there right now So I'm kind of at a loss for unlocking anything other than connecting it to the main chunk, because it's really close to that first unlock that I've had. Because, um, of course, once you connect to a different landmass, you can then, as you can see, add on to other um, areas that it's connected to. So that's why I kind of wasted a straight line going towards it, just so I can unlock things elsewhere that I've already unlocked, basically. Um, now, I want to say real quick, I really did think about unlocking the abandoned mine. But the problem is, there's no real way for me to get food here. Bergdurat is blocked off. I cannot fish sharks. And even these slimy eels and the snails, I have one cooking. Um, there is absolutely no way for me to get food. I think there is a bank in Tarn's Lair. But the problem is, is one, you have to pay him every time you have access to it. And with the traps and stuff, I'd, I'd go through all my cakes. And I'm going to need to save those for the fight anyway. Because um, I'm still rocking those cakes still. So that's why there's a straight line through Mortania to get to this landmass. Because I wanted to unlock other stuff. Because as you guys know, we have this teleport. Thankfully, we did unlock the Lumbridge because we don't start with anything in our inventory. So I would have been trapped, essentially, unless I got to that bank in the abandoned mine or wasted squares up to Canifis. So... Other than those three, which unfortunately are a bit of a waste, which will come in handy much later in the episodes, um, I wanted to unlock cows to start uh, crafting. I know we're going to get XP rewards, but I'd rather try to go for a uh, Ring of Recoil this episode rather than hold off on it, because then I could put my XP in fishing or maybe just get a higher crafting level, you know? Um, crafting is going to be huge for mid-game, especially like 50 crafting, you get a, uh, what's it called, a Strength Ami. And I think that's probably the highest one that's reasonable. I think a power is like 70 crafting, which is a bit ridiculous. But uh, so I think 50 crafting is where I want to get to. But I'd rather get 20 this episode if I can. Um, up here, I unlocked this just to get the dungeon so I can get to red spider's eggs. It also unlocks uh, chaos druids, which I think will be very useful later on. And then as you see, this one's kind of a dead unlock. But I want to work my way towards these two squares because that is Druidic Ritual, which of course is why I also have Edgeville because herbs, this allows me to start herb lore. And uh, that that is ultimately the main goal. Okay, let's start the timer. Boom, there we go. And the first thing I'm gonna do is grab out a net and we're gonna start doing that fishing so that we can get ourselves 15 fishing and access to the mini game teleport or fishing trawler. There is our first inventory and also four fishing coming in. Uh, I'm going to be cooking as well because I do have a food plan. I won't reveal it just now, but uh, I think I have a pretty cool food plan that uh, we'll try and execute later on. Hopefully I can get in here. I feel like a lot of Hasidius is like, you can't use this because you don't have the favor, etc. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm just going to be getting my cooking up at the same time. Um, and yeah, we, we need a decent level. We need a decent level, I won't lie. But uh, I think I've got a plan on how to get some seriously quick cooking XP if we need it. Before we carry on with any more cooking, I am just going to get myself some silk together. Let's quickly lure this guy. And yeah, just going to get some silk together because obviously we've got to wait for the cooldown for it to actually sell. Uh, so it's a good idea to do that now while I'm still, you know, not needing the money. So we're just going to quickly do that. Okay, that should do me for all the runes I want to buy. 167 and I got 13k from last episode. So let's get the net. Let's carry on and getting these uh, fishing and cooking levels. 
and then we'll hopefully be close to the cooldown in terms of being able to sell the silk and then we can get into trying to get a rune scimitar and of course trying to get some upgrades. There we go, that is 15 fishing. Took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but we now can use the minigame teleport to the fishing trawler so we can now get back to our area over in Yanil. Um, now I'm gonna have to get 30 cooking. This wouldn't take long at all. I've got a food shop right here in the square and there's also somewhere to cook just next to it as well. So it's just gonna be a case of buying cheap food, cooking it, bang, bang, bang. 30 cooking is the next thing we need. So unfortunately, this is going to be pretty shit XP in terms of combat. I also put all my 20k XP in strength to keep pushing up that max hit. Um, I want to be as powerful as possible with melee. Plus, later in the series, we'll probably get some fat XP rewards. And I can get my range and magic up pretty high if I want to through that as well. So uh, ultimately, right now, crafting experience. And I also want to start cooking. Especially if I put my XP in fishing from the reward, whether I win or lose in this episode, I can get my fishing up to an okay level, I'm sure. And if I can start cooking and hopefully work towards that uh, 33 so I can actually get in the guild and get that food upgrade. Um, and Port Serum is also kind of close-ish. I, I, I actually technically could unlock Port Serum, but look, it would have been blocked off. I have to unlock these as well, which would have been possible because I wasted the three in Mortania. Um, I can't do a rat pits telly and I can't do the farming patch tree spirit telly. So those ideas were shot, but um, we're, we're stuck crafting and killing cows, which I do think is going to be the solid plan because I think Link might wait till next episode to go for recoils if he can, of course. I mean, I don't know his region right now, but um, he's probably going to put his XP into crafting unless, he's get, unless he gets the Druidic Ritual one, which will probably go straight to Herblore because um, that's exactly what I would have done. And I know we think alike on that front, so... Unfortunately, can't put the XP into Herblore this episode. I did want to get there, but wasn't possible. So crafting, crafting's going to be your move this episode, guys. And hopefully get our melee stats up a little bit. Are you kidding me? Look at how many I freaking burnt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I burnt 12 out of 14. Oh my gosh, it's going to be one of those days. Oh, at least we're mainly here for crafting experience. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This random event gives a bunch of fishing XP, doesn't it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, wait, is this the island one? Yes. Fishing. Fishing. Hold on. This is massive. Okay. All right. Give me the statue. I don't think you guys realize how crucial this really is. Guys, early fishing levels sucks, which is why I wanted to put the XP reward into it. Um, it's going to get me to like seven fishing. It's got to be seeing you. See you later, Bob. Come on. Come on. Where's my XP? Seven fishing. Let's fucking go. All right, guys. Just leave myself 18 coins from that farmer over there. That little motherfucker failed like four times trying to get it. We are now 13 cooking, seven fishing still from that random event. Um, I don't fully know how many hides I have in the bank, but I am done cooking now. Let me stop picking up that because the levels are pretty slow and I think it's not worth it at this point. I'll never get 33 this episode unless that was my sole goal. And honestly, that's a waste of time. I'd rather train than, you know, cook beef all episode, but I got a nice head start. So now I can cook other things when I'm thrown in different areas, but I keep getting thrown in the same damn area. So, which isn't a bad problem, by the way, but guys, Let's go tan these after this inventory. I think I'm gonna have like 160 around that. Right, this has taken way, way longer than I thought it was going to. But uh, this is 29, going into 30. Should be 30 coming up in this inventory. But it has taken a lot more time than I thought. That is my whole cash stack. I just brought a little bit out. So we do have like another 5k or something in the bank right now. So we're not looking too bad on money. There is 30 coming in. I will just quickly do the last ones because I'm going to have to get higher cooking at some point anyway because obviously we will be going for those potato and cheeses etc at some point um, and we actually have everything we need in this shop here um, and then we also have a dairy cow just around the corner as well so potato and cheeses are pretty doable for us. Uh, I think in our other area, we can make potato and cheeses there as well. So yeah, in your nil we can. Uh, so that is definitely something worth doing. Just cook all these and now I can finally make what I wanted to make in terms of food for the final fight. We are nearly, we nearly used two hours, oh my god, to do all of that. That is crazy, but uh, yeah, we'll drop all of these. Uh, yeah, let's go and do it. 
Okay, so jug on the sink, water together. Let's drop some apples for now, and let's put this. No, 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 no. I'm so in the in the zone of doing that because I've just done that for like 20 minutes. Right, so we make pie thingies, put them on the pies. I think we put the apples in the pies. Yeah, to make an apple pie. Beautiful. So we're going to be taking apple pies into the fight. And that is why we've gone ahead and got 30 cooking. They heal 7 a bite and they have 2 bites. So 14 heals is what we're going to be getting from the apple pies. Which is very, very nice. Let's see what the burn rate is going to be like. Please don't be too bad. Okay, that's good. Good start. Ooh, very nice. Bad. Okay, and one more. Go on. Yes, okay. Doesn't look like the burn rate's going to be too bad here. We're going to work with that, see what we can do, and uh, top off on that 20 crafting so we can make the um, the recoils or the sapphire rings to make the recoils. And just because I know someone's going to ask uh, for the cooking, I can't even do cook's assistant because I don't have access to the windmill, and I can't do sheep shear because, you know, blocked off. And I wasn't going to waste a square to get, like, a quick five crafting, especially when I have cows. All right, let's get out our needle. Let's get out our thread. 50 of them, that should be enough. And we have 169 leather. So now I'm gonna make the best thing I could make. The next thing being leather boots at level seven, nine to 11 leather cowls and so on and so forth until we hit 20 basically. Now again, this won't get me to 20, but uh, I'm gonna use this to see roughly how many more I need after I finish the 169. And then of course, after that, back to cows and wrap up the 20 crafting. But um, it's taking quite a long time. 17 crafting from 169 leather. Now the XP kept shooting up with the leather bodies I can make now. It's 25 XP at level 18. I can get 27 XP per, um, per cow killed. So yeah, we're slowly, you know, chipping away at it. It should be relatively quick from this point forward. We'll also probably get, at least I hope we'll get, 46 strength in the meantime as well the, the xp is absolute garbage here as one could expect again i'm not going to worry about cooking the beef this time we're just going to full send the hides and go for that 20 crafting because there's still more we have to do to get the recoils we still need 33 magic and we still need to find cosmics with which hill giants do actually drop cosmics 1 in 64 and i haven't gotten any but i think i might go there for cosmics because i know it's good xp and good prayer xp so but we'll see. We're just going to play it by year and um, see what happens. Ooh, just one-shotting these cows, man. 20 crafting has been achieved. And we can now, in fact, do sapphire rings. We're also a bit low on cash, so we got to scrape together some stuff here. I know I have some death runes, which I might just chuck in the bank. Not the bank. The general store or the maid shop, even, and try to get some coins from that. And work around that also need to top off on 33 magic so we're gonna head to varrock the moment i craft this last one and boom spank everything and we're off all right we are at the mage shop so let's hope we can get a nice pretty penny with this stuff um a little less than i wanted to we're gonna sell five per world and just hop and then just spend all the money on runes. I was being a bit of an idiot there. I can just literally make the pies right here and then go and uh, cook them all at once rather than doing trips. So uh, that is what we're doing right now. And uh, I think this is actually going to be enough now. So let's go and do this. Just did a few more um, just to make absolutely sure. But let's go and cook and let's hope we don't burn too many of these. That is painful. That is really, really painful. I don't know how many I cooked before. Let's have a look. 23 so we do need to make a few more a bit annoying but uh it's the way it goes i need the food for the fight hopefully all hopefully this will bring me the win much better although i say that and i start burning them but we only needed five so that is enough i have food for the final fight let's get into actually getting, getting some combat up bloody hell okay after selling all that 22k is the bank value or the coins that we have now first thing i'm going to do is get myself a couple of staves i think is, is that the plural staff i don't even know let me know comment section um uh, it's the next one brilliant so we are going to get ourselves a air staff and a fire staff uh the reason for that is we're going to be using fire strike to kill zamorak warriors and i'm gonna go magic in the fight you bastard. 
Oh no, don't, no, 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 no. Obviously we do all the testing on the main, so I like tested my plan, but obviously I've got Arceus favor on that. Oh, please don't say it. Please don't say it. Trade. Okay, we can use the Jenny store. Okay, so we can get we can get those runes, which is good. Can we use this one? No. Oh shit. Doesn't sell chaos runes. Doesn't sell chaos runes. Oh no. Does sell blood? It's like what the fuck? I wasn't going to originally do this, but I decided to take my runes over to um, the Ankus again and try to go for that weapon poison. It's not many casts, but it definitely will get us 33 magic for uh, Teletonetic. Where is Teletonetic? There it is. And uh, it'll give us a little extra shot at getting that weapon poison as well, which is another goal of mine. Only problem with that is getting money together. So maybe we can get lucky. There we go, guys. Just got 33 magic. Um, I'm not going to leave just yet. I'm still going to use up all my runes for the chance at the weapon poison. But the moment water runes, we're done maging for this episode. And uh, it's on to completing that recoil. Oh my gosh. 17 kills. 17 kills today. I think it was like 30-something last time. Guys. Guys, guys, guys. Fuck that. Let's go back. Let's go back. You know what? I'm going to go right for that gold bar as well. Um, we do have to sell some stuff. We have 38 blood runes that we got as well from that, plus whatever we have in the bank. So we definitely have the money. The gold bar. Come on. <laughs> I do have more laws in the bank. Uh, okay, let's get a second one of those. And, uh, yeah, then it's cosmic runes. And get the money for an Addy Dagger. I'm so freaking excited. So we got our two gold bars, and we're gonna come over to the shopkeeper here, see how much coins they buy these blood runes for. Uh, 160. Okay, I'm gonna sell five to each world. I'm not gonna sell the death runes because I'll save those for the uh, magic shop for another time. Um, but yeah, I do want to get that adamant dagger, and that is incredibly slow hop times. Holy crap. So, um, I'm gonna sell all of them simply because we also need to buy sapphires. And we could do that in Alcarid as well, which is where I'm going next to kill hill giants for cosmics. And it's also where the furnace is, so I could, uh, you know, sculpt all this together. Nope, what am I doing? 800 coins for an adamant dagger? Fuck off. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Luckily, I think the Zamorite Warriors dropped Chaos Runes, is that correct? No. Okay, that is my, um... That's my plan out the window, to be honest, guys. I was going to go magic. I was going to use um, Wind Blast for the fight. We're still going to have to do the same thing with Fire Strike. We're going to have to buy runes. Okay, uh, I'll talk about what I got in a minute. Fishing Trawler, let's go. So I'm not going to be able to return to Zaya now. So I've done everything I want to do. I've got my apple pies. I made the money from the silk so we could do this. I didn't really get the ratios right, but I didn't want to waste too much time. So we do have a few more. We've got 771 casts, effectively. Um, or just under with the fire runes, not quite doing it. Just thought I'd quickly grab the robes. Super easy to get. Boom. We're now going to hit a lot better. Or we'll probably hit the same amount. But I mean, in terms of like future endeavors with uh, with a bit of magic, we'll be able to hit a bit better on things that actually have magic defense, etc. Um, and they also give a really nice prayer bonus of... Three and three, so six prayer bonus just from that, which is lovely. Especially as I don't have any uh, legs at the moment as well for the fight. I'll take those. This is not going to be fun. It is going to be manual casting for all of this. So, yeah, good times ahead. Good times ahead. I actually uh, was doing this live on my stream on Friday. And we got a rune simi in, I think it was 14 kills. So if we can get that sort of luck here, I'll be very happy. I'll, uh, I'll take you along for the first kill. And then we'll see if we get it. If not, you're probably just going to see me get it at some point. And hopefully soon, first kill. No, that was too much to too much to hope for, that was. What? All right. Look at that. We're out here gaming, fellas. Oh my gosh, they really do sell it. Okay, well, I'm not going to spend 250 on that one. To be honest, guys, I'm, I'm going to spend a few minutes and just buy a bunch because... I'm going to need a bunch going forward, and if it's this damn cheap, I mean, I, I I will gladly allocate some time now for it, so. Yeah, let's fucking buy, like, 20. 
Um, okay, let's get out all of our coins. Just actually don't need all of our coins, truthfully, but we're gonna get some more kebabs. Gonna save the cakes, of course. That's still gonna be the food for the final fight. And uh, then the hill giants, because we still need those cosmics. And uh, looking forward to getting some levels this episode as well. Just a little update for you guys. I am 81 kills in today, and I have 80-something kills um, when I was going for this shield and trying to hit eights in the previous episode. Um, and in this whole time, I haven't gotten any cosmic rune drops, and it's 1 out of 64 for two of them. So I could make the two recoils, assuming I get the drop, but it's just not happening. We still have 50 minutes left, so it still is very, very, very possible. Um, but I also have to save a little bit of time to get the strength potions this episode as well. So realistically, I'm looking at like maybe 40 minutes at absolute most. There it is. There it is, the cosmic runes, guys. I'm going to go take care of this right now before there's something I'm not realizing that I have to do. So I'm going to make the recoils. I'm going to get the pots and then I'll probably finish off the episode just training. Um, to be honest, I might train elsewhere because uh, the barbarians were faster than, than the hill giants, so. But first things first, worry about what we're here to worry about. You know, I just realized if I need crafting experience, I might be able just to buy the sapphires and cut them and sell them. I think I'd actually make money and get 50 XP per. I'll keep that in mind. But here we go. Guys, sapphire rings. One recoil two recoils it's not the rune scimitar but it is a rune dagger so it is an upgrade actually quite a big upgrade 17 wow it's actually insanely better uh it's not the rune simi but it is it is you know an upgrade and we'll take that it's better than what i was going into the fight with so uh hopefully 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 it is the rune scimitar next i think they're similar chances they could be they could be the same i'm not sure kill after and that is the same chance as a rune scimitar. I can assure you of that. Uh, probably is better than the rune dagger. I'm not sure. I'd have to look into that. But uh, that's annoying because that is one in 50. Ah. Oh, 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 yes. 46. 46. And look how close I am to running out of runes. Okay, I think I'm going to be doing hill giants just because of the big bones. We can get ourselves some prayer levels. Um, and on top of that, they do drop some stuff that's okay. Um, so I'm probably going to be flicking. Let's make sure we've got the right flicks on here. Yeah, beautiful. Flicking, just trying to get as much XP as possible. We're going for 40 strength. I think we can definitely do it in an hour. That should not be a problem with the rune scimitar, to be honest. Um, so yeah, going from, what, 38 and a half to 40 here. And we're already hitting eights. Although I'm being hit quite hard. I didn't think I would be. There we go, 40 strength coming in, but I've actually looked into the max hit calculator. If I get 42 strength uh, and stay on aggressive for the fight, I can hit 11s or 10s? I can't remember now. Uh, I can hit 10s. And now we have the other key thing that you get from these guys. There we go, so we now have the Moss Giant and Obor. Boom. And this is 42 about to come in, and that means we can start hitting 10s while we are on aggressive. Obviously, we're going to go do a little bit of defensive just to get, we'll probably be able to get one, maybe two levels. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so now we can hit 10s in the fight when we are on aggressive, which is going to be a big DPS booster compared to what I was hitting last fight. I think I was hitting like sixes or fives max, and we had cakes as well. Now we have apple pies. We can hit 10s. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a lot better than I was last episode. I'll tell you that right now. Got one defense level, but we are not going to get two. So this is going to be the last kill. See what we get. Might as well hit one while we see. Cosmic runes, nice. They will come in handy. And boom, that is going to be us done. Thank you very much, V-Clock. Feeling a lot better. A lot, lot better. We got the apple pies. We got the rune scimitar. He still got me on defensive bonuses, unfortunately, but I am feeling good. I am feeling very good. We'll see. Let's get into this fight. So with one of our unlocks, we actually picked Edgeville, which gave us access to the Edgeville dungeon. Technically, we can get all of the sewers now if I had 51 agility, which I do not. But right now, it's not a PK or is it? Of course, it's around my combat level. He actually can't attack me. Um, let's enter the wilderness. We should probably heal up. But the reason we are here is we want to collect 
some red spider's eggs because red spider eggs mean we can get some strength potions. Are there no red spider's eggs here? That Iron Man definitely just took him. It's gotta be. I'm gonna kill you, bro. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, I couldn't hop because uh, I was in combat, but he did take him. Okay, they are here. I had a nervous breakdown for a second, not gonna lie. Um, I was thinking, oh my gosh, what if? <gasps> Sorry, bro. I ain't hopping at this point. I ain't hopping. I'm yoinking. I got a competition to win. I'm on a time limit. Wow, so if anybody wants a pretty good moneymaker and you're like a really low level no joke pick up red spider's eggs um they took them out of the nightmare zone shop and i think that's why they're so expensive but super super easy to do there we go and they come in four dose as well yes guys yes 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 i'm not gonna waste these i mean i technically i should train with them but i really don't know when i'm gonna ever get super potions and i don't want to have to constantly be a slave to hill giant so i'm not going to Using the train with at least not right now for 20 minutes, but I'm gonna bank these. I am gonna go off to the barbarians and train for the rest of the episode. We could definitely get 40 attack in the meantime, maybe even 41, or maybe I'll focus on getting a few defense levels instead. Okay, guys, 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 here we are. Just want to say we got 40 attack and also 36 strength on the account. Um, you guys could actually see a mini game teleport. I just used that to get to Soul Wars to get to Edgeville really quick because we actually did agility training um, on stream with Link. So he's also 45. It's it's no extra benefit that I have. He's 45. I'm 45. We do it for a cool live stream setting. We answer questions about it. Uh, it was great fun. But anyways, so that's equal. That explains why that's in the top left hand corner and we will recharge our prayer before the fight. I'm a bit of a mess right now. Um, but we... In this episode, got recoils, we got an adamant dagger poisoned, and full inventory of cakes. Guys, I, I'm i excited for this fight. If I lose this fight, I won't even be mad because this is my plan exactly. I'm going in this fight exactly how I envisioned it. And if Link one up it, or if he has recoils too, maybe he has poison as well. I mean, I don't know what his last unlock was then, you know, fair play on him. He fucking had a counter and a half, so... I'm scared to go with magic, truthfully, but hopefully the poison or recoils could um, outdo it. And of course, if that's the case, I'll just take off my armor. Uh, we do have that magic defense as well. So, oh, uh, let's let's hop in the fight, guys. Let's, let's, let's make the dream come true. Get out. What's up, my man? How we doing? Another episode, another bit of progression. Yeah. How, how did it yeah. go? What I'm gonna say is, so when I first originally got the the square, I I got um, instant dread came right. over my whole. I mean, where being. where did you get? I mean, we're gonna see it anyway. So I got the barrows chunk. The, the actual one, like barrows. Like oh I could have went in fucking Darok's tomb this episode. No. Um. Yeah. Obviously, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not doing barrows, even if I got a Darox axe, not like I could fucking use it, but... Um, oh, yeah, but that's like, you don't have to unlock that now. That's just like future episodes, it's done. Uh, you say that, but I, I, I did tell you behind the scenes how I did like an hour of theory crafting everything I can do. Now, by barrows, um, a lot of stuff is cut off due to questing. Mm -hmm. The main thing I wanted to, to make use of was the fact that I can go in the um, the haunted mine, because in right. Tarn's Lair, yeah, all yeah, those yeah, fucking yeah, weird yeah. things. Yeah. One problem, though. Mm -hmm. There's one bank down there, and you need to pay a thousand coins. And oh, I was trapped yeah. in there with nothing in my inventory. So I'm looking at like the snails that I can kill and cook, but I, I don't have any cooking level or anything. So it was completely blocked off unless I wanted to go straight to Canifis. Now here's the silver lining, though. I made a straight line right to my first ever unlock, the Mage Training Arena, back to my Square One roots of the entire map. Wait, I'm Barrows, so confused. Barrows, Tech. So, three squares over yeah. is basically Alcarid. So, I now unlocked other areas around the, like Varrock, for example, by Varrock. I'm unlocking Edgeville right. now. I'm unlocking chunks by... I unlocked the cow fields. 
in Lumbridge. So that that right, path allowed right, me right. to then unlock Sorry, everything Sorry, you said else. Maze Training Arena, and I thought Wildy Bank, and I was like, what? How's he got up there? Oh, right, no. right, right, right. Okay, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of had three dead squares, and I can't even get back to Barrows because I don't have a path to Barrows. The only thing would be a Barrows Telly or a Shades of Morton Telly, both of which I cannot do. So I would still need to form a path to walk down there. So unfortunately, the first thing I did in the episode was like, I'm sorry, guys, I'm telling straight out of here. Um, I can't do anything in the Haunted Mine, can't do Barrows. I'm not mm. going to Canifus yeah, 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 in the next one. You know. So, um, so I unlocked Hasidious, which meant ooh. I could then unlock. So what I've done is I've unlocked the chunk behind Hasidius, which has fishing spots and it has snake grass. I got oh, Port Piscarilius. I got the other side of the Karen Castle, like the sort of town bit, and I got the magic shop. Now that were my five oh, chunks. Oh no. No, 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 Kins. Oh so no, I, we I, said magic shop. I, I based my whole plan on being able to get death runes and and really go <sighs> at magic. You need fucking no. favor. You need fucking favor. Yes! To use That's the second everything time it fucked you over, hasn't except it? Except the general store, which did sell basic runes. So I was, I did have access to basic runes. I had obviously ba access to silk as well. So I spent two hours yeah. nearly getting 15 fishing and 30 cooking through Hasidius and all that shit so that I could use the fishing trawler teleport. So I then got all my money. Oh. And got runes, and I tellied to the fishing trawler and back. So I then pretty much... I used Zaya to get my fishing up. That was about it. And then come back and do some stuff here. So I was similar to you, mate. So the favor... The favor fucked the you. The favor's horrible, man. The That's favor. a horrible place to go. And I was one chunk off being able to get favor. It's that library you need unlocked. So you can do it. Which is <laughs> so annoying. So on go, we'll check the combats. Yes. Three, two, one, here we go. Oh, fuck. Oh. Three levels. Wow. Wow. What wow. the hell wow. have you got? Um, I'm just going to look you up now, Link. Uh, no, I'll look you up as well. Uh, wow, okay. So ki okay. 40 attack. Oh. Sour. Okay, equal. Got 46 you on strength, strength and defense. 40 yeah yeah That's yeah huge. yeah dude, is that where I, your I xp went like into 20k yeah dude just just uh, just strength dump 20k okay. straight you got me three straight levels on strength. on defense 24 prayer i have 39 magic which obviously i was planning on getting 41 for wind blast he's not going bad I was trying to get right. wind blast. So I was like, that it's like 14s or something. 13s. 13s, yeah. 13. And I was like, there's no way he's out eating that shit, you know? Like, <laughs> but right. no, they won't. They wouldn't sell me death runes. So <laughs> that plan went out the window. That is, that is. Wow, well, I, I actually feel for you a bit because uh, I'd, I'd I mean, say hold your feels. Hold your feels is what I'd say, to be honest. Oh my god, he's got fucking Plan C. Plan, plan Z came out. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you uh 300 years before it's time so i put my 15k into magic by the way thinking i could do the whole wind blast shit and just didn't happen at all so yeah but, right, right. but i have unlocked That's some different. tellies like fallon or teleport lumbridge varrock etc so you know i'll take it yeah, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, because that's huge, because you're ready once you yeah. get those unlocks. So. Yeah. And I got Port Piscarillus now and Fishing Trawler, so ports are looking quite good for me. That's so, big. yeah. yeah uh, pick right, mate. Dude, I. Uh, right, okay, okay. Helm. What, I, I mean, based on your location, you, you, I mean, there might be a difference, but I doubt you're going to. Well, okay, did he get legs? <laughs> that's what I. All right, I'll go legs next then. Let's see what you've got. Yeah. From what you said, you, it doesn't sound like you're going to upgrade too much here. You know what I've got. He's going magic. Mother fucking shit. <laughs> He's going magic. Mother fucking shit? I'm going to save the, the, the viewers the headache. You already oh know. God. You already know. I don't. So just fucking toy with me, Link. Toy with me. Oh my god. He's got a weapon. You would have put it on if it was still the Addy oh, Sword. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I got the oh, Addy Sword. Oh, Calm down. Oh, fuck fuck sake. Well, oh, like, I'm not a fucking magician over here. Obviously, still I mean, you this. are. 
Obviously still got this. Uh, we're using this. We're using this. Wow. Hey, wow. Kids, we wow. are using this. Wait, are you... <laughs> Come on! <sighs> Zabby Warriors, okay, 46. 46. And I nearly Fuck was out off. of runes. I had like enough for maybe three more kills. Fuck oh, he's got you, the poison. You totally he's got the poison. You got the poison. Oh, he saw it. He saw it. He saw it. Also, Link, check my crafting level. He's fuming right now. A rune scimitar, though. I wasn't fucking expecting. I know that. you weren't. I thought you were, man. Like back to fishing trawler with a fuckload of runes. I thought you would have, you know, over to ZMI. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I trust me. I know what's in your arsenal of plans, but I don't yeah, know. You made I it sound like you were struggling two hours. I in mean, the dude, fucking... I did. I think I, I think I had just under two hours when I came back. And then I think it took me about an hour and a bit, maybe. I can't remember exactly, to get the rune simmy. So it was like an hour of just sat there, fire striking fucking Zami warriors, you know. Right, Kins. Cool. You had a you had a little You had a trick up your sleeve with the recoils and the uh Two tricks, one might say. Yeah. Uh, and you're saying you got cakes? Ah. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Can you buy, like, sharks and fucking... I know you can, I, but it's fever. I briefly dropped in when we were talking about our um, zones that I got 30 cooking. And that was so that I could make these bad boys. Ooh, is that 14? 14 heals. Two bites. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. No, um, it could be It could be much, much, Well, this much is the worse. thing. I'm only nine levels away now from, like, potato butters, etc., you know? So that was my plan. Yeah. I'm like... We can we can start ramping this up, you know. Fuck me, this is gonna be interesting. Holy Things have just shit. got serious. This is probably the the last of the non-serious fights, I'd say, and this one is fairly serious. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, bro. I like looking at our gear. There, I mean, look, I we get showed up a lot where we have a theory and one's better, but looking at our gear right now, I have no idea who takes this. And I, I have, have to eat less. Than... You have to eat a lot more than I do with the ticks yes. and shit. It's going to be interesting, mate. Oh, Let's oh, get okay, into let's this. Do Let's do it. Let's no do wonder it. why you were so eager to fight tonight. Fuck you. I was ready for bed. <laughs> Ra, it's late. Rog forgot a strength pot, so I'm going to let him get it. Okay. Two second warning. 53 strength. That's fucking shit. Come on, hit. Oh fuck! Oh oh shit! I'm on the wrong. I was on defense. Come on, hit! Fucking Don't hit. shit! Oh yeah. my god! And hit! You guys should just keep the fucking tag around. Oh my god! Oh man! No! Do I go for it for back to the four poison or rock the three? <sighs> Oh, God. Uh, 17. Dude, how long has this fight been going on? Holy shit. It feels like it's been nine minutes. years. Six minutes. Dude, I was iffy on going for them because we get the XP reward, but I was like, I, I wanted, I, I want to one up, and then you fucking one up with this, with the scimitar, so it's just like fuck. So all this would be in vain if I don't get this win. Oh my gosh, let's go. Yeah, you've got this. Almost certain of it. Oh my god, are you out? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Don't tell me you're out. No, no, no. Two apple pies and a half. Oh, the ruined scimitar. <sighs> I'm so sure I was losing that. That is such a welcome surprise. Oh my gosh, bro. <sighs> Fuck. Well, fair play, ruined scimitar. I knew it was going to happen eventually, but... Oh... Uh, dude, you get the rune simmy so early in every fucking series we do. You, you do know this, right? Dude, just like, Fuck. I had to do it because all I was rocking was a fucking myth sword and I had no other upgrades. Like, oh it had to happen. Gosh. 
fuck. All right, guys, time to spin again. Now, we kept up with this DPS there. If I could get a leg slot, I'd be very, very happy. Let's have a look. Let's generate. 296. Okay. Guys, that was fucking... Oh, oh, it hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. We actually calced it. My guy did more damage, but he had just better food and with the rune simi you know he still did a lot of damage but oh my gosh that hurts man but you know what we're not gonna put our head down yet i'm still feeling very confident with my account build and maybe we can get a nice spin on here so we have between one 472 that's 172 472 let's generate that thing 292 <sighs> that is wildy 296 here it is boneyard it's not that far one two three four five we could get the wieldy altar from there i have no idea where that is let's pull up the gigantic map um 292 it was yes i had a check that's the wieldy the good, the, I mean, the great news is that I can connect again to my original. Holy shit. Um, it would actually be a lot. It'd be one, two, three to connect. Same sort of situation. It would be like in Mortigany last episode. Um, to be honest, I, I, I don't know what I would do. I'm going to have to definitely think about this, of course, and take it forward. I mean, it, it, this isn't showing it, but I actually think... Um, I actually think that's the tile that has last man standing. Kenos. Here's where Link tells me his luck is horrible. And then he's going to give a big sigh. Then he's going to act like he's the worst fucking thing he's ever gotten. And then he's going to win next episode. That is fucking Link's uh, fucking MO. I'll be yeah, honest, I don't is. know. I just don't there's know. The, like, and, it's just... and he's going to find some crazy... No, no, no dude, bad... it's, it's neutral. It is just neutral. I just don't know whether it's good or bad, to be honest. Like... No idea. Oh, God. It's one of those chunks that you have to look into and look what's around it and shit. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 5 of the Progression PvP Random Chunk Series, that's what I'm going to call it today. And we actually did end up getting the last man standing chunk. This is a pretty crucial one because in here, I'll just show the reward shop really quick. There is stuff we can actually get through Alkables. Now, we did talk about how Dragonstone Bolts we wouldn't be able to use because we think it's a bit overpowered to get them that easily and that quickly. So we can buy them, but only for ALK purposes, we can't actually use them in a fight. If we want to use Dragonstone Bolts E, we have to make them ourselves. Now, of course, I'm going to have to unlock this one because we want the bank right there. And I do actually want to connect my regions just to keep making one giant landmass that makes it much easier to unlock things like down here if I want to. Like I could unlock, you know this square up here, then connect down here, and then start unlocking the desert if I wanted to. So I love that maneuverability of having a giant landmass. So those are three in total of my six, and I decided that ultimately I want Druidic Ritual. Now we had 15K that I got to put in a skill. Unfortunately, I could not put it to Herblore because we need to do it before the episode starts, of course. But we did, in fact, get 32 cooking. We got it pretty much, not not exactly, but we just had enough with the 15k, thankfully. Uh, we already have the 20 crafting, of course. I was actually thinking originally crafting, but food was my main issue last fight. Um, I know for a fact Link's going to have 20 crafting. Um, but with that 32 cooking, we can actually get in here which is my main source of food, but we need that uh, chef's hat. So that's the first thing we're actually going to do is get a chef's hat and go in there and buy a bunch of food. They sell apple pies, which heal 14 HP with two bites. So um, definitely want to get on that. So I will see you guys there after we start the timer and run on through the wilderness. Hello, Bees and Gs. Welcome back to another episode. If you have missed any of the previous ones, they are alternating between me and Rog's channel, so you might have missed it. I'll leave a playlist up in the top right corner. And in the description, just click that and it will take you through every single episode. 
Now I got a wilderness chunk, yes. Oh god, my favourite place in the whole game. This is going to be incredibly interesting. Um, seeing as we're in the wilderness, I could die at any point, so I'm going to be fairly quick on this. So, I had a plan um, at the end of the last episode to uh, go over to the Wildy Altar, but I'm actually going to disregard that plan. Um, and instead, we're going to go one chunk up here, and then another chunk up here, and that will allow us to get into the Lava Dragons. Um, and obviously... With the Lava Dragons, when you bury a Lava Dragon bone on Lava Dragon Isle, you get 340 XP per bone, which is massive. I think I need to kill about 140 to get all protection prayers, so that's pretty cool. Then if we go one above here, we have the gate to get up. And then one to the left gives us the Wieldy Lever, which takes us back to Ardy and then Ardy and back, which means we have a teleport whenever we want to here, because we can get to the Fishing Trawler through the teleport, uh, to RD area, so I can always go back to RD, and then I can always use the RD lever to get here as well. On top of that, we then open up the Mage Bank, which has a awesome rune shop. Also, we have the potential to do the Mage Arena at some point if I want to do it. We're gonna start the timer. Oh, quickly, I put uh, I got 20 crafting. I put 4.4k XP into crafting, and then we went and put the rest into um cooking and we're now 400 xp away from 39 cooking at 39 cooking we can make potatoes and butter and over in if we can get back to where we are i don't know why this this chunk always unlocks itself i don't know why um if we go down here we can uh get the dairy cow and we can buy potatoes here so the bottom of your nail will be able to make potato and cheese this episode which is another food upgrade so that's the plan we're gonna start this timer and uh, we're going to head up to the Mage Bank to start with so we can actually get some gear out. Oh, one more thing. Me and Rug did talk about this. Dying uh, in the wilderness to a PK doesn't matter. You get all your stuff back. 1 in 42. Let's see how many I killed. Let's see how many I killed. That was really, really fast. I killed 12. So we were well below the drop rate on that, thankfully. So uh, yeah, the plan is to essentially walk in here. Actually, I need to get coins first. So I'm going to grab some coins. I think I have like 7k in the bank. And honestly, just keep buying food and banking it. Keep buying food and banking it. I can't use that bank, unfortunately. But um, it's still not that far of a bank. And this is going to be our best food for everything. Training and the fights right now. So we already did one inventory, but take a look at this. Red berry pies, meat pies, apple pies, and garden pies. Now, the price on all this stuff is incredibly cheap. Except for the fish pie, which is 100 So I'm not going to buy that one. But I'm going to buy out all the pies. And just keep hopping worlds. I'm probably going to spend most of my money doing so. Actually, I know for a fact the apple pies heal the most. Uh, which are right here. They heal 14 in 2 bites. Meat pie, I think, is 12. Garden, I'm not sure. And red berry is 10. So 5 bites. Or, sorry, 5 heal, 2 bites. But, um, like I said, it's pretty much the best food I have going forward. And it's really, 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 really cheap. So guys, we spent like 25 minutes doing this whole cake thing. By the way, just ignore that. That's coins for just like training and getting skills up, like the 15 cooking, for example. Just like cash reserves, not in the four hours. But um, so we have 70 apple pies. These are going to be the food for the final fights because we don't have an unlimited supply for cake. And these are better than cake. Uh, we got some meat pies, the red berry pies, the garden pies. So that's all really awesome there. I feel pretty confident on food now going forward for this episode. Um, like I said, we have our gear on and it's now time to do some questing. So I'm gonna go head over to Taverly now, our nice fresh unlock all the way west and unlock Herblore because we also have access to the Edgeville dungeon where I can kill Chaos Druids really, 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 really fast. Um, I, I mean, I also have Tavly Dungeon that has Chaos Druids as well with other monsters, but I don't really think I'll be using that too much except for the quest. Um, and actually thinking about it, we actually need to get a few pieces of meat for this quest, don't we? Uh, okay, I gotta think about this. We might have to tell you to, like, Lumbridge. Wait, I know there's a bear. There's a chicken close to it. Yeah, okay. All right, well, Judic Ritual is the next goal, uh, we, but it might take in not a crazy amount of time, but we do have to actually get the meats and stuff, so... 10 minutes, I'm giving it. 10 minutes, this quest will be done. Sort of massive that that iron scimitar was in my square because I don't know where I would have got something to slash these webs open. But anyway, come on, slash. There we go. Beautiful. Let's have a look. And we are safe. So this is our safe haven in the wilderness here. And uh, if we go and trade, we can start buying some runes. And there's death runes, cosmics, laws, natures. Oh, this is such a good shop. Okay, so this is about 400 casts of 
fire strike and we are going to grab ourselves our monk robes out. Unfortunately, <clears throat> we still don't have a uh, staff. Just going to use a bronze dagger because uh, there's no point really risking anything else. We've got 55 GP left and pff, should be good to be honest. I think, I think we're good. Do I even bring food? Not really. Like if anyone attacks me, I'm going to die anyway. So yeah, who cares? If I die, I just come back and get my stuff anyway, don't I? So it doesn't really matter. Cool. Let's go and kill some uh, love dragons. Look how close this was to not being able to get out. The the chunk finally favoured me. Finally favoured me. Uh, so I think I'm going to go south. As far south as possible, to be honest. Uh, just so that we have the lowest worldly level. Oh god, I'm going to have to navigate this. Because one of these could mess me up pretty easily. I want to go sit in this corner. Less PKs will be able to attack us. And uh, I think it's quite an easy place to log out as well. G out. Oh my god, how has that not attacked me? Cool, and again, I have to manual manual cast, so this will be fun. That is the first kill. Let's see what we're going to get. Some rune, please. Lava dragon bones, and brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. That is not what I wanted to see. Some, some guams and shit, but this is what we do want to see. Look at this. 340 XP. Insane, insane. And the respawn time is so quick. We can just sit here. 15 fire orbs. They are worth a bit on the high out, which means we will get our money back on... Uh, what do we get, game? Let's have a look. Yeah, 2.7k on the out, so that's a bit of money back there. And that is 22 prayer coming in as well. Oh, that's a good drop. Some rune darts. They're worth a little bit on the high out. 2.5k there as well. Very nice. This is me out of cast. Actually having to finish this one off with the uh, wind strike. So... <laughs> Not the best of situations, but here we go. I accidentally stepped out as well and took a 20. So that was uh, that was nice. Ooh, lava battle stuff! Yes! Yes! <laughs> so it turns out just walking to Varrock from Lumbridge basically had all the animals that we need to kill with the meats. And uh, so it's going to be a long walk back to Falador. But, uh, or actually really technically Taverly. I don't have the tellies, so... I will see you guys over by Cake Mix and Sanfu. So before I actually finish the quest, I want to trade Jatix. Um, and I want to buy a pack of these and a pack of these and one of those because right at level 3, I believe, is it's either anti-poison or attack potions. Boom! Attack potions. So we can bring that to the fight along with our strength pot. To be honest, I don't think the strength pot really did anything in the fight, if I'm honest, because I think I lost my max hit like a minute after I, I potted, but... Um, I do plan on getting some strength levels this episode as well as some defense. So I'm definitely going to bring the attack potions and the, and the not defense, the strength potions. Wow, my mind's all over the place. I keep trying to think of what I'm going to do this episode. It might, it might just be a case of killing chaos druids, truthfully, because, um, I mean, I can't really use all those herbs this episode, but having reserves of a lot of Renars, um, isn't the worst thing in the world. So let's actually wrap up this quest. I believe I just need to talk to cake mix over here and yeah you even mentioned attack potions i anute four quest points three herb lore attack potions um i was thinking of even doing witch's house but i don't really need the six the hit points xp it's not really to do much for my level but just the quest points in general might be really useful on the account to have access to things like the champions guild eventually but whether i do it or not it's still a very very long way away I decided not to do the quest. It just wasn't going to benefit me in the short, short term. Um, so I, I got to have some guams in here, right? I have been picking up my herbs. Actually, let's clean them all. Let's get that XP. Uh, we're going to make some attack potions. But after we make these attack potions, we're actually going to head down into the Edgeville dungeon. And we are going to um, start killing some Chaos Druids and get that huge reserve of herbs I was talking about. <laughs> Oh, yes, let's bury this. Oh, let's get out of here. We have a staff and it provides fire runes. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. I am over the moon. Over the moon at that. That is amazing. I'm so happy. My fire strike just got a load, load cheaper. Insane. We only need one mind and two airs now to cast it, rather than the three fire runes I was firing out every time. That is amazing. Uh, just a little thing that I did think about. Um, I can't PK anyone. It's very easy for viewers to then donate stuff 
um, to the account. So, like, let's say someone died in front of me with a whip, you know. So, that's why we've ruled that out. So, that's another reason why we said that we can't really be PK'd or lose our items. So, it's sort of like a, a two-way street, you know. It's a two-way street. We can't get anything off the PKers and the PKers can't get anything off us. Or we can't lose our items to PKers. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the bottom line of why these rules are put in place like that. Because, you know, as much as I'd love to start killing some level 3s with Fire Strike and, you know, find low levels and stuff, it's just going to be too easy for one of you guys, and I know what you're like, to uh, to just drop some mad loot in front of me and then, uh, yeah, sort of a bit. Uh, as of right now, I just need some money to buy some more runes and then we'll go back to Lava Dragons and we can finally auto-cast thanks to the Lava Battle Star. Oh, I'm so excited about that item. That's more excited than the uh, than the rune Simi for me. That is... Oh, I'm happy. While I am here in RD, I am just going to do a little bit of Silk Thieving. You know what it's like on this series. Uh, just so that if I do come back... And uh, maybe we get a few unlucky Lava Dragon drops. I'll be able to just buy some more runes by selling the silk. So, uh, yeah. And actually, while I'm not here in the uh, the Wildy, I feel a bit more comfortable talking about what the Lava Dragons drop. So that Lava Battle Staff was 1 in 42. I'm sure Underpaid will put this up on screen now. But, uh, yeah, so we got Rune Darts, which we've already got. Rune Knives, Addy 2H Sword, and Addy Plate Body would be lovely to get. That'd be so, so nice. It'd be a big upgrade. Uh, rune Kite Shield, Rune Axe, Rune Long Sword, Rune Medhelm, Rune... Rune Full Helm, um, which is really, really nice to see. Uh, they're pretty much the main things that we're looking at there. They do drop some coins as well in a fairly decent uh, fairly decent amounts there. They also drop Onyx Bolts, which are worth a lot in the GE, but unfortunately not worth a lot in terms of high alking and low alking and stuff. So they're actually not that great of a drop. So they will look sick on the floor, but unfortunately uh, they're not going to be that good. Um, that's pretty much it, really. Just a few weapon, or not weapon upgrades, but... Uh, armor upgrades there and uh on top of that we can also get some really decent money from uh, from doing this and of course the 340 xp per lava dragon we kill in prayer is uh is very very nice we're nearly yeah we're one and a bit kills one and a half kills off uh, 24 already so that is pumping through these levels uh mainly it's for xp and i'm just figuring i'd rather get herbs as i'm kind of getting the xp uh, because I did mention it before, but I think Herb Lore is going to be a crucial thing. The first person to get 43 prayer and have prayer pots, that deadly combination, will be incredibly, incredibly deadly in the fight. And funny enough, Link put this idea in my head when we first started the series, like before we even spun when we were discussing it, uh, we were thinking if the Wildy was viable, if someone got lost in the Wildy, and uh, he mentioned like a bone yard and picking up bones and running it. So... I, you know, maybe 43 prayer isn't even that hard, but there is our attack potions. Actually, I do want to decant these. I'm not going to worry about making them all right now because my main priority is to get some combat experience. Um, but there we go, guys. Attack potions for the fight. We have strength potions for the fight. And we're looking pretty good. So about two and a half hours left. We just got 40 defense. I actually didn't realize the moment I got it because I am just uh, clicking away and also watching YouTube videos because this is very, very mundane. I forgot that I actually have a giant key in the bank. Now I know I am incredibly, incredibly low leveled right now. I know that. But I'm wondering if I can get, you know, maybe a few more levels. If I could just tank with recoils and poison the entire fight and get the kill and obor has some really sick drops that will definitely benefit me way more now than in the future um so i'm gonna be theory crafting if i can kill obor this episode because it could definitely be a massive massive upgrade going forward um they drop a lot of rune equipment essentially um a lot of stuff that won't really help us out too well but it's definitely worth the risk plus i'm, I'm training anyway so yeah that's gonna be fun so i might attempt that this episode actually i definitely will who am i kidding i'm way too excited to not do it so fuck i'm getting nervous now because if i die i lose all my shit i just can't die i can't die so i've actually got quite a bit to sell from all the episodes so it's all gonna go now very nice very nice might sell five of these and move on to another yeah we'll do that decent amount of money coming through and of course we've got the uh we've got the silk that we can sell off later on as well okay we have 600 casts now which is very very nice 159 gp left uh, we'll bring these, and I think, yeah, I don't think I'll bring food again. I don't think it was really necessary. Oh, and actually, after I've slashed this web, another big thing was with manual casting, I had to be on this screen, whereas now that I can auto-cast, I can just sit here, 
and be ready to log out, which is just a huge, huge upgrade. It really, I know it doesn't seem like much, but it really does mean a lot. Hey, a rune axe. Not going to be too useful as of right now, but later on in the account, possibly. I missed it on the recording, but we did just get a rune axe, which right now isn't too helpful. But may, maybe later on in the account where we need to do some uh, some wood cutting, etc. Maybe it'd be nice to have a rune axe on the account rather than using like an addy one. But uh, I'd rather be seeing like a rune kite shield right now, I'm not going to lie. It's a rune med helm, piece of jeez. It is a rune med helm on the account. I can't wear it yet, unfortunately. Very tempted to go and get 40 defense, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, it's another rune axe. That's not what I want to see. I want to see a rune kite shield, please. But we are getting 28 prayer there, nice. Uh, we are getting really, really decent magic XP, like a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. I'm tracking at the moment. We're getting 24, 25k an hour. So high alk really isn't that far away really not that far away we'll see we'll see i'll update you on what i'm thinking i sort of had a plan to go and do other things but can't really pass up on the chance of a rune kite shield prayer xp magic xp um so yeah this is this is this is really something i want to do no that's one in one two eight and we've got a duplicate rune oh man that hurts that really stings. Ugh, at least it's an Alk, I guess. But honestly, just give me a Rune Kite Shield. That would be so huge to get right now, so we don't have to worry about getting that from, like, trolls or something. Ah, oh, man, that's annoying. That's really annoying. There's also a Rune Full Helm on there, which is the exact same chance. So we've landed on that 1 in 1, 2, 8 twice, and we haven't hit the Full Helm. We've hit the Med Helm. A little bit annoying. I can't die said actually no i could buy that back and this back really i could buy it all back really easily fuck it i'm gonna send it not right now but this episode for sure and there we go 42 attack on the account so we got the 40 defense the 48 strength i think that was plus two strength levels and then plus two attack levels as well so it has been a while here. We have a lot of herbs in the bank, and I know exactly how I'm going to wrap up the episode. First, I'm going to use all my guams and just get as many herb lore levels as I can with that, with the Eye of Newts and Vials of Water I have in the bank. Secondly, I'm going to then make a bunch of recoils, because um, I have a lot more law runes now. I am just going to make a bunch, like 20 of them, have a lot on reserve. Plus, I want it for Obor as well. Um, and then after I have all this stuff, I am going to give an attempt at Obor because like I said, he has a really, really good drop table and any rune item he drops will be an upgrade to my character. Even if it's something like a rune battle axe, that would be heaps over an adamant sword. Uh, plus that would be an awesome alc later on once I do upgrade that. So let's, let's check out actually real quick. Let's see how many guams we have in the bank. Uh, we could just make everything like that. Guam. We have, ooh, 62. I just realized I totally forgot to record the fact that I am 14 herb lore after making 72. It was the 10 I made before I started killing Chaos Rubens and then the 62 uh, guams that I got. So we have 14 herb lore, 72 attack potions, which I'll never, ever burn through the total amount of them. But remember when I said I wanted to make a lot of recoils and have them on reserve? I, I, I'm dumb and I actually completely forgot about the whole cosmic rune issue. So slight change of plans. We're going to make like 20 something sapphire rings and then just get enough cosmics for the next fight and Obor. I think Obor actually drops a lot of cosmic runes. So if, if he does end up dropping that, that would be amazing. But cosmic runes are very annoying to come by, unfortunately. It's a really good thing I had all those sapphires from last episode really coming in handy. Nope, not the young impling. Even the man's uh, crafting something special. So we still have like five or six more after these in inventory as well. So we're going to make these. And I know what monster I'm going to kill next. I'm going to try to kill zombies in the Stronghold of Security, the second level, to try and get Cosmic Runes. They're a bit stronger than Hill Giants, the ones down there. But they are like three times as common to drop Sapphires. Not Sapphires. I got Sapphires on the mind. Sorry. Cosmic Runes. These are for Cosmic Runes to enchant these into recoils. Whew, okay, can't speak today. So the cash stack is looking very, very healthy. Oh, that's the wrong person. Where are they? Boom. Uh, yeah, we're sat at 21... 22k now, which is very, very nice. So uh, let's bang this. And we got a little bit more to do. I need to get that 47 magic so that we can actually cast Wind Blast, because that's what we're going to be using in the fight. Um... 
also, hmm, I guess we're, we're pretty far away from hitting these, so this isn't going to happen this episode, unfortunately. Um, yeah, a bit of a shame there, and unfortunately we didn't get a rune kite either. Well, I mean, we still could. Uh, I'm not going to sell the rune bolts either, just because I might regret selling them later on in the account's life, and they're not worth that much, so I thought I'd keep them in the bank. Okay, I pretty much spent everything on runes. All 22k is gone now, but we now have 109 death runes, which we will use for the fight. Um, so, I'm going to go back. Bit more lava dragons. <laughs> it's all it's been this episode, but you know, you got to do what you got to do to win seasons. Um, so we'll go back and uh, hopefully get ourselves one of the items we're looking for. There is the 47 magic coming in. So we can now cast... Wind Blast, or Water Blast even, in the fight. That hits 14s. And there is a Rune Longsword, which is the same chance as the Rune Kite, I believe. It's a nice Alk. It's a nice Alk, or a nice Cell, I guess, at this point, because we uh, we don't have Alks. I might save that. I might save this until I have High Alk, just because, uh, what is it High Alk for? High Alk's for 19.2k, and we'd probably get, like, I don't know, 15 to 16k for it if I sell it at a shop. I don't desperately need the money at the moment either. We've got all the runes we need, etc. So, uh, yeah. A bit annoying. Didn't want to see that, but uh, we'll take it. It does not want to give me the items I want. Another rune longsword. I mean, it's brilliant for coins. It is fantastic for coins. It really is. But, come on. I want to say that's the last one, but I could sell off. I've got, like... 40k now worth of like items to sell and stuff. We also got Rune Javelin, Adamant 2 H Swords, some more Fire Orbs. Uh, I'm very tempted to go back because realistically at this point we're going we're going magic. You know that's that's becoming the main thing here, um, and also that's it's pretty good for the fights I think because like Kins is set up to be melee completely melee he's got no range levels i mean maybe he got some this episode but as of last episode he was one range he doesn't really have a defense against magic um i guess his it, the way he'd have to go would be fight magic with magic i guess which pff, it's not exactly the most efficient way of going about things is it so uh it would slow his progress down. He's really building towards that melee build, and he's got all the, you know, Adi armor, myth armor, all that stuff, but we could really counter that with going magic, so I really think magic is where a lot of my time and effort's gonna go into. All right, so here we are. Wish us luck, Team Rarg. Team Link, stay out of this. Team Rarg, wish me luck, because... Uh, look, we have plenty of time to kill Obor. Killing Obor isn't gonna take a lot of time at all, and that's the last main goal I have this episode, but... If it's anything like the hill giants, it, it could be cutting it close. But like I said, these guys do drop it more commonly. And it, they, they don't look too hard to kill. Um, come on, 1kc. I was hoping we'd be like the looting bag. Nice and special 1kc sort of thing. Wasn't, wasn't in the stars this time, guys. I don't think that I've ever been more disappointed in a PvP challenge. Um, so the rate, like I just mentioned, was 1 in 21 for two cosmic runes. So I came here with the interpretation that, you know, I can get a bunch of kills and I'm, you know, I should at the very least get one set of cosmic runes. I am 69 kills in. I, I did wait for that, by the way. I'm 69 kills in, about to be 70. What, what you're seeing there is my 70th kill. And I don't have one drop of cosmic runes yet. Not one, unless this one, of course, is cosmic runes, which is not B. But yeah, of course, body runes, great. Um, but now I'm in this weird predicament because, well, I'm about to die, so I'm going to have to bank. I have my runes, so I could just dip right out to Varrock. Um, and I, I, I still want to kill Obor. But it, it's just something that should happen, didn't happen. And, oh my gosh, I know I shouldn't sit here and dwell on it. I'm going to freaking die. Screw it. I, I, a death would just slow me down massively. I was actually walking to Obor, and uh, there are level 18 zombies down here. I think all zombies kind of have, like, the same drop rate. And uh, I was hoping that was Cosmic Ruins. That would have been really cool. So I'll definitely come down here and try to kill him. I mean, I can't do it really this episode. Um, if I have like three minutes left, I might do it. But, you know, that is probably going to be my new zombie killing location. My dumbass actually forgot pots, so I did go back. I picked up the brass key to get back here really quickly. That's how I got back so quickly. But, oh, uh, this guy looks like he slayed Orbor. 
a time or two in his lifestyle. Maybe I should ask him for some tips. Okay, I'm nervous as shit, but uh, this guy's gonna start damaging me. Let's go. And you know, we're really not too far off getting some pretty cool stuff like Snare, High Alk, uh, Fire Blast, etc, etc. The, 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 the COD spells, which are quite interesting, could be an interesting route, especially as we've unlocked all of this. So I sold pretty much everything, but the rune longswords. Uh, I still kept the rune bolts and there are a few other things. And got 9k out of that. That was actually a really good haul. I didn't even realise how good of a haul that was. Um, so very, very happy. 9k to spend. That will do me for the rest of the episode. Um, and then we'll probably allocate the last 20, 30 minutes-ish. I mean, how long we got? Yeah, probably 20, 30 minutes, somewhere between there, to making our potato and butters. We need to get a 400 XP and then we can start doing it. I already have 20 baked potatoes in the... What's it called? Bank? Sorry, I'm stuttering because I've just realised how long it takes to bloody make butter. To churn that fucker. Underpaid. Show them. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be the last kill because I do need 20 minutes, I think, to uh, do the potato and cheeses or potato and butters even. 49 magic. Very, very close. 1k away. Looking really good there. I'm quite happy with the progress in magic. 55 really isn't far away now, which is great. We've got a load of money as well with the uh, the rune long swords. We'll be able to sell them or at least alk them for close to 40k very soon, probably next episode. So I'm pretty happy with the Lava Dragons. Uh, we're at 32, we'll be halfway to, uh, or one bone away from 33 after this kill, which uh, takes us close to incredible reflexes. And then we can start looking at these. The The thing with um, Protect From Magic and Protect From Missiles is they're really useful for PVM and questing. Against Kins, obviously he's going melee, which is still a bit of a trek away, but these two aren't too far away now, which is pretty cool to see. This uh, is gonna be the drop, I think. There we go. Rune kite, please. Rune kite. No. Marantils. That's what we love. Okay, let's go make some potato and butters. I finally caught him. I didn't have money every time he was near me. Boom. Now we can actually get a cave. I've been trying to get that for ages. And whenever he came and walked straight next to me by the, uh, by the lava dragons... I had no money on me, but luckily, well, I guess not so luckily, one of the drops from the Lava Dragons was 66 coins. So uh, there we go. I'll upgrade. Team 11 cape. Might as well use the fishing trawler teleport. I'm not going to use it in the next 22 minutes, so uh, let's head on over. That gives us a little, a little bit of a telly away, which is nice. I can turn the player indicator names off as well, seeing as we're not in the wieldy anymore. That's nice. This is so bad. I can't even attack it because I'm eating so much. <gasps> Telly, 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 telly. I just, oh my gosh, that was awful. Okay, I'm not, I'm not even that upset that you know we didn't kill it because I don't think uh, that wasn't happening. Fuck. All right, three and a half minutes to try and get the cosmics. I have water runes ready. I have the sapphire rings ready. So if I do get it, I can instantly enchant it within the timer. Uh, just actually need the cosmic rune drops. I think I can kill a good three a minute. So. I mean, it's not a crazy amount, but I definitely don't see it being incredibly unlikely to not get it. Um, I just don't know how I'm ever going to get close to winning this fight if I don't have this, because the fight was close last time with him having ruined Simi. My gear is the same. What's upgraded on, on my end is the food. So I really hope we can get this, because I'll be decently confident going in the fight, but if I can't get this, I'm just going to be a nervous boy. Oh, come on. Come on, RNG. Okay, I don't think these guys actually drop cosmic runes. They've dropped nothing but bones this entire time. <sighs> I mean, there's no point in even moving at this point. So, I, I, we did just get 44 attack, though. I can't even trust the zombie drop table thing now. They, they definitely don't drop them here. Oh, gosh. Okay, well... On the bright side, we did upgrade food. We actually are like four combat levels higher. The bad news is that we don't have recoils. Seal my fate, zombie. Seal my fate. I'm not even going to kill it in the damn time. Are you? Ah. Not like it's going to drop cosmic runes anyway. It's going to drop fucking bones. All right, so I'm not going to go too in-depth about the whole Cosmic Rune thing because you guys just heard me raging. But what I will say about it is I think this fight is going to be extremely difficult because I don't have it. 
last fight was close and I had them, so now I don't have them, and I'm sure he progressed just like I did. Obviously, he had four hours, and he's going to definitely have better stats and everything. And, you know, he might even have recoils himself, because I know he got 20 crafting. You do not get an XP reward and not go for those recoils. They're that crucial. But, of course, he had, he had to have the region along with it, so who really knows? But even though I'm scared about this fight in particular, I am very happy where with the account is going. We now have Herbler, which is huge. Any future episode, we can dump all the herbs we get into getting that up as fast as possible. And of course, with this episode, it benefited us with an, an attack potion for the final fight. And of course, just all the training that came along with it, because now I can focus on KS Druids and not feel like I'm wasting too much time in the early levels killing chaos druids because they are definitely not the fastest xp but we have a lot of herbs banked and we were, were like up four attack levels up two strength levels and even up some defense levels i'm not sure exactly how much with defense but we're up a lot of combat stats still rocking the addy sword still looking like a bit of a tank hopefully link didn't really upgrade much hopefully he had the shittiest region ever and um let's let's hope we can at least really show them what we're made of in this fight so i will see you guys over there for the reveal and we'll hop right into the fight so to get my level to 39 i'm just going to cook potatoes i'm going to need a load of potatoes anyway seeing as we're going to be using it as our food so we're just going to buy them and cook them right here easy as that won't take long and i've already got 20 cooked in the bank so realistically i only need eight but i think it's going to be more like 15 to get the level something around there so nothing too crazy and to be honest, at 38 cooking, I would expect us not to be burning any of these, but we'll see. Oh, I thought they were 30 XP. It's only 15, so we need to buy a few more, but all good. There we go, 39 cooking. And now we need to churn some butter and put it on these. Luckily, with making potato and butters, there's no, like, burn rate, if that makes sense. Like, we can't mess any of them up. So from now on, every baked potato we have is just going to definitely turn into... Uh, potatoes and butter which is great and now we start the grueling process of making butter watch this watch this that's how long it took to do one ridiculous so i've just done some quick maths it takes 10 seconds to make one so that's 280 seconds per inventory so it takes 4.6 minutes to make a whole inventory of butter. That's like, I lose five minutes almost an episode. Well, yeah, five minutes of making the uh, the buckets of milk for food. Fuming, fuming about it. There we go. I've got eight minutes left to probably do a bit of training. Uh, try and get this defense level because we're not far off it at all. Might as well get that. Uh, so let's quickly make up these potato and butters. There we go. We get 40 XP per one as well. That's actually not bad cooking XP to uh, top us up there. These are going to heal 14. So they're actually the same as the apple pies. But, of course, they only take one click. So, uh, yeah. Saves us a bit of time on eating, which is nice. There is 34 defense coming in. I don't think we're going to be... Yeah, that's 2k XP. Yeah, not going to be able to get anything else. So we'll just go with the defense XP and try and get that as close as possible. We want this at 40 ASAP because I do have that room med helm, which I can now wear, which would have been really nice to have brought to this fight. But you can't get everything done in the same episode, can you? I think we've had a pretty good episode in terms of when i first picked that or when i first got given that area i was like what do i pick here um and uh you know what i'm quite happy with how everything went in the end and uh yeah to us guys there's not much else to talk about in this episode i'm gonna get probably half this level and then we will go and fight kins we're going magic we're gonna be going with um Zami top and bottom we're gonna be going with the kazard helm the black square shield the Lava Battle Staff and the No Mamula, along with all of those potato with butter. I think it's going to be enough. I really think we'll catch him off guard. He won't be prepared for a magic. I think he, he really thought I was going to go for it last episode. Then I got the Rune Simi, so I'm sure he's expecting me to stick with melee now that I have a Rune Simi. Um, so I think we will win this just on taking him by surprise. I'd be very, very surprised if he out DPSs 14 damage that the uh, the wind or water blast can do. 
I'd be very, very surprised. So, uh, yeah, I think we've got this, but just because he's not really expecting it. Link, hello. Episode 5 of the Progression PvP Chunk Series thing. No name, honestly, <laughs> for the series. Um, Link, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to break the ice and say, how are you feeling this episode? How are you feeling? Um, yeah. Wow, that's L good. A little bit worried. I'm not sure if I chose the right options. I guess on the flip side, I, I, I had a, I, I had a solid plan, and right. in my head, I told myself it was a very easy plan. And to be honest, it wasn't really my fault on why my plan didn't come through as successful as I wanted it to. Who are we blaming? RNG. Oh right, okay. Right. <laughs> you know my 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 scapegoat. <laughs> okay. It's dude. It's always RNG's fault. It's never my fault. Come on, like that's RNG. rule. That's rule one of PvP challenges. It's never your own yeah. fault. And if it's not RNG, it's the other player's fault. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Everywhere. <laughs> exactly. You can fucking run us do with how many goats we got here. Mate. <laughs> but with that said, I'm giving it my all still. So okay, gonna go all out right. with a fight if I do go out, man. Well, I know the viewers were saying that they'd rather we reveal our chunks at the end, so I guess we'll uh, we'll get into a reveal and combat reveal and all that stuff oh, wow. first. Link's calling the shots now. On the well, I just you know, wow, the viewers, viewers, yeah, you viewers comment something and Link listens. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's why you should I, be Team Link, guys. Oh I god, listen. you did, this was just thrown on my own episode, so I guess <laughs> I guess I'm going with it. Fuck. Um, uh. So. Yeah. Okay. I guess let's do a gear reveal, man, and we will okay. we will just right. see what's what's happening with that. So you want to call the first one, man? We'll throw on the gear. All right. Let's uh, let's go necklace. Let's see if he's managed to get anything there yet. <laughs> still, still rocking the bling bling. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pull you away from your gold. I respect <laughs> it. Um, gloves. I don't have any gloves. Okay. Awesome. Got those leathers, okay. still, man. Little still leathers. rocking the the warm gloves. Let's go. Cape. The good old red. <laughs> I got one. Oh, oh. <laughs> my man Purdy ran past me. <laughs> oh my gosh, Link. No, I'm sorry. We have to talk about our chunks. Did you get the wilderness, <laughs> Link? <laughs> yeah. Fuck's what? sake. Where in the wilderness? Are you fuming? I got, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm thrown now because I thought we were leaving this to last. No, See, yeah, viewers, but I dude, that's fucked wanted... because I was in the wilderness. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, dude. No. I got, I got Boneyard. I got the last man standing job. Oh my, fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off. Oh. No. Wow. <laughs> this randomizer is taking the piss, isn't it? Really? Wow. You're, not, you're not showing it me yet. No, I, I just showed my... I mean, the viewers would have watched the episode, hopefully, but I just pulled up my map. And all, all my chunk unlocks are on there. Oh, my God. Can you imagine we've done the exact same plan? <laughs> well, we definitely didn't, because I connected mine to my mainland and then added on oh, to that. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. I, 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 I have a massive uh, land mass, dude, with, like, little, little hallways here and there and corridors. To get me to like I really had, weird I had locations. nowhere fucking near there, so oh, I fucking hate this game. I really <laughs> do. Okay, all right. Well. Hey, hey, you won last episode. I don't want to hear you fucking whine, right? <laughs> all right. I'm well, I, I I want to make sure he still got that that rune simmy. So I'm breaking I'm breaking Ow. etiquette. I'm breaking etiquette, Link. Ow. I'm breaking Disgusting. etiquette and saying I'm saying weapon. I'm doing it. Well, uh, I guess we're being thrown straight out of here, then, aren't we? Jesus I, I'm, I'm just going to show myself the door real quick. He's fucking going magic. Are you kidding me? Dude, everything you put on is a fucking surprise to me at this point. You're going... <laughs> why? Why? why you, you won with the rune simi, and you decide... No, nah, I'm benching the rune scimitar. Why would I stick with the rune simi that his, hits a max of, like, 10 when I can hit 14? Okay. So you That's were killing... Good. You were killing lava dragons? Yeah, I got a lava Fuck. battle stuff, maybe. I don't oh, know. Kill five no. or six. You I was manual casting. Did you get the the lava bones and the altar? I I I don't know your exact chunk, so I can't I can't I didn't. So I think I, I couldn't do both. 
with my chunk, but okay. burying lava bones on lava dragon art, you get 340 XP yeah, per bone. Fuck's sake. So I guess we're talking about chunks now. What I did was I went up from the boneyard to the lava dragon isle, up to Scorpia, left, and then went left again. So I got the lever, so I can now get back to Ardy. So I've got between Ardy and, and the Wildy through the lever. Then I've got the mage training arena as well, or mage bank or whatever you want to call it. So I've got access to, you know, laws, natures, etc., etc. And lava dragons, obviously. So lava dragons just pay for themselves in runes. So I was just killing lava dragons, going back, getting runes, getting more. Bang, bang, bang. I've got like two or three. Sorry, it was a few days now, go now guys. So I can't remember. Uh, rune longswords in the bank. I've got a rune med helm, two rune med helms. I have the exact same gear link. I'm going to stop you there. Oh. <laughs> I had the exact same fucking stuff. Oh. I just don't want to keep okay. hearing about how I'm losing this episode. Fuck. I don't know. This is, uh, uh, yeah, I should get it in the bag, but we'll uh, see. Link, so uh, I'm going to give my biggest flaw that, remember when I came in and said I wasn't that confident? Um, <laughs> I couldn't get cosmic runes the entire episode. I Chat or comment section. You berated kids for not wearing a second recoil. It had one charge left yeah. in it. He literally used yeah. seven <laughs> nine hits of the two recoils. Dude, even in my stream yesterday, I was getting berated for it. I don't even know what I did. Wow. Team Rog is not I happy. know, I know, I know. I think because it dropped on the floor, people just saw it and they were like, for fuck's sake. Like, you see hits rebounding the whole entire fight. Dude, if you, uh, you, you know, I can swing up to the mage bank quickly if you want, and I'll uh, and I'll buy a couple cosmics for you. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the gear. Like you are just toying with me. Unless that's it. I, you know, okay. Actually, I knew you had that. Black still. Okay. 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 All right. All right. What's your magic attack with that? It is six. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, oh, I do you have yeah. 35 magic, which is magic defense. Stabs. 43 stab with it, which is why I chose the Khazard body over a Khazard, uh, over a Zamrak. Uh, but you have 43 stab defense? 43, yeah. Wow, that's much higher than I would expect. Yeah, me too. I was pretty happy Fucking with it. The uh, black kite shield's pretty good, and obviously the the amulet and the black kite shield alone give like twenty five stab defense. <laughs> like it's fucking I nuts. This. All right, I'm at just a fucking straight zero once I can take that off in the fight. So, mm -hmm. um, and of course, of course, I've got this, and I'll show you real quick, and then yeah, I thought you might. Actually, I didn't grab my food, which it is an upgrade, by the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Attack pot. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. So those extra connecting squares, guess who oh has 14 no, no. per more on the account? Make it attack pots. Oh. I'm going to grab the rest of my inventory while he's in pain. Wait, wait, wait. We, got, we got to do combat stuff. Oh, we shit. haven't done combat okay, stuff. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, Link. I'm back. Uh, uh, did you I'll train you at all this episode? I did. I think it was all magic 48. wow okay okay my my stat i did go up like four combat levels dude i have 44 attack 48 strength 40 defense with an addition of attack pot and of course i still have the dagger poisoned and i have a food upgrade which i will, will reveal very shortly i also put all my xp into cooking hint hint I, spoiler. I know exactly what you've done. okay just say it then you got apple pie my fucking guy fuck yeah you know i got apple pies I have uh, potatoes with butter. So that's what, 14? 14. Okay. You know, one click. Yep. One yep. click. So I guess food okay. is now leveled up. Uh, I don't think it's one tick with the apple pies, but it's very quick. Like you could, I was rapidly eating them, like bang, bang, you know? Okay. So All I right. think there might be two ticks. Wow. But um, I'm using water blast for my magic spell. Oh my god, that's a what? So I think Firebolt's 12, so 13, 14, 14, 14. 14, 14. Yeah. It, 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 is, it is a bit slower, but it's going to be accurate as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the first thing I'm going to do is the moment I get the space is take off my armor, which I do have to wear to the fight. I know someone's going to say it. Rarg, bank your armor. I can't. I'm going to just stop you there. Link, let's, uh, let's get our food and hop into this fight, man. I have 129 cards, that should be more than enough. 
yeah, it's plenty. Plus that staff bashing, you'll you'll nick me, you know. That staff isn't that far off a of rune simmy. It's fucking it's uh, naughty. All right, Link. Naughty. All right, Link. Okay. Just just attack me whenever, bro. I'm potted. I'm potted. Yeah, just right. go. Let's do it. Bang. Okay, that's Ooh. a fucking shit start. Ooh. What? Okay, oh, and then he fucking max hits me. Oh, yeah, this is bad. This is bad. I need to focus on getting off my armor, so... Um... A one? Are you not poisoned yet? This is always my biggest problem, is poisoning you. Surely he's poisoned now. Surely he's poisoned! There we go, thank you. I love that part where you're like, surely he's poisoned, and I'm sat here like, yeah, I am poisoned, <laughs> but you still don't know. Well, obviously you're not going to tell me. Yeah, there, there's a massive, massive, massive tick wait. You have to wait after you eat a pie, though. Come on, need to see a 14. 10 plus, please. Nice. It's just too accurate. That's the problem. <laughs> I really nice. am, dude. I really am fuming. I swear, if the difference is under 80, which I don't think it will be, um, but if it is under 80, uh, I will be raging, Link. Yeah, it's just... I, I don't think it is going to be, but... You can dream, Kenz. You can dream. Yeah, the delay on the pies are pretty... Yeah, that's big. massive! Yeah, dude, wow. I'm still spamming you. I was still spamming you, too, wow. that whole time. That's no lag, guys. That's zero lag. I didn't even realize that last fight. Dumbass. Bang. Yeah, Oof. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <sighs> GG. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That is ridiculous. That is, I can't even hit you when you're fucking eating to full. All right, that's that was annoying. Let's fucking chip more of that food out. Come on, just ju yeah. All right, fuck off. I'm dead. I'll see you in heaven. Actually, we're going to hell. Like, <laughs> we're not going to heaven. Oh, just all right. It was definitely over eighty. How much food? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight food. Wow. Which is wow. That's, that's quite still a lot. with recoils. That actually is. Still a win with the recoils. It's 32 HP difference, though. It's close. I do have 37 HP right now. Okay. So 37 plus 8. It's, I think I probably would have won by like one or two food with recoils. It also makes me think... I mean, obviously, I would have never brought fucking a studded body, but like, how effective would that have been? But I don't even have yeah, a fucking yeah. range level, so... That's what I was thinking, like, man's one range, oh, like, we're gosh. okay. I don't know, maybe I put all my cards into range like you did in Magic, but it would have been the play of the century, man. Fuck. It really would. I would have been fucking raging with you if you turned up with full studded and a fucking short bow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Unfortunately, we did not get the narrowed chunk pick. Uh, really sucks, but all of our chunks are taking up a lot of miscellane and some of Asgardian now, which is really awesome. So I, it's, it's going to be a lot easier to really put those chunks together. I mean, I've been pretty lucky with that. But then again, I did lose two episodes in a row. So am, am I the lucky one? I don't know. But anyways, guys, uh, let's, stop, let's stop rambling and see what we get. 90. Legit have no idea where that is, as always. So let's pull this up real quick. We're going to have to control F this. 90. Oh my gosh, where is this? Okay, because I won, I get to choose between 200 and 400, and we get 394. Okay, let's have a look. 394. Ooh, why the map loves this area for me. Oh, wait, is this 90? That's 390. Hold on. that That's not even 90. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay, all right. Well, it's gonna be fun. I mean, maybe I can connect if it's even worth connecting. I don't know. I, I really have no idea, guys, but this is the chunk right here. This is gonna th really throw me out. I mean, I have access to a bank. I hope I can use it. So I, I can go back to my to my mainland, um, but it, I would hate to see dead squares. I, I'd hate to see it. So we'll definitely try to formulate a plan. Um, the fact we have access to the Forthos Ruin We'll see, man. We'll see what we can do with this. 
Uh, okay, I guess it's not far from the Grand Tree. Waterfall quest. We can definitely connect up with all our previous squares that we've got around here. Okay, alright. It really, really wants me to play in this part of the map, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, okay. Well, this episode didn't go right on, on any front. <laughs> Let's just say that, even, even my new Chuck. That's music to my ears, mate. Oh, that is, God. That's good. That's good. I, um, I'm not really sure about mine. Ah, all right. I'll be I, honest. Okay. I, so mean, I don't really have much to say. I, I, don't, I think it's hard to say anything without putting the research in, really, isn't it? D why do you have to make this more stressful than it has to be, Link? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Got to win seasons, mate. Got to win seasons, you know? Hello, Bees and Gs. Welcome back to another episode of the PvP Progression Series. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist up in the top right corner and in the description. Just click on one of those and it will take you through every episode because you might have missed one because they do alternate between me and Rag's channels. In the last episode, I got myself this square here. And for every single time this square unlocks itself, I don't know why. But anyway, uh, we got ourselves this square here. Um... Now, if I want to be coming down and moving through here. So, things I'm going to unlock are West Ardoin as my first unlock. This will allow me to do Underground Pass when we come to it. Gives us Ivan Star. The Ivan Staff gives us, uh, you know, the Underground Pass, etc., etc., which will be very useful later on down the line. So, that is what we're going to be using there. Then, I'm going to be unlocking this and this. That will allow me to do Waterfall Quest. So, that's three unlocks. Um, and then, we're going to unlock the Tree Gnome stronghold as well so that's five unlocks altogether. we've also got like a 15 or 16 heal here uh through the food shop so that's a little food upgrade by unlocking there and of course it's all a prereq for monkey madness as well as waterfall quest and i believe temple of ikov which is around here is a prereq for desert treasure so uh we are getting a few things like unlocked and ready for the future when these accounts do become become sort of tribrid slash hybrid accounts so those are my unlocks those are the five. I'm actually going to go hit up Lava Dragons quickly. I do just want to get myself a few more levels in Magic and Prayer. So uh, let's start this timer and let's do it. Hey guys, and welcome to episode six of the PvP Progression Random Chunk series. Now, as you guys know from last episode, I was kind of thrown in a very weird, weird location. I mean, luckily I was able to connect to... Um, my previous location from episode two, I believe. But I did theorycraft a lot trying to figure out the best spot to go... Um, with those extra five chunks I can unlock and there there actually is a lot of stuff I could do like the fourth those dungeon We're coming up to uh, the car Carloom Slayer dungeon uh, The axe shop up here. It is possible But you know when it, when I pick one path and neglect the other there are other limitations that come with it Like if I did go up there for example, I wouldn't have been able to connect to this region So then when I do get the games next to teleport, I could never really come back in, in this area over here, which really does suck. Plus things like the farming guild are off limits for me. I don't have the farming level. I can't kill lizard men or at least efficiently that is. I mean, the biggest limitation there is, is my combat level and how low my stats are because it still is real early game. Since I do have the connection now, which I will unlock these because I am locking that in, um, I can unlock over here and then why do I keep doing that damn and then it, it will unlock up here as well Or it gives me the potential to because they're all connecting So I'm actually gonna explain my plan as I'm walking because why not right? I'm gonna grab all the gear out of the bank that I unlocked in, in episode 2 in the current castle and just go in the catacombs and kill moss giants There's a shield upgrade there. They drop black square shields. I know it's not a crazy upgrade, but it's something I can do I did originally kind of have a plan of possibly telling to Varrock making money buying runes and then telling back after i enchant a um a games necklace and mage the fire giants but they're level like 104 am i going the right way yes i am but they're like level 104 with 131 hp um and to do all that in one episode i think it would be an incredibly lucky move if it did pay off and 
the fight, if I had recoils, I think wouldn't have been that far off. So I th oh, I can't go up that way. Damn. So I think just kind of power training, waiting till I unlock that really nice region um, and kind of working from there. Just working with what we have. And right now that's getting a black square shield. And then we're going to kind of take it from there. First kill is a lava battle staff. And that is 33 Brat coming in. Ah, where's this rune kite, man? Where's the rune full helm? That is another rune longsword. I cannot believe it, man. I keep landing on that. Um, I've also changed up to... I should actually... I'm not going to get this kill here. Yeah, I've also changed up to chaos runes. Just because the kills are just way, way faster. And we can sort of afford it now, to be honest. It's got to the point now where... Uh, yeah, I'm making so much money from these lava dragons. Let's take the hit. Oof, a three? Wow. Um, I'm making so much money from these lava dragons now that it, it really doesn't matter. We can definitely afford the chaos runes. I've got so much money now. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're on the chaos rune hype now, which is, I'd say it's speeding the kills up by maybe 50%. But I do need to start focusing on getting that 40 defense and all that stuff. But I really want the rune kite before I do that. If we could, like a rune kite shield's huge. That's like, I remember in season two, that took so long for us to get rune kites. And if I could get one this early be massive and i really don't want to pass up the opportunity of magic xp prayer xp and a rune kite so i do apologize viewers but this is just so huge for the season that is 37 prayer and our first protection prayer coming in protect from magic very very nice it's going to be mainly useful against uh pvm but i'm sure at some point rog will bring out some magic for some tri breeding uh and possibly some hybriding uh so yeah it is going to be a good one to have but obviously the melee is what we're going for i am dumb dry on an adamant plate body or a rune kite shield i must have killed a hundred plus lava dragons now and they are both one in 64s both one in 64s haven't seen either of them i've seen like five rune long swords now and they're the same chance, so I am fuming with the RNG right now, but the magic's going well as well. 53 coming in soon, and that will take us to being able to use Earth Blast in the fight if we do go for magic this fight. Um, and of course, the Lava Battle stuff actually gives infinite Earth Rune, so that's very, very helpful. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. Let's see how many kills real quick. Let's actually walk down the stairs so we don't die. Uh, 10 kills. That was it. Nice. So let's see the upgrade that we actually get here. Not the price checker. Just want to see it real quick. Not a crazy difference, but a difference I will warmly welcome. Yeah, so ultimately, why am I at Hill Giants? is because they're the only confirmed case of dropping cosmic runes that I know of. I'm still convinced that the zombies do drop it as well, but... I went, you know, four times the drop rate or whatever, so I'm definitely not going to risk it at this point. I can get the XP just killing hill giants. I know I'll get cosmic ruins, or at least I hope, knock on wood. Um, so yeah, that's the goal here. Get cosmic runes. See what I mean? There it is, guys. What is that? That's 25 kills. Let's pick that up. That's only two. I do want to get one more so I can create three recoils and with the extra one, I turn into a games necklace so I can get back to this region just in case I have to. Um, so I will stay here a little while longer, but at least I know for a fact we will have recoils in this upcoming fight, thankfully. Uh, yeah, no second batch of Cosmic Runes yet. Uh, my plan does actually involve going to Varrock and coming back to this region in Zaya. Um, and of course, the only way to do that is to ultimately make a games necklace, which means I do need those extra Cosmic Runes for this, for even this episode, which sucks because next episode I'll have to get even more. Um, as long as I keep getting those skills up and, you know, focus more on the late game when there's no early game plays, um, I think that's going to be most important because this account is going to start coming together once regions open. I mean, so will Lynx, unfortunately, but uh, right now this is the best we can do. Um, but after that, it's it's probably going to be going for a rune scimitar, which is definitely an upgrade I have to do. The only problem with the rune scimitar is the only place I could really get it is probably right in here at Fire Giants. I know some people might be thinking, okay, uh, Rar, go kill the current head guards. Much rarer, also much harder to kill. Some people might be thinking, go to the Shazian Crypts. Um, I will get absolutely destroyed in there. It is not easily safe spotable and they use multiple combat styles and I don't have protection prayers. Even if I did have protection prayers, it's that difficult to, uh, to make use of that area. So it has to be fire giants. Fuck's sake. Fuck, fuck, fuck's sake. <laughs>
Uh, they out for such shit money. I guess it's still a 7k out, so it is money, but it's nothing like the 102k that it's saying there. I got another rune longsword, like, I just don't know where. I have no idea where this rune kite or any or any plate is, I really don't. Um, defaulted back to some normal runes for now, just because I was a little bit short on money, but we've got like pfft, 30k again to chuck back in runes. Uh, getting really close, 1,400 until 39, so we're not far off 40. I might try and push, uh, it's such a big push though, 43 prayer is, is, is a long way away. I think it's 50k XP, so we're still looking at like 18k XP. So the two goals I see are 40 prayer, we're nearly 39, we're literally, you know, 40 XP away. And then 55 magic as well, so we can use high alk and then I can start actually getting decent prices for everything that drops rather than having to sell them off for, for less. Um, so I'm just going to try and, to be honest, do it as cheaply as possible to get 55 magic, or do I want to do that? Fuck it, it's a time challenge, isn't it? It's all about time. Nah, we'll sell all this off and we'll go Chaos Runes again. Um, and I'll get 55 magic together. Then we got high up for the rest of the season, which is going to be massive. That is such a massive thing to have. Um, and yeah, that is like, what, 166k XP. So that's a lot of XP there. Even a uh, an XP gift from winning a challenge wouldn't get kins anywhere near that he'd have to still train it which is good to see um and yeah then probably go for 40 because there's no way i'm going to get the uh, 43 this episode i'll probably focus on that in probably not at the next episode maybe a few episodes later on i'm going to go ahead and get myself 40 defense so i can wear that room med in the fight really fuming really really fuming that i wasn't able to get a rune kite shield but we'll go again at some other at some other point um and try and get it there's no other reason to kill anything else it has to be fire giants um and there's 50 strength but that also means we need to make money buy runes and then make that games necklace and come back to this region so it's a lot of moving parts. It's a lot of moving parts, but you know what? It, it's, it's what has to be done. It's what has to be done. Right when I finish the recording, we get the cosmic runes. That is awesome. I should have grabbed some Varrock Tellies. I, so I fucked up a bit there, but let's go grab some Varrock Tellies, guys. And uh, actually, no, we can just go home. Let's go home because we need to head to Alcred anyway to uh, make the games necklace. So we'll take care of all this now. So all four items have been enchanted, three recoils, as well as the games necklace to get back to Zaya whenever we choose to. Now let's bank everything, guys, because we are headed out to Last Man Standing. We are actually going to be playing the mini game, and that landmass is an instance. It's not on the main map, so it is fair game because I have the chunk to start playing. We need money. We need money because we are now going for a rune scimitar, and we need runes for that. And we need money to get runes to go for the rune scimitar. Going for the DDS. These people aren't the best, guys. <laughs> they really aren't. Is he going to freeze me? I mean, I'm, I suck too, but look at this. And then I just take this out. Bolt. Bolt. Is he going to change prayers? Why is he... Why is he doing what he's doing? I can't believe I'm playing LMS in a, in a PvP challenge right now, guys. <laughs> Okay, that's two kills. Wow. All right, I am not good, but these people suck too. So, ooh, a rapier. Hell yeah, drop that whip. Never thought I'd be dropping a whip in a PvP challenge. Hit, get him, get him. Oh, that's the, that's the kill. That's the kill. Yes! Oh, I had a shark left. Oh my gosh. Is it a bot? It might be a bot, guys. It actually might be a bot. I know bots play this game a lot. That's how I'm even coming in second to begin with. We got a crate here. Th this dude's nowhere to be seen. Oh, there we go. Boom. We won. We won five points. The game just ended there. Wow. What was that? Back-to-back -back wins? What? Six points that time? Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. Okay. Well, I, I'm really not expecting this. Holy shit. Let's keep it going. Oh my gosh, yes, that's the kill. That's the kill. He had more food than me, 100%. Do I want Dragon Claws? I have like every freaking good spec weapon there is that I could ever ask for. Uh, Fury, yes. Um, don't want him to get the claws. Okay, here we go. 
And we could just save spot this whole quest and I'm being attacked already. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So this is where having mage is massive because we could just save spot this whole quest. And yeah, this will give us some attack XP, some thieving XP. Uh, there might be a GP reward. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, so just going to get this attack as high as possible. And with waterfall quest as well, we'll get strength up as well. So these two will go through the roof and then we'll be able to uh, get defense super quickly and then have that room med for the fight. There we go, 1,000 coins, 12,000 attack, and 2,000 thieving. 42 attack coming in, 35 thieving. Very nice, cool. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so thankfully, I'm not a level 3 with 10 HP, so this quest is super easy. Waterfall quest is going to be very easy. And boom, this should be waterfall quest done. There we go, 13,000 XP in strength and attack. Two diamonds, two gold bars, some myth seeds as well. 44 strength and 45 attack coming in. Oof, I think we're going to head uh, back to the fishing trawler now. So I'm going to do hill giants just because they drop the uh, big bones. And obviously we'll be able to get our prayer up just a little bit more. And we're like 40 XP away from getting ourselves 39 prayer at the moment. So yeah, we'll just get the uh, 40 defense here. Shouldn't take too long. We're getting like... 20 probably get like maybe 25k xp an hour here and we're pff, really not that far i think maybe 18 16 17 18 something like k away from 40 defense so maybe half an hour here oh and also they drop nature runes and i'm planning on bringing snares to this fight guys last time kins had no defense for mage if we can bring snares pff, i think it could be game over for him Holding him for 10 seconds at a time would be massive. Okay, this is going to be 40 defense coming in. There we go. Let's get out of here. Boom. We can now wear the room med helm. <laughs> yes. That is absolutely huge. Like, it's like 22s in the defensive stats. It is so, so big. Um, right, now we need to just make sure I've got enough runes. I can't quite remember if I've got enough in the bank or not uh, for the fight. I know I've definitely got a few. Um, and then we also need to get ourselves some food. And I'm going to be using the uh, spirit tree to get ourselves up to the Trino village. Or Trino stronghold even. And then we'll buy our worm or tangled toad legs I think is what we're uh, going to be eating. So we'll uh, we'll fire back to this in one sec. But I just need to check I've got enough uh, runes and stuff. Otherwise we're going to hit the wildy bank quickly. We've got 16 minutes. We've got plenty of time. So uh, yeah, that was the 40 defense coming in. That's the kill. Three kills in a row. Three wins in a row. Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, I'm moving on. Just a quick double check that now I can't sell anything to the GE, obviously. So we're, we're going off of Alk price here. Um, we're going to confirm these just by five. Hundreds. And we still have one point left, which I'm not going to spend on anything. Uh, we could also get one of these fancy capes real quick. Hell yeah. I'll flex it on Link that I have one win at, or at least one win at LMS. <laughs> cool. Let's sell these. Unfortunately, guys, we don't have access to any of those high alk selling shops. Um, it's going to be such shit coins. We have to do it, though. I can't alk. I don't have any access to those shops. Oh, my gosh, that drops. Okay, I'm selling two per world, uh, and I'm going to be as fast as possible. The last has been sold. Only about nine minutes that took. That isn't bad at all. We have 43k cash. Um, some of that, of course, was at like 2k I had prior. Um, all this is going to runes. Let me actually grab uh, stuff out from the bank. So we can tell you right back to Zaya with the games necklace I just got. And we could just walk right down to the fire giants. 3.5k casts. And let's head to Winter Tot. And let's get out of here. Okay, we are now back to our second region in Zaya, and we're going right to Fire Giants. Probably steal some cakes just to make my life easier so I don't have to buy more apple pies. And stealing cakes would only take about two minutes to do or so. But we have an hour and 45 minutes to now go for that rune scimitar. We are going for gold. Let's do this, Team Rog. We fucking got this. Come on, some good RNG. No, that's the same... 
rarity. That's the same rarity as a rune scimitar. Although, this does give 10 magic defense. Maybe I could staff bash with it. It does give a lot more strength than Addy. Is this better? It's slower, but it hits much higher. And 10 magic defense bonus. Mm, I think it's worth thinking about. <laughs> but I don't think it's better. Okay, just went on a, a little spending spree there. Um, but we now have like 30 casts of Snare. We have so many casts, 140 casts of Earth Blast. We're looking good there. So I'm now going to get my food together. So I actually ran out of money. So I'm going to have to bring two potato and butters to the fight. Um, and the rest will be the toad, tangled toad leg things. Um, and just the last five minutes, I'm just going to spend maging these guards because I don't really have anywhere to go. I've got so many runes to use. So uh, yeah, we're just going to sit here, get ourselves a little bit of extra XP. Really closing in on that 55, which will then give us high alk, which would just make making money so much nicer. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. And then I'll show you what we're going to go to the fight in. So this is the plan. I've dropped the black square shield because we now have the defense bonuses from the room med. And the square shield was giving me minus six magic, which not a big fan of, whereas the wooden shield gives none. It gives no negative magic, just gives a few defense bonuses. Obviously, it's not a great shield, but it's better than nothing. We've improved our stab from, I think it was 32 to 41 with this setup, and I think we've gone from 6 magic to 11. So it's definitely made us a bit more viable in terms of being uh, a magician. And uh, the whole point in having as high, or at least a balance, a higher magic uh, attack bonus is because I want these snares to hit and if we can uh, if we can land these snares on him, then he's going to be, you know, stood there for 10 seconds without being able to do anything. And then hopefully I'll be able to hit him with my Earth Blast as much as possible. So I don't think being defensive is going to be as great as it was last episode. Because hopefully, uh, with the added magic bonus, I'll be hitting um, and landing those snares. And that way he won't be hitting me, which means I won't need as much defense. So uh, yeah, I've also opted to go for the Monk Top instead, the Zami Monk Top instead of going for the Khazard body. So uh, yeah, that's the setup, and I was actually wrong. I forgot that I had to bring runes, so I have more than enough toad. What are they called? Pre-made toad tangled legs? I don't know, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's the setup. Uh, little bit worried he went and got like 37 prayer. I don't know if that would have been possible for him, um, depending on his chunks. I mean, obviously if he'd got like the boneyard like I did, then uh, he could have done it, but maybe killing fire giants for a rune simi, just burying all the big bones, I don't know. But kids doesn't like burying bones, does he? So I'm probably safe. Oh, I'm going to bring my desert boots for fashion as well, obviously. Look at those. So we're now under the five minute mark um, in the episode, and we have 48 fire giants killed, which truthfully I thought I'd be killing them a little slower because these are actually much higher level than the ones under the waterfall. They just have a lot more HP and my max hits an eight. Of course, I can't melee. I can't range. Uh, so I, I am pleasantly surprised with how fast I am killing them. But I'm only going to have about two kills left this episode. And then we will have to fight. Everything else is in the bank. I'm ready for the fight. So we can actually stay here to the very end of the episode. So uh, two kills time. So we'll have 50 kills. And hopefully we can get a rune scimitar. Technically one in 64 chance I show up to the fight with a rune scimitar. About to get that last kill at Fire Giants. We are in fact 44 magic, which is pretty good because if it doesn't go magic, magic is magic defense. So uh, we definitely can't get another kill after this. So this is the last thing we're doing in the episode. Come on. No, coins. Unfortunately, no rune scimitar, but we do still have a decent amount of runes in the bank, and we did, in fact, get 44 magic in the process. So it all didn't go to waste. We also did get 29 prayer, which means we can actually change our quick prayers to include steel skin, which is an awesome little feature that we can now bring to the fight. Uh, we do, in fact, have two recoils, so that's going to be 80 plus damage in the fight, or at least close to it. Um, that poison, hopefully we poison a bit more early. And um, yeah, if he goes magic, I think the fight will be close. Uh, if he goes melee, I'm going to say I'll have a decent shot. I mean, maybe he thinks I might have gotten um, my my range up to counter his magic. I, that That's what my original plan was. I thought he was going magic, so then he thinks, well, okay, now he's forced to train range. 
Now I can go melee because we'll bring like, you know, studded to the fight, but I'm going to just rock the one range this episode um, because I can't deviate away from my goal of now getting a rune scimitar and training my stats up. Um, and of course, the winner of this gets combat experience, so that extra 10k would honestly be massive. That's an extra strength level or like two attack levels, two defense-ish levels. So it's it, it the, the difference in XP actually, you know, does make a difference in these fights, believe it or not. So... Let's try to win this, and hopefully we can poison quick, and hopefully we are very accurate with this uh, little sword. Decided not to go for the uh, staff bashing because the DPS loss just is not worth the extra magic defense. Kid eyes. My man, how we doing, dude? Oh, back again, mate. Back again. Yeah. Yeah, another stressful four hours done. Mm -hmm. Four hours less I have to worry about this shit now, but still Let's, lost to um... go. Let's do a quick combat reveal. I want to get that out of the way ASAP because I'm a, I'm a little bit okay. worried I'm starting to fall behind on that. Three, two, one, here go. Ooh, wow. Okay. 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 Wow. I didn't, I didn't do much combat this episode. Yeah, though. that makes sense. So. That makes sense because I think you were around that like, like 54 or something last episode. I was 54 last yeah, episode. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So in the comments, no. Drag, you're wrong. You were 55. No, I have no fucking idea. I did gain a few levels. Full disclosure, but I don't know if it got me combat level or not. But yeah, I didn't. I really didn't do a lot of training. I got Zaya again. Oh wow! What I about? Actually, I actually got Kebo Slowland, but it was by the gate to go back into like by Land's End by right, Shazian. Like, yeah, yeah. So I went in that direction. Dude, right. I would say this was the hardest one to theory craft. I did the most basic thing, but in terms of like, is there other alternatives that, that I can go down? I, I'm thinking, do I go? north to get a spear but then i'm like how do i get my money how do i tell thee back to this location so i actually connected my first set of squares i had just enough to to hit curran castle so now i have this weird like backwards l shaped thing on my map which i'm sure you'll see when you watch the video but did you get the uh flat. did you get the dungeon with all the rune simi skeleton guys or not I did, but dude, I actually when in when I was doing theory crafting, yeah. I tried to safe spot them on my main, and I died on my main. I account. did. I did the exact. Well, I didn't die on my main, but I did the exact same thing when I had the uh, Shazian Square. Mm. I went and theory crafted on my main, and I went upstairs and round the back and everywhere and tried to find a safe spot. That it's so hard to yeah. do, especially on these yeah. accounts where they can just like three bang you. Like it's just it's yeah they hit like twenties, bro. Dude, like no death. gas. They like, are not fucking around. All right. But you know, since since we are talking about that, I did spend a lot of time going for a rune scimitar this episode, Ooh. and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay, so all right. at that okay. Thing. Hmm. Not get anything else from me. Fire giants, I guess, in the Kren Castle. That would make sense. I, my man's pieced all the things together. There I are, think there's I not think... much I can work with. I got the combat training arena. You know the thing after biohazard. Ah, oh, fuck! That Dude, connects to your your main. It doesn't. Does, it? it doesn't matter what I do. I always end up fucking over there. You know, so. Yeah, but you, you're, I, you're creating a landmass, which isn't the worst thing in the world, man. So that's like tree gnome, isn't it? You, I, you get tree I gnome? unlocked tree gnome, um, waterfall quest. Oh. Then I went down to. Oh no. Then I went you down. Said that so casually. I went down to connect West Ardy. Um, so I can now do Plague City, but I've still got to unlock one to get Edmund's house. But hopefully Plague City, Biohazard, Underground Pass, you know the rest. Ivan stuff, fucking all that shit. So Man, you complain about your squares a lot, but you, you got spoon-fed Lava Dragons, like the best thing to do on a fresh account. There's no way you didn't do fucking Waterfall Quest. Just, just tell me, did you do Waterfall Quest? I did Waterfall Quest, yes. <laughs> hey, you did Water... <laughs> Let's get into the reveals. Uh, yeah. Okay. I've, I've got a couple things to change, um, but okay. nothing too crazy. All right, man. To be honest, I'm looking rather similar. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put on stuff that I wore last time then. Uh, okay, so... you know what? You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll do the exact same. I, I oh, did not wow. get the rune Jimmy. I did uh, not get the rune Jimmy, dude. Thank God I for that. Spent, I spent two and a half hours making money and killing fire giants. Now keep in mind, I made the best money I could possibly make at LMS too, because I mm, won three times. Yeah, yeah. I don't have access to, to high alchemy selling shops like in like uh, West Arty, for example. So I had 40k I made in like 
30 minutes mm -hmm. or maybe 35 ish and the rest was just maging 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 killed like only 50 fire giants because they're like the higher ones yeah. they're like 140 hp i'm hitting eights do you remember so, i horrible. told you that i got an item i do probably don't but anyway i went and theory crafted did what you did on my main just to see if it was viable and i got a rune scimitar mm -hmm. in two kills when i went and did it on the on the main testing and i was like fuck off I'm uh, going for a going, wooden shield uh, instead today. He's going magic. He's going magic. I mean, the, you have a better shield than that. So There's no reason to go wooden. I'm assuming that just gives, gives no negative yeah, magic gives attack. No negative. Um, my man <sighs> yeah, Rizzolo much. gave me some desert boots, which actually give no benefit at all. I thought they did, but okay. Um, got that. And then I'm ditching the top. I'm going for mage bonus this time. And seeing wow. how that, how that okay. treats me. And then I've got this. Which I actually got last episode. But I uh, didn't have the yeah, defense. I, I actually did see that in the yeah. comments and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I didn't have that. To, I didn't have the defense. So I spent about 40 minutes at the end of this episode. Just getting defense up. And, uh... okay, and, the, and the bright side for me. I did get 44 magic. So my magic defense oh, is higher wow. than episode. I got yeah. 54. I'm on right now. I'm oh, one away from high. high alk, mate. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't oh, wait. That's high. I got 50 strength this episode, <sighs> so that's that nice. It? Uh, it is. I could hit tens. Okay. I, I also did get a magic battle staff, which could hit 11s. I'm one level away from hitting 12s, which which my uh, Addy sword will still only hit tens. But the it's problem it, is, the it's a tick slower. Mm -hmm. The only reason I was going to bring it was because it gives 10 magic defense yeah, fair. as well. Yeah. But a lot of thinking and Googling and XP calcs, it, it all signs just still point to Addy Sword being better no matter what happened. Yeah, because I think like you're losing like 25% of your hit speed, aren't you? So you need to do 25% more damage for it yeah, to be worth yeah. it. Something along those My lines. My max hit was one higher. Yeah, so I was fair. thinking it's not worth it. Link, I have to ask. You, now you did the waterfall quest. Mm -hmm. I know Magic won you the fight last time. You did mention you did it more as like a Hail Mary. So just want the thought process. Why well, Magic again? First of all, I have 45 attack, 44 strength, 40 defense. That that gets outdone by you. you you're better than me in all of that. Um, you're not a weapon, though. I've got a better weapon than you, but dude, I still don't have any legs. So I'd be Myth Plate, Black Square... Room med that that I, I lose that you've got strength and attack True. bots I don't you've got poison mm -hmm. you've got recoil Pfft. there's no way I, win I that. guess there's no way whereas I got I magic guess. level to now cast earth blast which hits 14s 15s something like that uh, so yeah this this uh oh oh gosh I got okay. the level for snare as well which is 10 seconds which is like three or four attacks i think um and it gives me food time to eat and obviously i also got these which are now 15 here or from the gnome food shop so i i got lobsters just because they are one eat and not two right okay and then the rest of apple pies where'd you get the lobbies more, from is that from fire, fire giants. giants right they're like one in one two eight or some shit aren't they <laughs> Uh, one in 64, right, I think. Okay. So it sucks. I got three of them. But... <laughs> More chance of your rune simi than three lobbies. But, but so yeah, I mean, also the fire battle staff is the same rarity as rune simi. So I'm like, yeah, fuck's sake. Yes, <laughs> Are yeah. you kidding me? Okay. All right. Oh, man. Okay. So, uh, All right, kids, let's do this. Let's, let's do this. I'm done talking about this. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Can I yeah. Give me your two second yep. warning and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Cool. Cool. Two second warning. Okay. Okay. And I'm sorry viewers, I know so many people are going to get fuming with me. They're going to be like, ah, that was shit. But it's just the way it goes, guys. It's just the way it goes. you got to play to win seasons, you know? It has to happen. This should be. This should be in the bag. This should be in the bag. Oh, that recoil, bro. Oh, 
Oh, that, that was not a snare. My pies are over here. <laughs> I'm going to smedge you away from the pies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got them. I got them. Okay. I'm just right. take farther from you now. Are you not poisoned? Joke. Again, I, I have so much issues all the time trying to do this. Oh, we let me get that extra hit. In. Link. I know. Link, what are you doing? Dude, there's some issue. I keep clicking snare and it's not doing it. It's like it's delayed slightly. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. Is it just lag? Um, don't think so. You splash it, boys! How we splash? Oh, my helm's still on. I gotta get my helm off. I, I think there's a uh, I think there's a grace period is what it is. So as soon as you're running at me, I'm trying to cast snare, but it it gives you like a second of no snaring. Right. <sighs> Come on, hit, 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 hit. How many runes did you bring again? Totally forgot. I've got, I've got I had like 140 or something. All oh, right, plenty, plenty. plenty. I, I love how Snare there. hits. Cheeky little twos. <laughs> I know. You watch me lose by like 4 <laughs> HP now. Alright, at least I always have poison and recoils doing a little bit to you. Surely he can't have too many snares. I, I know Snare uses like 4 nature runes or something. It's ridiculous. I think I had like 90 natures or something. Oh, yeah. I had a lot of cash. I got some uh, rune longswords from Love Dragons. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Hit. When Snare doesn't hit, I'm not sure whether I've hit you or not. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Who's he got? That's the question. I'm gonna ease off on the snares, guys. I don't want to use too much, and I think I've already won the fight, so. There's no point. Sorry, I'm just spam clicking over here. <laughs> Oh man. I didn't poison. Okay. Is that it? You gotta be close. You got to be close. Jesus, you still got food? way longer than I thought you would. Way longer. I'm still not hitting at all. I'm just not hitting. That's him. That's him done. It's got to be. Got to be. Yes. Yep, I'm out. <sighs> Woo! Fuck. Thank God. I was really, really starting to worry there. You had loads more food than I thought we were going to have. How much food? Uh, four, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Fuck. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I'm Fuck. back. 
Fuck. All right, guys, definitely a rough fight. I mean, I didn't want to try to counter magic in this episode because I can put an XP reward into range and not waste like three hours going for it. Um, so I know some people might be curious as to why I didn't focus on range this episode. That's pretty much the the verdict. I'd rather just go for the rune simi because that's going to help me much later in the episodes. But uh, my XP probably will go into range. But anyway, let's stop babbling about that. I will have to give that a think. Let's actually spin the randomizer and we can see where we're going to be thrown next. 317. Okay, B's and G's. To be honest, I don't really know what I want. Uh, at, the, at this moment in time, like, I'm winning, so I don't really need to react to anything, so... Uh, we'll see. We will see. Two, 296, that sounds very fucking familiar. Okay, it's a chunk I've already landed on. And I... It's the Boneyard. I literally got this the other day. Um, me and Kins have a rule on it, and I can't remember, so I'm gonna have to talk to him briefly, and I'll come back to you guys. And as always, guys, we're going to need to control F this, so 3, 17... What? Oh god, it loves throwing me over here, although it, I can obviously connect, which is the one thing that I'm thinking of that's going to be my saving grace here, but, uh... Okay, okay. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's obviously stuff we can do here. At the very least, we can connect and then um, move on. In fact, we have, we have these three unlocked. So I can essentially add on five anywhere in my previous region. So this is going to get interesting. And it's going to get interesting fast. Okay, so the rule is that there's now, I get six unlocks rather than five. So normally you'd get one unlock and then you'd get five around it. But obviously my random chunk is one I've already got. So I've now got six to use. Um, so just to refresh your memory, guys, um, my squares, I just want to make this completely obvious so that everyone knows. My current squares are this on the in-game map. So I now have six squares to go off anywhere I want from here. So I could go start here, for example, and go one, two, three, four, five, six if I wanted. Um, just because my random free chunk has already been, it's, you know, it's not a free chunk this time, so now it's six. Uh, rather than normal five, I get to choose. So, uh, don't know what I'm going to do with this. We will see. Um, I've sort of used everything around this area that I want to use. There is the Wildy Altar, so maybe that will be something we look at. But, um, yeah, I would have preferred like six over probably in our area that we always get because that would have really opened some nice things up. But, you know, you take what you're given. So, Kins, I mean, you know I've got somewhere I've previously landed on now. I mean, I'm not happy about it, <laughs> Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's, I, never, that's never a good thing. Reverse, if you'd said it to me, I definitely wouldn't have been. I'd be like, fuck, what the hell's he pulled? Yeah. But, but, I mean, I've only got like three areas. You sort of know it's going to be one of those three. So, I mean, you can you can work mm -hmm. out what I do, I guess. Um... How are you feeling about yours? Tricky part. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, just really quickly, without thinking too hard into it, there's definitely options I can do. It's uh, probably going to be my longest theory crafting one yet, oh, especially because wow. my back's against the wall. I mean, that's probably the main reason. You know, if I won the last year, I'd just be like, yeah, I'll kill some more hill giants for <laughs> Cosmic Room. Yeah. But, okay. um,. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I also have to figure out how I'm going to put the XP into into a skill because I get 20k, you get 30k in any yeah. combat. So it's going to be a case of also what helps me in this region the most. Um, so find out what happens, guys. Thing. Hey guys, welcome to episode 7 of the Random Chunk PvP progression series between Link and myself. And uh, we did unlock this chunk to start out with. I will start in that chunk, don't worry, but I was getting attacked. As you can see, my HP is a little lower. There's the fucker right there, actually. This little dude, where is he? Oh, now he doesn't want to come out and play. There he is, that lore shadow. He's doing some dirty work on me. But uh, yes, we got this chunk, which does mean we can connect to, you know, our gigantic landmass. Now, there's two main things that I was really trying to do when trying to figure out the squares I was going to unlock. The first one I wanted to do was go for the Dorgenshin crossbow, because as you can see, I did dump 20k experience into range. We are now 34. 
did that just to counter Link and his stupid little magic that he's been doing. Can't let him get away with that any longer. I did want to wait till after this episode because, you know, 34, which is 20k XP, took like two hours to get. And that was with knives. And of course, I don't really have access to knives. And even if I did want to make knives, it would take time. Put it this way. It, it would have been a waste of time in the episode. And I was saving it for an XP reward. And I knew last episode was going to have that, of course, for combat. So so going back to the whole Dorgenshin bow plan, the only thing that I needed... Now, I have all the areas needed for the quest. But the one thing that I did not have access to was Falador. Which, because of this fence around the entire park i would need these two squares unlocked to talk to weissen to get blue dye so not only is weissen fucking me over with the mole pet but he's fucking me over with getting a durage and crossbow because these goblin bitches up here need the fucking blue dye just to go with the fucking brown ones that whole shenanigan shit up north but Anyways, so I can't get a Dorgish and Crossbow. I was just shy with it. Plan two was to unlock the Champions Guild over here in this chunk and try to go for 32 quest points. I can get close. I was able to get like 28 or something with all this theory crafting. And uh, it just is not possible. Um, so unfortunately, I just scratched that plan. Now, I didn't want to work half-assed towards one of those plans because I'm currently down two episodes. And I need to definitely turn the tides and get those better XP rewards and try to flip it in my favor. So I just put my XP into range and I unlock some good things that can help me in this episode as well as later episodes. So I got the Boneyard Chunk again, which I had already unlocked, which meant I then got to pick six squares rather than a normal five because my random one was already unlocked. Um, and this, as you can see, is what I'm going to do. We're going to go one square over here because there's steel plate legs. There's a steel plate legs spawn here. And I still don't have any legs. So steel plate legs spawn. That will give me some legs. Uh, and that's why I went for this square. Then we've got some uh, coal, myth, iron. I don't know if I'll ever use that, but it's nice to have. Then we have the Wilderness God Wars dungeon. Um, and we also have, I believe that's the Rev Caves. The Rev Caves now is 100k to get into. So a little bit annoying uh, on that front. Um, but there are um, some things in the Wilderness God Wars dungeon we might want to kill later on in the account. Then here we have Ankus, which drop weapon poison. And I got that rune dagger um, not too long ago, a few episodes ago, which we could go ahead and poison, which would be nice. You know, hit Kins with some of his uh, own medicine. Uh, then if we go one down... We can unlock the crazy archaeologist square. Uh, drops a power ammy, which is the main thing I'm thinking about. Also drops red dehyde body, rune crossbow, sharks, prayer potions, all sorts. And to be honest, as soon as we get this uh, this prayer level, we'll be laughing. We'll, we'll be able to kill the crazy arc, which would be pretty cool. And of course, the wildy altar um, to take advantage of that sick prayer XP. So they are my unlocks. And seeing as I start with absolutely nothing, um, we're going to be picking up uh, Big Bones and I'm going to go and test the Wildy Altar out and just see if it's worth me doing that. But I think we will do just a little bit of Lava Dragons to get 55 magic um, so we can do High Alk and have the chance of a Rune Full Helm and the Rune Kite Shield. I will discuss way more in detail why I picked these, but briefly, the reason I picked this many chunks over here is because of cooking. As well as these two are needed for the Dorgishan quests. And, you know, it, it comes very well. It gets close to Faldor as well. So when it does come to that. And this one up here to try to go for some green dehyde Chaparuskis. And, of course, we're going to need to unlock that at some point anyway. Because I'm going to sure we're going to want access to this. And with a giant ass landmass, it shouldn't be that difficult to, to unlock. So that is going to be our six unlocks. The one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is where we're going to go with the episode. The first thing we're going to do is go to Farrock. We are going to buy some range equipment and then go kill those Birthorp guards with range and try to get 40 and green dehyde chaps in the process. So I'm going to walk up here and then tell you out. And when I tell you out is when I'm going to start the timer or as I'm telling, I should say, because I can get in my starting chunk way up here in the corner, oddly enough. I thought it was going to work, but it didn't. But I'll figure it out. All right, we want to buy a maple short bow as well as I'm going to just stick with bronze arrows for now. I'm not too concerned. I'm going to probably just buy 100, hop a few times, get like um, six or 700 or so. And then I'm going to minigame teleport to Birthorp 
games room and start killing those guards and uh, try to get those chaps as soon as possible. Then when I get the chaps, I'm going to move on over to Chaos Druids and just round off 40 range. And um, then it's on to another plan. Again, this episode is going to be to round out those those kinks in my plan, those those problem areas that Link is currently taking advantage of right now. Weak food and no range. So this episode hopefully irons those out. Um, I put my XP into 25 range. So I put uh, 7,800 XP into range. Um, and that's because we need 25 um range to do the underground pass so i didn't want to spend like three hours one episode getting one to 25 range you know because those early levels are so slow in range uh so that's the reason why i put it in there and then the rest just went into defense to get us as high as possible in the defense so let's start this timer and uh yeah i'm gonna pick up some big bones here let's turn the run on that would probably be a good idea uh, I'll take the Iron Simi as well. Might as well. We've got nothing else on us. So, uh, yeah. Pick up the Big Bones, hop, and then we'll go to the Wobbly Altar and we'll just see what this XP is going to be like. Okay, we're going to go get these steel plate legs. So, let's drop one of these bones. Where are they? Where are they? I don't know where they are. There they are. Who's that? 46? No, we're good. We're good. Right, we've got some bloody plate legs on the account now. Thank God for that. Jesus. Okay, this is definitely the hottest place I've been in the wilderness so far. I am definitely not enjoying this. So I don't... This is just with big bones that I picked up. If I had lava dragon bones... Whew, I, don't, I don't feel it's worth it. But let's see. Is there someone there? There's no one there at the moment. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See how much XP this can bring us. That is 40 coming in, so we now have Protect from range, which is pretty cool. Wow, we got pretty lucky on these bones, I think. Pretty lucky. It's going to take us two. Wow, really not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's insane. 160k an hour XP that was at. Wow. So we're now 2,500 XP away from 41. And we have, as I say, now the uh, Protect. Both Protects. Okay, I decided to do one more round. One more round and then we will do Lava Dragons because I do need to get this 55 magic anyway. And I would like a chance at the Rune Full Helm and the Rune Kite. So this is the last one. It should get me to 41 uh, prayer. Oh, this is going to be close. This is, there we go, 41 coming in. We just got it. Got a little bit unlucky, actually. Need, didn't need that many bones. But boom, 41 prayer coming in. Uh, I'll pray one more time, actually. And we'll turn that off. If I die, I die. We're in a pretty bullshit area right now i need to walk all the way around now to go up to the mage bank that is so horrible oh that's a trek and if we cross the street to horvac real quick could we actually buy it uh honestly i i'll just buy the studded body uh we should get green dehyde chaps and it actually drops studded chaps as well so let yeah just screw that i wouldn't even waste the money because we're pretty low right now and we'll get it relatively fast so birthorpe games room we should tell you there, no problem. And uh, we'll start killing those guards. Hope we don't need too much food, but we do have food in the bank in case we absolutely need it. I was getting absolutely dog with range, so change the plan. We're going to melee them for the green D high chaps and then train range elsewhere for 40. 10kc, 10kc, green D high chaps. They are 1 in 21. Oh, that archer almost attacked him again. No, we want to get out of here. Let's, um... Let's go Varrock. We want to train range now. A Chaos Druid for herbs and stuff. But this is one out of 21. The studded one out of 14. I, I was assuming I'd get the studded first. I know I can't afford them, but I, I'm, I don't even care at this point. Chaos Druids have, like, no defense. Um, I don't think studded will make a difference. And I could get that range up to 40, I think, pretty quickly. And it's still really early in the episode. So uh, everything's still coming together so nicely. So hopefully 40 doesn't take too long. And then we have a plan for cooking. Just finished 40 range, currently running out of combat. Our inventory is incredibly full. Also got really, really close to 30 prayer burying all the bones. I've learned my lesson. I still disagree sometimes with burying them, but I don't feel like getting yelled at from all you guys. So I've been, I've been extra good at burying bones. So our next move is to go on over to Lumbridge and walk to Port Serum. And I'll tell you guys why I'm doing that once I'm there. I think I'm actually a little bit shy in terms of how much money I have and how much money I need to have to get to a nice respectable cooking level, but I'm trying to remind myself of this method. I buy 
raw sardines from this shop over here, walk over to this here cooking range and cook. And they give, I think, 40 or 50 experience each. And the XP is astronomical for how cheap and convenient it really is. So let's see real quick how much XP we expect to get. And I'm definitely going to need more money, by the way. Uh, which definitely sucks, but, you know, I knew I was going to have to do it at some point anyway. We do have that fire battle staff in my bank, which, in all honesty, I don't think I'm going to use. So, I might just sell that to a general store, get, like, you know, however much I get from that, the 6k or whatever it is, and then swing right back here. I fucked up a little bit, but, you know, I, it's not too big of an issue. But, as you see, 40 XP per sardine cooked. And this level is gonna just fly up and it's gonna be so nice to see it. I fucking hate lava dragons. That's like my sixth rune longsword. It's the same chance as a kite. Somebody is trolling me. Somebody is trolling me, man. That is, ah, oh, fuck. Um, right, let's chuck the Protect from Mage on. Let's run out of here. I'm gonna do... Ooh, there's a man. Somebody is killing dragons. Somebody's killing dragons over here. Um, I'm gonna do the big bones for the last bit of XP. Well, we got 2,700, probably like 6,000 XP, something along those lines. Uh, I'm gonna have to bank first, though. I've got all this stuff in my inventory. So we'll go to the bank, then I'm gonna do the rest because I don't need magic XP anymore. I've got the 55 from now on levels take so long like it's 17k xp like that's 45 minutes of, of magic training to get that so from now on magic's gonna be a bit difficult to train up without uh xp rewards from fights and stuff so yeah i'll probably put that on the back burner for now i did look at getting 66 magic and going to the wizards guild but 66 magic is like nearly half a million xp i'd need like 350k or something which is just so many hours of mage training that I just I just don't have the time for. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do big bones and just get this get this forty three. We're really really close. That is just so nice to see. Doesn't matter what style he goes, we're gonna have some protection for the fight. Um, tick manipulation isn't allowed in the fight though. So let's say he turns up with his root with his Addy, uh sword. I can't one tick flick. I can't turn my prayer off, turn it back on. That's not allowed. Once I turn my melee protect on, it has to stay on unless I'm switching to another uh, protection prayer. Uh, that's to make prayer pots valid. If we were able to just flick our prayers, then prayer pots wouldn't be so huge. So that's why we're doing that. So the only reason that we would be changing is to like switch to maybe a smite or switch back to like a protect from mage and then go back to protect from melee if one of us was tribriding, hybriding, etc. See you out. Wow. I'm four for four LMS wins on this account. Um, guys, we're actually going for money. I, you, you can see my inventory. I tell you to write to LMS because I need the money. So, uh, yeah, we got to wait till those level 10s join in. That That's how you win those games. So we're going to do a few games of this and try to uh, secure as much funds as we can and um, then make money and... Get a lot of cooking levels, get a lot of magic levels, get that rune scimitar, things like that. So let's go five for five. Unfortunately, we didn't win that last game, but I want to get this as well for the fight. The Addy Arrows. Let's get one of those. I'm going to have like an odd number of points here. Uh, let me drop this stuff. Um, let me trade real quick. And where is it? These. I want to get two of these. I'm not on a member's world. Okay, we're going to hop, get two of those, sell them. The same plan like in last episode. Why did I go to a German world? Ugh. So, gonna sell those, then right back to cooking, and get a nice, decent level with that. Just your casual dragon and bling. Uh, yeah. Rip. I mean, can't expect to ever get that level in this account, can I? So, good luck to whoever finds that. Oh, froze! The client just crashed! What? Oh, <laughs> shit, you not! I'm pausing the timer on. That's fucking whack. 35 cooking has been achieved, and with a lot of theory crafting, I found an even better way. I literally just wanted Port Serum to go from 32 to 35 cooking. That's how annoying that skill is to get up without having any fishing levels or any tools. Of course, I didn't have that tool over there unlocked. Um, although, over here, I can buy potatoes. 
Potato. What? That's just come back. I was gonna say unlimited potatoes. That'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna buy some potatoes. I think I actually can get some in these crates as well. But um, the problem is that I don't have the white apron with me. By the time I go elsewhere and come back, it will take. Oh no, the white apron's in Garrett's house, isn't it? There it is. That's right. Wow, all my noob memories are coming back. But uh, let's pop on this apron and let's get potatoes. You learn something new every day. Apparently, you need pirate's treasure to have access to the back room to get employed by this place and, and actually go in there. So, this is a very slow means of getting potatoes. I'll probably just pick them up. I think I can get them... Oh, gosh, here. I'm pretty sure that's potatoes. Okay, if I have done my calculations correct, this should get us the level. But I could be wrong. Oh, we've got more than enough. Way more than enough. 43 prayer. There we go. All protection prayers unlocked. There we go, guys. All three protection prayers on the account. That is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and do our first ever high elk on that rune longsword we got. <laughs> 19k. Right, I'm going to do a little bit of melee training and we're going to do it on Chaos Druids and actually they are messing me up. I thought I could start using Protect from Melee if I really want to, but um, yeah, they drop super defenses, 1 in 1 to 8, which is a bit shit, um, but of course they also drop a load of herbs and I want to be ready for when I actually can get Herbler up. I want to have herbs in the bank. I currently have like none, um, so I think I'm going to flick melee. And we're going to get as many herbs together as possible while still training our stats. The way I look at this is Rog's going to come up with some plan to counter my magic. That's a given. He's not going to sit there and let me bind him and let me far cast him again in the next fight. That will not happen. I'm really tempted to go melee in the next fight and just hope that he comes up with like some range plan or turns up in like studded or something. And then we just rip through him with this rune simi. And I'm quite happy with what we've achieved in terms of getting like high alk and stuff. So like, I wouldn't be too bothered giving it a go and throwing another spanner his way. So I think I'm going to get some uh, combat stats up here, to be honest. Hey, there we go. There's a super defense, which is very nice to see. Um, right now, it would raise the defense by 11. Wow, that's huge. I sort of want to save it, though. I do want to save it. But uh, hopefully we can get a few of these together and then I've got a few for some fights when I think I need to pull it out. There is another one. <laughs> yes, that's what we like to see. So I think I'm going to go for 50 strength and then uh, I'll see where I'm at. Our defense is really close as well. So I might go 50 strength, 45 defense. Um, and then I might hit up the crazy archaeologist. See if we can pull ourselves like a, uh, a power ammy. Uh, I guess a rune cross burner and a red dehyde body wouldn't exactly be the worst things to pull, but obviously can't use them. Um, so yeah, I think we might hit over there and just see how it is. Okay, here's where stuff really comes to light. All the potatoes are banked for this episode. We gotta get our cooking level up still. So we're going to the top floor. Where's that? Where's the... Uh, oh, it's the same staircase. That is awkward. Shit. So as you can see, we have a jug and we have some grapes. I think you guys know where this is going. Guess what has a 35 cooking requirement and gives 200 XP per wine. Now, some will turn into bad wines, but most shouldn't. Um, and in terms of jugs, all we need are 14. There's a water source downstairs. We're going to make the wines, empty the wines, and keep going until we get a nice cooking level. I hope this is faster than cooking sardines. Even if it's not, it is much cheaper, I can tell you that. So we're going to try this for a bit. Hopefully it all pays out, and uh, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, so we're currently filling up all the jugs now. We put that in, and it should be as simple as that. I think they only take like 14 seconds to ferment as long as you're not actively making more grapes. That's how people get those insane... Um, XP drops. They just don't let the timer essentially run out. Every time you make a wine, it resets it. See how that popped up the moment I stopped making one? Um, I do just want to hold up a sec and make sure it's a decent XP drop before I keep doing this, so let's give it a sec. 2.2k? Oh, that's so nice. Let's keep, let's definitely keep doing this. Can we empty these? No, but what I'll probably do is drink one 
loot one. So we actually need one more level for potato with butters, which is where I think I'm going to leave it this episode. The XP is coming in pretty quick. Actually, the first one I did was uh, quite, quite crazy. I'm going to grab one extra jug in case I didn't get it. Uh, 238. Okay, I'm going to need a few more. Darn it. But uh, so 39 is what I'm looking for. Then I'm going to make the potato with butters, get that 14 one bite heal. And then it's on to Fire Giants for the rest of the episode because I still think that that's the most crucial upgrade we can get. Although it feels horrible sacrificing an entire episode to just the Rune Scimitar because I'm going to just slack in other areas. So let's make these three. That'll definitely get us 39. And then we will be off to uh, making the potatoes and then back to Zaya for the Fire Giants. The problem with the Crazy Ark is I don't have a massive amount of prayer. I don't have prayer pots. Um, I'm now getting hit because I'm I can't commentate my my mouse is actually broken and it's double clicking slash not clicking at the moment And I really wanted to prayer flick this whole thing and like I'd say one in one in ten clicks Just don't register. I've got a new mouse on the way. Don't worry Amazon Prime are bringing it tomorrow, but I'm really <laughs> hating prayer flicking right now um, Anyway, yeah, the problem with the crazy arc is I don't have any prayer pots. See it just double click there. So annoying um I don't have any prayer pots, and I'd have to run back up to the Wildy Altar every time I want to reset for a new kill. And uh, I don't know how much fun that's going to be, especially as the Wildy Altar is a PKing hotspot. Um, and we're like slap bang in the perfect sort of combat level range for pretty much everyone to be able to attack me around the Wildy Altar. Um, so, yeah, that's why Crazy Arc is. It's not exactly something that I'm looking forward to, but I think it's something I should definitely try and just see how viable it's going to be. <laughs> In season two, it took me like, I think it was like 400 kills or something to get one. There we go, 50 strength coming in, so we can now hit 13s fairly consistently with a strength pot. I'm going melee this fight, guys. Super defense, super strength, protect from melee, protect from range, protect from magic. It doesn't matter what he goes. I'm grabbing myself a protect of whatever combat style he goes for. And I don't think he'll turn up in melee gear again. Why would you? I'm gonna take a quick second to show you guys something as well. A few of you last episode were asking how I got from my chunk there to Ardy. There's a little sliver here, guys, that you can just walk down. And as you can see, it's two tiles apart. You can easily walk in. So uh, yeah, on the map, it sort of looks tight, but no, there is a, there's a very easy walkway to uh to get down from that chunk to this one see this is the problem with the crazy arc for me right now it's taken like two and a half minutes just to walk here you know and until i really unlock some more chunks around here it's not really going to be viable i need a closer bank uh, i think the closest bank is either edgeville or ferox one of the two so if i do want to pursue killing this it's probably going to be that it's more just I didn't really have anything else to do at the last, you know, 15 minutes of this episode. So I thought we'd go give it a go, but it's not very viable. It's not very viable. Uh, I'm going to keep range protect on the whole time. I'm not going to bother flicking. I just want to get a kill down, see what it's like. And then we'll run up to the altar and recharge and go for it again. So uh, here we go. Okay, it's going okay at the moment. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough prayer, to be honest. We need the DPS to go up a little bit. No, I'm not going to have enough prayer, so I'm going to have to start flicking. And I'm not really sure where his attacks start and end. I think it might be three tick. I think I've got it down. I'm not 100% sure though. All right, so an hour and four minutes left. Just want to show you guys real quick. Uh, 25 potato with butters. Um, I want to learn this for myself, so I'm going to check real quick. Uh, the next step up would be 47 for baked potato with butter and cheese, which heals 16 one bite. Um, so that'll probably be my next move winter talk camp So the next hour and four minutes is just going to be fire giants Unfortunately guys no rune scimitar just yet. We could probably get one more kill relatively easily after this one right here uh, Which will put us at 28 kills in this stream plus 50 in the one prior so Oh, this is the only place I could still realistically get a rune scimitar and I need it. I feel like I'm wasting so much time here. I wish that was it right there. We have one more kill, but if I don't get it, the next time I'll see you guys is at Edgeville Bank talking about my setup. So um, I will see you guys there or with a rune simi in my hand, maybe. Hey guys, here we are, the final gear for this fight. It's very similar yet very different at the same time. Our gear is the same. Addy Dagger, 
poisoned. Attack potion, strength potion. But we have the addition of range now. Now, assuming we eat one, we can now switch to range. We have a bunch of Addy Arrows for the fight. Uh, we have 15 magic defense, which is great. But ultimately, I just want to be able to attack back. That is the main point of having the range not so much to defend although then again maybe that'll be a, a f more effective in fact it probably will be if he's not far casting me um the reason why i am bringing so many switches is just because i don't know what to expect if i win this fight i definitely think link might feel like his back's against the wall now and that's ultimately the whole point of this now when it comes to the recoil i actually have 32 charges in one of them because i did forget to put it on on a <laughs> I, you know, until later in the fight, and then I lost fight anyway, so it didn't really matter. I lost by a lot. But I have 72 recoil damage instead of the typical 40, so I am going to bring the two, which is why I didn't go for Cosmics the entire episode, because um, I had this one still, so I kind of said fuck it. Um, but this guy is is uh, in the video. Nope, I'm not working the timer. But uh, let's go fight Link, and um, <laughs> maybe we can get this win. We have ranged up our sleeve now. There we go. Oh, that's a very good start. Oh man, that's good. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, red dehyde body straight off the bat. It's a shame we need such high uh, range level to wear that, but you don't need to complete Dragon Slayer to use it. So that's sick. Trying to get the record up. I uh, just got hit by a massive raid of knowledge, a massive raid of knowledge, but does look like we're going to get the kill here. Am I going to have to flick for the last bit? Come on. There we go. Mud runes. That's not what I wanted to see. Well, there you go. There's two crazy art kills. We've got three minutes left. So uh, uh, I'll test my luck against Ankus and see if we can get a poison. A weapon poison. There we go. Come on, weapon poison. Oh my fucking god. Oh my shit. Wow. <sighs> wow. Oh no. I'm not going to have enough time to get to a bank. I don't have enough time to get to a bank, so I can't... I can't put the weapon poison on my dagger. No. <laughs> I'm fuming. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm fuming at the same time. No! Okay, so this is the setup I'm going with. The Rune Med Helm, the Gnome Ambulant, the Myth Plate Body, Steel Plate Legs, Rune Kite Shield, uh, Rune Kite Shield, Rune Scimitar, Team 11 Cape, and a Black Square Shield. It's giving us over 114 slash or stab, depending on which he goes for. I know he's been going for that rune simi. I'm expecting a rune simi, but I'd love to see that Addy sword come back out. Or maybe he brings the battle staff. That would be fucking brilliant. That would be so funny. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good there. I'm going to bring a super defense. I've got three now. So I've got three fights worth of super defense. I'm sure we can go back and we can grab... Um, more super defense if I want because those Chaos Druids really aren't that bad XP and I get herbs from them and super defenses, etc. Um, and then we also get the strength potion that Dr. Jekyll's been dropping to us. I think I've got about four of these now, these two doses. So we're going to bring that into the fight with us. And then I've got the toad leg thingies. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good. 50 strength, 45 attack, 45 defense, 50 HP. I think uh, I think we could get him here because I think he's going to switch up his strategy. He's going to expect me to go magic again, but there's no way he's going to just allow me to bind him. So I think this is uh, this is the way to go. Link, my man. Another four hours have came and went, and here we yes. are about to fight. How are you feeling about this one? Now, I know, but before we answer that, I know you landed on a previous unlock that you've had. So I know yeah. you got six, essentially, of your choice. Where, mm -hmm. I don't know, but, you know, I was trying to theory craft all episode where you could have possibly landed. Any so, ideas? Um, well, I mean, it could either only really be the Wilderness or Zaya. Um, or Artie. Or Artie, yeah. Yeah, wow. How did I miss fucking Artie? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy <laughs> like, fucking like the place shit. Yeah. All the fucking time. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But I mean, you, you've exhausted so much of Artie already, so honestly, I would hope you would have picked that one, I guess, but you would have only picked that one if you couldn't think of other 
areas. I would say Wildy probably could be the worst one, but I... Well, I couldn't, I couldn't pick it. Like, whatever was given to me, I had to go off that landmass. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm like, what? I could have chosen anywhere. <laughs> no, he can't. He can't. I'm just, no, I'm just thinking in my own head right now, thinking the worst case scenario. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. I think you're you you're sort of right. Like, you open up squares in the areas. Like, it will happen to you in the next few episodes. I'm sure you've already opened up a lot of the things you felt were valuable to you, but then you've suddenly got these six squares to play around with, and you yeah. and you definitely theory craft a little bit and come up with something new. So, uh, yeah, it was cool. It mm -hmm. was cool. In terms of where I landed, there's not much too much to say. To, oh, to be honest, I was able to, to connect to my massive land mass and like missilein. Of course you are, because so. that's like the biggest fucking island I've Dude, ever seen. It's, it's huge, huge now. So at, anytime I'm on that side of the map, I'm like, great, I can <laughs> connect. Sake. Like it goes into I, the I've wildy and everything. I've never been anywhere near there. I don't think I've hit missilein. It's fucking BS. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, that, do you know, dude, honestly, the, the home telly, is huge like the amount of times i'm like oh just home telly out and i'm like i can't like that is that is a massive yeah. one i uh i i felt that actually a couple times this episode i really wished i had it and uh, it just didn't come off which obviously yeah so, so that is a nice well. unlock <laughs> that yeah. was smart to uh to get that for sure sweet so uh link let's do a quick combat level reveal and then i okay. say let's go right into the gear reveal right after I tried my hardest right. not hover over you this time, so comment, please. Be easy on me this time. <laughs> I'll show you my combat level. There you go. I get yelled at that too, or for that too. Um, all right, on go, Link. Three, okay. two, one, go. Yeah, he Whoa. trained all episode. He trained Come all on. fucking episode, didn't he? Come on. Very uh, happy that. Do you want to run through the uh, the stats? Yeah, sure. All right, um, forty-five attack for me. Um, I'll just be honest. My attack, strength, and defense are all the same. Before I, you blow me okay. out of the water, and I'm really sad. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So forty-four, fifty, forty. Oh. Got forty-four, uh, forty-five, fifty, forty-five. You know, all I care about is if you got that rune kite, Link. Uh, um. <laughs> I'll be. I'm, I might as well because I know you'll you'll look me up and have a little look anyway. Uh, I got 25 range because uh, I do want to do the underground pass at some point. So I put 25 range uh, with my XP reward. Mm -hmm. uh, I put the rest into defense, which pushed me up a little bit. I think to 44, um, and then I just got one defense level there. I landed on the boneyard. <sighs> and so I was like, well, I've got lava dragons already. I've got the mage bank. I'm... So I went across. And unlocked the uh, the wildy altar, and I did a little bit of lava dragons, only a little bit, just to get fifty five magic. I needed like five k xp, so I did a bit of lava dragons, buried the bones, and then I just did the rest of the xp with um, right, with big bones, which actually took longer than I thought it was going to. Um, to go from like forty one to thirty uh, to forty three was, I think it was like thirty minutes. So it was wow. Uh, it was a lot of walking and running, and yeah, yeah. it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. <sighs> 43 prayer, though. Um, we should say I'm this now. We can't flick protection prayers, guys. Um, I did explain that when okay. I got the uh, level. Yeah, we can't tick manipulate it, is what I said. All right, Link. You call the first item. Let's get this gear on, and let's let's see what's going to happen. See what's going to happen this fight. I'm I mean, I'm very nervous based on your region again. I mean, I, I know you did the prayer and oh, maybe you have a room kite and shit. Go pick it. Just do it. Get me out uh, of misery. Uh, let's go shield, mate. Let's go shield. <sighs> Ooh, imagine still using a black square shield. Jesus Christ, man. That is, that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God. Dude, I'm so like, Just kidding, so idiot. Dry. <laughs> so fucking dry on a rocky room, Kai. I'm so angry. Good. I'm yeah. So angry. Now you know what it was like in season two, okay? <laughs> Where it took like 500 and everyone's like, Rog, you're doing it wrong. And I'm like, how am I killing trolls wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sake. All right. Uh, um, Helm. Okay. Okay. That doesn't give away his combat style just yet. Mm, let's go necklace, mate. You uh, managed to get rid of that gold shit yet? Well... Even though I had this last episode, I decided to up the bling bling, and now I'm rocking my games <laughs> necklace. <Yeah. laughs> Fuck's sake. All right, body. Uh, 
Body, 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 body. Is it Myth Plate? Or is it... He's going it melee. Myth it's Myth Plate. Man gets protect from melee, and he thinks he can now challenge me to a melee fight. Well, um, honestly, my thought process was I, last fight, sat and fucking played with you, binding you and maging you. There was no way you were going to allow me to do that again. So I thought, he's going to come up with some plan. I want to see if I can come up with a melee plan that might be able to do it with protect from protect from whatever he uses. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's, that's the thought process here. Can I compete? Um, cause I thought you'd try and counter my binding, but it looks like you're not going to, so I could be a bit fucked here. Um, Your let's pick. go legs, mate. All right. He can't have legs. He cannot have legs. Okay. Steel. That's fine. That's, did you pick it up in the wieldy? Spawn. Yeah, spawn. Okay. What's the thought process here? Did you expect me not to go mage? Is uh, that, is that? I cause did. Cause this is. Oh wow! Oh, oh, shit! I, I actually wow! You brought the switch, which makes me think now that's good because you have to now keep switching between protection prayers, and there's no way you have a prayer pot unless something drops it or something and. <sighs> wow okay all right interesting and my dumbass um, didn't use my second recoil i i only used 32 hits from it so i do have two recoil still so right. <laughs> my my fucking idiocy paid off oh in my this gosh, day. fuck's sake <laughs> uh wow like do you have anything else man let's let's see that scimitar i just revealed everything it's got a cape yeah. yeah okay that is that is everything for me um Okay. You went by thought guards, didn't you? I thought I did. you might. I thought I you might. I thought you might do it. I even called it in my reveal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, wow. So I I knew I had to be prepared for anything today. That so... I mean, that was my thought process. There's no way he's gonna let me sit here and bind him two episodes in a row. Like that. Yeah. That's just demoralizing. Yeah. Yeah. That so, that I... that would be embarrassing. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I can get so... him sent that bad two episodes in a row so i wasn't gonna and i know you I, I know you i knew you weren't gonna let me do that so i just thought there's, there's literally no point cool uh so i haven't brought me made switch no made switch wish you had wish you had but you know what yeah. i still think i've gotten I, I i think i've got a shot so let's uh let's do a little, a little inventory reveal and uh yeah. hop in the fight because I feel like I've got all the yeah. switches this time. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. You must be... How much are you packing over there? A lot. But, you know, I every little thing in my inventory feels like it's needed. So, of course, that that's like the traditional what I have. So the only yeah. thing that's different is that. And wow. I have Addy yeah. Arrows, by the way. And I did manage to up my food to potato Ooh. with butter. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, I mean, so, that was expected, really. I mean, yeah. I would have been surprised because it's not that far from, what, 30, whatever, to 39. Yeah. My problem was cooking was very, 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 very hard in my region without having anything to fish with. And I wasn't going to catch 400 shrimp to get 39 cooking. So I actually unlocked port serum and I was buying raw uh, sardines and cooking them. Which is oh, nice. how I got that initial port sarin's a huge unlock as well for for location so yeah. that's that's nice Feel like um, did it. got these bad boys that's 15 mil, right yeah yeah okay Fuck. and then we have this kent uh -oh. what is that super defense ah oh, fuck what dropped that chaos druids wait, wait, the, wait, the, 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 the wait. near ones you know yeah but you don't have you in oh no yes right you do you got right, 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 right. Okay. Um. So they dropped three actually in about two hundred ish kills. So I've got a little bit. I've got a little bit to go with. Okay. Um, you just quick. give me a two second warning, man, and we'll we'll just do this. Yeah, cool. Um, I just need to remember that I can't use quick play at prayers now because I've got overhead. So I remember yeah. we fucked that up last time. Okay. Um, cool, Kins. Your two second warning begins. Okay, ready. Here we go. Okay, come on. Come on. Nice. 
Can I get a quick poison? An early poison. Okay. Yeah, guys, that's the problem. He can switch prayers, but he can't flick it. So that's that's where I'm at a little bit of a predicament because he can see the can't switch. Take the yeah, oh my God, I had to drop that. Fuck, wasted an attack there. Okay. Come on, hit. Especially it being a uh, two-handed switch into a one-handed, isn't the most, isn't the nicest. Yeah. When you just try to get one hit off here and Come there. On. Okay, this is this is looking very good. Am I really not gonna poison? Bit of lag. Nice. Nice. Surely he's poisoned now. Gotta be. Come on. Oh, <sighs> lag. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Can I get a poison? Why does this always happen? I never get that initial poison. Bang. Okay, the prayer's now gone. I'm sure he's still flicking over there, though. <sighs> Come on. Come on. This is... We're becoming tanks, mate. I know. <laughs> we're becoming tanks. Yes. Hit, please. Yeah. Problem is, I'm so exposed right now. Yeah, that's. I've got a to try lot of it, defense though. lost. I've got to try it. <sighs> 13, nice. It's not really working. You rocking Addy arrows there? Yeah, dude. How are you not poisoned? <sighs> I am, dude. Are you? <laughs> yeah, there's been two hits, Splat. Oh think. shit! Sorry, I was focusing on eating. <laughs> All right, that's good. As long as I didn't waste time doing it. Okay, there it is. Fuck's I shouldn't sake. have said that. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, I would have seen it eventually, Link. <laughs> At least I hope so. Come on. Hits. Ooh, okay. Yeah, guys. How dry are you on that? Uh, oh, sorry. Rune Simitar. How dry are you on it? Uh, I'm at like 70 something kills in total, I think. Okay, alright. I don't think people realize how long it takes for me to kill them because they, they're mm -hmm. like the big daddy ones. They're not the ones under the waterfall. Oh, yeah. Man, yes. Oh. Love it. Inconsistently enough. Do it hard too. Yeah, I can hit thirteens. Nice. Oof. Not risking that shit with a poison and recoil around. A little train there. Okay. You did, mate. Come on, I need, need a couple hits. Come on. Oh, man. Really? Ooh, okay. Oh, mate, hitting consistently now. I don't know what happened. I'm doing the same shit. Uh, nowhere. sucks because I know range is better DPS, but I, your DPS will go fucking through the roof. Yeah, no shield, plate body off. Oof. Yeah, I know. If you had like a green dehyde top, then maybe. Yeah, but Dragon Slayer. Yeah. It actually was possible. I would, I would. There was an option where I could go to the range and guild, but I was like, even if I fucking get it, I can't even fucking wear it. So... Oh, 49 HP. Nice. I'm almost over 8 there. 
You're a closey boy. Come on, hit. I don't know who's tankier out of you and me and just straight melee gear. You got that max hit though, which... Plus my, my weapon in general is just so much less in, or yeah, less accurate. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Hasn't felt like that though, Jesus Christ. Yes. And again. Yes. Lag. Yeah. Nice. Mmm. That poison just ticks. to me you've got to hit you've got to hit yes oh is he out oh, fuck man fuck Whew. Fuck, fuck. How much food? Nine. So you got yeah. me closer. Even with protection prayers, you got me closer than the last fight. Oh, man. All right, guys. Hopefully we can get a nice, decent unlock here. Hopefully one that uh, helps us get a rune scimitar just a little bit easier. Either rune scimitar or Dorgenshin crossbow, I'd say, um, are the two things that I, I'd really, really want to see from this spin here. Uh, of course, that's asking for a lot, though. So let's generate see what we get 402 where's 402 fuck actually i th actually have no idea where the fuck that is okay these are g's so uh we've got another chunk to pull open and see where we're gonna go one to 472 generate 269 that sounds so familiar that sounds so familiar you've got to be joking 269 okay it's not familiar it's not familiar i'm talking shit. that is a horrible chunk Let's unhide this. Control F, 402. Uh, okay, it's a bit of an odd one. 402. I can connect to my main region, but I don't think I could really dorg bow it with that, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm one shy away from getting a rune scimitar down there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, fuck. Because it's actually a dead chunk. The only way to get here is with the, oh, I guess I could start in the corner of the mansion, but you know, I'm not gonna do any of that. Um. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I was so fixated on being on the Max Island that we're so close to the... Yes! So we can go down and do Druidic Ritual now. We've got Tavly Dungeon, which is part of that quest as well. And I'd still have one unlock. Can't even get there, guys. One, two, three, four, five. No, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's horrible. I'm like out the fucking ocean on the starting chuck. I can't even start in Grand Tour, fuck's sake. <laughs> or actually, maybe I can. I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to really think about this one, guys. I'm gonna have to really think about this one. Maybe I can come down here and go to the food shop. I guess it's, ah, that's probably wouldn't be too bad. Fuck cooking, right? Just buy crampons every episode. Yeah, I'm gonna have to really think about this. And I will definitely talk about it heavily next episode. <laughs> Link. <laughs> That that doesn't sound like a happy. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm I'm buzzing right now. Oh, you're happy. No, <laughs> fuck's sake. Uh...
Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the PvP Challenges. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist up in the top right corner and in the description. Give that a click and you'll be able to get yourself caught up. Now as you can see, I'm currently in a dark square because the square I unlocked I actually can't get to. Uh, we can't get up there, so I'm going to be unlocking these squares anyway. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be opening up the Warriors Guild just here to the right. Uh, one, when we have access to the Warriors Guild, that's going to be huge. Uh, and two, we also get access to getting climbing boots once I can get myself some trout, which I don't actually have access to right now. I might have access to it, but I, you know, I had a quick scan of the map I currently have, and I, I don't think I do have any trout possible at the moment because I can't catch them because I don't have a rod, and I don't think they're sold anywhere. So uh, it will be a case of getting trout at some point to do that quest. Then, of course, we're going to open up Burthorpe. We get a bank downstairs in the Rogue's Den. And we also get the minigame teleport um, to this area. Along with the Games Teleport or Games Necklace Teleport, if we do get a Games Necklace together. Then, obviously, I'm opening up Druidic Ritual so we can start training Herblore. Because that will be huge. And then I need to open this up as well so that we can do the uh, Druidic Ritual quest. Because you've got to go into the Tabley Dungeon. And the Tabley Dungeon on its own has some good monsters in there that we could uh, definitely get some new drops from, I'm sure. So, those are my five unlocks on top of the random one we got. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, yeah, we're now not in darkness anymore, which is nice. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 8 of the PvP Challenges. Now, as you guys know, in last episode, when I rolled, I rolled this chunk right here. Now, I actually can't stand on this platform without starting the quest, and I don't have that chunk unlocked. So, I just went to the one below it, because I want to unlock this one as well. We're going to head right down into Brimhaven. If we unlock this one, we get that awesome food shop. If we unlock this one, we get the Brimhaven Dungeon, which also has fire giants. Fire giants that are much easier to kill than the ones in the catacombs. We want to unlock this one as well, so we can get a teleport back to this region. Because if we go down there, go into Zar, we get the Fight Pits teleport, which is going to be absolutely unreal and amazing to get back to this location. And then I want to do the one underneath it, because you can actually buy 10 bronze bars in the general store. Walk down here, smith it, and I thinking I can get a lot of knives quick. I don't think it's that high of a smithing level, um, but it's essentially like free bronze bars to get some awesome training knives. So hopefully our range can go up much higher. I don't know if I'll get to it this episode because right now my priority 100% is to buy runes using the 75k from the reward. Um, come down here. I believe they are right here and I hope we can save spot them. I'm not 100% sure if I can, but I'm pretty sure it is possible. I think I've done it in a PvP challenge once. We filmed like 150 of them, so my brain gets a little bit fuzzy here and there. But that's going to be the plan, guys. So I'm actually going to start the timer and teleport right to Lumbridge. Um, go grab some Varak Tellies from my bank and kind of take it from there. And then we'll tell you back using the minigame teleport um, and head down in the Brimhaven dungeon. Actually, we need to buy runes first, which is why I'm going to Varrock and then just kill fire giants because we need the rune scimitar it's the one thing that's holding me back and uh food actually is amazing now 18 heal with cram wand, so food isn't even an issue anymore and honestly i'm pretty happy with this unlock so let's make good use of it 90k on the account sweet okay the first thing i am gonna do is i'm gonna get myself the weapon poison on the rune dagger there we go we can finally poison kins um, both of us are going to have access to anti-poison this episode, so I don't think it's going to be massive anymore, but, you know, I'll bring an anti-poison to this fight. He probably will bring his poison again and won't know if I've got the anti-poison or not, so, um, hopefully that gives us a little advantage there. And I'm just going to bring a little bit of food, and we got the 100k as a reward from winning the last fight, which is pretty huge. Uh, I don't know if I'll need money, I'll bring some just in case, actually. Okay, so I've actually got quite a weird way that I have to get all the meats because I don't have any areas that just conventionally give me the meats I need. So I had to kill a giant rat in the tree gnome maze or the gnome maze, whatever you want to call it. Then we've got to go into the wrong entrance of this maze and kill a bear because there's bears over there. Um, we've also got to go to Yanil to get the beef and then chicken. I haven't worked out the chicken yet, but uh, yeah. So this is like... It should be like a five minute quest, but it's going to take a little bit longer than that. And it's uh, a little bit annoying. Okay, after doing some research, the only chickens in my area are in Karend. And I have no way to get to Karend. 
So I'm going to try and pull off a 200 IQ move here. And I'm just hoping it's going to work. I'm just hoping it's going to work. Okay, so. Spell. Here. Oh, it's going to work, piece of jeans. It's going to work. Right. Kill. Kill it. Oh, we don't even need telegram. Oh, that that I'm a bit disappointed in that to be honest. Bit disappointed. I was gonna be uh, I was gonna be telegramming, but okay then. Thanks very much, chicken. Appreciate you. <laughs> that's sick. Before a load of team riders go, that's cheating. It's always always been a rule that me and kids have said that if we can ever do that, we can do it. We can use telegrams or we can lure things into our area. That is completely within the laws. So uh, I don't want to hear any of this. That's cheating. So we have 60k on the account still of cash. Bought a little too much runes, I think. But I also didn't want to have to leave and come back because that's a waste of time. I know I can either sell or use these for something at some point in the series. Um, and considering I still have 60k, I'm not that bothered. But yeah, we can tell you right down here. Walk up. We have access to this dungeon, so it's totally legal. Um, we're going to fire right down to the fire giants. We have our axe, the coins to get it and everything. Because it's quite expensive to walk in that dungeon. It's like 875 coins or something. Um, got our pies. We're totally ready, guys. I need that rune simi. So let's get that rune simi. Let's get it really quick. If we can get it quick this episode, oh, we're going to be deadly. I need a wood cutting level of 10 to get in there. I just wasted. Oh my gosh, I'm wasting time. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Just got 10 wood cutting. I luckily found these trees over here when I was actually going to get my iron axe because I also had a steel axe, which I couldn't even use anyway because I didn't have six wood cutting. But that was actually insanely quick. Uh, it was only about 1k experience. Um, so right back to the dungeon and hopefully there's not going to be any sort of weird requirement now. I have agility, so it can't even tell me any 10 agility now. You watch it be 46. Great news, guys. It is safe spottable. There's no dogs walking around. That's what I was initially scared of, those dogs. Uh, those, like, wild dogs in, in this place. I know they're by the lesser demons. But uh, these fire giants have much less HP and much less magic defense. So, look. Oh, my gosh. It's like one-minute kills instead of two-and-a-half-minute kills. So, we're definitely getting the scimitar this episode. I should knock on wood. I don't want to jinx myself, but I am feeling pretty confident now. Oh snap, that's an upgrade. I totally forgot these guys drop it. I've brought way too many pies. We'll just drop that. But yeah, no way. Okay. Awesome. I mean, I still just want the um the scimitar, but uh I guess beggars can't be choosers, right? So we're still gonna keep on camping here. Uh we're an hour in, as you guys can see. We have killed 28 of them. Of course, a lot of that was walking here and getting the wood cutting level as well, so. Um, definitely not crazy fast, but still much faster than what we were doing in the last episode. We are 164 kills in. That's in total. That's this episode and all the other episodes put together. 164 fire giants. So we're, we, we are now quite past the drop rate. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the rune simi. And I, I feel awful if I spent this whole episode going for the rune simi and just not getting it um the problem is that of course link has the rune simi with all these unlocks he's getting he's training he's getting his stats up so even if i got the rune simi now to be honest um i'm probably gonna be leagues behind him in levels and you know that's what's really scaring me here okay so i said i'd give it an inventory i didn't want to film any of it because i know you guys are sick and tired of me killing love dragons so i'll give it an inventory will we get the rune kite we didn't um did get a prayer and magic level which is quite nice but uh no didn't happen we're going to go do Druidic Ritual. I've got a few ideas of stuff I want to do. I don't know where this rune kite is. I really don't. One in 64. I must have killed 140 lava dragons now. It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And we are definitely logging out. Although I think he was doing Major Arena. Also, you know when I thought I was being really smart and got the chicken? I already had one in the bank. So that was a waste of time. I could have just literally taken one out of the bank. There we go, four quest points, access to the Herb Law skill at 250 XP, taking us to level 3 Herb Law. We can now make potions and stuff, which is awesome. I think you can make attack potions, yeah, right off the bat. So attack potions are now on the account. Um, and yeah, pretty happy, pretty happy. And we can buy a pack here, and we can buy Pestle Mortar, we can buy some vials. There we go, that was actually way cheaper than I thought it was going to be. That gives us a lot to work with. Okay, that is 10 Herblore there, just from using the Guams. 
Um, I think we might be able to now make anti-poisons and strength potions at 12. So anti-poisons I definitely have. What do we need for that? Uh, Marantil, 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 Marantil. We are seriously filled with herbs here. But I did get a load of limpwort roots uh, from the hill giants. And I, ma I managed to save them all because I knew I'd need them at some point. And this is going to be some banging XP because I've got a decent amount of taramins as well. And they're 50. Oh my god, yes. This is great. That is 16 herb lore coming in. I don't think we're going to get another one from what I've got in the bank. Uh, unless we can start making... Yeah, we can't. Can we clean something new? We can't clean anything new either. So yeah, we're at a little bit of a, uh, a stop there with the herb lore. But we've got attack potions. We've got strength potions now. Um, we're going to go hit up the Chaos Druids in the Tavli dungeon to try and get a few more herbs together. Um, and I also really want to get my strength levels up. Um, long story short, I'm going to stay here 10 more minutes. So that's probably about maybe like 8 more kills or so. 7, seven to 8 more kills. Probably a little less to be honest. Probably 6 or 7 more kills. And um, if I don't get it in that time, what I'm going to do is try to go for Zeretian robes. And then I will be maging in the fight just because melee is not going to work without a rune scimitar. My range is not going to work uh, because it's not high enough. So magic will be my only option right now. And I feel like my back is still against the wall a little bit. And I definitely need to secure a win here to show that I'm still in this fight. So I can't believe I'm forced to go fucking magic. But um, yeah, so let's give this 10 more minutes, you know, six-ish kills, and then uh, if no rune scimitar, we're off to, uh, you know, finish up the magic plan. I would love to get uh, 54 magic, or 53. Cool. Yeah, we'll definitely get that. We'll definitely get that. So I decided to leave actually a bit early. I teleported with the uh, with the game's necklace and just banked everything at Winter's Hot and just took out some more food. Um, I think they're going to be pretty easy to kill. I, I, I know they're also attacking the... Um, the Shazian guard guys, so maybe I won't take any damage at all, which would be really nice. They drop the fabrics pretty commonly-ish. Um, I should be able to get what I need relatively fast, and I do have the crafting level. It's only like 22 crafting for the top. It's quite weird. It's quite small, but, you know, it works out perfect for me. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go do that right now. I'm sorry about the rune semi plan, guys. I am trying to get that as fast as possible, but the RNG just just isn't in our favor. But you know, we're gonna have to play around that, and uh, we're 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 not gonna stress about it. We're gonna go for this magic plan. Hopefully, catch him by surprise. So this is what's gonna be like. I'm just gonna kind of just chill here and take out the lizard men who are attacking the soldiers and uh, keep it simple as that. Don't know how long this is gonna take, but at least it'll get us the 53 magic that we need for Earth Blast. There's the last piece. There's the last piece, guys. This took like 40 minutes. I'm poisoned. As you can see, I did switch to range. I got 53 magic, and then I actually ran out of ruins shortly after. Um, and I have the thread and everything when I banked. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The top. I'm not going to worry about the hat because I will need some tank. Um, I think this just gives magic defense and magic attack. Yeah. But if he goes magic, at least, actually, that's probably our best. Wow, fuck, it is. Shit. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna go buy some food, guys, and then try to get some cosmic runes. I'm gonna focus on training some range. I got another one right after. Are you fucking kidding me? Bit fuming about that. It's like 1 in 14 from these guys. They're not the most common thing. 65, 65, or 130 between the strength and the attack. Uh, then we can unlock the Warrior's Guild. Warriors Guild has potato and cheese on sale. It has all the potions we need. It has dragon defenders, for example. Um, so that would be a really huge unlock to get ourselves that. And also the Cyclops has dropped some decent alcohols and stuff like that. So yeah, that is going to be my plan is to go for this 65-65 or around those sort of levels. Obviously, that's a lot of combat XP from now. But uh, if we can put some, some of the yards in now and then, you know, get some XP rewards like today's XP reward is... Uh, 30 or 28 slayer depending on whether you win or lose that's a lot of combat xp um and that's why the levels are so close like the winner gets 30 slayer and the loser gets 28 slayer is because between 28 and 30 slayer that i can't remember exactly what it is but off the top of my head it's like a 15 to 20k combat xp difference um so it's pretty huge and obviously you get hp for free in that as well so uh yeah winning this one's actually 
pretty big. Right, so there's a full inventory, and I've just realized it's probably better for me just to do it over in Yanil. Because I was thinking, oh, I'll just go to the Falador Bank, but I don't have the Falador Bank unlocked. So it's actually a massive trek from here to Barthorpe and then back, which is just, it's not worth the time. So I think it's better to go, Yanil, kill the ones down in the dungeon there. So I've got myself 52 strength, and the reason for that is we can now hit 14s um, with having the strength potion and using our prayers as well. We'll be able to hit 14s with 52 strength, which is brilliant. So I think what I'm going to go for now is, I know I said I wanted to go for that Warriors Guild of 130 between the two, but I think leaving 45 defense is just, it's just too low. So what I think I'm going to do is intermittently get these up, so I'm going to get 46. Um, attack then 46 defense 47 47 and just see where we land um, because the current XP I'm getting is 26 27 K ish um, and that won't get me to 50 attack this episode so I think it's best just to distribute it between the two and just try and get that as as close as possible and then when we get some XP rewards we'll really pump it into attack and strength and hopefully get ourselves up to uh up to that sort of 130 area and then we can go for a dragon defender which would be massive because look at what we got right now piece of shit just purchased 27 gram wands uh that has to be the best part about my unlock easily um i didn't want to get varok tellies so i could make sure i have enough for the fight i'm thinking actually of going magic um i think i sold my first staff but i got a second no i actually didn't okay i still have two um i'm thinking of going magic and staff bashing hold on i, I do have to sort this out i gotta figure out what exactly i'm gonna do um i'm thinking about going like this staff bashing plus using magic like he takes off his armor of course stash ba staff bash uh maybe i'll still bring my poison dagger just to throw in some sneaky hits when his armor's off um because i think it'd be much easier to poison in this case but all right, so some cliche hill giants to finish up the episode for those cosmic runes. I also am making the decision to never train melee without a rune scimitar. It's just far, far, far too slow XP. Uh, I know range is going to be incredibly beneficial, especially if I can ever get the Dorg bow. Hopefully, you know, that can come soon. Uh, we're really, really close to that unlock, but um, yeah. Train range, get cosmic runes. If I get two sets of cosmic runes, I'll also try to make myself a, um, a sapphire necklace and turn that into a magic amulet. Um, we should be able to kill these guys relatively quickly. It's a 1 in 64, so we're just going to have to see how, um, how lucky we get. Hopefully the RNG pays it forward this time and <laughs> we fucking get it really quick. Because I'm, I'm, still, I'm still very, very bummed we're as dry as we are on the rune scimitar. You know, it, it's definitely dampened my mood this episode but i think our plan b is actually quite strong as well unless he somehow ex expects it if he expects it it might be a bit of an issue but if he's not he could be sitting pretty yes with 10 minutes left we get our first batch of cosmic runes so i'm still gonna stay here and uh what the hell is this guy doing he just showed up lethal semen what a fucking name. Whoops, didn't even mean for that to happen. I'm going to save for the next 10 minutes. I mean, I will have to tell you uh, probably a minute early. Actually, I definitely do to uh, enchant the sapphires in my bank. Um, but I want to definitely try to get that last batch and, uh, you know, make that sapphire necklace. We will have to get a bit lucky on this one. But at least we'll have recoils for the fight. So that's all that really freaking matters here. I'm so dumb. I have to buy runes, guys. I have to buy runes. We, we, we still have enough time, but I can't believe... I almost forgot that. So I'm going to tell you out now. We're going to buy runes, do our recoils, and we'll probably have like a minute left over. But I don't want to do this last second. So I'm going to buy everything, guys. And then I'll see you over in Edgeville. And I'll explain my reasoning for all this stuff. And hopefully, we can get a Rargwin today. Okay, I've just looked into it. And studded legs are actually better overall than steel plate legs. And if we go over to the Berthorpe Guards, we can actually get ourselves, or the Berthorpe Archers, we can get ourselves studded um, chaps, and we can also get ourselves green dehyde chaps. So I think I'm going to head on over there. We've got 46 minutes. It's still going to be melee XP, which is exactly what I need right now. But we also have that chance of upgrading. If he does go magic for any reason, I've got some studded legs, which are really going to help with that magic defense. If he goes range, it's the exact same 
defense has the steel plate legs. And of course, as I say, we'll be able to get those green dehyde chaps, which will be an upgrade uh, later on in the account. So we're going to head on over after this kill. We've got pretty much yeah, a full inventory here. So we're going to head on over to Berthorpe and uh, hopefully get ourselves a, a pair of both. Hey, here we go. So the chaps as our first drop. Just got my second pair, which is annoying. I want to see the green dehyde chaps. But uh, as you can see on the attack bonus, the steel plate legs would give us minus 13 range and minus 16 magic if I was using them when using those attack styles as well. So just having these are just so nice. And obviously the natural progression of that is to get ourselves some green dehyde chaps. That would have been lovely if they'd just popped up there. Uh, the XP isn't as good here, but I think it's worth wasting a bit of time to get some uh, some of these chaps. Right, this is going to be the last attempt because I need to get food and no, okay. Uh, we're going to go to the fishy trawler and then we're going to tele into the tree gnome stronghold and buy the food we need for the fight. Right, that is going to be it. Boom, let's get out of here. Thank you, V-Clock. So this is what I'm going to be going for. Pretty nice defensive stats all across the board. Uh, we only have a minus one magic defense in case he is going magic. I could just take the plate body off and we'll be in the positives which would be nice um and then on top of that we have the rune dagger p which hopefully we'll be able to poison him with um the attack potion strength potion are oh, gonna bring a super defense as well actually so i am using up quite a lot of space here to uh yeah to facilitate everything i want you know what i've won every fight without an anti-poison i'm not bringing it i'm not bringing it i don't want to use that many spaces so there we go that's gonna be my setup let's hope it does enough. Okay, guys, like nothing I've done before on this series yet. Let me show you my stats really quick. So I do have some armor on because I know he's going to have a rune simi. I figure if he has a rune simi, at least the shield and the helm will block some of the blows. If he goes magic, I should have higher magic defense because my magic gear is better. Unless, of course, I, I can't factor in his latest unlock because I don't know where he is. So I'm going to assume his magic gear is of equal tier or lower or I should say definitely probably lower, which means that I will have the advantage if he goes magic. If he goes melee, I want to think I'll have the advantage as well because my food's pretty wicked now, and I do have two recoils. Now, I decided to bring a fire battle staff even though I'm using an earth spell because he's going to probably be taking off his armor and putting it back on when I staff bash him, but the cool thing about having a staff that also acts as a melee weapon is he doesn't know what to expect because I'm not going to change gear at all. I'm going to switch between smacking him and maging him and he's not going to know which one's going to happen at which time of course and I'm going to have this to try to get an early poison with the same sort of mindset. So I won't be auto casting, I will be switching back and forth and uh, hoping that's enough to kind of put him on edge and to, to be, you know, freak him out in terms of what should I wear and stuff and, you know, play with him a little bit. But, um, yeah, so that's why I don't have an Earth Staff, just so I can melee. There's really no other um, reason. We didn't get the Magic EME, unfortunately, but we do have plus 18 Magic, and we, we at least have some defense bonuses. So I know he's going to have that Rune Scimitar. Um... I would say worst case scenario, he goes range, of course, but I'm going to say he's not just because he hasn't yet and he's three up. So I don't think he feels inclined to try anything radical like I am doing right now. So <laughs> oh, I'll see you guys in the fight. Get eyes. Hey, dude. What's up? How are we doing? Yeah, not bad, mate. You? Uh, okay. How are you feeling <laughs> about this episode? Like Bro, I don't even want to talk about it. Oh, <laughs> I really don't. That's want to gotta talk be about bad. It. Well, it's great for you. So, I mean, bad, good. It's all a matter of what team you're on at okay. this point. But... All right, I'd like to hear that. Um... I'm not super satisfied. I'll tell you that. Okay. All right. Well, let's get into the combat reveal. Let's let's have a look <laughs> oh, at that. We've... Let's all do right, all that. Because you don't want to talk about it. I'll just work out what happened to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. On going, mate. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Uh, yeah. For fuck's sake. Yep. What has he been up Probably to? Probably used in that rune scimitar to, to <laughs> hack away at some creatures. Or like <laughs> okay, he, he, did, he didn't get a rune simi. He's fuming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Dude, would I still be wearing this fucking thing if I had a rune scimitar? <laughs> 
Oh, he's got the he's oh. got the he's got the little dagger. Okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, I'd have that regardless. I think anyway. But what are your combat stats looking like? Right. Actually, I'm gonna look you up in the process. Okay, yeah. Fuck us, Rico. You should change your name to I Lost Season Three. By the way. Anyways. Oh, I want it. Um. <laughs> fuck you. Oh wow, forty-two <laughs> range and fifty-three magic. 53 magic. Well, wow. yeah, dude, that's what happens when you go fucking like 200 fire giants oh dry at a That happens naturally. Wow. You pull All right, I fucker. mean, all right, you, you've called it. You've called it. I mean, I feel like it's obvious at this point with that magic level that just solidified it. I don't have a rune scimitar. I, I don't know what I did to deserve this in my life. Oh my god. Wow. I don't, I don't know why. This Are you happening. rocking the same stuff? Um, as in, did I get any upgrades? Uh, no, I didn't. I, okay. my main weapon for melee is still a fucking short sword. My main weapon for range is still a fucking little maple bow from Varrock that costs 200 coins. I feel like you got something up your sleeve here, because you, you would have just chucked it all on. So, let's do I a reveal. Okay. I, I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's something going on here. Um, I'll let you pick first, mate. Okay, um, I always start with Helm, so let's just fucking go Helm. Okay. Are you scared yet, Link? Mm, okay. Are you scared? Um, let's go Shield. Okay, this should solidify that I'm not trolling you right now. Oh, <laughs> oh that's actually, an, that upgrade. Is an upgrade. It yeah, is an upgrade. Wow, that's where'd right. you get that from? I totally forgot. That's that's Fire Giants. Oh, okay, right. I oh. actually compared the stats, bro. It's like the smallest. Oh, upgrade. really? Is it not great? Yeah. Right. Uh, let's see if you upgrade that necklace or something. Actually, I'm, I have your stats off. You still have 20 crafting, so I'm going to... Yeah, no. I, I, okay, I, yeah. I mean, it's still a pretty rocking necklace, to be yeah, honest. 13. So. I, can't, I can't throw that bad boy away. Um, yeah, sure. Not gonna lie, dude, I'm the same um, everywhere except one position. So uh, I'm just gonna chuck it on because. Okay. Uh, boom. Ooh, that's right. Oh, is it the legs? Is are, are 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 your legs different? My legs are different, mate. They are. I'll be honest, Link. I'm rocking a little bit of a different oh, setup today. Oh, what the fuck's uh, he got? Let's everybody told me. Or oh, okay, you want to see the body first? Well, I. Oh, <laughs> oh Zeratians. Okay, alright, alright, alright. I thought this might be coming, Kins. I thought it might be coming. And these Dude, provide... I, I was scared you were going to Dude, the they provide you. better defensive bonuses than the steel plate legs, and they give no negative range, or compared to the steel legs, no negative range, no negative magic. They're better for every... And I was like, I'll just go and get green dehyde chaps and some studded, and we'll wear those instead. And I didn't get the green dehyde chaps, unfortunately, but I did get two of these. Oh, I'm so happy okay. I did that. I'm so happy I did that. Full disclosure, Link, I do have a fire battle staff, so... Right, there's the melee. the melee smack. Mm -hmm. And, and I won't be far casting, so you'll have no idea what's coming. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Um, Interesting. And I, dude, I just knew if I had gone range, I would have lost. If I had gone melee, I would have lost. There's no way I can contend no, I with a rune scimitar. I do have two recoils. Um, and, I mean, I'll just show you my inventory because I have runes and stuff, so it's going to be a bit messy. So okay, let's, right. I guess, get our inventory together and yep. cool. come back. Oh, fuck oh, off, for fuck's sake. Leg, where should I put this, man? I don't I'm care putting where you range. put it. For you, I'm putting it in range. Fuck melee. Fuck magic. <laughs> I fucking hate everything. <laughs> okay, sorry right. about that. Show me, I do have a, I do have a na or naughty little surprise. Okay. So I'm, I'm quite, I mean, I'm you quite. saw that, you know I bring that. Um, That's the extra one, obviously. Ah, fuck. One okay. KC Anku. And it wasn't That's this. It wasn't joke. this episode. It was last, and I got it with two minutes left, and I couldn't get to a bank quick enough, so I couldn't bring it last episode. And obviously, I didn't want to mention it because I was like, he'll just bring an anti poison. So yeah, this this is actually last episode. I got it, but so happy, so happy. Fuck you, dude. I hit <laughs> druidic ritual, mate. I got it. You didn't even notice it on the stats. Um, but I didn't bring an anti. Are you kidding me? 
I have to go. Uh, see you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode, guys. Oddly enough, man. Um, I mean, I know I have herb lore, but I actually unlocked an area where I can easily buy anti-poisons. Do you have any idea what area this could be? Um, the one that springs to mind is the Karamja shop. Do you want to know what else is sold in Karamja Link? Um, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He's got Karamja ones. He's got fucking Karamja ones. Oh, shit! Oh my god, no! And you and we got the massive money reward, so you were easily able to buy that shit. Oh e no! Easily. I would say, Link, that had to be the best reward that lined up with, with that region, because right, I not yeah. only unlocked easier fire giants to kill oh, in yeah, Brimhaven Dungeon, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this shop. Which obviously I buy Karambons for like 350 each or something. It averages out when you buy the three per world. Um, wow. And enough money you know, to I buy did 150 waste slots. Deaths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I did waste the slot with Earth Runes um, because I want to bash with my staff. So right. that does suck. But I figured trying to keep you on edge is, is worth the 18 heal. But Fair. Okay. God. All right. Fuck. Let's, fuck. let's see what's going to happen fuck. here, fuck. man. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Off we pop. Oh, you have protection prayer. <laughs> what world, Link? Uh, we are going to world. If I can find it. See, I'm stressed because if I lose this, I just look like an ass hat now. You know, because. <laughs> ah! You've tried something. I respect it. You know. All right. Two second warning, Link. Right. Two second warning. All right. I'll let him finish potting up. I'll, I'll be respectful. I didn't bring my pots. So I don't know if you didn't, if you didn't realize that. Oh, yes, Max hit now. my first fucking go. Yeah, it's a fifteen, isn't it? Come on, All right? We need to see that poison. Oh, a ten. That's nice. A joke. Careful here. You gotta be poisoned, surely. Yeah, come on. Surely my guy's poisoned. I'm using the wrong prayers and everything. I fuck. Well, he probably did it on purpose so I don't switch to magic and hit a 15! Damn. Tried to foreshadow Link. Didn't really work out. Come on. Poison? How have I not poisoned you yet? Yes, he's poisoned. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh, fuck, yes. Right, he's got to be poisoned. Come on. Of course he gets the fucking chaps. <laughs> of course he gets the chaps. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't poison you, did I? Oh, I did. No, okay. you did. You did. You did. Yeah, come on. He's got fucking shit defense in that. Oh my god. Okay. I thought I hadn't drank my fucking pots. Jesus Christ. Whew. You're really not hitting too much. What no, the hell? I no, swear dude. I took off my armor and you're hitting less. I know. <laughs> Uh, Not happy. Not a happy uh, bunny over here, mate. Uh, almost over eight. We're good. Good news is I can withstand much more blows than you can. Because recoils and better food. Ooh. Oh, God.
I still hit. That was a nice play on you. I just fucking still hit. Yeah, oh, I know. I was fuming when I saw on. it come in. Come on. Hit. I gotta stick with magic, guys. It's just hitting so much more accurate. Fuck. It's just hitting so much more accurate, even with his oh armor off. God. Yeah, the, the, the... Wow, what? Wow, that was like Should have stuck with magic the entire right there. time. He's gonna be poisoned. That's right, the auto casting wow. gets fucked up. Forgot about that. Wow. Poison. Fuck. I don't think it's worth it right now, guys. Is he out? Oh, he's out. Oh, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. That's a massacre. <laughs> yes. That's a massacre. Five the Zeretian Rose were huge. Yeah, dude. The moment I, I came up with that plan and I wasn't getting a rune simi, I knew I had to just fucking go for it and go magic. Because I knew even if I had got the simi, I knew you had to be training or doing something to help you get the edge this episode. And obviously there was the fucking herb lore too, so obviously I didn't know this, but you trained and fucking had attack potions now, and wow. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Fuck! <gasps> oh... Man, dude, I'm just I'm just thinking if I didn't even have Crambons, I think I still would have won, but that fight would have been food? like neck and neck and it I had five Crambons left. Oh yeah, you so got that 18 easily. easily. 18 times five, 90. <sighs> but yeah, you say that. That's a 90 HP difference. These heal four more, four times to say 24. That's 96, bro. That would have been fucking close. Fuck! Crambons really and, really and robes and all that. That is that. That hurts. That hurts. Yes. All right, mates and Jays. Kins is back. He is back. And he's those Zeresian robes. Huge. Huge. But it's the way it goes, isn't it? You cannot win them all. We cannot win them all. So let's generate and see where we're going. 350. Wow. Is that the Lumbridge chunk? All right, guys, finally, Rarg is back in business. Magic worked. The Zeretian robes came in clutch. The hybriding didn't work so well, but the magic was just that powerful. That with the uh, Karambons on top. It was beautiful. It was freaking beautiful. And, and you know, I, I feel... I feel like we're on to something now, but of course all that could change whether in our favor or not with our next um, Unlock, so let's uh, let's spin the randomizer 420 blaze it. Are you kidding me? Of course I get 420. Okay, let's get up the chunk picker Let me control F it 420. Are you kidding me? Oh, where is this it's the one next to it? Okay, Port Sarim or Sarim even um, remember, way early on, we uh, we unlocked the port over in Zaya, so that we could uh, so that we could use that port. Sarum, really nice unlock. Uh, oh, the chart is down the bottom. I can't even remember now. I really can't. We'll have to look into that. Uh, so this is the square that we got. So that is the hand chest, which is a nice square if we want to try and go for the uh, the ham stuff. I could go for a rune scimitar that is actually the exact chunk i needed i was looking for it it was right underneath it what the fuck it's what <laughs> what uh interesting square i mean we'll definitely get lumbridge because that home telly is just so op to be able to get back to your location constantly is just so so nice there's things to do here though there is options there is options mm. we will see we will see but uh there you go let's uh have a chat with kins oh my gosh okay i mean i'm starting to like deviate away from the rune scimitar now because that's just worked and honestly i want plants to focus on range now so i have no fucking idea what i'm gonna do shit that's awesome though that's awesome awesome let's let's go let's go talk to link now dude i cannot believe i'm on the exact square wow Kinos. Hey man, whenever you're ready, just let me. Oh, I'm already you know. recording, mate. Oh, we're wow, already there. That's idiot. like that's like behind the scenes for the viewers there, you know. 
Wow, now I look like a dumbass. Nah, we, we do it every single time, <laughs> except the one time he's actually fucking ready. Brilliant. How are you feeling about it, mate? I'm torn now. Let's just say that, Link. I'm torn. It's it's not it's not a bad torn. Um, I would say I got pretty. I, I wouldn't say it's crazy lucky, but it's on the luckier side. Oh, great. I'm I'm not I'm not fuming. Sake. I'm okay. not fuming. It's okay. just that you know. Let's just say things went in, in my favor this episode, and now now I have to really pick. Right. Kind of where my account really has to go, and I, I, I know you're struggling with that too. Obviously, if you mm -hmm. had magic here, I think that might have been a closer of a fight. But then again, I don't know. Maybe not. I have Zeration robes. Who the fuck knows? That's knows? how I'm struggling right well, now, man. Well, mate, before you do that, you've got 30 Slayer to get, and I've got 28 <laughs> as the uh, yes. as the rewards. Hey guys, welcome to episode 9 of the PvP challenge progression series. Insane we made it this far and we're still going strong, so thank you guys for all the support. Now in the last episode, I earned myself 30 Slayer levels. I was able to get those 30 Slayer levels using any combat style I wanted, any mixing and matching I wanted, but I decided, you know what, magic I seem to be kind of ahead with my gear. Um, my range was higher, and the only thing I was really slacking on was range. Now, I think range is going to play a crucial role in the end game, and I think Link might try to far cast me thinking his magic is higher or something this episode. So, I, I had this idea of just saying, I will never get far casted ever again in this series, so I decided to get 50 range. I didn't know I was going to get 50, but going all the way to 30 Slayer got me to 50 range so that's where we're at and of course as you guys know these are our chunks we have the chunk that we get the rune scimitar pretty easily on so i will be going for that in this episode but i don't know if i would be that melee based going forward which which kind of does suck because there's two quests that i'm unlocking right now which is why i pick these chunks specifically so i can do both fight arena and trinum village but there will be lots of times when I want to train defense on the account. So because, you know, just defense is very, very, very important um, with blocking attacks and whatnot. So decided still want to go for the rune scimitar, even though I didn't train towards melee stats in my reward. Range seems to be the move for me right now um, because he's really liking magic. And I think he's scared of going melee because he might think I'm going to go magic again. I really don't know. Range just really seemed like the move, and I'm actually going to train range while killing these guys to try to just keep getting the range up farther and farther. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'll just switch to magic. It won't be that big of a deal. Maybe the fight arena quest, I want to get that necklace too from the Trinom Village quest, so there's a lot of stuff we can do. We're finally working our way up in the arty area, which is really nice. So guys, let's start that episode. I'm actually going to just teleport right to the fishing trawler. Um, if I can- oh no, I can't! I don't have 15 fishing! Okay, not really a big deal, I thought I was saving a little bit of time there, but, uh, first thing we're doing is going for the, um, the Rune Scimitar. Hello, Bees and Gs, welcome back to another PvP Progression Series episode. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, and you might have because they do fluctuate between Rog and my channel every Tuesday and Thursday, I'll leave a playlist up in the top right corner just up here and in the description as well. Give that a click and it will take you through every episode and you can get yourself caught up. But in the last episode, I did lose. And uh, these this was the chunk I got given. And uh, I said I would definitely be opening up Lumbridge just so we've got that home tally and we can always get back here. Really huge to have. Uh, then we're going to open up Draenor here. Um, and we are going to have to open up the South Faldor Farm because I can't use the Underwall Tunnel because you do need to do the Lumbridge Easy uh, Diary to be able to do that. So we're going to open this up, and obviously we're also going to open up Port Sarum, and the reason for that, uh, I opened this up here, is we can then walk up and round the gate and actually get here. So that's why we're having to open this one up, which is a little bit annoying, and then we're also going to get 
the Remington mine, and that's because the uh, archery shop and the crafting shop are there, which means I can finally get on the recoil uh, hype that Kins has been enjoying for the last few fights, which obviously has been giving him 80 damage every single fight, so that's a really nice catch-up, especially with him getting crowned once last episode. Wow. Obviously, we're always a few episodes ahead of what you guys watch, and uh, a load of you were roasting Rag in the last episode, like, he's never coming back from this, he's definitely lost, and then obviously he went and won the last episode, so uh, yeah, it made me look like a bit of a fool, and I'm a little bit fuming about it, but those are my unlocks. Uh, fairly happy with getting ourselves uh, the Lumbridge area, because it does have some nice things come along with it. Um, so we, I got 28 Slayer. Um, and Rug got 30 Slayer. I put all of my XP into Magic, so we're now 11,483 XP away from Magic. Uh, the reason that I did this is runes are so expensive. To get all that XP would have cost me a lot of money, and that's why I went down the Magic route. And because I have the plan of doing Mage Arena, and we need 60 Magic for that, so you guys know where I'm heading. I'm going to be heading to the Lava Dragons once we start this timer. I'm going to get myself the 11k XP, hopefully a Rune Kite as well, um, and then we are going to do the Mage Arena. We need we need that cape massively, because his Magic Attack bonus last episode was wild. It was wild with Zeretians. So getting that cape, getting the staff, using the God Spells, and going for Sara Domin Strike, which will allow us to hit 20s and every successful hit drains a prayer point as well which would be very very nice to have so that's the plan let me start this timer and then we are going to get to doing this whoa i'm not used to this luck three kills three kills can i even call myself lucky though i mean how many fire giants did it take that's amazing though, guys. The luck's gonna come around this episode. I could already feel it. Okay, wow, I didn't even really think exactly what I wanted to do next. I think I'm just gonna go do Fight Arena, as I, as I think, because I know that's what I definitely want to do. I want that uh, attack XP and the amulet. I really want the amulet, most mostly, because that's an amazing, amazing um, amulet. I'm kind of repeating myself. Sorry, I'm kind of in shock right now. All right, this should be the quest complete. There we go. Awesome experience. Next up, we want to do the tree gnome quest. 46 attack. Nice. Pretty close. 47. Next is tree gnome uh, for even more attack XP and the amulet on top of it. So uh, actually, first, let me make sure I have all the correct stuff, and then we're going to fling right into it. So guys, I made a really slight mistake with the uh, Tree Gnome Village quest. I'll show you guys really, really quickly, because I tell you in a hurry, because I was a bit fuming, but... I, I needed this square, not this square. I was talking to the gnome tracker and I realized I fucked up. I'm not like crazy stressed because like I said before, I don't really plan on going melee in the fight. So it it just sucks I don't get the necklace to be honest. But uh, I, I, I could still go for the magic amulet in the fight, which is I was kind of debating on which one would be better anyway. I mean, a lot depends on which combat style I'm more using and that depends what Link's bringing. So we'll make sure we work on some cosmics to get the... Um, the amulet of magic this episode um but i decided to not waste any time so i teleported right to um the desire fight pit we are going to buy some cram wands before we leave this little section of karamja but first i actually wanted to run down to the general store because they sell 10 bronze bars at a time and you can buy them and use the anvil right next door so obviously i'm going to be using a fishing trawler teleport to get out of here and then we're going to run up to the rd lever and uh, then go from there. So, you know, traveling around this map is very, very odd. It really is. But uh, that's probably the quickest way of getting there. So uh, let's do it. And there we go. That is 60 magic coming in. Oh, that looks nice. The first 60 on the account. Okay, so we need to talk to Collodian. Okay, so we now need to go into the arena. Oh, he teleports us. Okay. Okay, and we should just be able to safe spot the last one here with a bit of distance, and it can't reach us with the magic. So, this will be the cape. Now, the problem is, blood runes are dumb expensive, and we need two to cast. My man. Player indicators, guys. This is why you have them. This is why you have them. Fuck. Fuck. Are we in trouble here? We are in trouble here. Chuck this on. 
He's getting attacked by the other things, though. I think we can... Yeah, get out. Boom, boom. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the last form. Uh, it is. Boom, there we go. So, we now step into the pool. And we can now go pray at our statue. Now, I am a Sara man myself anyway. So, quite happy that we get to pray here. Um, and we're going to be using the Sara Strike. Boom, and we can just pray a load of times. I'll pick up the cape a load of times. So we'll just get a few here. I won't need too many, but it will be nice just to have some reserves. And a huge part of this cape is just the fact that it's going to give us 10 magic defense and attack, which is just so, so sick. So uh, there we go. We're uh, starting to look a little bit better. Nice. And we also get a free Sarah Domin staff just by talking to the Chamber Guardian. And boom, there we go. Now, as I was saying, Sorrow Strike is really expensive. Two blood runes uh, per cast. So I need to go and get some. Um, we do have about 120 in the bank. And I've obviously got some money to buy some here. They do sell them here. But uh, do they sell them here? Oh, they don't sell them here. They do sell them in Arceus. Okay, no, I was completely wrong. But anyway, as I was saying, I need to get a load of blood runes together. And a really good way to do that is Ankus. So I'm going to hit up the Ankus. We're going to get some melee training here. Um, and Anku's drop like 10 at a time and it's like 1 in 8 or something. I can't remember the exact drop table. I had a quick look. Um, they're super common. I remember doing them in PvP challenges where we only had like an hour or so. Obviously, I was on a maxed main, but I remember getting myself like a good 100 or so together pretty, pretty quickly. So uh, that's the plan. There's also the altar right by the Anku, so I can always just get my prayer straight back up. Um, if I want to, and nobody trains at those Ankus unless they're doing Wildy Slayer. Like, nobody PKs at the Ankus, so we should be fairly safe there as well. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Go and get some Blood Runes together, um, because we're going to have to cast Saradomin Strike a hundred times before we can even use it outside of the uh, arena. We are now 50 range, which means range is probably one of our better combat styles, and... Bronze knives are super efficient training weapons. So let's buy a hammer, buy 10 bronze bars, and they're really cheap, as you can see. So we're going to buy 10, hop, buy 10, keep doing that, and smith them. Now, I think we need like seven smithing to actually make the bronze knives, but that shouldn't take a lot of time at all. So I will see you guys at seven smithing. So the next plan I have is a plan I've had for quite a while, but it wasn't really that possible because... Um, Slayer was going to be quite difficult. Now, we have over 15 Slayer now. And the reason why I want 15, or wanted 15, was to kill Twisted Banshees in an area I already have unlocked. The Catacombs of Curran. Now, these guys drop Runeful Helms plus other Alkables, I think Rune Meds as well, Battle Staffs, stacks of Cosmic Runes of 20. And they're very, very safe spotable. I don't know if knives are going to be better. They only have a defense level of 50, but I figured if it was much faster, it's something that I definitely want to test out. So that's going to be your next move after we fill up on some Karam Wands. We're just going to get this episode Karam Wands, and then we're going to Teleon out of here uh, using the Games Necklace to get us back to Zaya and the Catacombs of Kurend for some safe spotting action, guys, because... This is kind of why I wanted range as well. It's all it's all in this giant plan I have, um, and this should just be great for for alkables and great for never having to worry about cosmic runes ever again um, in the world of Gilinor, at least for this series. So <laughs> I will see you guys probably over in Zaya after I buy this full inventory. I almost forgot we need to buy these. Beats by Vanica. Now we can teleport to the Winter's Hot Camp and start training. I just realized too, even if I actually don't get any Cosmic Rune drops from these guys, they drop Pure Essence like crazy, and I could take that right to the ZMI, which I now have access to, for some sick rune crafting games, but ultimately they craft every rune you could possibly imagine, um, so I should get some Cosmic Runes from that. This is pretty cool, I forgot that these guys drop a lot of herbs as well, and of course, you know, we have that never-ending journey of trying to go for Herbaler experience. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool as well. Also, in terms of the um, bronze knives, they're definitely a little, little, little faster than the maple short bow with adamant arrows, but um, it's probably quicker just to go for Addy arrows, even when you factor in the slight 
speed bronze knives have above the adi arrow so i will just finish off the bronze knives because we have them um and then all my arrows in the future i'll probably just do lms and get a whole bunch because that's definitely the most cost effective way of doing it and it's adi it's the best i could use with the maple short bow Okay, so we did all right to start with. I got myself 22 blood runes in a fairly decent amount of time. Let's quickly have a look. How many bloods are we up to? 142 we're currently at. So my plan is to go magic instead. Just because I feel like magic is going to be so important to this account. It's really going down that magic build route. Um, and we'll kill the Ankus a lot faster. Um, and they're safe spotable. So uh, it just makes a lot of sense all around. This is going to be 61 magic coming in. And I am going to make a bit of a change of pace here. Because look, it's just not enough. It's not quick enough. The uh, the runes just don't come in quick enough. A load of weapon poison now to play with. But uh, yeah, so unfortunately, I think uh, Sarodomin Strike is actually going to be off the table here. Uh, it's not a complete waste of time because we did get the cape, which is huge. 10 magic defense and attack is massive. So I'm fine with doing what we did, but I'm not going to go and do the 100 spells um, because it's going to cost 200 blood runes to do 100 spells. Um, and then I need more blood runes for the fight as well. And I've only got about 200 right now, so that's just not going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to home telly now. And then we're going to go over to Lava Dragons. Lava Dragons do drop blood runes, but they also drop the rune kite and that rune kite is going to be massive i need to get it at some point uh we're gonna get 62 magic and the reason for this is um we'll then be able to cast wind wave which only uses one blood rune um and only two uh runes are needed to cast it so it saves me inventory space and it can hit 17s it's massively worth it and i think that's the way i'm going to go so I'm going to be using my death runes, my chaos runes, just to get this XP as high as possible and as quick as possible. Um, I'm also going to elk some things. I think I've still got a rune longsword. I've still got a rune axe. I've still got a few things I can elk um, just to buy a few more chaos runes, to be honest. I'm not going to waste the money on deaths because that's quite expensive, but we could get a load of chaos runes together um, and then we'd be, we'd be laughing at the XP. We could probably get... Uh, 50, 62 magic in the next hour, leaving us with 56 minutes to do some other stuff. We've still got to make the recoils, um, which will be huge. Getting 80 damage in this fight will be massive. I've still got to buy a bit of food as well, uh, but nothing too crazy. Obviously, Kins with his Karambwans now, we really have to out DP DPS him to be winning these fights. Okay, yeah, this is massively exceeding my expectations. We're looking at like 45 to 50k XP an hour here. Um, using the higher level spells. So this is going to be done in an hour. We'll have 62, which would be so, so nice. Um, and then hopefully by the time we get the 62, we have a room kite. Um, and then we've got to go and do the recoils. Um, but yeah, pleasant surprise with the herbs. We're still going for the runefall helm, the adamant kite. There it is. There it is. And no, I am not talking about the clue scroll. I am talking about the 20 cosmic runes that means we can easily get ourselves two recoils this episode as well two recoils for a lot of episodes plus that magic ammy that i will be bringing to the fight so whew, that's like a weight off my shoulders i'm probably gonna stay here till i either get the addy kite or the rune full helm they're both one in 128 um, so 1 in 64 between the two of them. I do have kind of a plan after this as well. I definitely didn't expect to get both of them, but I do want one of them. Also, I forgot to mention about the air battle sap. This is my second one I've got, but the first one I've got, it is an upgrade. Because now I don't have to bring the fire and cast the earth spell, but I could bring the air and cast the earth spell. Because earth, of course, uses air runes, not fire runes. So... That will save an extra inventory of food, which is very beneficial because we will have runes and range switch in our inventory, so it's crowded enough. Okay, guys, I know I said I had other plans, and I did want to do other things this episode, but I can't think of anything more crucial than getting a helm and shield upgrade. And I know I keep saying a thing, and I'm not saying the actual activity. To be honest, I don't want Link to know, you know what it is, so I don't want to say it until I'm actually about to do it. If that makes sense. Trust me, if, if I thought it was necessary, I'd be doing it over this. But um, I just think a helmet shield upgrade is a lot more beneficial for this fight and all the fights going forward. And 
I am getting so many herbs from these guys. It's it's, it's ridiculous. It's it really is ridiculous. And a lot of them are low leveled herbs, guams, taramins. That one isn't, but uh, a lot are very low leveled. And I don't know. This is a beautiful, beautiful monster to be killing. We do have a lot of alkables, even though we've been getting unlucky with the rune drops. We've gotten two air battle staffs. We've gotten like four battle staffs. Um, and we have 40 cosmic runes now, which are all in the bank, nice and safe. So I, I I can't I can't find the urge to leave here, especially with all the range decks be coming in. We're definitely gonna get 40, sorry, 54 this episode. And very happy about that. Because range might be a big player in this fight. Even if it isn't, it will definitely be a big player in future fights. This is going to be an HP level coming in on the next kill and... Ooh, some death runes. Um, we also are about to get a pretty important prayer level. That is 45 prayer, which now unlocks Mystic Might, which is the, the best magic spell we're going to get on these accounts. I can't see me ever solo raiding. On this account to the point where we get a dex and, a, and an arcane so i think that is gonna be the uh the highest magic spell we get on here which is nice uh increases our magical attack and defense by 15 percent that rune kite is still not mine and i'm sad i'm very sad but we got a few alcables we got some more runes back so yeah i guess i can't complain too badly let's go get 62 magic and then let's get some recoils Okay, we can get our ring mold in here. Ring mold, um, I'm not going to bother getting anything else for now because I don't really think I'm going to need any of it. Although, how cheap are they? Fuck it, we'll get a necklace mold, amulet mold, uh, the rest bracelet mold, possibly. We'll get a chisel, um, needle thread. I don't need right now. I'll buy a needle. Cool, cool, cool. And I'm going to head on over to the fishing trawler now so we can get this XP. And then we will make up the recoil. Just had a Captain Arav come. I just missed him. And he gave me a gold bar. Which is another fucking recoil to make. Which is awesome. Um, I'm killing Zamrak Warriors. Just because they have the chance of dropping that rune simi. And that's a pretty nice alk. Um, and we hit very consistently on them. So that's the reason. And when the Zamrak Crafters walk by me. I'm killing them as well. Because they do drop blood runes and chaos runes. Death runes. Uh, stuff like that. So uh, yeah that's the, uh, that's the plan right now. Here it comes, 62 magic, couple of casts, three or four more casts, and boom. We might actually kill it before uh, we get this level. Uh, no, we're going to be good, we're going to be good. Should be. Go on, and the rune simi, together. There is 62 magic, unlocking a wind wave, and uh, no rune simi. Okay, right, let's uh, go up to Ardy, and let's make uh, some... Sapphire rings and then recoils. Right, I'm just going to make two for now because I don't have a massive supply of all of these uh, items. So I don't want to go ahead and just make them all into rings and then, you know, later on in the account think, actually, I should have done this. So we're just going to make two for the fight. Um, but here we go. Our first rings of recoils on the account. Kins has had this advantage for so, so long. So it's very nice to get this. Two sapphire rings, please. And then enchant them. Bang. Bang, yes. Let's just say I think a rune crossbow is much easier to get than a dragon scimitar. Much easier to get. Not exactly what I wanted, but a welcome upgrade indeed. So let me snag that. So we just hit 54 range. Now that plan I was talking about before, we would need way more than 26 minutes to do it. Don't worry. That can hold off for now. Right now, I'm thinking I could keep ranging these guys for some upgrades, which might or might not happen. I won't get an extra range level. So I figured what would be better to end the episode going for just two defense levels, killing my favorite druids in my favorite part of the wilderness. Look, that is a prayer pot right there as well. And Harlanders are great to get because chocolate dust is very, very easy to make. Okay, we have 40 seconds left. We have 40 seconds left. So we need to put this on the spinning wheel. Add this, and now we just enchant all of them, right? Amulet of Magic, Recoil, Recoil. I completely forgot I had to do this, and getting the ball of wool wasn't as straightforward as picking it up. I, it turns out there's shears right in the lumbered shop, which I didn't know that. Um, and my idiot ass tried the charter ship first, which I realized once I got there, I can't even get to the charter ship, um, and that made us not be able to get the 42 but um that's okay let's pause that timer 
Um, guys, I'll see you in Edgeville with all of our gear, and I'll talk to you about the plan. All right, guys, here we go. Took a while to really, you know, make sure I wanted to go down this route, but uh, I'm definitely doing it. We're rocking the air battle staff this time. We have a plus 31 magic attack. Uh, we won't be auto casting, of course. I think it breaks it anyway in PvP once you take off the staff. Uh, we will be earth blasting, and of course, once we eat a piece of food, we can easily do the range switch. Yeah, guys, let's hop in the fight, and I will see you guys. Bit nervous for this one, but if this if this works, then we're sitting really, really nicely. The only downside to this is now I can have the comments uh, section shouting at me about how I didn't put my second recall on. So I'm looking forward to that, V to G's. Really am. Right, I'm now gonna get green dehyde chaps because we need them. They are massive. Massive, 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 because there's not a big range upgrade in that slot for ages, um, and especially level-wise. I know I won't be able to wear them now, but just having them is super important. Oh my god. I was I was about to do a clip on how fuming I was about the chaps. <laughs> Four of them? I've still bit, got a bit of a cooldown on the teleport as well, so I can't get to the fishing trawler yet. So I'm just going to fish some anchovies. Um, down here and just get some fishing XP for the next two minutes or so and then we'll uh, go sort my food out See how I'm doing see how I'm doing um, But I don't think we're gonna get death plateau done which means no uh, Climbing boots to the fight, which is a little bit annoying. There we go. That is 20 fishing So I'm now gonna bank this we're gonna grab the fishing rod out. I'll try and get the 10 trout um, And I'll try and cook them as well and then uh, we will go ahead and get our food. Gonna actually just bring some logs with me just to make it super easy. There is 10 trout. I'm gonna give it a go. I think we will burn one just because we don't have the, a huge cooking level, but let's see. Okay, good start. Ah, of course, of course. I, I was just about to say how we're gonna get away with it, but no, we're gonna have to catch one more, aren't we? Luckily there's trees all around us, so we're good. Okay, two more. There we go. Everything we needed. Good to go. We've also got the bread already. We've got the Asgarnian ale. We've got, I think there's something else I can't remember, but we got it all in the bank. It was just the trout that was the issue. Um, so yeah, we're going to use the tree to uh, head on over to get our food and then we should be good to go. Um, and I don't know, I think I did put it in the last video, but this is the little slither because I don't think I used it uh, that I can get through so that I can actually go between my chunks. Okay. Got myself all the food I need, and I'm just going to get myself an attack level, because it's only 830 XP away. So uh, we'll do that, and then uh, I'll show you my setup going into this fight. Okay, this is going to be my setup. I'm bringing melee and mage, um, just because I'm not really sure what he's going to do. Um, and I really want to cover both bases, and the fact that I'm taking less runes this time. Um, we've now got the recoils, I really want to see what we can do. So we're going to be going... With this setup, mainly this setup because we still have 10 magic defense with this. If he does pull out the magic, I can just put that on to go to a 19 magic defense. Or even go magic myself and take us to a 29 magic defense. Um, so that's the reason why we've got this switch. And then obviously when we do go to this switch, we then have the ability to cast Wind Wave, which hits 17s. And our magic attack bonus in this is 14, which isn't bad at all, um, especially for what we're wearing in terms of defensive wise. Sort of wanted to bring the Zamrak um, legs or b robes, but I just I just can't I can't do it. I can't spend another inventory slot. I really can't do it. So uh, yeah, that's the setup, and obviously we've got the two recoil. Hello, Link. How are we doing today? How was that four hours for you? Um, let's just say I had a plan. Didn't really work in the end. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I said it off camera briefly. I'm not feeling too confident. You, you know when you have a plan, you think, oh, that's a good one. And then it just doesn't go to how you want it. And you start like trying to fix that plan and try and savor it as much as possible. And, yes, Link. Yeah. You're talking to a guy who went three episodes for Iron <laughs> Rune Scimitar. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, so that that was my episode today. Right. My okay. episode today. Well, I'm glad How to see you? the uh, the gods are in are in my favor today. Um, oh, you feeling good? <laughs> oh, no. I, you know what, dude? I'm not even feeling good in the sense where I think I have some like crazy strat. I'm just I was really thinking about last episode and. If I if I were you now obviously this is without knowing where you got your le your recent chunk, um, mm -hmm. but I don't know what you would do as a 
best counterplay because of course i'm trying to think what you would think so i can counter your counter sort of thing yeah, yeah, yeah. um and i i just don't know what your best move would be so i came into this fight hoping that i had the edge of just like mindset and you trying to kind of you know balance well, i mean i think exactly the same bit, with you so. like i with you i was just like i don't know what he's gonna do like at all you know yeah so so I felt the same, mate, and and I feel I feel like it's a lot easier um, when you win the last episode because uh, when you lose the last episode, even because you know what you need to do to try and counter what beat you effectively. Mm -hmm. So I, I know what you mean. Like you're sat there, like what is he going to try and come up with? Yeah, to beat what I'm doing, and yeah, it's. Yeah. But it was tough, mate. It's tough. Link, do you want to do stats first or gear first? Uh, let's do stats, mate. Okay. Let's do stats. All right. Because we, we had a quite the interesting reward. I, I know you're going to have at least 28 Slayer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to look you up. Ooh. Oh. What? 62. 53 range. You were like 30 last oh, episode. Oh, I didn't log out yet. I'm 54 range. That's right. I just finished filming. I'm 54 okay. range. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, I had like 44 or whatever it was. I mm -hmm. put all 30 Slayer levels into range, got me to 50. And then I wow. spent wow. like three hours today training range for 54 range. 31. So. Nothing else has really changed other than HP. I got a few attack levels. Oh, um, right. Okay. A few HP levels. One one level that's throwing me. Uh -huh. What what the hell is one mining 17 smithing? What the fuck are you up to there? Um, so I had Karamja, right? So I had this idea to buy the bronze bars and make bronze knives, thinking like, okay, spend for, some for range time. XP yeah, or... yeah. I was I was hoping that the time spent making the knives would still make up for the faster like the offset, of knives. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 right, right. Um I don't think it was worth it, but I had to try it. I would have hated myself if I didn't try it. So that right. <laughs> I mean that that was only about twenty minutes of smithing. It actually was pretty fast. So Yeah, that's pretty good to be honest. In terms of getting that early smithing level, that's not bad. Yeah, so Fair. um range this episode man i was wow. i just said fuck it because dude when i got far casted i was demoralized bro yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, i yeah. i vowed to never let that happen again so i i hope you probably well, i mean just... you can you can see where i put my xp <laughs> did you put it in magic i'm 62 magic man i had to like what you know? yeah i know i saw that I, I did see that when when you were talking so i didn't like make yeah, a loud I, noise I but i don't think anything else has changed i might actually i got an attack level i think that's it i got an attack level of magic and that was it <laughs> uh, just a quick combat reveal i'm oh, 63 yes. and you're 58, 58. wow 58. okay yeah <laughs> Okay, doesn't really matter at this point because of the builds, really. But. Yeah, and our gear is going to be so different. Oh, I mean, it has been different, so who the hell knows anymore. Uh, kids are going to kick us off. Let's, okay, uh, let's do it up. Let's go shield, mate. Shield. Same, 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 oh. same. Oh. He's got the dog. He's got the dog, doesn't he? You He's got the fucking the dog. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Is, is it... Whoa, okay, you're going magic. I mean, I kind of knew that already, but... Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm worried. I'm worried to shit. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Helm. Can match you on that uh, where one. Today. From, where from? Uh, Twisted Banshees. I was also going for the Runeful Helm they drop, as well as the Adamant Kite Shield that they drop. Right, when right. Right. I don't think I went dry on them, but they're 1 in 128, and I killed way more than 64 of them. Just the average of them two together. So is this you saying you gave up on the rune simi? This is not happening. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, 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 you know what? You're going to know, and the fact that you just called me out on it, I actually did get a rune simi, but I'm, wow. pretty, I'm, I'm taking one out of the Link playbook. I'm not bringing it this fight. Oh so. god, yeah, because he's got he's got something that's nice and shiny and bony, <laughs> nice bony fucking crossbow. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait for that. Um, all right, let's oh. go body. 
Let's get body, mate. What? Still think I have oh, a bone crossbow? Wow, maybe he's going magic as well. What? Oh man, this is this is. Oh, I don't know now. I really don't know. You still think okay. I have a bone crossbow? Uh, link? Shit. Oh man. Um, you sound really happy. <laughs> you just sound so stressed. Yeah, I am, mate. Do you know what? Just quickly, yeah. I was actually watching last episode, and this is for the viewers. This isn't behind the scenes that I'm talking. So many of you roasted Kins, and you killed him. And some people were saying, I'm not going to watch the series anymore because Link's definitely won this. Kins took last episode, he killed it, and it looks like he's going to do it again. So shame on people for ducking out on <laughs> Kins that early. Shame on you. Yeah. Well wow. done, Team Rog, who are still Team here. Team Link Fuck is yeah. fucking roasting Team Rog. I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to back it, you up on this one. Like, it saddened me, man. It saddened me to read that. But anyway, yeah, carry on. Oh, <laughs> Let's go, legs. Wow, you're angry for me a little bit right I there. I am, man, I am. Uh... Oh, okay. Those don't give any negative magic, right? No. Right. Uh, they do. Negative five, sorry. They oh. do. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow, wow, wow. Okie doke. Okay. Uh, let's go necklace, mate. Ooh, okay. Amulet of Magic. Oh man. Where? Did you get do druids or something? I made it myself. Oh made yeah, it it's myself. not that high of a fucking myself. level to do at all. What the fuck am I talking? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, alright. Ah oh, man. Your pick, mate. Let's go, um. Let's go cape. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. All right. All right. I knew he had ten, something else up his sleeve. All ten, right. ten magic attack, ten magic defense. It That's had right. to happen. That's right. I should have seen that. that coming. 60 magic, 60 plus magic. You, you have that unlocked shit. All right. Wow. This was my plan, mate. I wanted to go Sara Strike. Oh, crud. For the prayer drain, the 20s. But my what problem happened? was getting blood runes. So I, I currently have 233 blood runes. But just to unlock the spell outside of the Mage Arena, it would have cost me 200 Blood Runes. Right, which is the equivalent right, right, of 80k right, right. GP. Or killing wow. a fuckload of Ankus or something. And I tried killing Ankus in the Forgotten Cemetery. Mm -hmm. Did it for like an hour. And I only came out with like 80 something, 90. I can't remember exactly. It was a bit of a time ago now. Uh, blood Runes. So that, wow, that plan had to okay. get fucking It's a bit set. scary though, you know, for future episodes. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, I'll go ring. I finally got recoils unlocked, mate. Finally. Ooh, dude, how many episodes did it take you after 20? A lot. Yes. A okay, lot. that's good. That's good. A bit, so, a bit, a bit uh, angry. That that was my one advantage, but I do have them too, of course. I got two of those bad boys. Cool, cool. I mean, dude, I'll be honest. All my other stuff's the same. I like boots, van braces, um, and then just the weapon. Okay. Um, you have different. That seemed a little. Ooh, I, uh, boom. Okay. But if I said I had an air this time. So you're 53 magic, correct? Yes. Mm, guessing you're going Earth Blast? You got, ma you got range there as well. Yes, I do. He's got melee. Dude, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> can we just fucking hang out take a few shots to get why you know what link we're way too chill of people to stress each other out like this you know that right i know i know i know this is horrible let's just this call a horrible. truce do some shots <laughs> this is horrible mate this genuinely is oh, all right let's go get the food sake. fuck this i'm get. i'm getting my food let's let's do this all right link it's going to be a very, 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 very stressful fight. But before we yeah. do that, we need to take a look at the inventory. We both have switches, which is, you know, I guess good for both of our sakes. The defense pot, the bloods, the airs. I have the range switch. 
the recoil. Uh, and Carl wants yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I I can do less damage and still win, which is a, a pretty good feeling, I guess. Uh, oh man, we got the same exact same spaces in terms of just things bringing along. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Link, oh, let's dear. let's hop. Let's hop. Let's uh, let's get this over. With. This is tough, man. This <laughs> is wow. Okay, all right. Uh, wow, you really are not confident there, bud. Holy <laughs> no. shit! The Zerations scare me massively. <laughs> I know they do, dude. After last episode, I I feel like I struck fear into your eyes. Yeah. I even said that this episode, I'm like, there's no way he's just going melee because he's that scared of the Zerations, and I'm like. Uh, that's great. The for me, are fucking scary, bro. The magic defense scary. is fucking wild, comparatively yeah. speaking. So, right, man. Um, I just whenever you're ready, you let me know. You give me a two yeah. second warning and. Cool, 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 cool. All right, I'm gonna sip my dose, and then that's when the two seconds will start. All right, mate. Okay. All right. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Here we go, my man. Sipping the dose. Sipping the doser. Okay. Oh, he's staff no spell bashing. On. Brilliant. Oh, Brilliant. He didn't mean to do Oof. it, right? Okay. Oof. Okay. Okay. Oh, his magic level just going to be huge. Oh, does it not switch? Wow. Come on, range. I gotta test, see how this does. It's gonna do that. I can hit tens. Oh man! I cannot hit you. I cannot hit you. Wow. Oh well. <laughs> there you go. Holy shit! I've got, to stick, to I've got shit. to stick to that. Holy crap! Nice. Yes. On hits. Don't ease up on the hits now. Nice. Come on. Nice. Oh, yes. Here we go. Come on. Hit him. Maybe Aww. magic's the way to go because I have more magic defense. <sighs> Fuck. Don't know, dude. It's a fucking tight one to call, mate. It's a tight one to call. Oh, that's a huge hit. And another one.
Come on. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yeah. Come on. Big hits, big hits, big hits. <gasps> I'm out. I'm out as well. Oh 12 my HP. God, you 12 are HP. Me. <laughs> I wish I, I I thought I was losing that. I really wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Fuck. 12 HP, no food. Everything eaten. Oh, God. I fucked up because I thought range would be more efficient, but it wasn't. So I can't. I, I, did, I did that as well with melee, to be fair. <sighs> so don't feel too bad on yourself. Like, I tried melee far too much. It wasn't worth it. With no attack pot, no strength pot, it was shit. Those fucking shit. protection prayers. Fuck. <sighs> they came in clutch just at the right times. We put a little too much faith into the range there, and it didn't quite pay off, unfortunately. At least I know going forward now, uh, we need a better weapon with range to, to completely rely on it. But um, one, four, seven, two, we get six squares unlocked. Let's spin 431. Oh, is this in the region I think it is? 431. What the hell is this down here? Oh, no! I don't want to be over here. Guys, I really didn't think I was going to win that. I, I feel for Kins. I do, because I think he came with a better plan. I think he I think he has a more dangerous build than I do. We just were lucky with the amount of DPS this wind wave can throw out. Um, but anyway, for winning this fight, I get seven chunks, or the random chunk plus six. Um, that was the uh, that was the reward, so it's an extra chunk I get, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and generate three eight four. Okay. I mean, it does connect over here. I could do the quest, but ah, it's not the point. It's not the point. Not the point. Fuck. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this one. So it's it's mud skipper point, but we do have Port Sarim unlocked. I've got Rimington unlocked as well. So it's literally one square to connect up. So the one square to connect up. Oh, there's Karamp ones there. Do I go Karamp ones or do I try and... Do I try and unlock some of this? Because there is some quests and things that I did want to do. Oh, this is a toughie. This is a toughie. Link, when you were picking these chunks, why did you pick a fucking complete water chunk that I just landed on? <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel better, like, 90% of my chunk was water. What? That you just spun? Yeah. Does it? Dude, mine's like 99% water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, oh my god. Part of the cards, uh, mate. You gotta believe in your water chunk. Part of the cards. <laughs> There's no fucking cards here, Link. Don't bring Yu-Gi-Oh into this, alright? <laughs> Fuck's uh, sake. Alright, well... Fucker. All right, you got to give me something, Link. Are you happy? Sad? You're, you're giggling over um, there, so I don't know what that means. It has potential. It's it's it, it's like sat in the middle of so many land masses that it like if I went one way, it would be a completely different story to the other. It it's one of those that you need to sit down and think, what's the best route here? So it's good because I've got a lot of options, but I don't know how good it will be. If right. I'm being honest. And with that, yeah. we'll leave it.
Hello B's and G's, welcome back to another episode of the PvP Challenges progression chunk series thing. If you missed any of the previous episodes, click the playlist up in the top right corner or click the playlist in the description. From last episode, I got myself an extra chunk for winning. So we got the Mudskipper Point um, chunk here. And obviously I'm just starting in it just here and then normally we have five unlocks But instead I have six thanks to winning the last episode. So we're gonna be opening up uh, Here just obviously because we need to start hitting a landmass This also unlocks the charter ship and the ship to port Sarum, which is nice gonna unlock um, this chunk here because it's part of the plague city quest um, and we're gonna need to use this chunk to do the Ivan Staff if I want to go down that route and I'm just sort of future-proofing myself for that. We are going to get ourselves the next chunk to the left um, and the next chunk there and the next chunk there. Really, the only reason I'm doing this is for the Kramb ones. They were massive for Kins. 18 heal and they actually take less time to eat. So for example, um, just as an example, a shark after you eat is a two tick delay to then attack again, but with the Karam one, it's only a one tick delay. So he was getting more hits on me, higher heals, so the Karam ones is huge, and that's the main reason why I've done this dart over. Um, obviously, we also then get the Karamja dungeon uh, with the less demons, and then we also get the Tazar city as well, which is very nice, so a nice few unlocks just from one chunk there. Um, and then just because we're so close to connecting these two land masses together, I'm going to go with this as my sixth chunk. Does unlock the Brimhaven dungeon? I don't think I'll be using that, to be honest. There's not much reason to be using that. But this now means that I have all the way from Lumbridge connected to the Gnome Stronghold. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. Um, you can see my really depressing chunk. Yeah, I know. I know. Ridiculous, right? Ridiculous. Um, I mean, technically, I could have made a way for me to escape, but I did not want to waste extra chunks just to connect. I would have had to use an extra, so I'm just going to, you know, take my losses on this one chunk and teleport out. Um, my initial plan is actually to tele out, get 15 fishing, so I could use the fishing trailer teleport and then finish this quest, because as you can see, I have that unmarked. I should probably go over my squares first. Boom, connecting to this one. Um have the final chunk for the Trino Village quest. And then I decided, screw it, I'm gonna connect to my main region. So let's actually make these official. Let's connect everything. And the reason why I wanna do this, guys, is because I am locking myself, I'm going all in with range. Because Link is currently going magic, and I know range is very, very strong against both melee and magic, especially when something like a rune crossbow is much easier to get then the dragon scimitar because you need to unlock like you know a patrol a crash island things like that it's not the easiest thing i mean of course late game you know everything's going to be connected and it'll be much easier to unlock but it's going to take a while for link if he goes down the dragon scimitar plan um and my idea right now is since i'm kind of going all in on range forgot to uh unlock that one since i'm going all in for range i decided to make the most chances available of getting a better ranged weapon right now i only have a maple short bow this is slowly working my way up here up here we can get the prickly kebits right down here we can get the hunter's crossbow all really easy unlocks and since everything is really close to each other i can get more tania and unlock that if i want i'm still Oops, I'm still two or three locks away from getting the Dorgish and Crossbow, which is the one I'd probably prefer, but I still don't know. I need the Wizard's Tower. I need these two squares in Falador, because like I said in that one episode, I can't unlock just this one. Um, I, I don't have a, a Mithril Grapple anyway, so I can't use that. Um, I still need to walk around, actually, so who am I kidding? That actually means nothing. Um, and I need to unlock this square. So if we, for example, you know, get this chunk next episode it now means that i'll be able to add any chunks i want on along this whole path and that's why i've done this i was thinking about like trying to push up towards like varrock and falador and stuff rather than going down this path of connecting these two and i could have saved a chunk 
but I just think it's so massive to have a huge land mass like this and just be able to like choose my chunks within all of this. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself 40 range. We've got those green dehyde chaps. They're just sat in the bank collecting dust right now and I wanna be wearing them for the fights. They're better than my studded chaps and they're better for magic defense as well. So it's the, it's the natural progression. We need to go and do that. We need to get that upgrade together. Also got a few other upgrades that I really should have thought of and uh, I've let myself down a little bit. Could have had them both in the last episode. Um, so we will go on to those after I get this 40 range. It shouldn't take too long. Um, we've got the archery shop here, which has all the bows we need um, and it will make it as quick as possible. Just went on a cheeky little alking spree as well. And that has taken the cash deck up to 30K. Very nice. It's gonna take way too long. And I don't, the thing is we get an XP reward at some point and I can probably just get 40 passively like that so yeah this is gonna be the last kill and then I'm gonna go and uh, I need to make money money is important that's what I need right now we've only got 25k at the moment so uh, yeah money is the uh, money is the answer to what I need to do right now I am gonna buy the Quran ones quickly just while I'm here I mean I can only get a few but I'll just you know buy a few while we're here anyway okay so I need to get 24 crafting so that I can go ahead and and not cut the oak, so I can go ahead and make an Amulet of Magic. It's something I should have done last episode. Totally slipped my mind, but as soon as I saw Kins with it in the fight, I was like, ah. Uh, we were able to buy a ball of wool in Ardy, which is really, really helpful, and uh, I've got all the other materials I need to get myself together. So we're just gonna spin some flax here. We can just pick it and then go upstairs and literally grab ourselves uh, the spinning wheel. There we go, 24 crafting coming in. I'm gonna do the rest of the inventory. I have banked all of these bowstrings so we can use them in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, there's 24, so we can now make a amulet of magic. Hey, there we go, 10 plus magic. I'm off on a little squares on so many different fronts that I decided if we just make one giant landmass, which is what we have right now, it'll make unlocking a better ranged weapon that much easier. So, like I said, guys, we're kind of going all in, and we're going to be training range this episode. The first thing I'm going to do is teleport home and actually get 15 fishing so I can get to this region. And actually, I probably... No, I can't. That's right. That's my only charter ship, uh, I believe. Yeah, crud. Um, cool. I mean, I should probably get 15 fishing anyway for just quick ease of access. Finish tree gnome, and then... We will unveil the secret plan that I've been holding out from last episode, and we're going to be doing it a lot this episode because it's time to bring out the big guns, guys, with the maple short bow. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyways, let's start that timer, and let's teleport home. And there is 15 fishing, so without wasting any time, let's go to the fishing trawler, and let's instantly zoom. Oh, come on. Why won't it tell you? Uh, and let's instantly finish the quest, get that necklace, and then start training some range the efficient way. You won't believe this, man. I brought my air staff instead of what I meant to bring a fire staff. So we had a melee, the Khazard Warlord. Now, generally speaking, melee wasn't too slow. I killed it fast, so I'm not too stressed about that. But look at my HP and my prayer. Uh, it was actually was a bit higher, but the, um, the stupid wolves actually knocked it down to three, so... Uh, let's just finish this quest before I scream, because if, if I died, that actually would have been kind of funny, but didn't slow us down too much. Actually, probably didn't slow us down at all, just more nerve-wracking than anything. Uh, let's get, let's get those orbs. Actually, no, let's get the attack XP is what I meant to say. Fuck the orbs. Although I think the gnome inlet has a little bit of the orb of protection in it. Something like that. Uh, crazy defense XP. Hell yeah. All right, let's, um... Let's go to the bank. Let's actually, let's just tell the home. It's our quickest way to go to the bank because it's just past the 30 minute mark. So we actually can use it. That was actually perfect timing. What the hell? So I decided ultimately to scratch the LMS Addy Arrow plan when I said, you know, I'll train with Addy Arrows just because it, it, it realistically takes too long and I have to rely on bots being there to get the sort of point rate per hour that i was getting in my previous two episodes and i didn't want to tell you all the way up there just to find out that like the sweatiest of sweatiest pkers are playing lms today um we had about 7k cash i also do have a lot more money in the bank technically because i do have a lot of alkable items and i am pretty close to 55 magic which i'm sure we will get relatively soon 53 right now god yes get the hell out of here I nearly forgot to record that. Oh my god. I'm just happy that I don't have to go back there anymore. I am sick to death 
of lava dragons. I don't even know if I need this anymore, to be honest. We're sort of going mage, so... But I couldn't pass up on not getting it. Oh, man. I'm genuinely more happy that I don't have to go back than having the shield. 200 lava dragons, I think. Something like that, that I killed. To get a 1 out of 64, just a joke. I got really stubborn. You know when you just, like... I'm not leaving till I get it. I'm not leaving till... Well, I guess that's quite a specific thing. But you know when you're stubborn and just like, no, I'm going to get it. And now we've got 47 minutes left of this episode. Oh, dear. So the first thing I need to do is buy Karamb ones for the fight. We already bought like nine or something, but I'm just going to buy a full inventory just so we have like spares and stuff. There we go. And now we're going to go over to the fishing trawler. And we are going to use Captain Barnaby, I think he's called. Whatever his name is. The guy who's... uh. The guy who's on the docks just close to Ardy. Um, and we're going to... Actually, yeah, we will do that because it's cheap. I think we could use a charter ship if we wanted to get to Port Sarum or that sort of area. But we're not going to. We're not going to use them because they're expensive as fuck. We're going to go up here. And we're going to use the ship to Brimhaven slash Remington. And while I'm here, I'm going to get my prayer back. I feel like I'm trying to make clips now because I feel like... I'm going to have like three minutes of clips of this video and then Kins will have like 30 minutes and just be like, what the fuck happened to Link's progress? So uh, yeah, excuse me for just doing dumb, dumb recordings. But uh, there you go, we're going to need prayer. There is a reason I'm showing you that. We do need full prayer for what I'm going to be attempting in a bit. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to walk around and hit up. I think he's called Captain Barnaby. Drop a like on the video if he is called Captain Barnaby. If not roast Captain Barnaby in the uh, in the comment section. Um, so I decided just to spend all my money on Iron Arrows, all 7k of it, and then head to Zaya, the Catacombs of Kurend. And now I think some people might know where I'm going based on this weird path that I'm taking, but I don't have access to the Forthos dungeon through the traditional way, but I do have access through the underground way, never touching the surface. And if you guys know anything about what I did in Season 2, I spent a lot of time killing baby red dragons. The reason... Oh, here I am. Yes, the reason why I want to kill baby red dragons is just because they are the easiest thing to kill without taking lots of damage that d involves pretty much no banking. But there's a one added benefit of killing, you know, red dragons slash baby red dragons, and that's how they drop bones. I can kill this dude in here. I forgot his name. It's like a shadow monster guy. Am I going the right way? This whole map place kind of confuses me over here. I can't get through that way. Okay, no worries. I'll have to take the long way. Um, and I don't think I can kill it, to be honest. You either have to give him five dragon stones, or you have to kill the shadow beast, which is like 186, uses magic. Protection from magic is, is you know definitely recommended but the problem is that he also actually drains your prayer point so even if i did have 35 or 37 sorry i would need prayer pots to uh withstand most of his blows i figured it'd be dumb to not at least attempt it so here's the thing guys i actually can't even get in the grubby location you need 57 thieving to do that but i'm thinking really long term right now my back is against the wall link has the better setup as of right now but there's no reason that can't flip much later in the series there's no reason it can't and if i have range pots if i have sharks from the grubby chests and the moment big skilling xp rewards come in all this stuff is going to come full circle really well and i figure right now how the, how this could benefit me right now is Red dragons, very safe, swattable, very low defense. The baby ones, that is. I can get the tattered moon pages, which it's not that hard to complete, and I can get a free 10k XP lamp with a skill above level 40. Not the greatest, but a nice little added benefit. And of course, the prayer. Even if I can't defeat the shadow demon, guess what? I'm still burying baby dragon bones, which is the best thing I can do right now. Oh god, I'm gonna regret this. I, I have no idea what his max hit is. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna fucking regret this. He's not level 48. Yeah, fuck's sake. Come on. 28! What? <laughs> it's not possible. Nope. No, 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 no. Exit, exit. Fuck's sake. It's a safe death. Don't worry, guys. Fuck. Okay. I didn't know we could hit 28. You'll have to wait an extra 10, 15 seconds to find out whether it's Captain Barnaby or not. 
Uh, because we need to make a couple recoils, I need to do that now because I'm right next to it all anyway. It would be silly not to. There we go. And then enchant these two. Here we go. We're about to find out. Oh! <laughs> Kids, I've just got you a shitload of likes on your video. You should be buzzing with me. For whatever reason, when I was filming this episode, I thought it was going up on Rag's channel, so I haven't got you any likes on your video. Sorry, Kins. I've got it on my own. So this is one of the reasons that I did open up this chunk, along with, you know, we need that for Plague City and we need this for Dragon Slayer. It does give us that in between Brimhaven and Arnie. Obviously, we don't have the Brimhaven dock open yet, but we can get there through Musa Point to, uh, to the Brimhaven one. So, uh, yeah, just slowly opening places up. I can probably turn player indicators off now, seeing as I'm never going to ever go back to... Uh, I don't have time for this. There we go. Thank you. I'm never going back to the worldly now. So we're going to use Veos to go to Port Piscorilius. And this, again, was some foreshadowing we did, and I opened up this chunk for future episodes when I'd need it, so I'm very happy. Past me, well done. Future Link is happy with you. I feel like I've lost my mind. In those two hours in the wildy. I'm, I'm talking fucking gibberish, aren't I? Okay, and the reason we are heading down here is because we are going to hit up the Ankus here. Now, the ones in the wilderness had like a 1 in 4 chance or 1 in 3 chance of dropping Dark Bait. And I think that made the Blood Runes a little bit more or a little bit rarer. Um, so, I'm going to give my hand here and we're going to see... I'm going to see if this works. Now, I did go and test this on the main, like me and Kins do. And if I stand in this spot here, well, we can Staff Bash. I didn't bring any runes. I didn't bring any runes. Yeah, so if I stand here, apparently Staff Bashing is working. Right, for fuck's sake. Oh, man, I'm on a timer and everything. Well, anyway, we're going to stand on that spot. No, don't attack that one. We're going to stand on that spot. We're going to mage with Fire Strike. Um, and then we're going to get ourselves a few more blood runes. I've got probably enough for the fight anyway. Um, but I would like to just get a few extra, just in case. And I, I'm still not deciding whether I'm going mage or not, to be honest. Because we've now got a rune med and a rune kite. Like, could I just go melee and... I don't know. At this point, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so... As of right now, I don't know what style I'm going, but probably magic. All right, so I actually have to make another games now because I'm not too stressed about it because uh, that one was about to run out anyway. Um, I also want to chant a bunch of extra um, of the sapphire rings I have in my bank. I'm actually going to do more than five. I don't know why I only took out five, but uh, we could easily make a little bit more like this. And yeah, we'll be back there to Jiffy and getting that monstrous range XP. And, oh, that was already chanted. And hopefully some good... Prior XP in the process. Fortunately, no times three, but it is what it is. I had to try it. I had to try it. All right, guys, here we are in the corner of the Red Dragons. I'm sticking to these guys, the babies. Like I said before, I think they're the best thing I can kill to get the fastest keys, and they're safe spottable once they lose aggro because I stand by the Mama Red Dragon, which won't attack me, of course, after aggro is up, and I could easily save spot. We have enough arrows now. So ultimately, we want ranged XP, we want super defense potions, and we want ranging potions. And um, simple as that that we can take to the fight. Also, we could potentially get some food upgrades. It's just an overall really, really, really chill spot. And like I said, I'm kind of going all in with, with range. That means we need ranging pots and just more ranged XP. So here we are, guys. Hopefully, this all pays out. I can't see a reason why it really wouldn't. Link, Link put a lot of xp into magic last episode which really makes me think that you know magic is going to be in on on his horizon for the next few episodes and his magic might be stronger than my range right now but i know with all the you know potential unlocks that i can get with range range is going to hopefully overpower that quick once i could really upgrade my range weapon with a Dorgan crossbow, a hunter's bow, rune crossbow, things like that. The first scrubby key has officially been achieved, guys. We are 55 ranged, 42 defense. I did just bring my rune simi to top off on that because I was like 800 XP away. Um, so we did get that, and this is what I mean by not being aggroed now. It's super chill here. They only have 50 defense, so it really isn't too bad to hit. The XP is okay. Um, but this is the ultimate reason why we're here. And the prior XP is coming in an okay amount. I mean, I would have loved 37 this episode. I don't think that's going to be possible, unfortunately, unless I somehow find a way to kill that fucker. But 
Um, I don't think that's going to be possible. Yes, guys, I knew this was going to pay off. I, I have weird grubby key luck. I don't want to jinx myself, but uh, let's just say in the past, I've, I, you know, definitely gotten them all in a drop rate. 110 kills, got two of them. Okay, so as I was saying, if I go over here, stand on this spot, the Banshees can't get me from behind. They can't attack me and fuck me up. And it means only one Anku can attack me at a time. And it means I can just sit here, prayer flick, and you also get a uh, prayer black from burying bones here. So I can literally just sit here pretty much indefinitely and get blood runes, hopefully. I was just trying to work like a new safe spot out. That's why I've taken a bit of damage here, but I've also done this. So if I lure them down here and then have it like so they're facing this way, I can sort of line them up like this one's ready to go. And blood runes, nice. The plan is coming together. And yeah, we can just safe spot them diagonally like this, which is nice. We've got really unlucky with the blood runes, but I've just realized I'm my brain is mush at the moment. Um, for whatever reason, I thought that Wind Wave used two blood runes. I think, I think I'm getting confused with Sara Strike now. It only uses one. I've got like 180, 190 maybe with these 11 as well. We got easily enough, so it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so we're all good. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Four minutes left. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and uh, get some more weapon poison, apparently. So, yeah, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to get myself a little bit more uh, magic XP because once we hit that 66, then we can get into the, uh, the Wizard's Guild and then we'll be able to buy Mystics, which will be a very big upgrade. Right, B's and G's, this is going to be the setup. Um, we've got ourselves... I feel like I've forgotten something. I feel like I could get boots or gloves or something somewhere, but time's over now, so we can't get that. But the rune kite, <laughs> the rune med, looking really, really good. Um, and then thanks to the Sara cape, the, the staff, and the new magic amulet and the Zami top, we still get plus 16 magic. So I thought we'll go with the studded chaps rather than going with the Zami bottoms just because these chaps give a massive range defense bonus um, in case he does go range. Um, he's just not going to cut straight through me. I really don't know what he's going to go because last episode in the last fight he said that he should have stuck with magic the whole fight. But he knows, he knows that I'm going down the magic route and I'm going to out DPS him in that. So that makes me think he's going to go melee or range. And because melee is so weak against magic, I think he's going to go range. That is why I've shut these on. That's my thought process. It could be totally wrong. He's probably going to turn up in bloody melee, isn't he? Um, but as long as we can win, we'll take it. Then obviously we've got all the crab ones. And then we've got the runes to cast. Wind wave. If we got a little bit more XP, how far off were we? 13k? We would have been able to use water wave. But, you know, that's fine. That's for another day. All good. I'm feeling pretty confident going into this one. Um, I think we're going to get a win back. So, uh, yeah, we will see. Chill. So, guys, I alked at air battle staff, alked at fire battle staff. I did the Karambons thing. So, those are already bought. I just did that. I didn't want to film that because it's pretty boring. So, I'll probably stop filming that going forward. Um, so, just assume I'm going to do that at some point every episode. Uh, as you can see, we got some herb lore supplies. I'm just going to, you know, mix some potions, keep inching towards that level. So, I mixed all the possible Taramins I can with the Limper Roots that I had. I mixed all my Guams into attack potions, and we got 20 to herb lore. Um, actually, not too far off 23, but the XP is just so darn slow with that skill. Um, only have six minutes left, but I don't want to just sit here and do nothing, of course, so I'm just going to keep training range, because who knows, if I range in the fight, guys, I still don't know what I'm going to do in the fight, to be honest, but, um, if I do range in the fight, maybe I'll get the level if I get close enough, probably not, I am wishful thinking right now, but, yeah, just going to stay here, kill some guards, and, um, I'll see you guys when the timer is up, and I'll be in Edgeville, and I'll talk to you about my plan after I have a really good think about how I'm going to approach this fight. Okay, guys. I did a lot of thinking about what I'm going to possibly do in this fight and what I'm going to bring and how I'm going to approach the situation. I do think the odds are stacked against me, and I think the only way I could win this fight is if I make assumptions and I'm correct on those assumptions. I think if I hybrid, like I did last episode, I think he's going to destroy me because he will now have Sour Strike, uh, which is the one assumption I'm making, is that he will come to this fight with Sour Strike. Um, the second assumption I'm going to make is that he won't bring his melee switch because he did make a comment last episode I don't know if it was on record or not, I can't remember, but he made a comment saying that he 
you know, took out the melee a few times and it actually didn't really pay off when I made the comment about range and how range didn't really work too well. Um, so I'm going in with those two assumptions. I have to make those assumptions. If I did the same exact thing, it's not going to work out because he's going to have stronger magic this time. And the fight was ridiculously close last time and it, it could only go downhill if I did the same exact thing. So the plan going into this fight, we did get a few more range levels. I, I don't know if I could fully rely on range seeing how, let's just say how poor it did last episode. I'll be honest, it did extremely poor. Um, kind of almost regret bringing it, but you know, that's the past. The reason I'm bringing it this time around is not because I'm going to rely on it with DPS, but because I know Link is going to have protection prayers up in the beginning of the fight. So if in the beginning of the fight, I'm constantly switching back and forth. These are both very fast weapons, fortunately. Um, so Link would have to make a choice. Is he going to constantly switch between different protection prayers, which means he neglects his other prayers? Also, incredible reflexes, by the way, another reason why I'm bringing melee. Um... So he has to make a choice. Is, is he going to switch between his protection prayers or is he going to switch between his other prayers? Um, and I think that's going to be really crucial in the fight because then he's now distracted on other areas of the fight. Whereas hopefully I'm avoiding the protection prayers and trying to maximize my DPS. Of course, once he drops that prayer and he's no longer protecting, I'm sure he'll flick the other ones. You know, he, I'm sure he leaves a little bit extra. Um, when that happens, I'm just going to stick to the style that, of course, does better. Um, and that's going to be, be my interpretation going into this fight. And I mean, I think it's my best chance at winning. Of course, right now, as I declared that at the start of this episode, I am going to be going for a nice range build. I really do think range is the future of this series. Um, I don't really know so much end game, but I know there's going to be a lot of hybriding regardless. And I know ranged has to be one of the combat styles that I need to focus on. So yeah, guys, I will see you in the fight. It is. Hey man, how are oh we my today? Oh, oh, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. <laughs> what are you doing? I just wanted to feel what it was like on this side. Don't, you know, you get, off. Get, get, get off. Get off and throw me. I don't like that. <laughs> I, I, you know, we, we always just, regardless of where we're standing, we are always in the same exact Legit. position. I'm doing all right. How about you? I, uh, yeah, you know, I, uh, I, I feel okay. Um, I feel okay. How do I'm you feel that. about the, uh, the chunk you were given, mate? Um, I, uh, the, the chunk itself, I would say. Oh, right. The actual chunk I got was dog shit. It was legit 99% water. Right. Yeah, yeah. I remember you saying actually. Um, I mean, you'll watch the episode anyway, but I was able to use it to connect oh, one giant landmass. Right. So I pretty much wasted a lot of my chunks just doing that, knowing yep. that it could just help me in the future. It was more of a, I hope it plays out rather than it could benefit me in like in this fight right here, if that makes sense. I did a very similar thing, mate. Did you? Um, I was okay. a little bit lucky that to do that on the way in terms of the squares i unlocked there was a nice piece of content that i'm very happy i got to unlock as well but i did then go and spend more squares to uh, connect two large land masses together as well so uh right great okay, things well, great good. things think alike great minds think alike as much as i want to win these fights i i definitely am thinking longer term right now I think it's also um, very hard because both of us have no idea what combat style we're going to be going. Everything's just thrown everywhere. And when, you, when you're know. behind a little bit, that is hard to then compensate with. Yeah. Um, I, th I think sometimes it can be easy, but the fact that we legit have multiple combat styles that we could just switch it up at any random second's notice, I think is the scary part. Because mm -hmm. one person could have the advantage, but just make one little mistake with their gear and the other person could just exploit that and take a risk and it yeah. either pay off or it won't. The reward for today's fight, guys, I know a few of you have asked us to say it in the reveals, um, is 30k Slayer XP and 25k Slayer XP um, to the winner and the yep. loser. So, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, Kids, Which is mate. about a 20k XP difference in combat, yeah, by the way, if yeah. you're lazy to figure that out yourself. Around, Plus around the that. 5k Slayer. What did you connect? I mean, I'm going to watch it anyway, so I what got, did you connect and what was that content you did? I got the bottom of Mud Skipper Point. That's not a bad spot. Yeah, so I already had Port Sarim unlocked, so I went one square up, and obviously I won last episode, so I had six instead of five. Um, yep. So I went one square up, and then obviously I went left to get fucking Karamb ones, and to get, you know, everything on, on that island. Ooh, okay. And then I already had Fishing Trawler, so I just kept going left to connect Fishing Trawler up to 
my whole RD stuff. So I've now got everything going from Lumbridge chunk to the RD chunk, effectively. Okay, that is not what I wanted to hear. But yeah. I was expecting something like that with the confidence. Because you cause you knew I knew you were going to have Sour Strike this episode. I feel like... I, I actually I, don't, mess... mate. You don't? I don't. No, I don't. You know you okay. can combo eat with Cram mm -hmm. once. They also have another added feature that, like, for example, if you eat a shark, it takes two ticks till you can attack again. With a Karam one, it only takes one tick till you can attack again. So last fight, uh... you were getting, like, loads more hits in for me over the whole course of the, of the fight. So not only have I increased my food now, I've also increased my time to eat or decreased it, you know? Right, so basically what you're saying is, Rarg, you had an advantage and you fucking <laughs> blew it. That is exactly what I heard. Thank uh, you. That's the confidence boost I needed in this fight. Oh, okay. I know he's got Korean bonds. He doesn't have Sarah Strike. No. Um. What did you get there, mate? Come on, let's let's hear. Let's okay, hit. I got right. I mean, it's it's right below Yanil. You see, you were the one who clicked all the chunks that we spin on the chunk wow. picker. Um, he's gonna dude. call me out like that. <laughs> oh, I am. I am a. And I called you out. You know. Yeah, but can we say it's because you could be I, I asked? I called you out when I started the episode. <laughs> Um, I, I called you. Conversation. Like seventh time Conversation. I, I, this is the seventh time calling. When we you. were no, coming dude, up, when we were coming up it's with this idea, bullshit. the call went silent when it came to who's going to click all the chunks, and in the end, it became me because Did I was I lie and say I'm busy. I was, I was busy. Oh no 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 no! We were in a call, and you you just went silent. I was like, right, one of us has got to do the chunks, and there was just nothing from you. So I was like, right, it's going to be me then. <laughs> Fuck. Like legit, the pathway that you just described wow. is these things exact path which is fucking odd but it also makes sense because if you're gonna connect you're gonna want to do it through brimhaven yeah so and I, I don't think, think it's that weird either but side is, is quite useful as well in port sarim and the fishing trawler because they're both like ways of getting around so it does make sense it does make it does make it a pretty yeah. normal route to go through so okay wow interesting very interesting yeah wow um so, let's do a combat so, yeah let's do it let's all right it. on go mate okay three two one, go. Ooh. Have you gained? I Were think you 62? You, I think or maybe one. I think you've gained like three, haven't you? I think I gained two. Okay. I, I, dude, I don't even know at this point if I'm being completely honest, but I think it was two. I think you're closer to me than you were. 64 magic. The first thing I looked at. Your defense <laughs> is the same. Herblor is the same. That's good. Uh... 47 prayer. I mean, I guess that doesn't make too much of a difference. You're already fucking... Yeah. You're already fucking ridiculous. You're probably going for fucking smite. Like, Link, I know you. I know you. I know you. I know you. We've been through this rodeo before. Not dumb. Attack went up. 48 attack. Yes, I did fight Arena. Well, right. I did fight Arena last episode. I did Grand Tree. Not Grand Tree, sorry. Tree Gnome this right. um, episode. So I didn't really do any training. I got... I Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. I got from 41 to 42 defense. 56 range? Wow. Yep. You just been sat that I mean, training range or what? See, here, I mean, again, you're going to watch the episode, so I don't feel like I'm spoiling anything, but yep. um, I told myself that range is definitely going to be the most, I guess, it, it's, it's the most useful combat style because it's strong against both melee and magic late game. Yeah, I think and, mid to late um, game, it's it's one of the best things you can do for sure. Instead of necessarily trying to counter you this episode to just train 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 mm -hmm. focus more of the mid game to late game right now yeah and then just see what you have to offer and then do counters when i can but focus focus, focus on, on the prize the build to win yeah yeah, yeah. no yeah. I, I, yeah. I i actually had a very similar thought this episode um i won't tell you what because it is a grandmaster plan but in the end it just looks like it's going to be too hard but it is sort of like i was like i'm happy to risk or even lose five, ten, whatever fights it takes to make that master plan come off, um, mm -hmm. because it means I would win the final fight. But um, you do have to risk fights here and there, so I, I respect that, mate. I respect that. So I mean, again, thinking long term, knowing that I don't have the prayer advantage right now, I, you know, it's that slow burn. Mm -hmm. I again, the same concept of I know I'm not going to get protection, but I, it doesn't mean I shouldn't work towards it and. Spend time Why is that just it, burying so. big bones or something? Baby dragon bones, oh. actually, Link. Um, so remember Rimhaven how we thought 
No, 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 no. Remember how we thought we didn't have access to the fourth host dungeon? Yeah. We're dumb, and you could get to the fourth host dungeon through the catacombs of current Link. Oh, and... I did it on my main and tried the other way round. I went fourth yeah, host no, dungeon to... trying to get into catacombs. Yeah, it's the reverse. I had this plan for, for like a few episodes, but I didn't want to do anything because I don't want you to also build up a grubby key stash. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe yeah. you would would even care. Maybe you would. I don't know. But I didn't want to put that in your mind because I knew you had the catacombs as well. Mm -hmm. Again, you're mm -hmm. going to watch the episode anyway. So I don't feel too guilty saying this, but that is it's plan, think, it's definitely so. something i would have looked into anyway so i i you know yeah, don't worry yeah, yeah. but it's not on my mind right now dude i just got i i got lost this episode i got lost mate there was uh -oh. a clip from i think three hours 30 something and then my next clip was like 51 minutes dude i uh oh what were you doing i got stubborn I was at Lava Dragons. I was like, nah, fuck this. <laughs> fuck this. I'm, I'm getting oh the Rune God. Kite. And, and then two hours later, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> you don't have the Rune Kite, do you? So we got 64 magic from that. I'm actually not far off 65, 13k away. And then I also got 47 prayer, as you called out, just from passively burying bones there. Um, yeah. I, I We'll get to the reveals, and then I'll talk about fuming, happy, whatever I am, all that shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's go necklace because it's different this time around. Link, the match gave me last time. Does he have the no? All right, so you went the magic cami. I was expecting that because you didn't yeah. make that comment. I think that was actually off record. He roasted himself for not making a match. <laughs> I don't worry, I roasted myself in this episode as well. <laughs> I was like, I should have done he this. Blasted him. Okay, all right. He's gone for the no mammy. Which is huge defensive wise, isn't it? It's just insane. No magic defense. No magic though, defense. Though, so. no. I'm gonna go legs. Okay. Ooh, yeah. I actually started trying to go for 40 this episode and it was so slow I gave up. I wasted like 30 minutes. Just... <laughs> yeah, I see you're 28. You were 25. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'll try. Then I was like, nah, this is shit. I'm out of it. <laughs> Uh, body. Fuck it. I, I, I want to see what you're doing. I mean, I know what you're doing, but... Yeah. What's he going? Okay. Ooh, okay. he's getting range, isn't he? He's getting range. Okay. Um... Let's go helmet. Does he have an upgrade there? No. Nope. 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 Okay. That's good. I mean, do, wait, don't Lava Dragons drop Rune Full Helms too? Yeah, man? they do, mate. And, Dude, uh... So, um, did you just um, get a lucky here? I've, <laughs> I've, I've now had six fucking... Med Helms, which are the exact same chance as a fucking room full helm. Also, wow. mate, I've had nine, nine rune long swords. I've Bruh. killed two hundred plus lava dragons. <laughs> I, you know what? If you have the rune kite, I'm not even upset at this point, dude. What you, the fuck? Right, fuck it. It's coming on. It's coming on. I finally okay. fucking got it. Everyone's like, Link's so lucky. Guys, Lava Dragons have dicked me all fucking season so far. Okay. One all in right. 64. Right. I think it took me 200 and... Wow. Maybe 20. I don't know exactly, mate. But I... I, You know, I know what you're like. And I was feeling very similar at the time. I was just stubbornly sat there like, no, I'm getting it this episode. I don't even care. I'm just getting it this episode. If I could have got it like 10 kills in, then this would have been a great boost. It would have been like that sick, but you are right. I have spent a lot of time and wasted a lot of other resources that I could have done to get this mm -hmm. rune kite. So, uh, yeah. All right. You know what? Um, let's go ring. I'm going to assume you've got some. I do have two recoils, but I am actually uh, bringing one that has like 16 or something. Oh. I can't. I'll check. Sorry. Uh... Oh, 10? Oh, fuck. Oh, I dude, thought I had 16. Karam one. <laughs> oh. dude, Karam one heals more than that oh, does the damage. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, I, I really thought I had 16 in it. But, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. That's, I mean, that's great fucking news. Uh, that's a fuck dude. up. Yeah, I, um, I don't have a great access to gold bars is my issue. Right. Oh, see. So these aren't a steady plan. No. Which... I just got cape and weapon, mate. That's all I got left. 
Cool. I mean, I my uh, gloves, boots, cape are the same. Yep. Um, which, funny enough, I, I get roasted for not wearing the LMS cape. But guys, I get like a plus one slash defense from this. So I'm going to take what I can get, which is why I've never worn the LMS cape. Everybody wants me to flex it on you as if killing bots is an achievement. Like, you yeah. know, I, I've seen it. I've watched the videos, guys. I'm impressed. Well done, kids. <laughs> congrats thank you like that's all they wanted to hear from you um i'm very worried here very worried um You're worried i think i know what you've done what did i do uh, i'm mm, looking at your fletching probably not i've got i've got a I'm, in my mind this is probably wrong actually but i think you've got a myth crossbow with fucking enchanted bolts but mm. <laughs> oh god i'll tell you right now i don't, I don't it's gotta be that. a crossbow though surely <laughs> or maybe he's going rune simi and just using it for uh my uh, magic defense. Mm. Ah. But Link, I know you have protection prayers. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep you on your toes this episode. Okay. So I can let you get off that easy. Uh... Which I'm actually fuming you. You're not going Sarah Strike because that you, you can't auto cast. So I wanted to to fuck up your prayers while you're trying to right. click on the spell on yeah, me and yeah, yeah. so that that's actually why i brought both um, right, i, I, I still think it's worth bringing point. but i yeah i thought i thought you were gonna be flustered to shit in the process what does my guy have no i got that in that <laughs> yeah and since i am in fact hybriding i felt like it'd be dumb not to bring it yep okay i would have brought a super defense but i'm running a little bit low and i don't want to take him out that's actually great news for me. Um, yeah. Because yeah. I think, I mean, obviously there's no way to test this without actually fighting, but Range did shit last time, and uh, you made the comment that you could have been because of your super defense, and I completely forgot you even had it, so... I've got my room tight now, though, which I'm so I happy. Know. Thank God. Kids, mate, I've got no pots to uh, to do. So honestly, man, okay. you uh, you go for whatever you want, and we'll uh, right, we'll go man. for it. This is your official two second warning. Okay. Good luck. Oh yes. Not a good start. Not a good start. Okay, nice. Nice. He's going for the fakies. Have to try what I can, man. Yeah, I'm faking you out by hitting zeros in the process, <laughs> dude. Oh, oh man. I'm still hitting, which is great to see. Really, really nice to see. Need that prayer to drop. Need that prayer to drop. Need that prayer to drop. Fuck. Hit. Oh, 17. That's the max. Yeah, that sucks. That That's sucks. the max. My, my recoil shattered so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck's sake. I wonder why, Link. Okay, guys, I have to try range. I, I know somebody is just grinding their teeth at me right now, but... <sighs> Go. Oh, we're still hitting through. That's so good to see. So good to see. Oh. And I see a lot of people in the comment section, they're like, how come you guys are flicking, like, the other prayers? It's only overheads we can't flick, so we couldn't be here, like, one tick flicking Protect from Melee and stuff. Um, or any of the overheads, just because that makes it really broken in terms of prayer pots become a lot less useful. But 
but we can turn our prayers off and on when we want, as long as it's not saving us prayer. Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stop it, Kin. Stop it. Okay. Hit, please. You're not hitting that much, which is great to see. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Say that, and he starts fucking going on a mad one. I think melee is better. Yeah, it definitely freaking is, guys. 100%. 100% better. The problem is range is so hard to upgrade a weapon past... You're not too Maybe. far off uh, death, are you? To the Dorgashen. Ah, it's all regions, though, you know? Yeah. So, hey, I'm close if I get all the right unlocks, you yeah. know? It's that yeah. sort of thing. Come on, hit, hit, hit. Oof. Come on, 17. Not a fucking one. We're using Addy Arrows. Yeah. Cheeky fucker. Dude, I don't know. This is, uh... This is, this is starting to... I thought I was way ahead. Oh, is he out? Is he out? Yeah, I'm out. On the recoil shatter, so I'm quite happy I didn't fucking up it. <sighs> uh, seven food. What do you mean it's closer than you thought? That's dude, shit. Until until That's dude, dog shit. I'd hardly eaten while the protection prayers were up. Oh, dude, it's it's the protection prayers that's fucking me up. The thing is, dude. you're only two oh. off. You're two prayer well, levels you off. You that, but then you just melee Protect me. From magic. Right? That's, that's such an easy counter when I only get 37, because I can't switch with range and melee. Oh. Yeah, but mage is my fucking... That's my Hail, Hail Mary right now, you know? And you'll be able to dude, protect I'm from that. Dude, I'm actually shocked you're focusing so much in mage. I, th I think endgame, it's trash, but... Fair play. I mean, yeah. you are getting the win, so I can't. I can't even. Stocking I can't up hate. the wins. Stocking up the wins. You know. Uh, yeah, this is his insurance policy. So when he loses four in a row <laughs> mid game, he's like, "Remember that time I dominated early game?" And I'll be like, "Link, that was so two months ago." Oh, uh, pretty. Oh, fuming. Yeah, uh. Okay, B's and G's. I think Kin's made a good point. I can't remember whether he made it on camera or off, but Mage is good. Like early to mid game but late game it's not going to be good enough so i do need to start focusing away from this i'm getting a lot of wins but to win the season this is not going to be the the route at all but anyway let's see what we're going to get here 375 okay 375 all right guys unfortunately we did lose that um you know i still have the long-term plan of just simply going range um we we do in fact get 100k xp even though we lost that so that's gonna be a lot of range xp probably will put some in defense too actually because that's quite annoying to train um but without further ado guys let's spin the rng wheel we'll call it i don't know i always call it something different 283 283 283 283 Ooh. Ooh. got a jealousy pyramid <sighs> Do I have enough? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we have enough squares to get. Um, ooh, there's the room plate legs here. Oh, 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 oh. Can I buy? Can I buy desert stuff here? I don't know. Um. Oh, this is tough because if we're here. I don't think I can get out. I can go here and I can get to Port Sarim through the prison, but I can't get back. Um, This could be a really interesting one. Am I able to get desert clothing here? If so, then this is great. If not, this is not good. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? I could have sworn... Yeah, Link started here. I mean, he was supposed to start here. He's supposed to start in that corner. He got 
roasted for it. Um, oh my gosh, no, guys, this is perfect. This is this is actually really, really, really perfect because we have that unlocked. Um, we need that square. Basically, it connects to our giant freaking landmass. Um, that's why I connected all the way from here to all the way over here to make the odds super high that we can make this a reality. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. This is going to be, or next episode is going to be a fun one. Guys, I'm going to act pretty sad when I, um, when I talk to Link. I'm going to act like we got the worst fucking spin and we're sad, but, uh, yeah, the Warriors Guild chunk. Dude, yes. Get eyes. Hey, dude. How you feeling? Oh, <laughs> I don't know, dude. Okay. I don't, um, know. I, don't, I know. don't know either. Either okay. it could be really good or it's really uh, bad. You know, you see this every time. You know that. This right? is like, this is like, if a shop sells something, it's great. If it doesn't, I'm oh, fucked. Oh my god. Like, and I don't know. I swear you say that every time, and I feel like you do it on purpose, so I can't game <laughs> how. Fuck's sake. <laughs> nah, it's, I'm, I'm really, oh, wow. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping. We'll see, we'll see. But, um. All right, man. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 11 of the PvP challenges. As you guys remember from episode 10, I was able to get 25 XP in Slayer, and I didn't want to mess around. I was thinking about putting some in defense, but I ultimately decided, screw it. Um, any combat XP reward could always be put into defense. The same could be said about range too, but I need to get Link off magic. I need to. I need to make him think he wasted all that XP and magic and that it's not going to help him in any of these fights. And it got us to 61, which is the same level needed for a rune crossbow. I know what a lot of people are thinking right now. Rarg, you have that giant landmass. You can go for the rune crossbow this episode. Technically, I can. Although I won't be because the odds will be incredibly stacked against me if I go for it. Let's say I decided to spend all my chunks to unlock up here and maybe even up to the altar as well. The first problem I see is that I don't have the 40 prayer, which isn't too big of a deal. I focus on getting that first. But in this episode, it'd be kind of a wasted unlock. I'd have to make money. I have no solid way of making money yet, which really does suck. I have to buy the runes. Um, I need to spend lots of time, you know, walking up and down from the altar, provided I do have the 40 uh, prayer. And even if I get the crossbow, I'd have to then spend a lot of time going for bolts. Bolts, which I can't, but I, I don't really have a solid way of getting bolts. My only way right now is actually killing Chaos Druid for myth. Um, of course, eventually I'd probably pair it with the Lava Dragons, which drop Runite bolts, which is a deadly combination. So even though I can, in fact get and wear a rune cross for this episode let's be honest guys it probably wouldn't have happened hello bees and g's welcome back to another chunk progression pvp thing if you have missed any of the previous episodes i will leave a playlist up in the top right corner and in the description as well so give them a click and that will get you through every episode because they are alternating between mine and rag's channel so you might have missed one but in the last episode i got myself this chunk here, which is in between Polly and the Agility Pyramid. Um, and as you can see, these are the squares I'm going to be opening up. Obviously going to be opening up the Agility Pyramid. This gives us 10k every time we go up this and uh, and give it in to our boy there. I can't remember who it is. Um, and luckily, we got 45 um, Agility just passively on the accounts. Me and Rag have been doing that. Um, so that agility is going to finally come in use for me. Um, and then obviously I'm picking up Nada here. We get a bank. We get a cooking range right next to the bank. It's actually one of the closest cooking ranges to a bank in the whole game uh, in terms of like low requirements. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we've got the carpet to Polly. Just moved slightly to the right because the desert heat was uh, killing me. And that was one of the things I'm worried about. But it looks like we're going to be okay. Um, so yeah, I'm unlocking Nada for the bank. And obviously the plate leg shop. And just before we start the timer, I'll show you quickly why we're unlocking this. 
<laughs> the rune chain body and rune plate legs stocked in there. We're going to need over 100k to buy them both, but uh, yeah, that is the reason why this is such a massive chunk. But I was worried that we weren't going to be able to have desert heat or desert protection from the desert heat um, while we were doing the agility pyramid. Luckily, remember a few episodes ago I bought um, some desert boots? Yeah, so we've already got desert boots. They actually do sell desert boots in Poly, so it's not massive. They also sell a desert top, I think, um, and they sell water skins here in Poly as well. So we're all sorted for protection from desert heat and we'll be able to get ourselves some money together. Then I'm gonna unlock this chunk and this chunk, not for any real reason, um, just more to get close to our chunks here. Just because uh, once I leave the desert, I won't actually be able to come back. So I've got to make all of my money now. And I've got to do all of this now. I've got to buy the rune stuff. I've got to, you know, do everything. Because once I leave, there is no teleport back here. Now, the rune crossbow was never really good for training anyway. I'm basing this off season two because it's the only thing I have to base it off of. Because again, bolts were quite annoying. The weapon that was very reliable, um, not in a fight perspective but from an overall training and killing things in the episode perspective was the Dorgenshin crossbow now that is something that i can now for a fact get in this very episode we have this one unlock here two goblin village three four falador both are definitely needed i looked into it four five the wizard's tower and six all the way up here to get to reldo with those unlocks, which are all connected based on my giant landmass that I have been building, I'm glad the strat is kind of finally paying off. Um, so with that strat, I can now unlock all the quests needed to do Death to Dorgan Shun, which I know you only need the Lost Tribe for the Bone Crossbow, but the Death to Dorgan Shun, we also get Frog Leather, we also get a potential to go for a Power Amulet as well. And a great way to make money, which again links up perfectly hopefully in a few episodes time when we go for the room crossbow but we will need to get an unlock but our giant landmass extends all the way out here so things are looking up my back still against the wall but things are finally coming together i am still a bit nervous that the duration crossbow is now a little bit too weak for the fight but it is a much, much, much needed step to take us that one step further for the ultimate goal of the Rune Crossbow, which is great against melee and is great against magic. And he hopefully should really be struggling. I don't know where Link put his XP into, of course, but I, I, I saw that a lot of people in the comment section to say, go for magic, go for magic still. I'd, I'd be a bit weird to see him also throw away magic when it's been working so well for him. Um, but... No matter which way he goes, I know range is the way to combat that. And that's why I put all my XP into range. Because I know tank range is a very, very strong build. And a rune crossbow isn't exactly in the unforeseeable future. It's possible. Something like a dragon scimitar is because you need the unlocks to back it up as well. We got 30k uh, slayer XP to get. So that got us 40 slayer. 66 magic I went for for mystics. Uh, so that we can now buy Mystics, because Mystics and Ivan Staff surely will be deadly. Um, and then I put the rest into Strength and Attack, just getting us 53 and 54. Okay, so first thing was to get the Desert Boots and some coins, and we are going to go to Poly. And luckily, our squares are connected. See, this isn't actually like a teleport like we use. Like, if this carpet had gone through the grey or the black, I wouldn't have been able to use it. But luckily, it goes through the chunks I've opened. Well, I say luckily. I mean, I did that on purpose so that we could use this. Um, but it means we can just go from the river there and back for 200 coins, which is nice. So now, if we go to the general store here, we should be able to uh, pick up some water skins and... Of course, the uh, the desert top, I think it is. Let's have a look. How much now? Yeah, 32. So we'll just buy the whole shop out. They respawn really quickly, actually, but I am going to hop. That should do me for ages. It costs, like, no money to get back here. And obviously, we're going to be making 10k every pyramid top. I will show you guys what is going on, just in case you, uh, you've never done the Jersey Pyramid before, but um, it's going to be a really good moneymaker. So we have Simon Templeton here. He'll give us 10k GP every time we get to the top of the pyramid and uh, get a pyramid top for him. We trade him in with him and he just gives us the money straight like that. I'm going to be training my agility while doing this. We've already got 45. It's recommended to have over 30 
Uh, most people usually come here when they have about 50, so I'm a little bit lower than like what a lot of people come here for, and that is one of the reasons why I might need to bring food, but I'm going to give it a go and see if we can just replenish. I'll uh, put rapid healing on as well for a bit, because um, we're not going to need the prior anyway, so yeah, this is the plan. We'll see what happens. I'm sorry, guys. That was like a four minute rant, but I it, it had to be said. I'm very excited for this episode. We have a lot of quests that we have to do. I'll explain it as I go. So let's start that timer. First up, Doric's quest. Oh, we can teleport to Falador now. Yes, look at that, guys. Uncharted territory. Um, Actually, I can't even get to um the underground area of the dwarven mine from this from that entrance i just unlocked the dwarven mine technically speaking um because i can get there through falador now which is the only place i can mine clay also i have no idea what dropped it but i had to iron ore in the bank i need 17 mining to do the lost tribes quest which is why i'm doing dorix and then i'll have to top off the mining quest complete 11 mining um so i'm probably just gonna go right back to the dwarven mine and top off on 17 i of course want to do that first so i can get the higher mining level uh so i can mine things a bit quicker but after 17 uh, we'll probably tell you right home and start Rune Mysteries, because we now have all the unlocks for that, of course. Uh, we need the Wizard's Tower and Varrock, which we've had for a while now. So, yeah, and then it's one step closer to getting that Dorg Bow. So, 17 mining has been achieved, but before I tell you, I decided to uh, try to get those woad leaves real quick. I need two of them, right? Uh, yes, two woad leaves. I'll just pay the max amount. Do not care. 20 GP. Two? Oh, awesome. Okay. Um... I was actually a bit nervous that there was no place to get onions. The food shopping port, Sarum doesn't have any. Um, I can't go here because that's blocked off in Lumbridge. Um, I actually don't have that square unlocked, I don't think. But anyways, uh, yeah, look, it's just blocked off the onions. It says there's a spawn in the Lumbridge upstairs. Now we need two of these. This is going to be the play of the century. <laughs> there's an onion just chilling on the table. Uh, we do have to hop. Okay, easy enough. So we won't get the, we won't get the red berries now because they're by Varrock. But actually, we do have to go there for the quest, um, Rune Mysteries, which we're going to do right now. Just got all the dyes, uh, going to wrap up Rune Mysteries right now. I think this is like the last step or the second to last step. And then fire right on up, uh, probably Tele Falador and go up and do Goblin Diplomacy really quick. So I believe this is all the requirements, uh, the item requirements that is. I think you can get the um, the Goblin Mail during the quest. So uh, truthfully going a bit faster than I thought. I thought 17 mining would take more time as well, but um, we're zooming on through. 21 HP. <laughs> I definitely need to bring food. So we'll go to Nada. I'll grab some food. And we'll, uh, come on, nice. We'll grab some food, and I'll probably do like, I don't know, five or six pieces of food. There we go, 600 XP at the end. We are going to get these levels quickly, though, like 20k an hour. And that's with a lot of fails there. So we are going to get these levels up, and hopefully once we get to like 50. And boom, 10k, and we can just do this as many times as we want. Uh, I'm actually going to trade this in, because they do weigh a lot. 11 kg, that's insane. Like a cake is 0.3. That is insane. Just got ourselves a lovely dunce. I think I am just going to put... Actually, no, we're putting it into Herb Lore all day long. All day long. There we go. Nice. So we're currently at 70k. We've been going for, I don't know, 35 minutes or so. I don't know how long it was uh, since I started because we had to buy everything and we had to we had to get the, uh, the water and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's going okay. We're uh, fast approaching 47. We're going to be actually really close after finishing this one. Yeah, super close. 589, so under a lap, and we'll have it. Um, and yeah, up to 80k when we sell this one. So uh, very happy with the progress so far. So this is the first hour gone. Uh, 110k, feeling pretty good. I could actually buy the rune chain and the rune plate body right now if I wanted to. Um, I'm not going to do that. Well, I am going to buy them, but I'm not going to buy them now just because if, as soon as I leave here, that's it. I cannot come back. As I said at the start of the episode, I can't come back here. There's no teleport here. Nice. Love failing. Love failing. Um, but yeah, there's no teleport back here that I can get here at the moment that I have access to. So this is out of bounds once this is done. It could be out of bounds for the next three, four, five, six episodes. I don't know. 
So, I want to get a decent cash stack together. We are well ahead of schedule, B's and G's. 200k, and what are we? 2 hours and 17 minutes left. Would have been a lot quicker, actually. I just failed a load of times on that last top. Loads of times. It could have been, like, 2.20 or 2 hours 20 left. Honestly, that was insane. But I'm, nevertheless, 17 minutes ahead of schedule. Really, really happy. I didn't think I'd even hit the 200k in the two hours, so pfft, over the moon. Um, I'm not close enough to getting 50 agility, so I'm not going to bother. This quest should be called the dumbest goblins in OSRS. I don't even know what option to pick. The um, It's failing me here. Here we go. Um, yeah, they go from orange to blue. Now they're going to want brown again. Oh, man, they're nuts. Yeah, they like it. Of course you do. Really freaking quick. Okay, actually, I don't even know what I need for the Lost Tribe. I thought this was going to take a little bit slower and have more time to think about this. I need a light source and a pickaxe. Light source we can get incredibly, incredibly fast at Lumber. Oh, do I not have that unlocked? Hold on, this could be a problem. This could be a problem. I don't have the swamps unlocked. I know I could get in the swamp through... Um, you know, this crevice down here. I think we might have to go there for the quest. I'm not sure, but... Oh, okay. I gotta think about how many to light source. And then we'll move on to this quest. Sweet. Maybe there's a faster place to get it, but it's the only place I thought of off the top of my head. Um, with a quick Google search, that is. So, cool. We have this. Now we can go to Lumbridge. Start the quest. And look at this, guys. We can now get the Dorgenshin Crossbow. Really quick quest. Guys, that quest helper on Roulette, I'm telling you, holy crap. Um, it is. It makes questing so fast. Because you don't have to look at any of the screen. It's all right in front of you. But anyways, I'm going to buy a bone crossbow. I'm probably just like a thousand bone bolts. I mean, this is all the cash I have. I have a lot of valuables in the bank, but uh, I do want to fire right into the next quest. But I know there's a boss battle. You have to defeat Sigmund, uh, that fucker. Um, I believe in this quest and I do want to do it right now since I'm kind of in like the quest mode and I'm zooming through them uh, Plus quest points are very appreciated because of the whole um, What's oh, I can't buy a thousand shit. That's fine. Like I said, I have alcohols, but we are approaching 32 We're not gonna go for 32 this episode by any means, but anyways death to Dorgan Sean But anyways guys, I'm so hyped. These are very strong bolts. It's a tick slower than a short bow but much more accurate than a maple short bow and could hit way higher. So looks like we just need the two full ham robe sets. Okay, unfortunately that is going to take a while. I don't know why I just tell you I could have just followed right back. Um, so I'm gonna grab some food and we're gonna start thieving right now and do the quest. Hopefully this is goodbye to the agility pyramid because I don't want to have to like unlock chunks just to make money. You know that would be that would be very annoying. So yeah, I'd, hopefully that's the last we have to use of it. But as you can see, pff, serious money maker, serious money maker. But it has used nearly two hours of our time, so we do need to get on and do a few things because I've got. Quite a few upgrades, actually, this episode. Um, and a little a little twist. A little twist, I'll tell you that. Okay, obviously, the first purchases are going to be some rune plate legs and a rune chain body. <laughs> that shop was overstocked for whatever reason, so I should have 3k less than I do here. So I am going to switch that out, don't worry. We're taking 3k out, we're turning it into plat tokens because I shouldn't have got it that cheap. I looked at my cash stack and I was like, what? What the fuck? Oh yes, that looks amazing. Okay, we can tell you out of here now. Okay, so I've been missing a couple of slots throughout the whole of the episodes, to be honest. And that is the boots and the glove slot. We're going to sort both of those now really, really quickly. Egg, milk... And obviously flour, it's obviously Cook's Assistant. I'm going to quickly go and do. The reason for that is as soon as we do that and then talk to the chef again after that, we can actually get ourselves a uh, start to Recipe for Disaster where we get the hard leather gloves, which give a one bonus in every single attack and defense slot. And our boy Widen will sell us a pot of flour. Boom, there we go. There we go, there's the quest completed. And now if we talk to him again, do you have any other quests for me? There we go, and this should start it. 
Okay, so one of the items we need is a tomato, or rotten tomato, boom. We need an eye of newt as well, which I have in the bank. Okay, we need a Greenman's Ale as well. Does putting water... Let's let's find out now. I was going to say comment section. Does putting water on a fire put it out? But we can we can do this experiment while we wait, because we got to wait anyway. I sort of don't want the fire to go out now, because I want to know. Uh, jug of water. Quick, 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 quick. Yes or no? Comment down below. If you're right, like the video. Oh, fuck off. Fuming. <laughs> Fuming. Okay, we need an orange, a lemon, and a pineapple. We need a cocktail shaker. The opposite side if we buy one. Okay, so I think we put these in here. Try mixing the cocktail shaker rather than adding ingredients. Mix cocktail. Fruit blast. Create. Ooh, okay, all right, and then if we go the other side, we should be able to buy a cocktail glass. We pour it in there. I need a lemon. I need a lemon and a knife, I think, actually. Knife and a lemon, and I think we make that into slices. Yep. I think this, if anything, will be the longest portion of it, but it has to be done because we unlock a way to make money, and we can get a power ammy and the frog leather. So it's all worth it. It's all worth it. So it turns out if you start the quest, it actually makes yourself get the the ham pieces a lot faster, which I just found out like after 15 minutes of pickpocketing, then the rest came so much quicker. So keep that in mind, guys, for Iron Man. I mean, probably most of you guys know that, but thankfully I got the quest guide up. And there's the quest, guys. Yes, access to Dorgish Khan 2K thieving, 2K range experience. So we're gonna head right to the city and purchase the frog leather. Um, and then after that, I'm not really sure if I want to um, make some money or train some range or what, but what I totally forgot about is we actually had access um, to the special attack and I don't have any other special attack. And it's funny, Link use is wrong. Um, in season two, it was incredibly hysterical. I'm not sure how to use it the right way. Dylan attack with a greatly increased accuracy on unsuspecting targets and that lowers your target's defense level. So I'll try to look into that. Um, because if I could lower Link's defense, that would be wicked for the fight. Let me grab my coins and buy that frog leather. I fucked up the recording, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick. We just got frog leather. You could see how cheap it is in the bottom there. Um, plus, what is that? Plus, uh, seven more magic defense, plus two extra range attack, and the boots, no magic defense, but plus two range as well. Now, I have three goals this episode. The first being a power ammy. The second being get an okay amount of money to prepare myself in case a nice decent chunk comes along where I can unlock the rune crossbow. Again, we're getting a lot of runes for that. And the third being get 37 prayer, which we aren't too close, but we're also not crazy far off. And that is paired with some extra range XP as well. Now to get the power ammy, we need to pickpocket these guards and we get these keys and we use these keys to open up these chests. We get a bunch of jewelry. In that jewelry, I think the better key, I think steel key might be the best or silver even, it's silver. There's like bronze, iron, silver, um, it's something like that. But anyways, I use those keys, open up the chests, get jewelry and all the extra jewelry, which is pretty much anything that isn't a sapphire ring or a, you know, a diamond amulet is gonna be sold to the shop in Port Serum which I already have unlocked, which is amazing. Um, now to enchant it, I found a small little problem. I do need 57, but I did unlock Falador as well this episode. Um, and we can buy Wizard Mind Bomb. So we'll have to look into that. I'll probably do it as I'm pickpocketing to waste no time. And um, yeah, and then from there, after that's all taken care of, we just train some range and get a prior up to 37. So that's gonna be the rest of the two hours, 11 minutes. I really hope we can do it. Okay, so we pour that into their fruit blast, but then we use the ashes on there to make a dirty blast and we have everything we need um, for the thingy, for the for the Lumbridge guy, but I can't get home yet. Is there any other way I could get home? Yeah, I'm stuck in here until like one hour 46 or something, 44, something around there. So I'm just gonna trade. I'm just gonna train for those few minutes on the guards. I got enough health to be okay. There we go, one quest point and an invitation to the dining thing. And this is a long cutscene. Like, I think it's like two minutes long. So we're about to waste two minutes watching this. All right, Kins, how we doing, mate? 
Wow, that was like nearly four minutes. What the fuck? Okay, I'm going to inspect everyone just so I've already done it in case I do want to do any of these in the future. Because you know what I'm about, guys. I'm about doing stuff before, you know, getting prepared for later episodes. So we're just doing that quickly. Um, and then when we jump out of here, we should have access to the chest underneath Lumbridge. Come on. And boom, there's the chest. So buy items from here. And we can get ourselves the hard leather gloves, boom. Ones in everything. Nice, very, very nice upgrade. Uh, so let's bank this. Uh, and I'm now going to buy food. I'm going to buy pats of butter and I am going to... I have, I think I have potatoes already, don't I? Yeah, 19 in there. So that will do for now. So I'm just going to hot world and we are going to get ourselves 28 pats of butter. Uh, just so I've got a bit of food because... Or 19, I'll go for 19 right now. Um... Just because I've got a bit of food so that I can actually go ahead and uh, do what I want to do next because we are going to need a little bit of food. Okay, I actually need the minigame teleport again <laughs> um, so that we can get to Burthorpe and we got a three minute cooldown. So what I did was just got over to Moosa Point and we're going to grab ourselves um, some crab ones just while I wait because might as well do something and we're going to have to do this at some point. I actually only need like 10... 20 crown ones. I think I had about 20 in the bank. So, uh, yeah, this is just literally a little bit over the top, but I might use some of these crown ones for my not next activity, but the activity after that, uh, because it will be combat and that's the target world. Let's go. Let's just do this. It will be combat and I think I am going to take a bit of damage, but hopefully I can neglect most of it. Okay, let's start Death Plateau so we can get some climbing boots. There we go. Steel claws and, of course, climbing boots can now be purchased. We've also got some attack XP there. Um, let's go up and do something. Sorry, I've, I've just got something on my mind. I don't think I ever went upstairs and freed the archer. Do you just not have to talk to him? Do you just have to do the stone balls thing and, and that'll be fine? Because every quest I've ever done, it's maybe go and talk to the archer upstairs when you free him. But using the quick guide... Or the, you know, the built-in one that Runelight has. It didn't tell me to do that. And I guess we completed the quest, so there you go. Hopefully we get a bit lucky on the power Emmy. I'd rather have a little less money and the 37 prayer. But if it starts taking too long, I could always bail on it. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys after I have a buttload of money and a power amulet. Or at least a diamond amulet. So we did not get the diamond necklace, unfortunately. Um, we got a bunch of other diamond stuff, though, which sucks. It's 1 out of 75. We definitely opened more than 75. We'll have to go for it next episode. But we do have a lot of jewelry. I'm not going to deal with it now, but we can cash this in for lots of coins. Let's get a ranged gear up. I'm going to buy Crambwans and then fire right to the baby red dragons and start training some range with our new crossbow. I've got an idea, guys. I've got an idea. We didn't get the power Emmy, but this does give extra magic defense. Yes! Gives plus seven magic defense. I'll take it. I need everything I can take for this fight. Um, okay, now we're going to get Karambons. Check out my new bow, guys. Hitting like an absolute truck, and I hit a zero. Of course, I swear that first kill, I absolutely destroyed it. Hit right through it. Um, we are 61 range. We should be able to get that to 62. I thought about training some defense, but, um, ultimately I want to kill these as fast as possible and get the prayer up. Ultimately need the prayer and I'm really hoping I can get 37 in an hour and 10 minutes. I don't know if it's possible, but we're going to try to go for it. So I will see you guys if we get any grubby keys or if anything exciting happens. We are coming up on 37 prayer. Can I hit? There we go. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, guys. We don't have much time to spare at all. And there's actually one more thing I want to do after this. 37 protection from magic. Okay, hold on, guys. I thought of this as I... Wait, I'm going to go to Birthwarp. I thought of this as I was training here. Did a lot of research on things I could buy or get pretty easy with the regions I have. And uh, I found that mirror shields actually give plus five magic defensive bonus now i didn't think i was gonna have enough time to do this i'm pleasantly surprised that there's two minutes left there's actually plenty of time okay so i low out two battle staves mirror shield 5k can i buy some climbing boots okay sounds good 12 gold am i losing my mind i swear there used to be two as 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 big old tenzing put the uh put the price up here so we're finally going to the fourth dungeon 
Kins was all like, my secret plan, my secret plan. You guys have been commenting that since, like, episode three. So I didn't mention it, Kins didn't mention it, but eventually he, he went and did it. So, yeah, we do have the plan to go here. I have a slightly different plan to Kins, you know? He, he, he loves the fucking red dragons, doesn't he? Doesn't matter if you're series 10, series 2, it doesn't matter. Kins is always at the red dragons. And to be fair, I'm always at the undead druids because they are, they're my favourite. They are my favourite. Um, can we open this? Oh god, have I fucked up? No, I haven't. Oh, thank god. I thought it was going to say that's locked or some shit. Okay, so let's turn this on before we get absolutely destroyed. Uh, we're going to slash this web. We're going to be a lot more brave in many ways. Um, and we're going to be taking on the undead druids. And thankfully, there is an altar right here that we can use just to get our prayer back consistently constantly which means i can chuck on both these two and we can just attack here now the reason i've got food is they do melee as well so they they mainly use mage but they will melee as well at times um so that's why i've got a bit of food with me but just infinite prayer it's insane and they drop a defense army a strength army magic armies they also drop a mad amount of runes they drop a mad amount of um Oh, money as well. They drop 1 to 5k at a time. So we can make some money here. We can get some herbs here. Runes, all sorts. So they are really, really good. Okay, this is going to be the last one of the first inventory. Didn't actually get too many useful drops, to be honest. A lot of seeds. Let's teleport to the fishing trawler. I'm going to see if I can get recoils together. I know I have one in the bank, but I don't know if I have enough to... I don't think... I, don't, I have no gold bars. Maybe I unlock gold bars somewhere have i i don't know but i think i'm out of gold bars so i think i've just got one recoil okay i got an amulet of defense <laughs> what am i currently wearing the gnome amulet uh the gnome amulet here will be better but i think this will be better for the fights because kinses jump into that range um every so often so i think it is probably worth bringing the amulet of defense but i do want to see the amulet of strength that's what we're here for that's what I want to see. So, uh, well, at least we got an upgrade. Sort of upgrade. Okay, I have nothing else planned this episode. And it's only a minute and 20 seconds. Um, take a look at this, guys. From 30 magic defense to 35. Now, we do take a hit on all the other combat styles. I know that. I know that. I know that. But I'm going to try to prioritize magic defense in this fight. Let's go gear up, let's get all of our stuff together, and I'll talk to you guys, you know, in full about my mindset and everything like that. I have one expectation, and that he's going magic. We did just get a bunch of XP that we could throw into combat, so if I see melee, I'm not that surprised, if I'm being completely honest. He probably knows I have Protect for Magic right now, so he's he's got that slight advantage of, of probably bringing melee in the fight now and negating this completely... Uh, which does suck, but you know, my back is still against the wall a little bit. I'm, I'm focused on the rune crossbow plan and I want to see how this Dorgenshin crossbow does, but, um, I'm not going to let it, I'm not going to let it affect me because our setup is the protect from link hybrid setup. We have 34 magic defense and we have that rune med helm. I think this is a nice balance between anything he throws at me without sacrificing a crazy amount of food. Because let's say he did just go magic, for example. I'd hate myself if I had a shit ton of switches in there. And I know I could have won. Well, maybe. I'm talking in hindsight now after it would have happened. I, I would have hated myself if I thought I could have won. And I didn't, is my point. But uh, the rune med also because he staff bashes a lot when he hybrids. So not only is that helping protect against his melee attacks, but also his mage melee attacks. Um, but yeah, guys. There's not much else I could base this off of. I think he might hybrid me, melee magic, and this is what I think the best way to negate that is. I can't I can't sacrifice many inventory spots to bring magic either right now. I mainly want to see how this bow does, how it contends against his setup, and we can base everything after this episode while still trying to go for that rune crossbow and keep pushing forward, guys. So I will see you in the fight. You beauty. You beauty. Three minutes to go, and we get it. We get the Amulet of Strength. Oh, yes. That's amazing. That is amazing. I I think it's better than bringing the defense, because that gives, like, two max hits, I think. Or three? Does it give two or three? Whew. 
Oh man, that's good. That feels good. So we actually got a magic ammy, a defense ammy, and a strength ammy. So I got one of each in 35 kills. That's not bad, is it? I'm feeling very confident. Um, obviously, I'm going melee. I haven't really mentioned it in the episode, but... I think he's so, so expecting me to stick down that mage route. And obviously, like, I got the 66, which he knew was coming. Thought I was going to get mystics. He's going range all day long. And against this, no chance. No chance. My range defense is, is through the roof. I'll have a quick look quickly. It is through the roof. When we get this kill, I'll... Uh... There we go. Um, what is it? Let's have a look. 183 just insane you know like that is that is something else so yeah I, th I think we're looking good I think we're looking good 183 range defense he's gonna come out with either that maple short bow possibly a rune crossbow but he'd have to nah he can't he can't because he needs protection press to do crazy arc so that's not gonna happen maybe a dog crossbow possibly um, I know he wasn't far off the chunks for that so even if he comes out with a rune crossy uh, not a ring crossy, a dog crossbow. Ah, I think we're looking good. I do. I really do. Uh, hopefully we can get this kill. One minute. Yeah, we definitely will. One minute 23. Let's see what we get on the last kill. But to be honest, I got pretty much everything I want. We came here for the strength army. The rest was just like herbs and starves and stuff like that. It was just bonuses really. So really happy to get everything there. That's going to be the last kill. Can't see me getting another... Killing this time, there's a Raynar, so a future prayer pot there. Who knows, maybe that'd be used trying to get some tank legs from Barrows. Can't wait. I nearly forgot to show you guys what I was going for, but this is going to be the setup. Uh, feeling pretty good. 183 range defense. Um, if he's going melee, 197 slash. Magic, I've got plus two. I don't know how. Plus two, probably from this. That's insane. That's actually insane that I have a plus two magic defense with this on. That, that's incredible. Um, crime once for the whole thing. I don't have a second recoil, remember, so I'm just bringing the one. So crime once, everything else, uh, attack and a strength pot, obviously, as well. And yeah, that is going to be the setup, guys. I, I, nothing more to say, really. You know, he's going range. I'm almost certain of it. If he goes, if he goes melee, I'm even happier. So yeah. I think I've got a really strong position. Getting Nada was just so, so massive. That was that was just insane RNG. It really was. So, uh, yeah, very happy. We're looking sick. Linky boy, my man, yeah. how are we? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. Happy to be uh, here. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I was expecting, not expecting, but hoping for a... Uh... Because I, I know you just finished filming, Link, so I was hoping yeah. you're like stressed out about something, but it doesn't oh, seem no, like it. No, 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 I'm not stressed, mate. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty confident today. Ah, uh, man. Okay. I'm feeling, feeling pretty good. How are you feeling? Uh, For this fight, not the best, but I also wouldn't have changed my plan, if that makes sense. So that's the best way I can describe it without it giving like things away. Went but you didn't have enough time to no work. as in as in i'm in a very pickle situation so i have to try to think more long or short term right now and i'm definitely right. thinking more long so bottom line not that confident <laughs> no <laughs> they, thanks for just putting it bluntly <laughs> oh for fuck's sake Right, uh, Link. I I accidentally just went over your <laughs> your guys. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mess. Uh, I'm a mess, and I was caught red-handed because it's all on camera too. It was an accident. Oh, wow. sixty-one <laughs> combat. Ah, yeah. uh, wow. I mean, we got all that XP, and I mean, I, I I know we can look each other up, but I will in a sec. But I'm a bit scared. You put it all into melee. I was pretty sure you weren't going to do range. I mean, it doesn't look like you've done range with stats like that. Mm. Um, but uh, what if he's going melee now? Fuck I'll sake. look you up. Right, mm. I'm going to look you up. One range? Two range? Uh, I gained one range level. I think that might have been it. Oh, no, shit, some, shit. Some, some thieving levels. Got some thieving levels in there. I think that might be it. So, oh, wow. 66 magic, too. Oh yeah. fuck, that's like Wizard's Guild. That is Wizard's Guild. But that's your Wizard's melee Guild. stats are fucking hot, much higher. I think. 
Oh uh, no, I don't even know. It's, he's hybriding me. He's going melee I magic. I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna say I, I called don't think it. If the melee's gone that high, to Has be honest. It? Maybe I'm fucking delusional, like, bro. I think I was like 51, 50, 51, 52, maybe 53 attacking. Like the defense hasn't changed. The attack and strength I did some. In, I can't even remember now, mate, but I don't think it's gone up as much as you think it has. So you didn't put any XP into melee? I did, but it's like most of it went into magic. You have 49 agility. Oh, no. What? What are you thinking? Well, Link, we had a little thing that we don't train agility unless you absolutely have to, which just makes me think you got... Agility pyramid? Where, how else are you get? Why else would you get agility up? There's no 49 about, uh, level requirement. What about make it underground pass a little bit easier? Man? Oh, well, you're gonna spend two hours to to save ten minutes on that quest. <laughs> uh, you're right. I did get agility oh. pyramid, but <laughs> fuck. That means you have mystic, doesn't it? Oh, let's find out. I mean, when? Okay, I got the chunk above. The agility pyramid. That's where I landed. Where did you land, mate? Where did you? I, land? you, you know the square that that you weren't supposed to start in, but you started and got roasted for it. Oh, the one where it didn't change anything except thirty seconds of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that one. Point. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's that one, the yeah. one I actually had to start oh, in. Oh, like Warrior Guild. Yeah, yeah. So. Ah, uh, it's actually quite a nice chunk. That that connects up with a lot of your shit, doesn't it? Yes, I had the one next to it. Yeah, you already had ritual. Oh, Fuck. Yeah. oh my god. So my land mass just grew a little bit. He's that, got a dog bow. He's got a dog bow. He needed mass. like two chunks. He needed two chunks. That land mass is fat. Yeah, I can hear it in his fucking voice. He's smiling away behind the <laughs> fucking mic. Let's uh, let's do it, mate. Let's do it. Oh, he's gonna have mystic. Fuck, man. Okay. All right. All right, you, you call the first one. You call the first one, and we'll start throwing these on. Uh, let's get glove skins. Okay. Um, I just have the leather still. Nothing too crazy. Oh, was that? Bit of recipe for disaster started, mate. Oh, shit. All right, cool. Yeah, I was cool. treating myself. Is that, like, the first one, or is that the... First one's, yeah. Hard okay. Others. Right. Nice. So just ones and everything. Hey. I mean, it's probably better it's than nice we had around. before. Yeah. Around. I'm gonna go ring because I'm curious if you got more recoils this time or not. Um, I have one recoil. I do have another in the bank, but I'm savoring, so I'm just bringing <laughs> okay. one and taking an extra food instead this episode. And then next episode, I'll use that, and hopefully, I'll have a gold bar by the next, you know, whatever. So. Okay, glad to see it's still hurting you a bit in terms of the gold bar deficiency. All right. Yeah, a little bit annoying. Um, let's get cake kins. Let's see if you uh, manage to. Switch that up, yeah. I got this to stir up some oh. uh, some talk before. <laughs> oh. But you kind of already okay, had your yeah, theories. Yeah, yeah. So, so he's done. He's done the. Yeah, he's done the. Yeah, he's done loss, pride, and death adoration. Is that the two you need? Uh, well, to get the boat, you just need lost tribe. But to do the special attack, you need Death Adoption, which we found out is fucking trash anyway. Dude, so, yes. I looked into that spec, um, and honestly, I still don't fucking get it. <laughs> so don't fucking... They changed the wording <laughs> since Season 2, I'm telling you, right oh, now. Oh, God. Um, but that means no hand chests, if you didn't do that. I didn't do what? You, did, you didn't... Did you do it? Oh, maybe you did do it. Do what? Death like, Adoption. I did, I did, I did. Okay, right, right, All right. right. Well, okay, um, this, this, like... You know I have it. Yeah, you don't normally yeah, do it, this, but it was like, dumb obvious. I wasn't. Yeah, I can't. As soon as you it. said I got fucking warriors guild, it's fucking obvious what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm dying to know what combat style you're going, and I think, yeah. I think body will let me know. So let's go body. Okay. <sighs> Rune chain body. Yeah, <sighs> the Narda shop, isn't it? Fuck. Fucking so op. So you got, we got rune legs. Is it rune legs there too, or my I... no? It's it's green dehyde chaps that's there. Yeah. So, Fuck. Uh, is there a rune med? I, I don't mean, know. I've already got a rune med. Mate. Oh yeah, you do. Why am I even there? Been wearing it for like I don't know six episodes, kids. But okay. 
Uh, I he could be going magic still, but all right, I'll just put on both. I'll put on the rune med and um, got a little upgrade. Oh, is that frog? Yes, which is. I looked into this after death to the dog machine. You could get it because I was like, how am I gonna go against the Zeresians? And that was actually something I looked into. You really okay? Yeah. Okay, it gives like plus eight more mag. Well, it's better in everything, but. The yeah, magic yeah, defense yeah. Is, was the one I was looking for, plus eight or seven or eight at this point. I don't really remember exactly, but like noticeably better. So I was like, I can't not yeah. like the, this quest line helped me out in so many ways just to propel me so much further. So had to do it. Okay. Um, let's go shield, mate. Let's see if you got an upgrade on that on that bad boy. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> I actually bought one myself as well a couple of episodes ago, but I went against it because of this, the magic defense on it. This one is worse melee-wise, but it gives plus five magic defense. So. Yeah, yeah, and it was the one I was feuding with myself for not working out earlier, but okay. Ed Zero, yeah, I know, I know, knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> this bad boy's not being put down for a long time, mate. The amount of time it took Alk me to it. fucking get. I'm going to hack you and Alk it by mistake. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Looking, 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 looking very different. I right know. Now. I know. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm something. Even you're a rune tank at this point, <laughs> right? Uh, um, uh, legs. This hopefully will give it away. But you're going. Oh yeah. I see. Oh. Yeah, I knew the moment. Well, first of all, I called it in my little speech prior. I was like, this fucker is. Wait. So it does sell rune legs. Does, yeah, okay. Does, does yeah, that's like fucking. I I knew. Well, I didn't know it on that basis, but I was like, this fucker probably put all of his XP into melee, knowing that I'm gonna get fucking this. I yeah. I just had. I had no fucking options this episode without deviating from the main goal. I fucking saw it coming. I called it. I know someone's gonna yeah, call me a dumbass and I fell for a trap or something. These motherfuckers in these comments. I, it wasn't really a trap. It was more you were back to the corner. I know. Like your obvious plays were get protect from mage because you're so close to it. And I was like, that's definitely happening. And then when the Nada shop opens up for me, I'm not passing up. Fucking yep. rude. Yep. Uh, but um, um, let's go boots, mate. Let's go another boots. little upgrade. We got frog leather. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually got an upgrade as well. Some climbing. Oh boots, shit! Yeah. Okay. Cool. Which I did have access to for a few episodes, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it clicked the moment you fucking put them on. Like, right? The you already had yeah. that chunk ages ago. Yeah. Um. um all right. Necklace. Whew. Oh god, he's got an upgraded necklace too. Got a strength ammy. Strength ammy, mate. From and where? Of strength. Undead druids. My man's killing. Oh, oh yeah, I can't, I keep forgetting protection prayers are a thing in this game. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so I uh, I spent my last hour at undead druids and got a magic, a defense, and a strength ammy. So. Yeah, so I yeah, was going well. for a power ammy through the chests. Yeah. Fell yeah. a little okay. short. Defense. But defense I wasn't ammy. too upset because again I was stacking mage defense and with all yeah. this it's plus thirty four. So wow, that's a massive increase from what you were. Yep, 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 yep. Very happy I went down this route. Uh, still with the route to me. But <sighs> this is the issue with going melee is the next melee weapon upgrade is tough. I know, I know. Which tough. is which is why which is why I kind of am going for the crossbow is because yeah. I just think, as you said before, magic will eventually phase out. And, like, it'll have a use, but for as a main combat style, it'll begin to phase out. And melee is hard to get yeah. the next yeah. upgrade after that. So, which I'm is why I'm sticking to, to my guns. Ahead of the meta. I'm just, I, I feel like at this point, I can't really commit to range. Um... So I'm just trying to stay with the meta here and, and just try and r ride it out until we get to the point where you get a rune crossy because that's happening now. Fucking brilliant. Well, I got to get him. the unlocks, man. So don't... Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it, like, to get the dorg, I had to get lucky at after three episodes of it possibly almost happening. So we'll see, man. It could take three more episodes, but...
All right, Link, there's not too much to say on my end here. You get the first hit. Yeah. Give me that two-second warning. And yeah, let me All know. Right. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I've got two pots to drink. So, I mean, there's your two seconds when you see the when you see the first pot, mate. The two seconds to start. And you ready? Yeah, let's do it, man. Right. Here we go. First pot, second pot, and two-second warning. Here All we right. go. You f fucking bitch. Your defense well. lower. Oh, shit. Yeah, wow. It's 36. 36. Wow. Wow. Okay. You know, Link, I just remembered that we didn't actually show our inventories to each other. Did, <laughs> did, 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 did you have defense pots? Oh, yeah. Here's the train. Uh, No, I didn't, mate. <sighs> All right. I mean, that prayer. Of course, he puts up the prayer. I instantly start doing this. Yeah, I choked over my own words. I do that a lot lately, man. I get like nervous and I just fucking start choking on my saliva. Misclicked. That's good. I like when you misclick. Dude, I'm hitting like a truck. You are. You are. It's insane that protect from range to go away i uh we we forgot to talk about this because we forgot to show the inventory link but i actually did bring a rune simi to uh try to negate that protect from range but to be honest guys i i feel like i'm hitting you okay right now that i don't want to yeah, like yeah. change momentum you know so i'm just gonna stick with what i'm doing because i know someone's thinking of it right now like why aren't i switching Ooh, yes. Drops and then hit a nine. Love nice. to see it. Nice. <laughs> Come on, Runescape, I should not be losing this. Don't do this to me, Jagex. Bet you're glad no I should fucking win. Dude, Good. to think that I'm I'm focused on magic defense right now. My armor Good. could be better. I know. Oh. Man. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, you you just hit so much more powerful oh. like that. So, oh yes. yeah, shit shit like that. Man's had a train of its own. God. Hey, got it. Shit. If I had better melee defense on. Problem is, I couldn't take that risk, man. Yeah. I couldn't take it. And I mean, it would also negate your range attack as well. So, you know, there is there is negatives yeah. to bring in. I bet you're <sighs> glad you didn't go magic, though. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, I would have been toast. I would have been toast. Big hits. Big hits. Wow. I have no idea what my max is either. I think I saw a 12 from you, which I'm really surprised by. 11... I think my spec was a 12. I don't even remember at this point. Yeah, it was. It was 100%. 12... You wanted confirmation, mate. There you go. <laughs> oh, come on. 15. Is that your yeah, max? Yeah. I haven't even been paying attention. I think I did it at 16 with prayer on potted up all that shit you know right okay cool well not cool <sighs> come on zero fast yeah. fuck yeah it's so quick that weapon i it's know it's a joke i think it's a tick slower than short bows but it's it's as strong as rune arrows and about as accurate as like a u short bow but you get 13. a shield with it. Yeah. And the bolts are just cheap. And even after I get a rune crossbow, it's just a super cheap training weapon. Oh, we got to up. Big hit. Big hit. Oh my god. 
god. Oh, come on, hit. Fucking machine. See guys, at least I know the rune scimitars at this point. Until my melee gets a bit higher, it's kind of useless for me, oddly enough. And even right now, I'm feeling like it's pretty useless. Like, I'm like all out melee here. And yeah, it's that's struggling true. To keep up. I mean, it might get me the win, but it's nowhere near as convincing as it should be, you know? Yeah. Him. Haven't hit in so long. The yeah, out. out. I'm out. Fuck! Oh my god. Four food. And that was everything you have on range defense. And it wasn't even my best setup for melee. So I'm not too pissed. Fuck. God, that's way closer than it should be. That is insane. That's insane. I'm scared. I really am. I didn't think it would be... I, d I really didn't think it would stand up to what I'm in. Like 183 range defense, and it was hitting like I was wearing nothing. Yeah, I had like 87 slash defense. <laughs> what the fuck? Rar fans, don't you worry. I know we're losing these, but... I don't know. I think I think we're on to something. Plus, yeah. it's only the final fights that count. I, I I I keep telling myself that to get me out of this funk of losing every fucking episode. <laughs> Link. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Wow, wow! 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 Fuck. All right, guys. One to four hundred and seventy-two. We absolutely need a chunk where we can now fully unlock the rune crossbow. That is the next plan. Is the rune crossbow plan? But we need the correct unlocks. I don't know how many unlocks we need on our giant landmass in total, but I think it's like three or so, maybe a bit more if I want the altar above it as well. Um, I know it's a bit of a problem with, with the prayer issue. We do need forty, but having the chunks unlock means that we're fully actively trying to go for it, trying to get it. Um, prayer will also get much easier if I, you know, get around that area anyways, because that altar gives, um, <clears throat> well, like seven times your bone and there's green dragons right below the crazy archaeologist. So if we can have that full unlock there, it'd be quite amazing. So let's generate 258. <gasps> that is like, okay, 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 okay. Let's look, let's look before I get too excited. Let's look before I get too excited. Let's switch this over. Far too close, guys. Far too close. Um, just having a, like, behind the cameras chat. And uh, one thing I did talk about was he did lower my defense by 12 levels with his first hit. So I was sat there on 36 uh, defense at the start. I think I was still on, like, 43 by the end of the fight. So he did have that going his way. That's not always going to happen. So it was a little bit closer for that. And I did actually have five food, not four. Um, so, yeah. Um... A little bit worried because I'm pretty much maxed out here I would say for the next two episodes like there's not many upgrades that come in um, whereas he can change a lot of that but anyway let's spin and uh, let's see what we get 219 that feels familiar but they all feel familiar to me 258 <gasps> you're shitting me dude that is incredible that is incredible <laughs> guys Guys, 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 guys. We have like this one, I think. <gasps> oh, okay, so yeah, there, I don't think we'll get up there. Maybe we can. I don't remember the exact chunks we have. Maybe we have that one. Maybe we, I, I, I don't know. We actually have that one unlocked, so we can get six. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm not gonna act too excited when I get in the call with Link. Actually, I'm just gonna say I'm neutral because if I act too timid, he might call me out. If I act too excited, he'll call me out. I'm just. But if I say I'm gonna say nothing, he'll also call me out. Dude, that that was an amazing unlock. I thought I rolled the exact same one I got last time for a second. Fuck, dude. This is great. This is great. This is great. The plan finally feels like it's coming together. We're playing the long game, and I feel like it's finally paying off. The RNG on this spin. Again, don't take this for any um, officialness, but. 
Let's let, let's hop back in the car with Link. Right, 219. Oh, it's fucking wildy. Of course it is. I said I don't want to go back there. Dark Warrior's Fortress. Hmm. Luckily, I have the runes already, so it's just one across to connect, and it's also one down to connect with Berthorpe. So we could go one, two, and that would then connect Berthorpe up to all of this. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just imagining the, the music Underpaid puts on right now, where it's like, do, 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 do. Don't know why, but yeah, you're, you're listening to that right now. I hope you enjoyed this little tune. Um, to go back to the joke, I don't know. Um, down here, Goblin Diplomacy, but these chunks aren't connected to my main chunks, so... Uh, we will see, we will see, but there we go. Hey man, how do you Hello. feel about that role? Another god tier role uh, from Link's Eyes. It's, <laughs> no, it's not god tier at all. It's, uh... He's playing me. Not too happy about it, to be honest, mate. That's good. That's good. Not That's too good. happy. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, this, it's just it's just meh, you know. This it's could be that classic link trickery that I'm that I'm always used How to. How are you feeling? Uh, I think I can make do with this. I think so I can make do. Are you playing? Are you playing with me, mate? You can't take one out of my book, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't just use my line against me. Uh, I think he's quite happy. Usually he's like, ah, oh, no, no. But yeah, no. yeah but so. yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Is there a smile on your face right now when I ask you whether you're super satisfied? Dude, when you ask if I, there's I a smile on my face, there's going oh, to be yeah, a smile on my face. <laughs> Happy. Ridiculous, uh, man. Ridiculous. Okay. I can't believe this. Okay, He's super satisfied, Beats and I didn't say it. it I didn't say that. <laughs> I, it, it here first. Actually, they heard whatever I said. Maybe I'm happy. Maybe I'm not. The, they know. You don't know. You're the only person who doesn't know right now, Link. Well, no, because I could watch this as it comes out. And okay, I'd watch okay it exactly Link. Just, I'm, trying so, to, I'm trying to be, you know, a good host right now, and you're just fucking shooting me down. All right, guys, like the video if you thought Kims was a good host. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's going to be 70 fucking dislikes on the video now. <laughs>
but uh, it's okay because I've got a plan how I am going to get into these chunks anyway. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 12 now of the PvP challenges. We just got one of the most amazing unlocks. I'm actually standing in it right now. We already have the square unlocked. This means that I get to pick six squares, not the additional five, but I can branch off from any part of this landmass. As you can see, I greened out the squares. I want to pick this one and this one so I can unlock the green dragons. This one for the crazed archaeologist. And I want to keep going a bit north so we can get the altar, so we can get like the times seven, roughly, prayer experience per bone that we use on that altar. I figured I'd unlock the one next to it as well, just to kind of work as a path to get to the Lava Dragons, because they will be crucial in my end game plan. Now, I know there's actually green dragons up here too, but there's constant traffic uh, between this teleport spot and the Revenant Caves. And to be honest, I don't want to be in such a hot spot, so I decided to kill the green dragons down here and make a little bit of a walk to actually go use them. It's safer if I die. I could get my stuff back, but it's still very time-consuming going through all that, and I'd rather just pretty much guarantee the fact that I don't die and uh, just run the bones as I get them. Prayer has been a bitch and a half since the start of this series. Link has been running circles over me with prayer, and we could finally get that 44 prayer. After that 44 prayer, we definitely want to work on getting money so we can kill the deranged or the crazy. It's the crazy archaeologist. Big things are happening in the episode. We're first going to prioritize prayer because that's something I know for a fact I can get in this episode where the room crossbow is not. So we instantly teleported to last man standing, got all of our gear ready to kill some dragons. I actually can't even get an anti-dragon fire shield yet. You need to start dragon slayer. I'm pretty sure for that. Forgot to talk about the XP. I put the 100k XP into and that is defense 55k went to defense to top off on that 50 defense so it's much higher than it was last time i think we had like 42 or 43 and the rest of the xp went into range and we're actually not far off. oh i can't go that way i gotta walk around and the remaining xp went into range and you know we're close to that 64 which was like the remaining 45k xp so we will get some levels this episode so we'll be training range training prayer and yeah I, I i honestly can't wait i am so excited to finally be training prayer efficiently on this account no more baby reds at least for prayer training that is uh so yeah gonna be opening up edgeville here which uh is always useful for uh, for the many things it has slayer master and of course the dungeon as well which is nice um and then one down is gonna unlock the stronghold of security which we still haven't done on this account so there is 10k waiting for us um and of course there's ankus down there which is super easy to safe spot along with salmon uh, to fish and get some quick uh, cooking levels and fishing levels, which is nice. Uh, and then I'm going to open up this chunk, and, you know, it's uh, it's got not really much that helps me, except for down there in the basement, I can now telegrab gold bars, which means I can actually make recoils up and not have to worry about where I'm going to get my gold bars from. So, uh, yeah, that's the main reason I've gone for this, um, and also to do Plague City. We need these chunks here as well, so uh, we're just sort of moving over towards that that area. So yeah, they're my unlocks. Nothing too interesting, to be honest. Um, yeah, not the best of areas here. Uh, I did think about connecting up and, and trying to do some crazy archaeologists, but right now I just don't need anything from the crazy art. Maybe a power army, but it's, it's not huge. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. Well, let's get into this and uh, start the clock. Just as I thought can't actually get into this chunk from here there's no way you have to go around the back of oziax and i think i think uh, uh on the back end of here we won't be able to walk around but that's okay it's okay it doesn't matter um a little bit annoying but i think I, I think i've worked it out okay the first thing i'm going to do is pick up some monk's robes because they will be useful when we're doing things where we need to preserve our prayer very nice um and then i'm also going to just quickly pray at the altar because i don't have my uh i don't have my prayer at the moment 49 prayer as you can see it goes two over your prayer level which is very very nice and yeah there's no way in there is no way in so we're gonna have to do something i think this is gonna be useful anyway so uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna start a plan we are gonna start a plan and uh yeah i'll see you when i'm done don't know why i said i'd see you when i'm done because i've got to explain what i'm doing uh we're gonna hit up bob 
And we are going to get ourselves a Iron Axe Steel Axe. I think I've got 10. Oh, I've got 14. Yeah, okay, cool. So we're going to use this and we need to get ourselves 27 wood cutting. Uh, the reason for that is we can then use the canoe system. This is the safe spot I will be using. It's not the easiest thing to lure, but um, it is the safest in the safest location that I think. And we should be able to go through it pretty quick. The only annoying thing is only the one dragon I could kill. Um, for this safe spot, that is. And I, since I don't have the shield, it's hard to do anything else. But um, yeah, I don't even know if I'll be saving these. Because I don't think I'll ever really get the level and they're just taking up inventory spots. But I'll think about that. You know, as, as I'm killing, because this will take a while. See, not not too long at the spawn. I have to, like, run up here. It, it constantly gets out of range. Attack it. Run in here. It's a little bit of a weird system, but I've got it down. I've done this before. Oh, shit. That's actually an upgrade, guys. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, we could still get the Addy Kite from the um, Twisted Banshees, but of course we didn't get it yet. Um, I'll still rock the Mirror Shield for now, because it gives no negative range bonus, but... um. Look at that. Already, already coming in clutch. We just finished our first inventory. 30 minutes into the episode. Um, we also got a mithril axe, which I'll need for animal magnetism whenever I can get those locks done. So we definitely get to save on to that. And uh, some laws, which I'll be picking up. Of course, we have the myth kite as well. I'm going to bank after this inventory, though. I'm actually not going to keep using the looting bag because there's, I'm not going to have to bank anyway. So I didn't really think that one through. Um, but anyways, let's use these bones really quick. This is going to be really fast. This is like a really weird dilemma because I want the bones to be used up as fast as possible so I don't die. But I also um you know want to stay here for as long as possible because that means the bones last longer but level 40 protection from range attacks in our first go that is awesome i should have prayed but i was too eager to get on out of there so like i said guys we're gonna head to the bank i can't mini game telly from the wilderness so we're gonna have to walk there we'll bank everything and just keep going for it we have enough bone bolts on us okay wow 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 let's see how much prayer xp that actually got us that got us 10k experience fucking love to see it we actually can kill the crazy archaeologist now but you know link will either be going magic or melee in the fight and i really want that and i just think if i'm going for protection for melee i need to get eagle eye as well it's just it's one level away oh i'm hyped and that only took 30 minutes luckily we got the canoe system um, but I can't go to the first one because the first one goes to the Champions Guild and that's like, I don't know, 10 wood cutting or something. It takes you here. So I have to go to the second one, which is Barbarian Village. Um, and that's 27 wood cutting to get there. So we're going to do this. I'm going to get some fire making levels up while I do it because, you know, might as well. Because uh, I think we will need fire making at some point. There's a few quests that I've looked into wanting to do. Um, I am about to get 15, which means I could do oak logs but i sort of want to get this fire making up uh or do i just do i just screw that uh we'll see we'll see okay i did decide to go for the fire making level i thought i gotta do it anyway so let's do it and to be honest i couldn't think of any quests that give fire making xp um or at least any quests that i can do right now so i thought yeah we'll do it so there we go there's 15 and we can now start cutting the oaks and lighting the oaks now which is very nice there we go, guys. 27 woodcutting coming in. Also got 26 um, fire making, but I did start banking the logs just because I wanted to get this uh, this level a little bit quicker. Um, so we do have quite a few logs in the bank as well, which I can go ahead and fletch or fire make later on the account. But right now it's time to head over to Barbarian Village, which is going to be lovely to get over there, mainly for the gold bars and, of course, the easy Anku safe spot. I've just thought of something. That's why I'm, yeah, I, I might need to go and hit up uh, Hetty or whatever the fuck she's called. I can't remember. Uh, I'm just going to check how many runes I've got. Because if I am going to sit down there, I don't actually have access to the Varrock rune shop. Um, so I will have to get my runes here. So we might, that might be annoying. I should have just probably ran straight there because we were really close anyway. I keep forgetting we got the bank down here as well. Okay, we got plenty of air runes. And I got quite a lot of mines as well. Hmm. It's probably not... That's okay. Yeah, that'll be all right. And I'm actually also going to do something. Um, and it's going to be alking this stuff. 48k alk. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it. At this point, if I was going to go for a god spell, it would be flames. 
um, because yeah, prayer pots and stuff are going to start coming in, so it's not that useful. It was more of like a, if I could if I could have got it sorted out and got you know the the spell together before we were like at this sort of level, then it would have been worth it. But at this point, it's not really. So goodbye, Sarah and staff. Yeah, proceed to High Alkit, and that takes us to 141k. Love to see it. Um, I'm just going to head over. I am going to buy a few more, um, what's it called, runes, just so I'm completely fine. I don't have to worry about it. And then we're going to head on over to uh, Yanil so that I can buy my Mystics, because we don't have those yet either. Wow, we are getting insanely lucky on this inventory. These bones have lasted so long. We got 43 prayer on our second inventory. Oh my god, okay, let's actually pray this time. Wow, that's one more inventory. I'm gonna do one more inventory, guys. Um, wow, okay, so that means we'll have a lot of time to make money this episode to kill the archaeologist as well, which is really nice. I did not expect that to be that fast. I knew it was gonna be fast, but not that fast. That is ridiculous. There is 44. I was just, you know, making sure that if I got incredibly unlucky with the bones disappearing after their first use, I did not want to have to make a second trip. We even got a strange plant right here. Oh, someone just logged in. <gasps> wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's why I hate that place. The next thing we're going to do is teleport home once we get to 20 Wilderness and just start thieving lots of ham chests because we're going to come right here because this is where we are going to get our room crossbow, which is the next goal on this account. I was 6 XP away, so I killed two men real quick. We got 45 prayer now. I didn't even really mean for that to happen, uh, but that is Mystic Might, so I am happy I got it, although... Um, I'm probably not gonna even use it in the fight, but that is magic defense, but I'd rather have the range attack Than the magic defense and that's he's probably not even going magic anymore But anyways ham chest suspend everything decided it was time to sell off everything Most of this is actually from last episode that I didn't sell. I got to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do this Oh gosh, oh uh, all right. He just sold to the world, but I have to do exactly what this guy's doing uh, just sell a little bit, hop, sell a little bit, hop. So we got to make sure we do this correctly to get the most amount of money from it. Unfortunately, we did not get the diamond amulet, but the crazy archaeologist actually... Oh my gosh, a lot of people are doing this. Uh, I'm not an Iron Man, so I think I have different shops to them. I, I don't really know how that works, if I'm being completely honest. But anyways, the crazy archaeologist actually does drop a uh, power amulet. Crud. This might be annoying. But anyways, we're going to get a decent amount of cash, and then we're going to buy runes. There we go. 109k has been achieved. Took a lot of hopping, longer than I would have liked it to be. Um, actually, I went to the PvP worlds, which proved to be a pretty decent idea. I really don't know how many KS runes I want to buy, guys. Um, but I'm going to spend pretty much my, my entire cash stack on spells. Uh, we need air runes, but we already have some air runes. I don't even know the ratio, but we will be using Firebolt, because it's all we can really do. So a 3 to 1 ratio. Let's buy him up, and I'll see you guys in the wildy at the Crazy Archaeologist with no cash stack whatsoever. Alright, here we go. Mystic Boots, Mystic Gloves... Uh, I'm going to get the bottoms for now, but I'm not going to get the top. I can't even afford it, actually. Uh, just because uh, I'm not planning on bringing the uh, the top to the fight. So we'll deal with that at some other point. Um, I can't get the staff, can I? I think I've got to do the Hand in the Sand quest. Do they sell staffs here anyway? I don't, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, that's annoying. I can't get a uh, staff of air yet. Very, very annoying, but that's the way it goes. Okay, chop down the canoe. Shake the canoe. And we go to this one. And that should now, effectively, teleport us up to Barbarian Village. Barbarian Village, boom. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I am going to go and get my 10k from the Stronghold of Security. And then I'm just going to sit down and kill some Ankies for a while. Um, and get as many Blood Runes slash Death Runes together as possible. Um, so yeah, you guys know exactly what's going to go on here. I won't, I won't bore you with it. I might just quickly stop by and get some cosmic runes. I've just realised 10k of these runes are from when I got my magic XP. So I, I was thinking, how the fuck do I have this many runes? Uh, yeah, 10k of them are from my XP rewards. So don't worry, they will be taken off the account. Um, yeah. Apologies for that one, B's and G's. I don't know how that slipped through. I really don't. But uh, yeah, we've actually got 7,000 air runes and 3,000 mines. So yeah. Just as I finished that clip, we got a uh, 
Black Robe, which actually has one more magic attack bonus than uh, the Zami one does, but that has prayer. So uh, yeah, we're obviously going to wear that because we're not using prayer right now. And uh, yeah, I'm set up here for ages, ages. Um, so we'll just see how long this lasts and we'll go from there. Had to buy some pies first because I was actually out of food. So thankfully we did have some money left over. The pies are always really cheap. They're probably going to be my go-to food for quite a while. Um, so yeah, we're probably not going to really bank anything except the coins. Again, if we die, we can just get our stuff back. So I'm going in this just with everything, everything I've got with the hopes to uh, successfully get the rune crossbow this episode. So we're coming up on our first kill. Now, I should take zero damage as long as protection from missiles is on and I dodge that rain of knowledge attack um, or PKers. I mean, I, I, I could die at any second. I would say that's probably the biggest problem is PKers. Maybe even my prayer. Um, again, we can recharge that uh, pretty easily. It, it takes a while, but we can recharge it. Onyx bolt tips. I low-key thought that was a rune crossbow. I don't even know why. I just saw... a pretty pricey thing um those actually aren't too useful because to get the most out of an elk i need to add it to rune bolts which it's it's fletching is ridiculous but after each kill we have to run up north hit the altar so like i said guys it is going to be slow but the rune crossbow could benefit me so much right now in these fights and i'm not gonna sit on it for any longer we're going for it, it we're going all in oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh what what okay we're getting out of here i'm not even i can't even think right now but i know we're gonna tell you out we're gonna tell you out we're gonna tell you out we're just gonna tell you out i don't care i don't even care anymore what the fuck what the what <laughs> oh oh we got two of them not that it matters but dude why oh and how bolts are an issue hold on i know i have some myth bolts in the bank Maybe we just kill Chaos Druids or something this episode. Because, I mean, we, we have enough for this fight, but we don't have enough for all the fights going forward until we get the uh, the dragons, the lava dragons. See, Mithril. 161 Myth Bolts. Dude, I got to sit here for a minute and process this in. I really was not expecting it. Oh, my gosh. So I could have stayed at the Crazy Archaeologist to go for the Power Emmy there and the Red Dehyde body still, but I'm just thinking chances are I'm not going to get it this episode and it's very tough to do it. So I'm thinking it might be better to wait till I have prayer pots before I go for the Red Dehyde body because I just think there's a lot of things I can do much easier through other methods like the Power Emmy, which is why I'm back here, accumulating wealth so when I have unlocks like champion skills i can just buy things like rune legs rune chain body because it looks like he's going melee now i i am pretty certain that link thinks magic is now kind of shot which is the greatest thing in the world so if i had one guess it's going to be that he's going to focus on either melee or range i mean maybe put into range because he sees potential in it now i don't know but i feel like he's focusing away from magic which is which is amazing so I worked out how the uh, the air runes were on the account. It was because I was planning on putting XP into magic, um, but then decided to go attack and defense in the end. So that that's why those 10k are on there. But don't worry, they've been taken off and we're back down to what we should be on now. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here, to be honest, after this kill. Uh, we've got two hours left, 114 bloods, 80 deaths, a few other things that are quite useful. Uh, a couple of sapphires here, which will be good for our recoils. That's what I'm going to do next. Um, and we also got some law runes, so we're pretty much self-sufficient right now in terms of uh, getting ourselves the uh, the gold bars. But I do just quickly want to open up this door uh, or the, the final cradle because then we can actually just uh, like jump down here using the uh, portals. Uh, and it will be way quicker to just get all the way down. So uh, we'll do that and we also get the boots as well. Tele a grab. There we go. And we have the... Where's the gold bar? What's the gold bar? Oh, there. I'm being an idiot. There we go. Boom. And I'm just going to hop a few times and I'll get a few of these. And on top of that, we also have access to the pie shop as well, where we can just part buy uh, pies really, really cheap. I don't think that should actually be in stock. I'm not sure. I need to look up this uh, I need to look up this store. This is one thing that's really annoying. Like, there's just sometimes people just sell stuff. Uh, oh, the fish pie is in stock. Okay, yeah. And I'm never sure whether I can actually buy them or not. The garden pie... It heals two hit points. Okay, cool. And the red berry pie? It was 10. I won't buy red berry pies. They're just a little bit 
a little bit too bad. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to buy a few of it, Tree's Worth, and then that's just like some easy cheap food that we can just go out and, uh, and use. Just got a diamond amulet and didn't even realize it. Yeah, you find a diamond amulet. Yes, it's about time, guys. So we're going to wrap up this inventory um, because, of course, I still want the money from all these chests. I'm not going to cash them in yet, but we have a lot we can cash in at some point whenever we need the money. Um, I'd rather focus on getting the magic level needed to actually turn that baby into a power amulet. Literally got a second diamond amulet. Doesn't matter, but just figured it was funny. In <laughs> the same inventory. Fuck's sake. So we're going to buy a little bit more bone bolts. Just do a little bit more training. We have 408. I might just buy like 200 because I am pretty tight on cash right now. Ah, we'll buy a little bit more. I do want to buy another thing real quick. That's plenty for this episode. I won't even be using it in the fight. Let's go to Falador, our new unlock as of last episode. We want to get a wizard mind bomb. We get plus three magic levels through this if we are above level 50, which we are. Emily. Ooh, lag. Whoa, lag. Okay, let's see. Wizard mind bomb. Now we need one magic level, which I could easily get. I am 3k away, but before I actually teleport, which I will be going to the Banshees, by the way. You see the earmuffs. I'll be getting my magic level there, and after I get the magic level... I'm actually going to bring Cosmics. I'll grab that. I actually want to buy a Adamant Chain Body. I think Melee is going to be the choice that Link is going to be bringing to the fight. Even if he does go Magic, I think the Rune Crossbow with the Chaps will, will hold off enough with Magic Defense. But a Chain Body is going to be pretty big. You don't get that negative range attack bonus like a Plate Body does. And I think it's pretty cheap. And why can't I keep missing this trade? Zero... No, there's definitely stuff in stock here. Hold on. No, 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 no. I bought this before. Yeah, yeah. Some fucker just went in there and bought one. Fuck's sake. Oh my gosh, and that's close. But Addy Chain Body, just to show you guys real quick, there is no negative range attack that, it, that comes with it. So extra defense, but we'll be wearing that for now. And let's actually go right to Banshees and start training. So I'm back here at the Chaos Druids because... I want to get some super defenses um, and also, you know, just passive herbs is never a bad thing either. Uh, yeah, I want to get some defense potions because with Rog um, using the bone crossbow now, he can actually... Uh, did I drink that? Yeah, I did. He can actually put my defense down and last fight I was at like 36 defense at one point, um, which is just horrendous. Um, this is why I bought the pies as well, uh, just so that we can last here a bit longer. But now that we're in like full rune... I don't think they're going to hit me anywhere near as much as they were before. Um, so we are probably looking a lot safer. Um, and now I've got decent food, so so we're good. Yeah, we need some super defenses. They're going to be huge going forward, especially with Kins using range. I really need to get my hands on some. Also, it's just because uh, just I was on this angle. Um, a lot of you are like, dude, why are you not just using Protect from Melee and and using your prayers and then just praying at the altar? When you pray at this altar, it throws you down into a spider pit and those spiders can then poison you so uh, yeah that's why i don't do it because i know a lot of you are like what why wouldn't you do that and i understand i understand but uh it's something i learned back in season two which was great fun so yeah that's why all right guys so this is going to be the setup that i am going to go for i did look into the plate legs and mystic top but we actually have less range defense and less magic going down that route so this was the uh the better way of going um Going for mage tank here. Uh, we still have a 25 plus mage bonus. We have 133 range defense as well. Now he does have protect from magic. So uh, I think I will be bringing out the rune simi. Um, because I think it hits probably slightly higher um, than the magic will when he's protecting from magic. So uh, yeah, we're bringing that along. And then when he runs out of prayer, we will jump back into... Uh, magic and throw it down his throat hopefully and uh and win this challenge i've got the uh super defense two recoils uh more than enough runes and then we got the crab ones as well so uh hopefully this will be enough i'm starting to i'm not feeling as confident as i have been feeling in the last few episodes i won't lie um but we are starting to look a lot better i think we look fairly respectable right now I can't believe the first drop was a rune med, um, but we are looking for a rune full helm and or an adamant kite shield. Both are upgrades for final fights, so that's why we did choose to come back here. And it's something we could definitely get in 48 minutes, and the moment we get the 54 magic, we are switching a range, which would be much quicker. Let me actually pick this up before it disappears, because magic isn't the fastest thing in the world. 
All right, watch this, guys. Wizard Mind Bomb. Enchant. Enchant. And there we go. Now we switch to range. Um, and keep doing the same thing all episode. Just killing Twisted Banshees with our new Inlet of Power. Apparently, this is now the Rune Med Helm Plantation, which is pretty good. Because now we have some cash to buy the Crambons, which is what I have to spend the last few minutes doing. Um, so this will, in fact, be my last kill. And no, actually, you know, we could always use this. We got 60 of them. Right, guys, let's teleport to um, to our fight pits, get those grand blondes, and then I'll see you guys in Edgeville with everything. And I'll show you my setup. I'm very excited about this one. We have lots of upgrades. I'll see you there. All right, guys, here we go. I look so different than any other fight I've ever done before. The upgrades in this episode were astronomical. Of course, the main selling point being the rune crossbow. We have the mithril bolts from the chaos druids. We got the power ami. We have the adamant chain body now. We have a myth kite shield. And of course, we have prayer. We can now protect from melee and we can use eagle eye. Now, I was really, really, really thinking about actually bringing a switch for the body just in case he goes magic. My magic defense is a bit low. But I'm just thinking if he's maging me, he's got to have Mystic on. Something that gives no range defense. And I should, even if he is protecting from range, I should hit right through it. So I'm going to go for it. I would say magic actually might be the most detrimental against this setup with having only nine magic defense. But then again, I could hit it the most as well. I'm not going to overthink this, guys. I'm going to go in. I'll you know, have to change between prayers. If he's hybriding me, we're going to try to flick Eagle Eye throughout it. And we, we are going in this fight completely different. And I'm very confident. I am very confident this fight. Hopefully he did not get another godly RNG chunk. But um, I'm excited for this one and I'll see you guys there. Get eyes, my man. What is up? What is up? How are we doing? <sighs> another four hours? Yes. How did they go for you, mate? I can't lie. It went it, it went okay. It went okay with the regions I was able to unlock. Yeah? I was able to do a lot of things. Oh, for fuck's sake! A lot sake. of things were able to get done. Really? So I was moving. I was going back and forth all episode. Where um, did you? Uh, where did you get? Chunk wise. Um, I got a chunk. I I got the Taverly chunk, which I've already wow. had. Wow. Okay. So, so I you got, got six. To, I got six, yeah, oh, in that giant landmass that I have. That's a really good area to get six in. That's a really good area. I know, I'm, I'm so glad the strat of the giant landmass finally paid off. Yeah, wow, um, okay. All right, that's quite nice. What about nice. you, man? Um, Hit me with it. Dude, I got Wildy again. Really? Yeah, luckily it was, it's, you know, next to the green dragons um, uh -huh. by the crazy arc. So yes. I was yep. I was a few squares away with that already. So and obviously there's like Edgeville and Varrock and stuff there. So mm -hmm. I actually, dude, my my mine were really bad. Um, and I actually wasted or not wasted, but I used the five to get to the Varrock bank so that I could get gold bars. Pretty much was the uh, was the most viable thing that I could go for. Okay. So uh, yeah, unlocked security, stronghold security for ten k and Ankies, and um got the got the, the west bank for uh for gold bars that was literally what i unlocked this episode it was sh if there's one thing i've learned about questing with this when i went for the dorg bow in last episode the anxiety that you like missed a square or something the entire time mm -hmm. is just going Horrible. through your head like fuck like what yeah. if there's that one little chunk that i just missed like you have to go to fucking falador for some I, mean, I, I actually did that with biohazard mate or plague city i was like yeah i've got everything unlocked and then forgot you have to go to that pub in fucking varrock um dude combat level reveal are you ready okay yeah on yeah, go yeah. uh-huh three two one and go Ooh. 71 <laughs> you had to have trained melee because i don't think magic would have beefed it up that much i did train guy. melee mate did train melee don't oh, know yeah. if that's good or bad at this point i'm gonna let you up dude. i'm gonna let Same. you up and we'll uh we'll see so 64 to 71 there Wow, okay. I mean, oh it was my pretty, god! Pretty, 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 45 yeah. prayer? Yeah. <laughs> that's 
That's yes. all the way up to Mystic Might. Did you go for Mystic Might or what? From I defense? actually was going for Eagle Eye, but fuck me, the prayer XP was fast. I didn't even mean to get 45. Really? Did you do Dude. a temple and all that crap? I, no. Oh, I... did you do Wildy? I, yeah, Wildy. And yeah, right there, sucks, I saw right? I saw the crazy arc, but I was like, that's a, like I need to focus on prayer first. I know for a fact I can get my prayer up this episode yeah. past 44. Or yeah. I mean, I didn't want to go past 44, but I was like, I definitely can't get 44 this episode. I, these fights are now kind of close. I don't know what you got this chunk, but I was just thinking if he pulls another fucking rune chain, rune legs out this fight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the RNG um, ran I out for me. Good. Good. Yeah, so wow, I okay. Was, like, I had to go for it, man. Did you kill the crazy so, arc? I did do a little bit of kills, yeah. Not too many, but I did. Oh, did God, see what me. Here comes the ring crossy. Here comes the ring crossy. Fuck off. Oh, wow, man. Are you scared already? Okay. I didn't say anything. All I, right, I, but um... I put all that episode, I focused on, on many things in prayer, which it took a long time, but it was quicker than I expected. Like Fair. two hours. For, ish yeah it's, i it's, i killed the, the the green dragons that you were actually talking about and i was like you did not do that this episode <laughs> too and then i ran up past the arc past the yeah. ankus and yeah. just you know used them so fast xp dude. yeah it's dumb fast okay all right uh look at the rest of your stuff i've seen you got a bit of defense 50 defense that was like 45 yeah. or something i don't know it was remember. 42 oh wow okay that was the XP reward. I put in 55k of it wow. into defense, and it got me to 50. I was like, how could I not? Yeah. And the rest I put into range, and you can see... 64, I'm... yeah. I mean, those levels are going to go slow as fuck now, aren't they? So... Yeah, I know. <sighs> yeah, you're in the 60, man. And I now have 49 prayer because I unlocked the Edgeville um, thingy. Monastery, so, oh, I could, right, so I could get it right. two over, which, I'm, you know, wow. that's, that's the sort of <laughs> upgrades I was talking about today, you know? So. Wow, if he's excited about that, you know he struggled <laughs> this episode, guys. Um, uh, it is a cool perk to have, though. Kins, mate. Yes, Pick sir. your first item. Let's do this. Wow, we're going right into we're this. Okay. Right in. Um, let's go. Let's go shield. Just because I know what you're gonna put on. Ooh, has he got this an upgrade? A little upgrade Ooh. from the green dragons. So just to clarify, that does have magic, negative magic defense, mate. So you know, just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. All right, chat. It gives a negative one, and I, I, I'm thinking he's going melee. I, I've explained all this. I've talked about it. Don't, uh, don't bring up past experience. Okay. I'm gonna get PTSD. Oh, <laughs> all right. You got um, magic. I'm gonna fucking punch let's you. Let's go. Then. Let's go gloves mate still can't get away Ooh, from these leather okay, boys dude nice. uh i did get away okay all right i mean yeah i mean that money now that was from the desert with the pyramid last yeah. episode yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 okay either he's going magic or my guy just had no other glove slot which i don't know yet i don't know yet you know let's go legs let's figure it out see what he's doing he's going magic okay uh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's go body, mate. See if you uh, upgraded red dehyde in it. It's, yeah, he's taking too long. It's red dehyde. It's red dehyde body. It's not. Oh wow! It did not take the wow thought process thing. behind this. I thought you were going melee. Right. Right, right, Which I right, guess right, right. we kind of did in the fucking progression, so it's half right. But guess uh, I guess just magic is still so much stronger for you, so I guess it makes sense. But wow, yeah, okay, okay, all right. Chain. You'll pick me. Uh, helm, 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 helm. Yeah, yeah. I okay. mean, this right here, just this with nothing else on. What what is your magic attack right now? Minus eight. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but I do have because a. Because if that was like plus ten, I would I would actually cringe a little bit. One hundred and thirty-three but... range defense right now. Okay. Well, that didn't mean much in with the fucking True. door glow yeah, last yeah. episode, Fuck man. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, let's go, Kate, mate. See if you've upgraded that ham hammy boy. We'll actually change back oh, to okay. the red. Yeah. <laughs> Just that was not I was not feeling the hammy boys right. this episode, man. I'm now I'm now plus two magic, mate. So there you go. Oh wow. Well I know it was about to be plus twelve, so put on that necklace slot, my guy. Boom. The ham get chest the power? Link finally yeah. sorted right. me out. Yeah. And then I got two diamond necklaces in the same inventory. Really? Fucking screaming. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 
Bit few about uh, it. But we let's got go. the power. Let's go booties. The power Ooh. army. It's a big one. The yeah. froggies. Frog weather. Yeah. Got mystics. Okay. Uh, I just got rig and weapon now, mate. I mean, recoils, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think that'll ever change. No. <laughs> we should just start these with recoils on <laughs> oh, yeah. now. Um, um, right. Weapon, mate. Yeah. So let's or go. go. Your head now, Link. Uh, I... All right, yeah. Mm. I mean, there's obviously a slim possibility you've got the Rose Crossy, which would be very, very, very worrying. Very worrying. And just before you did say that the range defense didn't matter with the door crossbow, so I'm guessing you're like, um, I'm higher than that now in terms of a weapon. So a mm, little bit worried, but we'll do it on go, and I'm and I'm sure we'll get a fucking snigger out of you or some bollocks in three seconds. So three, two, one, go. Yeah, fuck me. What did you get it? What did you get it? Three KC. Oh fuck off. <laughs> three KC, my dude. Let's fucking go! The RNG gods right. came in my favor today. Team Link, do not treat me as badly as Team Rog oh, treated Rog no, for the next few, I don't give the next few roast episodes. Roast Link all you want, Team Rog, okay? Roast him. Fuck. I think I've done three KC at Crazy Arc, and I don't even really remember doing it. <laughs> Dude, Fuck. I got it. So oh, quick. Wow. Uh, I wasted all this time getting money together and I bought a thousand chaos runes and then I wow. did a 3kc and I was like, should I stay here and go for the red? But then I was thinking I can make more money and I know I can get the power and be doing other methods. So Fair. after I got the rune cross, so I took the safe approach. Um, I did bring this as well. Just okay. for the uh, protect from magic and obviously you got protect from melee now. So to make you oh, flip between good. the two at that's least. Uh, but I did that's bring that. Good. Uh, cool. Well, All I, right. I, thankfully, my slash defense is a bit higher then. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, Link, do you want to show our inventories real quick? Yes. We'll go get that sorted. All right, kids. Uh, I mean, this I think is pretty standard. All of this, really, for me. Um, I did bring one of these this time. Okay. Because of the bone crossbow spec, I was like, I don't want that to happen again. But at the same time, I am never relying. I am never relying on that ever again. <laughs> I think I just got kind of lucky and. Wow, a lot of food. Yeah, of food. I I just went the pr just pray he goes melee and just tank everything he throws at me. Yeah. Uh which I'm which which I'm kind of glad you do with that scimitar. Yeah, a little bit for you, my boy, but we'll see. All right, Kins, hit me with that two second warning whenever you're ready, and uh, we'll get into this. All right, man. GL, dude. GL. GL, GL. Two second warning now. Okay. Oof. I don't know how a staff bash would do, actually. Yes, Link, staff bash me so I can claim I can keep my armor on. Just <laughs> please. Oh, this is worrying. So accurate. So accurate. No. Okay. Just wait till that prayer drops. Yeah, that is going to be scary. 
like fucking horrendously scary. I want to hold on to this prayer forever, mate. Unfortunately, that's not the case this <laughs> fight. Come on, hit. I'm surprised you're not more accurate, to be honest. Yeah, same. I really am. Like, I can't believe how inaccurate this has been. I mean, I'm plus nine magic defense, by the way. I don't think I told you. And with my armor off, I'm only plus 14. Oh, this is, this is not good. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now the hits can start to flourish. Come on, keep hitting. Just when like a 20 comes in, do you know what your max is? No idea, man. No idea. Eighteen. Oh, huge hits. Huge. Keep him going. Keep him going. Two HP when you died. I got twenty three now, but twenty two when I when you died. Food out. Blink. I don't even want to hear it. End the episode. End the episode. End the episode. <sighs> Fuck. Wow. Wow. That that was totally silent. That was a silent fight. Oh man. That is crazy. Red dehyde body and you kill me though. That's the that's the worry. That's the worry. I'm fucked. Link, you can't keep saying that when you won eight of the last nine. <laughs> oh my god. Piece of cheese. He's deflated. He is deflated. We just had a little chat off camera and he is. Yeah. He he can't believe it. I can't either. To be honest, that is insane. I really thought when I saw that rune cross, see that was it. That was it. But it's the way it goes. The magic's still coming in clutch. I don't think it's gonna last much longer. 22 HP? Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's generate. Let's see where we're going. 359. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. 
that hurts. That's all I'm going to say. I, I know the mistakes in this episode. Um, I can see them. And that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Anyways, let's spin that randomizer. 56, that's Zaya. I know for a fact that's definitely fucking Zaya. I don't even know what chunks I want at this point, if I'm being completely honest. Three, five, nine. Is this the one I've already got? I swear I unlocked that last episode. Like, we didn't get it last episode. Let me check. We didn't get it last episode, but I definitely, like, unlocked it as one of my chunks. I did! Oh, that's amazing. So I now have six, because my, my random one is an already open chunk, so I now have six to go off here. Oh, this is good. This is good, B's and G's. This could be exactly what we need to negate a rune crossy. Oh, I'm very happy. Very happy. 56, 56, yeah. Not sure what I could do over here. Probably won't do anything, if I'm being honest. I do get sand crabs, but honestly, I still think it's better to train at the um, at the baby reds. Still think it's better to train at the baby reds, so... I don't know. I'll, we'll, we'll see if we can come up with some sort of plan. There we go, kiddos. How you feeling? Uh, nothing to do with the chunks. I just... I'm a broken man right uh, now, man. I, I did say um, that. yeah. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 13 of the Progression PvP Challenges. Now, there's a few things I have my eyes on that I know I could get in the near future. One being a red dehyde body from the Crazy Archaeologist. Two being 52 Prayer. And three, getting 57 Thieving, or at least to a level where it's boostable, where I can get it to 57 so I can use my grubby keys and farm those for range pots and super defense potions. Now, all those will take a little bit of a grind, but there's there's one thing that I know for a fact that I can get in this episode, and that's 52 Prayer. I initially wanted to actually go for the Red Dehyde body, but after seeing how strong magic is, um, really thinking about it, if I can get rid of his prayer much quicker then he can get rid of mine and if when he's flicking his attack ones like i don't know whether it's uh mystic might or you know any of these steel skin ultimate strength incredible reflexes after he uses overhead prayer i can effectively bring that right down to zero because i don't think he's gonna have prayer potions in the fight if he does i'll be very impressed i i know we don't have the prayer level yet or excuse me the herbler level yet to get prayer potions so i think going for 52 and i think i can get it much faster than he can oddly enough because he's very magic based and melee based he doesn't have an anti-dragon fire shield yet um if he wants to mage uh the green dragons he can it's expensive he can still go back to um lava dragons but it's definitely slower than ranging green dragons and using the chaos altar so i'm thinking that might be the move this episode also put all my xp all of it all the slayer xp into defense knowing that he's going to make the switch to melee eventually magic still absolutely destroys but i think it's kind of hitting its cap until he gets ibans and i know he's a little bit a ways off that as well but whether he goes for Ibans or whether he goes for Dragon Scimitar, Dragon Longsword, defense levels will always help. Plus, I figured I'd be training range this episode as well with killing some green dragons. Hello, Bs and Gs. Welcome back to another episode of the PvP Chunk Progression series. I'm not going to lie. I am sick as a dog. So uh, I do apologize. I might be a bit more mellow. I don't even know if I might have to voice over some clips. But the show must go on. Because I know you guys will be fuming if you don't get your uploads. And I definitely want to play as well. So, so because we got this chunk last time, it meant I had six unlocks. Obviously, we've just unlocked this one here. So that's one, two, three. Uh, this unlocks Al Karid for us. It also unlocks the bottom of um, Lumbridge or the swamps. And specifically this uh, building here, which I guess you guys can probably guess what's coming next. Um, and then for the last three chunks, it will be this one, this one, and this one, which then unlocks Entrana for us. 
allowing us to do Lost City, get a Dragon Dagger, get a Dragon Longsword. And that is today's plan. Um, seeing as we are back here and we've got a chance to make a bit more money, I'm going to take the chance to do that because we do need to make 130k so that I can afford uh, the Dragon Long and the Dragon Dagger. I do have some money in the bank, but I sort of want to make all the money that I need for these weapons right now so I don't have to dip into the bank fund. To do Lost City, we also do need uh, 31 crafting and we also need 36 wood cutting. So I will have to get those two up as well. Um, other than that, I'm just going to sort of uh, come up with a plan while I'm doing the agility and stuff like that. Um, I won't bore you with the agility. I know you guys saw that last week. So uh, yeah, you probably just see me when I've got 130k. Right, this is going to be 130k. I don't think I'm going to need any more money. Um, and I do have some money in the bank as well. This is just literally the money that we need for the Dragon Long and... The Dragon Dagger, there we go, 130k, right, we need to get ourselves uh, wood cutting and crafting levels now so that I can do Lost City, so uh, that's what we're off to do now. There is 30 wood cutting, so we can now move on to the Willow Trees, which is just going to give us a little bit more XP. And here we go, 36 wood cutting about to come in, took a bit longer than I thought it was going to, and we're still going to get the crafting level, I think it's 31 crafting we need, I will check that just quickly. Uh, I don't want to go too far over if I don't need to. It's taking ages for this last one as well. Of course it is. Uh, come on. There we go. 36 wood cutting. Beautiful. And we need 31 crafting. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to start the timer. And I'm going to teleport right to the green dragons. Also, my unlocks. I didn't even talk about it. But I unlocked right here. Decided to get all around this one, two, three, four, five, six. Because this connects my other chunks, I can have access to the fourth dose dungeon from another direction. And another thing I forgot to mention, we actually have access to fruit stalls, which is something that I really want to do on the account to get my thieving up, which was my third plan that I want to do in the short term. So I'm actually going to grab my money in a light source and just fill up on bone bolts and teleport to LMS and get started on killing some green dragons. About to finish the first inventory, we got attacked, I somehow got away. I'm breathing heavy. My heart is palpitating right now. I have 18 HP. Oh, man. But that is the first inventory done. 46 prayer, about halfway to 47. So I really don't think this will take too long. I really think we'll have like at least an hour left over in the episode to do some other stuff as well, which is quite exciting. Again, I only want 52. And then we're going to move on to the next thing. Not even an hour in the episode. We are 65 range. Um, so I think we will definitely get 66 today or at least close to it. Inventory number two, and we get 48 prayer, and like one-third of the way to 49. I know this isn't the best content, guys, but it has to be done. 52 prayer must be achieved. Another inventory completed, and we are just shy of getting level 50, and 37k away from 66 range. Am I gonna get 51 this inventory? Holy crap, guys, I think all we need... I think all we need is one more inventory. Look at this. These bones just aren't going anywhere. Wow. I don't know how many I used that time around. Of course, it's about a 50% chance it gets taken up. So you can use a bone like four times and it doesn't go away. Um, wow. 9.4 more K. And we've got it. And we've got Smite on the account. Hopefully one more trip. Okay. So going for a bit of an odd one here. Um, I'm going to be mining clay and then turning it into soft clay. Um, and then turning those into plant pots. I think that's going to be the fastest crafting XP I have access to right now. I looked into buying gems and cutting gems. Um, but I don't actually have access or easy access to a shop that's going to have gems um, that I can just buy. And on top of that, I don't even know if those shops are going to have enough stock for me to be able to do it. So rather than like piss around, teleporting places and trying to do stuff, I'm just going to go down this route. Make clay into plant pots and we need uh i did my calculation what was it there's two mining coming in 197 clay i need so this will take some time this isn't going to be super quick i'm actually gonna drop that and we're gonna go for making molten glass i've just realized how close the bank is to the crafting um or the charter ship right here and it just makes sense to do that it's going to be way quicker um, so yeah, we're going to buy buckets of sand and we are going to buy seaweed and soda ash. Look at this. No one's buying them as well. You love to see that. Um, and then we cook these on the fire and we get even more soda ash and then we can just go ahead and uh, use the furnace up in Ardi 
to turn this all into molten glass. There we go, 31 crafting. Boom, let's do this. To be honest, Lost City is a dumb quick quest. It really is. For the for the rewards it brings, it is just so, so quick. We're pretty much already done. Um, we've just got to go kill the, uh, the tree spirit and then turn it into a Draymond Staff. I'm going to get a few Draymond Staffs. Um, along with a few branches because you do need them for certain other quests as well. Always good to have uh, spare Draymonds as well. Um, and maybe, maybe, not this episode obviously, but we start to think about getting some fairy rings because fairy rings would be huge for uh, for this challenge for sure. This PvP challenge, fairy rings would be really, really nice. So uh, yeah, we'll look into it. I don't know if I'm going to do it in the near future, but I think it's definitely something I should be looking at. This is very useful. And then we are done. We just travel back to Lumbridge. We should have our home teleport by now. Um, and then yeah, quest complete. And here's another one that is really, really lucky. It was so close to needing another chunk, but we're good. Um, what, what's that, like two tiles? Absolutely insane. But uh, here we go. This is going to be Lost City completed. There we go. We can now buy the Dragon Dagger and the Dragon Longsword. And thanks to doing Waterfall Quest earlier, it means that we do have a cut diamond already, so I'm just gonna grab that out of the bank. I probably should have done that before, but oh well. An unlucky trip will probably mean we don't get it, but fingers crossed, we need the RNG. We got it by a ton of bones. Let's put on that smite as I finish these off, guys. Check it out. Now, in the fight, when he's almost out, when he stops protecting um, whichever, I guess it's gonna be from range, when he stops using protect from range, He's probably going to flick his combats, and now he can't because I'm going to smite him right down to zero. So hopefully for most of the fight, he's not using prayers. I should probably... Oh, crap. Is that somebody? Don't scare me like that, dude. Honestly, every time I use this altar, I just have a panic attack. Anyways, I am out of here. The next thing I want to do is actually... Now, I, I, I wasn't going to do this, but I'm feeling a bit lucky today. I don't know what it is. I want to try to kill the crazy arc and get that... Um, Red Dehyde Body. It's 1 out of 32. It's actually rarer than the crossbow, but um, it's like the best single wearable upgrade I can get for a very long time. Um, and it, you know, a lot of magic defense. The odds will be against me in going for it, but I still want to try to go for it. Just because it's rare doesn't mean I shouldn't try, right? Plus, uh, hopefully I'll get a magic level from this. And, you know, I guess that is extra magic defense. And that would actually get me to high alchemy too, which is a pretty useful spell to have. So... I'm going to head to LMS. I can't use the teleport in the wilderness. I'm going to head to LMS, get my mage gear out. I still have a ton of chaos runes I get to use. Um, so we can actually walk right back over here. Actually, no, I need to buy some food. Yeah, I need to buy some food. Change the plan. Teleport home. I need to go 20 wilderness. Teleport home. Teleport to Varrock. Buy a few inventories of pies. And then we're off. Going for the red DI body. One. Two. Oh yes. Oh yes, P's and G's. Dragon Longsword on the chunk account. Dragon Dagger on the chunk account. And you know we're adding some poison to this bad boy. That is happening straight away. I don't need anything else in here, do I? Has anyone ever cut this yew tree? Who's paying a diamond to get in here and cut yew trees? There's not even a bank in here, is there? So fucking odd here. I didn't even know this existed. Is this a way for me to get to Al Karid? The fairy ring will take you out of Xanderous. It leads to a place known as Al Karid. Once you pass, you cannot return. Yes, I'm ready to leave. Wow! Wow, I wasn't able to get to Al Karid because I don't have the door unlocked. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's add a weapon poison to the dragon dagger. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, all right, we need to get on and do something now. Okay, we're gonna give Obor a go. I've got two keys, and it has the possibility of dropping a rune plate body, rune full helms. Obviously, if we got a rune plate body, we wouldn't be able to use it yet. Um, but if we do get it, it would be very nice because it means I don't have to fork out like 80k to get one. Um, and also, just a rune full helm would be so so nice to uh, to grab as well. So we've got two attempts um, at killing Obor. I've got the Dragon Dagger. I've got an attack pot, strength pot, some food. Um, and we got the prayer as well. So we, we are looking good. Protect from range. Down we go. 
Nice, good start. Really strong start. Oh, this should be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Hopefully. Okay, we didn't hit at all after that. Hit. I feel like I'm in a PvP versus Kins. Keep hitting. This might be a two-trip thing, guys. I don't know if I want to risk it. Yeah, we're just going to do a two-trip. Because my prayer's draining fairly quickly. We definitely could do them. In one trip, both, but I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess around with that. I don't wanna mess around with that. I just wanna get this kill down. Can we actually kill it? We started really well. That DDS spec at the start was amazing. Down he goes. Come on. Am I gonna have to start flicking here? No. Thank God. Okay. Another giant key. Uncut diamonds. Uncut rubies. And sold head. Hmm. Not great. Not great, but we do have another chance at Obor because he did drop that giant key. So we've got two more. Two more to do. Yeah, definitely going to Teddy Lumbridge, go around, use the canoe to get back. All right, first kill. Can we get it? Imagine we get the red dehyde body on the first kill of today and of this episode. One prayer point left. No, we do not. Things have been crazy eventful over here at the Crazy Archaeologist. In 10 kills total, we got the Rune Crossbow in the last episode. We actually did get the Power Image drop, but of course we already have one, which I'm wearing over the magic for that one prayer bonus, even though I don't even know if it even helps. Um, and kill number 10, as you can see, a prayer pot. Can't even begin to explain to you how crucial this is. Not the drop I need. I am so happy to see this still. I, I don't know why it gets me really happy seeing room crossbows, but I already have them. I need the red dehyde body. I need the red dehyde body. Plus, I'm mad at the room crossbow from last episode. Angry with it. Angry. Oh, don't kill me. Oh, I don't have a lot of HP. Oh, gosh. Check this out. A second prayer potion has arrived. Almost just died there, but literally... Back to back. I have three prayer potions now, guys. Unfortunately, guys, that was my last kill. We got potato with cheese. Uh, not the best loot there is. Um, on the bright side, we did get prayer potions. Three of them. No red dehyde body, though. We'll save it for next time. The reason I'm leaving a few minutes early is because I still have to go to Karamja to get my uh, Karam wands. Do that like I do every single episode. Um, and after I go and do that, I will see you guys over in Edgeville for my full gear reveal and everything, which will be actually pretty different this time. Uh, where have to go? I have to go to Tazar Fight Pits. Boom. It's right on it. Look at that. I'm becoming a pro. Fuck me. This is not easy. <laughs> not easy at all. 50 big bones. I don't want to see that, Obor. Oh, oh my god. This is actually, re like, 1 HP left. Like, man, this is tough <laughs> really ridiculously way too hard uh we did have enough food but yeah man i probably am gonna go get myself quran ones to be honest because uh, a little bit worried it won't be enough uh what i've got in the bank so we're gonna head over there um and then we got one more attempt one more attempt at obor there we go come on law runes that was such a waste of time i didn't get anything i wanted fuck okay all right can't win them all. Right, just going to top up on some more super defenses and try and get a strength level or two. Um, so yeah, this is how we're going to spend the last 58 minutes. I don't really have anything else to do um, except drink these pots because that would probably help. Let's chuck a spec in. Bang. Very nice. This should be a lot quicker. And we're also... I know the herbal level is only 21 at the moment, but I do have a lot backed up and I have a lot in the bank. I think I could probably touch maybe 28, 30 herb lore just by making all the potions if I wanted to. Um, so we are getting close to that 38 herb lore. That would be really awesome if we could do that. Um, because, of course, it would mean that we could then use prayer potions, which are going to be huge. I think once we can start using prayer potions, it will make hybriding and tribriding a lot easier as well. Because I was sort of thinking about bringing the lava battle staff and doing um, Water Wave at the same time as using the uh, the Scimitar. Ooh, nice Rainer. Um, today. But the thing is, we're trying to like conserve prayer, 
eating, making sure I don't run out of prayer so I can't flick the uh, like offensive and defensive uh, stuff. I don't really want to risk that. So I think it's as soon as we get prayer pots, then we can start really coming in with different attack styles and, and really trying to hybrid and switch attacks constantly. But until then, um, I think it's going to hamper me more than it would do good if I was trying to PK like that because I'm just not good enough at that. So yeah. Oh, and look, guys, high level alchemy. Yes, we did get 55 magic. I still have one spare rune med in the bank, so all is good. But this is a great addition for the account. So guys, this is going to be the new setup for the fight. In this fight, we now have the frog leather body. We have plus 27 magic defense with it. The slash defense on the Addy Chain is so much higher. And just in case he tries to hybrid me or something, or if he just goes straight melee, I still feel weird not bringing the chain. Of course, the frog leather was probably my biggest demise last episode so i do not want to leave that out in this fight as well but we have some pretty cool new features this episode as well with 52 prayer again i have that plan where i want to train his prayer fully and a nice little surprise of oh not that with a recoil is always a nice surprise the prayer potion the prayer potion is super clutch guys because it means i can keep protection prayers up for longer as simple as that and could have huge huge outcomes now i know some people have been asking this for an incredibly long amount of time i cannot use the rune dragonstone enchanted bolts from lms for the final fights i can't even use them in general i can only get them to alk them i know i bought them earlier in the series for the purpose of alking um, so that's why I'm still rocking Mithril. I cannot use the enchanted runite bolts in the fight. So anyways, with all that said, guys, let's go talk to Link and see what he's got for us. Okay, let's home teleport. I need to make some recoils. Other than that, I'm good to go. Um, we did get a few super defenses, so I think I might actually bring a two-dose super defense. I don't know if I'll actually use it um, in the fight. But I will bring a two dose just in case because we've got so many now. I'm cutting this a bit close. Three minutes, 27. Yeah, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. But uh, yeah, I was probably could have done with leaving a little bit more time. But we're good. We're good. Three minutes. Go make the recoils. I'm going to chop the uh, canoe. Go up to Edgeville and then use the Edgeville um, furnace just because of how close it is to... I, th I, I don't think you can use this furnace. I don't even want to really fucking test it, but fuck. We got time, yeah. Three minutes, we've got plenty of time. We'll test it. I don't think you can use this furnace, though. I think they changed it. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> I thought they changed it so you can only use bronze bars in this. I swear I read that on a poll somewhere. Well, there you go. Didn't cut it short in the end. There's two recoils. I'm going to break one of them because uh, it's got 16 damage. I've got another one in the bank. Um, obviously, because of the 16 damage. Um, so yeah, we've got two recalls for the fight. How long we got? Two minutes? Can't really do much, to be honest. Uh, yeah, there's not much to do. I might clean some herbs, put some herbs together, because uh, 22 herb lore. We're looking quite good on the herbs. Right, guys, this is what I'm going to be going for. Um, yeah, I mean, the dragon long and the dragon dagger... Are, uh, are huge. I don't think he's going to bring a anti-poison, so I am going to look to try and poison him. Hopefully we just poison him through specking. I don't really want to be uh, stabbing him with the uh, with the Dragon Dagger for too long, but I think the poison will be huge, especially as these fights are going on a little bit longer. Uh, we've got the two dose super defense, su strength and attack, obviously. Extra recoil and uh, 185 range defense. Ugh. I'd like to say I'm confident for this one. I don't think we should be losing this one. Um, I think he thinks I'm going to go magic as well. Whereas I'm now going to come out full melee, poison, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I think it would be like it would be like 300 IQ for him to know that I would have got Lost City this episode, had a dragon long, had a dragon dagger and poisoned it. You know, I, I just cannot see any scenario where he would know that. So I think we might get him on the shock here. Maybe he's got something like that, which I just haven't worked out that he would be doing. So that's the only reason I can see myself losing. But here we go. That's, uh, that's what we're going for. Hello, Link. Another four hours has been concluded. And here we are yep. for yet again, another fight. So yes, overall yes, thoughts, yes. man, what's going through your head? You feeling confident still? Uh, 
it, it was it was like dumb close last fight. What was it? Twenty two HP, no food, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and you Doesn't still didn't that. have a red dehyde body. You came in, you came in like melee armor as well. It was worrying. Not gonna lie, it was worrying. I don't know, mate. I'm worried because I think range is so good mid game. It's so good mid to late, and you having that rune crossbow that early is uh, is is a big worry. Well, I, I hope you're right, man. I mean, I won't lie. I think everyone knows I was incredibly let down by the rune crossbow last episode. I'm not even going to try to make excuses because I get yelled at by the comments every time I try it. <laughs> um, it's not like that isn't my job or anything. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I feel pretty good about this episode. But then again, I felt good about last episode. So I, I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it at that for me. Um, I do have so some you're feeling quite confident. There. Yes, yes, but again, I was feeling quite confident last. Actually, I was feeling incredibly confident last episode, man. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Just, um, Ugh, I'm a little bit worried now. A little bit worried, but. All right. So let's see what stat slash combat level reveal. I'll pop up okay. mine really quick. There you go, guys. That is mine. Uh, link three, two, one, go. 74 okay Ooh, i think the okay. gap's probably about the same on that as it was I think. yeah hot to 68 you got a little bit of i think you were a little bit lower than that weren't you um yeah i don't okay. remember exactly i actually put all my xp into defense oh so. wow really i mean i did a lot as well into defense so did you i'm gonna i mean i'm gonna look you up a little cheeky look up um 60 defense did that get you right to 60 or did you train to that afterwards uh it got me to 60 nice. um yeah i think i went from 55 to 60 something like that um wow, and then i put yeah. a bit into attack as well yeah i uh, see the 60 attack for the uh you know for the dragon ability it makes me um, think you got a dragon longsword this episode I wonder if you got the chunks for Junkie boys. Or, uh, what and the stuff. fuck is your prayer? Oh. <laughs> hey. 52? Hey, is my that, guy smiting? That was the uh, big ticket upgrade. Yeah, wow. Okay, well, there it is. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> wow. I mean, 65 range looks pretty dangerous as well, but 52. Wow. Dude, everybody in the chat is saying I was hitting harder with you having protect from range on anyway. So. <laughs> I see 51 agility. Really That's an upgrade, isn't it? Yeah, I got a couple agility levels. I think it was 49. Got before. a couple agility levels. Is he got yeah. wait, maybe you do have a dragon longsword. Why else are you getting cash? Maybe runes? Runes, boys. runes, runes are a dragon longsword slash dragon dagger combination. Uh oh. Should be, I brought an anti poison? Should I brought an anti poison link? Could be correct, could be wrong, you know? Maybe it was uh Saving up a bit of money so I can, you know, get my range up so I can get a U short bow for uh, Temple of Ikov, mate. You know, you never know. <laughs> um, yeah. You hit me with an item, we'll throw it on, or an item slot. We'll right, throw cool. it on and we will get into this. I'll just say, I know we have recoils, so we'll just skip over that yeah, one. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. Um, I'll um, put that on. Let's get helmet. <sighs> All right, man. Still rocking the rune med. Here comes my dragon med. Yeah. Wow, really red, man. <laughs> really red. Did you, like, take the horns off, too? Did you yeah, paint it and like, take the horns I off? I painted it. You see, I've left a little red dragon stripe, just to let you know. <laughs> but other than that... <laughs> oh, funny, I have that same stripe. Yeah, copy it. Fashion. Oh, man. The new fashion round, Gelenor, mate. Fucking weird. Um, yeah, you go for Let's it, Let's go mate. necklace. Strength. The strength. I knew that'd give away his combat style. Okay. Boy. Okay. Still got his power army. I mean, that's not going to be changing for a fucking long time. Probably ever. <laughs> Am I ever getting a glory link? You never know, mate. You never know. <laughs> High hunter level, maybe. Um, let's go boots, mate. Let's go booties. E frog leather still. Cool. Okay. You got cape. Oh, you killed, you killed the highwayman. I uh, killed a highwayman because it gives two range defense. So I was like, yeah, we'll have that. <laughs> we'll wow. Have that. So he's definitely not maging this episode, which either leads me to believe he's got a lot of faith in Rune Scimitar or he's got an upgrade. And I don't That's think... Good legs, I don't think he'd come into this fight. I don't think he'd come into this fight wanting to lose with a Rune Scimitar. I think I, I'm... I'm 
Ah, uh, fuck. 60 attack? Are you just 60? Yeah, he's just 60 attack. Well, you're just... Well, you just got the level for all of them. Wow. Yeah. And then I put a bit into range as well, because I had some left over. <laughs> I was like, oh, we'll go to 32 range. Oh, is, is this uh, for all the XP? So you did no training the, the during the episode? No, no, no. I did strength in the episode. Right. Okay. I think I might have had... Did I do some defense? I can't even remember now, mate. <laughs> it was really too party. Uh, boom. Okay. Oh, he's got his frog leather. No red D hide. No red D hide. Did you try? I did try. How many kills are you in? You better go like 400 dry on this red D hide body. <laughs> I don't really know off the top of my head, but only like 16. Yeah. It's not like, uh, right, okay. I think it's one okay. out of 32. So only like halfway okay. there in terms of drop rate. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's go shield, mate. Still rocking the mithril kite. Nice. Okay. Okay. You sound very confident. Dude, I'm numb. Okay, Link? I'm numb at this point. You gotta you gotta remember how down I am. At this point, I I have to just suck it up and you know, I was so confident last episode and I was let down, so I, I have to be numb to everything I hear and see. Confused. Oh, okay, alright. Um let's go gloves, mate. I don't know if I just did shield, I'm sorry, I can't remember, but yeah, boom. Yeah, you did. Okay. So All right. right. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, you just know, got weapon, mate. <laughs> you you know my weapon. Yours okay. yours is the tricky one here. What would you say if you're gonna go dragon along or rune simi? Which do you think's more likely? I yeah. Okay. I I would say dragon long because I know a dragon simi is very very hard to unlock. So I I know mm -hmm. it's not that. Um. I'm just thinking now. If I was in your head, if 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 I was you, I would think a rune scimitar wouldn't get the win, considering mm -hmm. magic was so close and much more powerful. Yeah. So I'm I'm I'd be pretty shocked if you brought the simi, unless you, there's some other secret that I'm not seeing here. But it, let's say all things equal from last episode. No. Yeah. You were correct, mate. You were correct. I just couldn't. I couldn't picture a world where you try a rune scimitar against me. And, and the dragon yeah, you dagger. were right with the dragon dagger poisoned as well. Thank God I brought the Addy chain as well. Oh God! I thought you were about to say thank God I brought an anti poison. I was like, fuck off. I did not bring <laughs> yeah. an anti. I'm assuming that's okay. normal poison. It is normal poison. I've got about eleven of them. The amount of fucking ankus I've killed. So you know, there was a bunch of people last episode saying, "Hey, so Rar, just go for emeralds." I excuse <laughs> me, guys. You know, I won't even say it. Just look at the fletching requirement to make those fuckers. Okay. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, yeah. So, and I saw a few people talking about the last man standing Dragonstone bolts that was addressed, guys, in like episode two or something. That we cannot use the bolts from last man standing, correct? Can to sell to you make can money, buy them. But, yeah, but yeah. you can't use them. Linky cool. boy, let's see that inventory of yours, man. Throw it on up. Uh, I do have the chain on right now, so just so you know, cool. I of course cool, brought cool, the body cool. in case he brought the fucking magic again, yeah. I got the giant dagger. And I got that. Attack potion, you know. strength potion, super defense. It's got two dices this God, time, he's always got case. those super defenses. How lucky are you getting those? Or are you just going there oh, every mate. episode for a long yeah, ass time? I, so I go for about an hour every time to get herbs and these, and I kill about like 400 in that hour. And they're one in one, two, eight. So you. I, I usually so come away with three. basically, you're going to have four, one every five. single episode going forward. I think I've got six in the bank at the moment, something like that. Six it's... doses? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant pots for a sec. Oh, six pots. I fucking wish, man. Yeah, Jesus geez. Christ. Uh, yeah, cool. Same for me. Ooh, what have you got at the end? Oh, <laughs> well, what do I have at the end there, Link? Oh, wow. <laughs> for those, me and Kids have literally been sat in a call just behind the scenes, <laughs> just talking, and he's been hiding this. For you, it's only been a few seconds. This has been like 40 minutes ago. We did <laughs> What? Bone dagger poisoned? Ooh. Crazy arc? Yep. Hmm. Yep, okay, yep, I mean, yep, yep, it, yep. it might get you the win here, and that's great, but it's not, it's not like you've unlocked them, so fair. Okay. Yep. yep. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, he's got the fucking My dagger. Right here talking about how he has to get his prayer flicks right. You're not fucking prayer <laughs> flicks, you cheeky fucker. I, I say this all the time, guys. I'm oddly more used to UK ping than I am US ping. 
Like I, I, I'm, so, used, I'm bred on that little delay, man. So used to UKP, he has to bring a prayer pot to the fight. The fuck. <laughs> well, we it. can't pray uh, our links. So, well, we can not protection prayers or overhead yeah. prayers specifically. Yeah. Right, Link. You give uh -huh. me that two second warning, bud. And um, oh yeah. god, we'll do this. Fuck. Yes. All right. Okay. We're start drinking. Here we go. Is that is that a two second warning? The two second warning coming, mate. All right. Come on, poison. Ooh, that's this. the wrong prayer. Of course, you hit a 12 on it. Okay. Can I hit? No hits. Can I hit? No hits, Kins. Okay, nice. Come on, hit, 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 hit. He's poisoned, yes! Yeah, what the fuck? Never happens okay, that quick for me. This is good. This is good. Let's just eat up. Yeah. Okay. All nice. right. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. I took it off. Yes. That's what I, I need to, to see. see. Hate to say it. I was conserving prayer for a bit there, thinking, why? I know. <laughs> why? <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. Hits. Not hitting much, though. Not hitting much, not hitting much. Yes. We're tanky. We're tanky. That you are. That We're you tanky are. Boys. Come on, Rarg. Hit, please. No hits. Oh, no God. hits. No hits here. Dragging along doing work. Doing work. Yeah. Oh, right, let's along. Just that off a sec. Good. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Let's drain that Fuck. prayer. Fuck. Ooh, 16 through prayer. I doubt that, actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hits. Big hits, please. Big hits. I f keep flicking the smite, little cheeky fucker. Yeah, I'm You're not such hitting a shit though, bro. Grandpa plus smite. I hate you so much. <laughs> so much. Mom. All right. How's that prayer looking? Ah, it's looking all right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm on the other end of not having protection prayers now. Yes. Every time that smite comes on, you don't hit. It's fucking brilliant. I know, dude. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna ease up on it for a bit. I'm about to repoison. Bit fuming. DPS output is looking lovely, though. Very happy with how this dragon long's holding up. I actually took Obor on with it. And it did shit. It hardly hit Obor. I was really? Just fuming. Oh! Yes, please be a repoison. Please be a repoison. Oh, it was a repoison. How do you get it on one hit? Like that bothers it. me so much, dude. I lost fights early on because I couldn't repoison. Haven't hit in so long. Hit. Yeah, you're telling me, dude. Zero fest out here, mate. 
He had a 19 on me not too long ago, and there's an 18. Fuck's sake. Come on, train. No trains here, mate. No trains leaving the station today, unfortunately. Oh, there is, and it's carrying Link's Arc Arena. Yeah? Come on. I swear my bone crossbow was more accurate. <laughs> Hit a one. Because I had 36 defense at the time. I'm now super defense on top of. Yeah, I guess so. 60 defense. Oh, that's a hit and a half, that is. Come on. Don't know what your max is. You're out? I'm out. Oh my. Poison's gonna get me. <sighs> I don't um, think Spike was worth it at all. I mean, I wasn't at hitting all. at all. Yeah, but I think that unpredictability is just so painful in a fight like this. How much food? Uh, five. Yeah, that's fucked. All right, let's put in one and 472, 398. Let's take a look where that is. B's and G's. He is deflated. Be kind, be kind. Honestly, I feel for him. I do. That is so harsh. I don't think this might worked. I don't think it was worth it at all. Um, I also didn't let him know, but he was smiting me for ages when I still had no prayer. I think lesson learnt from there. We are going to be going for these, so I don't think it's a waste of, of prayer XP for him. But um, yeah, I feel for him. I do feel for him because it's been a lot of episodes now where he's been getting battered. But, you know, I, I can't let up. I can't let up. we got to win. We've got to do it, Team Link. Uh, let's see where we're going. 157. That's a low number. 398. Ooh, okay. I think we have this unlocked or um, right by it unlocked, which which this connects with our giant landmass that's over by the Ardun area and all the way over in Missilin. So uh, we, ha we have a lot of diversability here. Um, I have no idea what I'll do off the top of my head. I'm starting to think that I absolutely need those defense pots and range pots or I'll never get ahead regardless of smite or not. I mean, I don't even think the smite was worth it at this point. Um, but, you know, we still have two prayer pots in the bank. We get a lot of crafting experience still, even though we lost this episode. And, um, yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll just take it from there. So let's go speak with Link. Right. One, five, seven. Ooh. I've got the grand tree underneath it. It's a pretty fucking dead chunk. But I do have the grand tree under it and it does connect to all of my chunks so that is quite nice not sure how useful that'll be for me though i don't think it unlocks ivan staff the ivan staff i don't think it does but then at this point do i even want to go magic anymore like melee just messed him up oh it's gonna be a tough one to decide but the actual chunk very dead it's the uh it's the monkey madness 2 chunk that is uh okay all right so how are you feeling about those unlocks man uh, I got a nice water choke, mate. I'll tell you that. Good. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. There is not one icon in my chunk. It's just fucking, it's <laughs> bare. It's bare. So we'll see. We'll see. How are you feeling? Um, dude. Well, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't even know what to think right now. So, um, we'll see. That's all I'm given. We'll see. All right. Yeah, you give me nothing at these points. You probably done one of those. Oh, I'm gonna pretend that I'm really upset, dude. Even you if I was that. really happy about my unlock, I'm way too defeated of a man to even act excited. I know, dude. So... I think you should take. I think you should take that rune uh, crossbow into the repair shop, mate. There's something wrong with it. I'm telling you, it's a defect. God, fuck's sake.
Hello B's and G's, welcome back to another episode of the PvP Chunk Progression series. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist up in the top right corner and in the description. Give those a click and you'll be able to catch up on every single episode. I promise you, you will not regret it. Um, but, in the last episode, I got this chunk up here, the one we're stood in. And most of it is Monkey Madness stuff, so this is literally the only place I can walk in it um, at this moment in time. But, luckily it did mean I have a direct link to things I've already opened up. So the first of my five unlocks that I'm going to do is this chunk here. The reason for that is we can start Plague City and Biohazard. Two of the things we need to do Underground Pass. Then if we follow this all the way down, my chunks all link up all the way to over here by Berthop, and then I'm going to open up the Goblin Diplomacy chunk, um, not to do the quest to be honest, um, to link up with my Varrock and Edgeville chunk. So we now have a direct path all the way from this chunk, all the way down over here, and then round over to Edgeville, and then down and to Varrock, where we can then open up this chunk, this chunk, and this chunk for our three, four, and five. Now, unfortunately, to do Plague City, we've got to go in this pub. And that's the reason why I have to open this chunk up. Really, really annoying. But uh, yeah, you have to go down here and then through the door and then talk to the three guys in there. So it meant I had to spend another chunk here to do it. But, you know, as you can tell, guys, we're going to do Plague City. We're going to do Biohazard. We're going to do Underground Pass. And we are going to get ourselves an Ivan Staff. Uh, one problem with starting here is I am going to have to teleport straight out. So we're going to have to use a uh, minigame teleport to get out of here. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to go, probably go fishing trawler or something. And then, yeah, it is time to get our Ivan staff, which is going to be a massive upgrade. You can hit 25s. The only problem is we've got to make 200k to be able to use it in the PvP fight. So, uh, yeah, that's the main thing that we got to do right now. Hey, guys, and welcome to episode 14 of the PvP Challenge series. And uh, as you can see, we are starting in the square that we started at. It was already unlocked, so we actually get six leading off from wherever we are. The great news is that we have this giant land mass that goes all the way to the desert. And that's exactly what I did. As you can see, I unlocked four chunks here. Now I get six, so this is four of my six. The reason I'm actually not connecting it to the shanty pass is because that means I would have to use all six um, in the desert, which is possible, but I can craft myself a necklace of passage, which takes me right in this desert, and I can go right south to the shop in Narda to help get me that armor, that those lovely either chainmail or plate skirt. I'm probably gonna go with the chainmail because they have the uh, dehyde body, or sorry, the dehyde legs. I can also get the um, green dehyde van braces there, which is very good. I can actually make them now based on our reward, but I'm already there. It's going to be much easier just to do that. We actually have a bunch of jewelry in the bank as well, so I should have enough money. I'll just have to stop at Port Saren before we actually go and do that. So it will take a little bit of time, but I definitely think it's worth it without unlocking these extra two. Because there, there's one thing that I think has been helping Link a lot in these fights, and that is the super defense pot. Now, I want to get my super defense pots mostly from, you know, eventually getting up my thieving level. But as of right now, this is a very easy way to get it. It could also give herbs, so it's it's really no harm in killing the warriors instead of normal chaos druids. And I well, I definitely will get a super defense this episode. Should probably knock on wood after saying that. Don't want to jinx myself too much there. We also have one more that I get to unlock. Thankfully, our giant landmass goes all the way up into the wilderness as well. And Lava Dragons definitely are on the plan because they drop Runite Bolts, and I definitely, definitely want to get my hands on some Runite Bolts. Um, so I just unlocked one square going towards that, just so it'll be one less unlock in later episodes. So, Also, for winning the last episode, I got that 350k crafting XP reward. So we are now level 62. It doesn't really do too much for us yet, but um, possibly could push towards a diamond amulet and get a power ammy um, if we wanted. And then, to be honest, if we get you know another big XP reward, we could start looking at glories and uh, further on from there. So yeah, there's some potential there, but as of right now, it's not really going to help me. I know Kins will be able to make some green dehyde now. He can get some green dehyde chaps or... or Vams even. Um, 
might even make this i don't know although i think you need fletching for that as well don't you um so yeah it's probably a bit more useful for kins right now because obviously he's not too far away from blues um, and then reds as well if he does want to push towards it so to be honest that reward wasn't that great for me but i'm glad we managed to get 50k more than kins did so i'm going to start this timer and we are going to fire on over to the fishing trawler and we're going to get the ivan stuff today Okay, guys, this is going to be Plague City finished. How long did that take? 13 minutes or so? Really not bad. Fairly quick quest. Edmund, thank you very much. Ardy teleport we can now do, which is pretty cool because I do have the magic level for that. So we can now teleport here. We've got that. That gave us 15 mining as well, which is awesome. Now we need to start Biohazard. And we can do that just by heading on over to Elena here. Okay, I think this is going to be Biohazard done. Just teleporting in with our new teleport, loving it. And we've got so many runes now. I've just been stockpiling them over the episodes that we can just teleport everywhere now, which is so, so nice. Um, but yeah, this should be the end of the quest. We'll uh, go ahead and then we've got Underground Pass. And to be fair, that really took no time at all to get to Underground Pass. Uh, what, 25 minutes, which is really, really good because I still have to make a lot of money uh, later on so that we can actually... Uh, upgrade the Ivan staff because otherwise it's going to be completely useless um, so yeah we're going to make 200k which is a lot of money uh, we're going to talk to King Lathis and then we're done there we go biohazard completed 1200 feeding XP very nice is that a level that we just got and I think we can go ahead and start um, the underground pass like straight away just by talking to him yep yeah, boom there we go underground pass started awesome let's get the quick quest guide going Let's not waste any time. 37 Thieving coming in as well. Oh, it, started, it already started it. Wow, there we go. Let's do this. Oh, we are. Oh, we have this giant landmass, guys. And um, hopefully the giant landmass starts paying off where we can go in many directions like we just did right here. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is um, actually teleport home. Let's start that timer. I'm going to teleport home so we can thieve some ham members so I can get a jade because I need a jade to make the necklace of passage. Like I said, this might take a little bit of time. It's only 1 in 50, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'll probably just run right there. I think I can do it without getting any food. And then we sell all of our jewelry. Actually, I'll grab that really quick. And then, um, yeah, we buy the stuff we need because I should have enough money. Let's actually take a look just so you guys know. I think I have like 36k in cash. Boom, easy. And we have all this stuff, which we will take out. Dude, the first pickpocket. I actually could break this. I'm going to risk it, though. I'm going to risk it with 61 crafting. I mean, coming back to get another isn't going to be the worst thing in the world if it does get crushed. So we're just going to kind of go with it. Um, actually, I might even go to... Um, do you want it? No, we have Lumbridge Teleport. Okay, yeah, let's sell the jewelry. Then we can tell you back to Lumbridge. And then we can get the silver bar and handle all this in Alcarid. Moment of truth, guys. Yes. Perfect, 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 perfect. All sold, 55k plus the 36k we have in the bank. Plenty for that rune chain body. And um, I also saved eight sapphire rings because I figured those will be recoils at some point. Um, so yeah, let's uh, actually mine some silver, which I'm pretty sure we can do. And I gotta get a pickaxe from the bank. Then we mine some silver. And um, I'll see you guys at the furnace when I'm making up that uh, necklace of passage. So it turns out that I needed 20 smithing. Thankfully, I was already level 17, so we should be coming up. Okay, awesome. Okay, now we can complete our goal of making the Amulet of Passage, or the Necklace of Passage, or whatever it's called. I forgot that you get given a prayer potion in this quest, and you also get the Clank's Gauntlets. Two melee strength. Two attack bonus in a stab slash crush. And look at those defense bonuses as well. Such a shame Kins isn't going uh, melee, because these gloves would be so, so good. It is all going on. Super attack now, a restore potion. The restore's not huge, but we do get given a super attack here. And I wouldn't say I'm too far away from getting super attacks. So this might be used fairly soon. That was the best run I've ever had of the Underground Pass, without a doubt. I, I failed so little. I was actually a little bit worried that I hadn't brought enough uh, food when I started. I was like, fuck, I probably should have brought a bit more food. But we just had an unreal run. Like, I've still got so much food. Just amazing. Uh, can we do this? Boom. Throw the doll in. And 
We now have an Iron Staff on the account. Let's go and finish off this quest by talking to Koftik. And I've got 2 hours 53 left. No way. That's amazing. I'm over the moon. We got a prayer pot. We got the tag pot. We got the clanks gauntlets. Oh, so, so good. Really, really happy. There we go. 3,000 agility, 3,000 attack XP. Absolutely awesome. Um, we're going to get out of here. Now, I need to make money because right now this Ivan staff only has 120 charges, which is nowhere near enough. If we upgrade it for 200k, it then gets 2,500 charges, which would be amazing. And then we can upgrade, we can refill it for free by just going through the underground pass after we use the 2,500 charges. So as soon as we pay that 200k, we're fucking good to go. So that's what we need to do now. We need to make some money. And uh, remember that um, Obor kill that dropped me diamonds? And I, at the time, I was like, oh, I don't want that. That's that's so bad. Wrong. Because we found that teleport to Alcarid uh, through Xanaris, which then puts me here through the fairy ring, which is just awesome. I can't remember where it was. It was like here or something. Um, which means that I can then go through the Shanty Pass and we can go down to the Agility Pyramid and I can make money that way. Without those diamonds and without Lost City done, I don't know how I'd be getting to the Agility Pyramid. Put this in here. Make the Jade Necklace. Come on, come on. Enchanted, yes, five teleports, nice. We want to go to the Eagle's Eerie. Probably saying that wrong, gonna get roasted or some shit, but uh, boom, there we go. Completely bypassing, needing additional squares to get through with this. But I had to do it this way so I can get the super defense in this episode. So let's run south. Let's go buy what we need to. We have 91K, we're looking at Van Braces and the Rune Chain Body. When we get the red dehyde body, whenever that is, it'll probably then become a room plate skirt with the body. Here we are, Sedu, my man, gonna hook us up with some goods over here. Okay, why does that have so many in stock? I remember Link had this problem, so hold on, guys. I'm gonna just hop a few worlds and see if I can find a world. Actually, a PvP world will definitely be fine. Let's go take a look real quick. I'd rather waste a few seconds to do this the ethical way than get a super discount there we go 47k don't mind if i do i'll be seeing you very shortly room plate legs be seeing you very shortly check us out okay now what i want to do is actually head right to the banshees because i want that rune full hum upgrade and i want the addy kite upgrade in this episode and i really don't want to take no for an answer because it's been long overdue to get those two items i've been there i've been going there every now and then it hasn't happened yet so i think i have everything i need i think it's just bone bolts if anything which that's fine that's fine so guys let's get everything we need and i will see you at the banshees all right here we are now it's a matter of just training away uh we should get a range level this episode unless we get really lucky because i don't plan on really training range just to train range i really just want the upgrades um so i mean i'd rather get it much much sooner of course so let's hope we get it the first drop <laughs> i get mystic gloves dark rarer than everything that i want brilliant 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 Dude, I have to stop getting rune meds, man. I have to stop getting rune meds. Come on. I already have a bunch of those. So the crafting is actually going to come in handy here because we do need a cut diamond, not just a normal one. So, uh, yeah, I guess that XP did sort of uh, do something for us. Let's grab some water skins and let's go and pay the tax to get in. And then we'll uh, head on over to Alcarid. Okay, that should be enough. I've got a rune scimitar and we've also got like 15, 20k just in cash anyway. Uh, which is going to take me to like, uh, yeah, around 220, hopefully, when I sell everything off. I've got a few things I could alk as well. Um, so that should be enough to get me the Iban staff and also buy some Karamba ones because I've got none now. I use them all to uh, do this and to do the underground pass. Uh, it's probably best just to home teleport, actually. Let's send a home tele. Um, so, yeah, we need to go buy the upgraded Iban staff and. We also need some Kramb ones. I've got like 130 death runes, so I don't really need to buy any more of those. I think I need to buy some fire runes. Um, but yeah, we're looking pretty good in terms of just uh, everything GP wise. Okay, I'm going to send a Ardy teleport. And I'm not going to go too crazy on the Alks. I did look at the fire orbs and a few other things, but I just don't think I need to Alk them right now, to be honest. Um, so if we Alk the rune dagger and we Alk the rune scimitar. Yeah, 226k, that is more than enough money. 
Uh, I'm going to grab the Ivan stuff out. I should have done that while I was at the bank. Let's alk the Myth Plate body as well. 229k, nice. Uh, yeah, we'll grab the Ivan stuff. We'll go and upgrade it. And then we're going to have so many charges on it that I won't have to worry anymore, which is so nice. Okay, so we talked to Dark Mage. Can you upgrade my stuff of Ivan? Here's 200k. There's the big chunk of money. Boom, there we go. We have the upgraded Ivan stuff. That is awesome. Let's go and buy... Do I want to buy Death Runes? I don't really need any. Um, you know what? I'm going to go over to the fishing trawler. Uh, I'm going to use the telly anyway because I'm going to be spending a bit of time here. Um, we're going to top up on a bit more defense. I'm sure we can get a level or two. Yeah, we, we probably one, maybe two levels. Um, just because I think defense is so huge. Just getting that passively is massive. Hey, that's one of two items right there, guys. The Adamant Kite Shield. A big, big upgrade over the Mithril that we had. Next stop is Rune, but that's going to have to be at, um, at Lava Dragons or Ice Trolls. Uh, well, there's other ways to get it, of course, but um, for right now, this is probably going to be your last stop for a while in the shield department. Next up, we need that rune full helm, which is also one out of 128. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Guys, let's get out of here. We want to actually kill some um, chaos druids now, the warriors. So where do you want to go? Fishing trawler. I can't even think straight. I mean, we were a bit overdue, but granted, in this episode, we are getting some good RNG. Now, let's get that super defense, and then we'll just take it from there, guys. I might even just train... Actually, let me get a range level first. Then I'll start training some defense. That's what I'm going to do. Ooh, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Kill... No, this was kill number 73. That was just kill number 74 there. Okay, wow, under drop rate. Okay, um, guys, how much time do we have? Two hours and ten minutes. Fuck, everything happened way too quick this episode so far. That's good. That's good. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to make some money. And... I think I'm gonna make money to buy more Chaos Runes and kill the Crazy Ark. I really, really need that red dehyde body. And again, like I said, if I get a red dehyde body, I'm gonna sell this and then buy uh, rune, a, a rune plate skirt. Sorry, my mind is spinning right now at the RNG this episode. Okay, we have all this alkable stuff. We don't need any more of the rune meds because we have that rune full helm now. I can't see myself ever using it. Um, and I'm gonna knock all the rest of the stuff you see in my inventory, outdated items or things like battle staffs that I also got from killing the banshees. So. I will get back to you guys once I'm done with all of this. Looks like we're going to be just shy of 80k. How much do we have in the bank? Where is it? I could actually alk those as well if I absolutely need more. You know what? I'll just alk two of them. I mean, I'll never, ever, ever need these since I already have two in the bank still. Wow. Okay, 139k. Let's get some, some law runes out, some air runes. Let's teleport and just buy some runes. We're, we're low on runes. Um, what's the ratio again? Um, yeah, so that's one thing that I think he, he really struggles with is like getting defense. He's really struggling to get it in the times, whereas he's just sort of relying on the XP rewards to get them. Um, whereas we can get like 35, 40k easily XP an hour with these stats and the, and the gear I have, which is just so, so nice. Meaning that I can just keep topping up on this defense, keep being ahead of him uh, on the defense and hopefully get 70 um and then you know be more viable for barrows before he is which would be just so so nice um so that's the one advantage of having a melee um to be honest magic at the moment it hits so well i'm so accurate on him anyway that i don't feel like i need to top that up but maybe if we get an xp reward or something i'll chuck it into i'll chuck it into mage to try and push into those like level 70s and Possibly even go 80 for charge and then use flames of Zamorak. That could be uh, very very viable if we go down that route But that's that's for another day that is and obviously we're gonna to be topping up on herbs as well So, you know, this just makes com complete sense to go for so I've just bought a load of supplies And I'm just gonna see how high we can get this herbal level with what I have. I've got so many herbs uh, The reason for this is if I can get 36 I don't think I will but we'll have a look if we can I can then make a combat potion which would be awesome, because that would be so, so useful. So uh, that's what we're going to try and do. 
It would save me having to bring an attack and strength potion, so it effectively gives me an extra heal, which would be great. Especially the fact that I'm thinking about going mage. I want to have the DDS with me, and if I could just bang one potion to get attack and strength, that would be so, so nice. Um, so yeah, we're going to see if it works or not. So I'm just buying some pies to just top up on the HP so we can go back and uh, kill some more Chaos Druids. The problem with the herb lore, I got it to 26 very easily. I've still got loads of herbs, but I just don't have enough secondaries. Uh, that's the problem. Secondaries letting me down a little bit, but um, yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to bank all this and then we're going to buy some fire and death runes from Aubrey. Right. Here we go, this is going to be the Sapphire Rings. And I remember what why I got confused now last episode. I thought you could only do bronze bars here, but it's that they added an anvil here so that new players could understand how smithing works and you can only make bronze stuff on there. That is what it was. I was thinking, like, there was definitely something, and that's what it was. But anyway, we've got our two recoils. I'm going to break one because we've still got one. Oh, no. Okay. I'm not going to break one. We've got three recoils now. Nice. Um, i got a minute left. I'll probably put a few Herblore potions together. See if we can get like 27, 28 uh, Herblore. And then I'll show you my setup. Over a thousand casts. And we have over 28k still on the account. Um, we just need to buy some food again from the Cooking's Guild. Which is why I have the Chef's Hat on. Uh, why I've been rocking it with my magic setup. I don't have any magic attack hats at the moment. Um... But uh, yeah, let's buy some food. Uh, I'll probably buy a few inventories worth. Let me bank the runes. And then, guys, it's straight to the crazy arc. And we have two hours of killing him this episode. All right, the first trip's about to come up. I'm not sure how many kills we are exactly. We'll see in just a second. We got all this really unique loot. Maybe some of it's alkables. Oh, my gosh. I'll, like, never need that. But... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bank now, but, you know, the kills are going pretty fast, uh, 24 kills in total throughout all the episodes so far, I think today it was 6 or 7, so they are coming in quite fast, and that was all done in the 30 minute time frame. This is kill number 32, which is the drop rate, how many aimlet, I have like 8 of these in the bank, I kid you not. Oh, I just want that red dehyde body, man, that's the drop rate, so... Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. The rune crossbows again, man. I mean, it is Alks, thankfully. I also found a pretty cool method. When the teleport comes back for um, Last Man Standing, it's quicker to die, teleport to LMS, bank, grab more food, and then run back. Because all your stuff just stays on the ground anyway. So that's kind of what I've been doing also. And you get full run when you die, which is, which is you know, quite, quite cool. But, um, yeah, so far, <laughs> no red dehyde body um we actually have five of these drops in 38 or 39 kills sorry and these drops are one in 32 just like the red dehyde body i'm a bit disgruntled right now um because if there's anything that i know from blink is that he likes to flip-flop combat styles um so i say it's possible he goes magic i know he's got that ibids plan so just having that red dehyde body for this fight, I, I would, and plus it gives range attack too. I mean, there's a million reasons to go for the red dehyde body. We don't have it yet though. We're over drop rate, over uh, by seven kills. So guys, this is going to be the setup. Going in with plus 22 magic attack bonus, 133 range defense. So still really good mix between the two, um, I think. I did look at going into full mystics. It is actually slightly higher DPS um, for me. I mean, obviously, but Kins gets a higher DPS against me um, going on the gear that I think he'll turn up with. Um, so I've decided to stick with the rune chain. Um, we've got the Clank's Gauntlets, which we got from the uh, Underground Pass because I am going to switch to that Dragon Dagger and we are going to bring in attack potions so I can hit more often. Hoping that while I'm maging him, he'll take some armor off and he'll just pretty much be bare. And then we can just come out with this and uh, hit him with fairly, fairly low defense uh, stats. And hopefully the attack potion plus the clanks gauntlets will help us just hit a little bit more and hopefully poison him. I'm sure he's bringing in anti-poison, but it does take up one of his spaces just because he has to anticipate that I'm going to be bringing the dragon dagger. Um, so I'm not expecting to have poison on him, but I am expecting him to waste one food 
to bring one. Um, yeah, thought about bringing maybe like a amulet of strength switch and maybe go climbing boots, but I, to be honest, I don't know how well this is going to do, and I don't want to put too much into melee without seeing it. I mean, if it can hit fairly well, and I don't even need to bring all those extras, then that would be amazing, and we'll see. Uh, obviously, bringing the super defense, I brought the uh, the two dose again. We we've got like six or seven. Uh, including these two, obviously. Um, so yeah, I've just got so much of this now that it's it's looking really good, and we're going to definitely need to get more because I'm still going to need to get a few more herbs to get us up to that uh, 38 herb loss. So yeah, I mean, I might as well start using these because I'm going to have a lot of them anyway. Two recoils, uh, Iben staff or Iben's blast only uses two runes, which is so so nice. Um, so yeah, we can uh, we can get away with pretty much adding the attack potion in because we were using three runes previously. Um, so very happy about that. Ivan Staff hits 25. <sighs> I think it'll be close again. I do. And I think he probably has gone and got Runite Bolts. I know I know he wasn't that far off. It was just a case of opening up Lava Dragons for him. Um, so Runite Bolts would change that Rune Crossbow into an absolute weapon. Um, but we have had a huge upgrade here. I mean, we were using... What was it? Water Wave, which hits 18s. This now hits 25s. So we've gone up by 7 max hit, which is pretty, pretty big. Same speed. Um, so we'll see. We will see. I, I, I think we'll win, but I'm still not, like, super confident. Uh, but yeah, let's go into this. See what happens. I just realized that I am completely out of runes. I started doing my next kill, and I was out. And I'm trying to tell you out. This fucking bear is here, and I'm out of run. Um, so we are gonna tell on out of here. Um, what we're gonna do is actually get our food really quick. We're also gonna buy an anti-poison from the shop in Karamja. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll just take it from there. We'll just take it from there. So I had like seven minutes on my timer for the minigame teleport because of the death method I was doing at the Crazy Archaeologist. So in that time, I actually alked all the loot that I had at Lumbridge Bank that I got from the Crazy Archaeologist, and we got 134k, all the dragon arrows, all the onyx bolt tips, I'll never get the fletching needed to make the onyx bolt tips, um, and yeah, here we are, and the rune crossbows, things like that, uh, that's the episode, guys, we have a minute and 20 to spare, nothing I can really do in that time, oh, I can't, we've got to bring a fucking anti-poison now, but anyways, Let's go to Edgeville and I'll talk to you guys there. All right, guys, this is going to be the setup. If he mages me, I'll look like this, okay? If he melees me, I'll look like this. Of course, if he's just going magic, I'll take off these two things. If he's hybriding me, then it's going to be a combination of switching like this. And yeah, I'm going to have the anti-poison because, of course, he's going to bring the DDS. Even if he's maging me, I, I think he will bring the DDS, so this thing will have its use. Um, super defense in case he goes melee, but even if he does mage me, magic defense is 30% defense level, 70% magic level. So it still will help defending against those magic attacks. And I am going to bring two prayer pots to this fight. As you guys know, last fight, the smite method didn't really work. Um, so in this case, I'd rather just have more prayer than he has. And especially if he's got, you know, strong hitting magic attacks, I can protect from magic the entire fight which reduces the max hit by quite a bit. So that's kind of where the mindset's at, and that's what we're going to roll with. So I will see you guys in the fight. Oh, man. Good luck, Team Rarg. That's all I got to say with that one. Kiddos. Another four hours, kiddos. Correct. Um, correct. Here we are in the den. I'll, I'll just so we get straight to it, um, we actually were live streaming yesterday, guys, Sunday nights. Uh, 5 p.m., 6 p.m. EST, 11-ish p.m. UK time. We duo stream every Sunday, and we play on these accounts, and we just get some passive levels like we've been doing with Agility. Um, and the reward for today's episode is actually Hunter. Um, so we just got a little bit of passive Hunter levels um, before we fought, just because we didn't do it in the right order, if that makes sense. So obviously the reward for today is Hunter XP, but we just got a little bit of XP each, just so that we... Uh, had already done a little bit of our reward. So that's why that's there. And uh, yeah, come and join us on Sundays for the duo uh, PvP streams. And you can ask us all the questions you want to know about Kins's reason he's picking up bronze arrows and 
why he's using mid square shields and all that good stuff, and you can come see us. But anyway, let me give you the Spark Notes version. Link <laughs> cheated. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm coughing again. <laughs> Hi. Wait, if you die, does that mean I win this, this season? <laughs> oh, 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 dear. Man wants a default. Like I said, I said it in my episode already. Uh, I'm scared it's Ivan's, but. The old Ibane staff, mate. Yeah. Fuck's sake, you're making me say it. Now if I'm wrong, I look like an ass. <laughs> Underpaid, do not edit any of this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. So he's been he's been scheming. He knows Wag won. Um, I mean, if we're going to talk about what we think scheming is going on, I, in my episode, I don't know if I mentioned it or whether it makes the final cut, but um, I'm very worried about a red dehyde body from you and runite bolts. Yep, he's got Ivan's. Fuck. That's what I'm worried about. I have a little plan to counter that, though, Link. So I you, would say don't correct. don't count me out just yet, All my right. man. Well, pick an item, mate. Let's see where you're going. Let's All see right. where you're going. Let's, let's just fire through this, Link, okay? Because I have a feeling I know what your gear is going to be. Mm -hmm. No, you can't bring that in the fight, Link. So don't even think. I don't want to bring an extra bag at in the Why fight? would I want to bring a triangle sandwich over a fucking Gram <laughs> one? What world are you living in? <laughs> no, you, you might drop it before it starts or right, something. You okay. know, have it on the ground. I don't know. <laughs> Necklace. I mean, obviously. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go help, mate. Did he get an upgrade? I did. I did. Uh, I did. You I little did. shit. Did. Banshees I mean, it's finally? not going to help. It's not gonna. What's that? Did, did Banshees finally drop it for you? <laughs> hey, they gave me the hookup. <laughs> <For fuck's sake. laughs> All it took was twenty bucks and a six pack when well, they finally came well, through. I'll be so. headed over to the to the to the catacombs with that bad boy then. Let's go. Let's go. Gloves got a little upgrade there. Okay. Uh, boom. Boom. Wait. Ooh. Are those? Cl yeah, clanks. Okay. Green. Clanks. 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 Dude, the clank gloves are insane. Um, let's go, Kate, mate. Kate. He's gonna have that cloak. <sighs> yeah, I so wanted Sarah. to bring my highway man, but you know, I can't do it. Can't do it. Um, let's go. Let's go, legs. Let's get mystics. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, Bodykins. Did he get the upgrade? Did he get it? Did not. Ooh, did you try? Get it. Yep. 39 kills in total at the Crazy Archaeologist. Wow. Wow. Yep. I yep. Mean, I'm yep. sure, yep. sure you got a few prayer pots, though. Uh, Actually, I'll be honest. This episode, I didn't get any. Oh, wow. But I still had, like, two extra yeah. from the previous time. I was expecting you to turn up with it. Go. Let's go shield. Do rock and broom kite. Yep. I did get upgrade though. An Addy kite. Also Ooh, from Banshees. From Banshees. So, uh, I was really hoping you were going melee. So this was like my worst case scenario, which is also why I was going for the red dehyde body. I was just trying to go all over the place in terms of no matter what he throws at me, I could help mm -hmm. defend against it. Yeah. Um, I also did bring this. Right. Right, makes sense. Um, I, I, I guess I forgot. Where did you get it from? Uh, I actually just connected my squares way down to Narda, man. I, oh, really? Wow, and just yeah. unlocked the shop. So I don't even have Shanty Pass unlocked. I actually had to create a necklace of passage wow. to tell you there and then run down to save two squares. <laughs> wow, okay. So that's what I did the first 20 minutes of the episode. I, I'm stealing opals and stuff, or jades, jades. So I unlocked. Uh, yeah all the things that I needed just to do Ibans. So literally all my unlocks were, were towards Ibans. That was that was the, the whole point of mine. Ibans isn't too many unlocks, right? It's it's because it's all <laughs> fucking underground and it's Varrock, a little bit of Varrock. Yeah, but you too, have right? to unlock three squares in Varrock just to get to that beer place, the pub, you know? So yeah, it took yeah. all that. And my land masses weren't actually connected. I had to unlock the goblin village in between Edgeville and Varrock and Tavoli to make those two connect and then i did the varrock and and i still had to unlock a square in ardy as well big uh edmund's house so did yeah. you upgrade it because i know you have agility pyramid i did upgrade it so i wow. spent a lot of time at the agility pyramid i spent a lot of time doing biohazard plague city underground pass dude i had such a good run at underground pass i didn't think i'd brought enough food and I, I had plenty by the end. It was amazing. I think it's genuinely the best underground pass I've ever done. It was so nice. I think I failed like four times, Max. It was so good. Kiddos, mate. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Oh, I gotta hope his inventory's full. I hope he's got the DDS, the runes. I hope he's got a fucking D-Long switch, too, for whatever reason. And you know I had these attack pot. Okay, wow, 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 wow. I mean, I guess I could have expected that. Okay. <laughs> That's my inventory, mate. What's... Ooh, yeah, he's got his anti-poison. Was expecting that 100%, so... Oh, he's got, got this. What I got that? it. I got the super defense. I had the same unlock you did. It was right next to it. That's why I had to save squares and not go to the agility pyramid because I wanted that. Oh yeah, I mean it, it, it's huge. It's so big. I was I I I did come a little prepared because I know the only way I'm winning this fight is if I'm protecting from magic the entire way oh through. Oh my god! I'm going all in. Later. Wow! Same amount of food. Same amount of food as well. I am going all in. On this wow, one. that is brave, mate. Brave. I don't think it's that brave. There's no way I win this fight without those prayer pots, Link. All right, let's see what happens, man. Let's God, see I'm what doing happens. this for fucking Hunter XP. It's my pride at this point. Though, yeah, that, that pride. is, isn't it? That is pride is, is worth more than any XP reward that I could have. My my dignity is shattered, Link. So let's fucking. <laughs> you poor fucker. Let's hop. Let's go. Two, three, two, five. Yeah, I'm ready whenever, mate. So you go for it. All right, man. Two second warning. Okay. Good luck, dude. Good luck, my man. You know what? I might just let him go for it. If he wants to. Come on. No. Are we not hitting? Good. Good Ivans. Good little Ivans. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Good little Ivans. She's my little baby, mate. I fucked up. How'd you fuck up? My prayer. Oh, oh, we staff bashed. Yeah, bit of a waste of, uh... but it's okay. It's okay. I haven't been great on the PKing right here. I will admit that, guys. You're actually splashing more than I thought. Yeah, it's not good. I need that prayer to run out. That's that's what I'm hoping for right now. Come on, prayer. Go away. I wonder what your max is with. I mean, I could calculate it, but off the top like of my head, I'm way, like way too focused right now. 14, 15, I'd say. I think our attack speed's the same. Okay. Thought I had you there, Kins. Thought I had you there. <sighs> Miss Glick. One. Good. Good. A one. Ooh. Do you want a bit of the smite here? A one. Come on. Let's get try and get that twenty-five off the bat. Come on. Staff batching. Poor. Poor. Oh, my prayer went out. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Why well, I still have prayer, you know what I meant when I say out. Two prayer pots. Come on, 25. We could pull a 25 in that smite. That would be amazing.
coming to this seriously cold. Like, we haven't been playing Rudy for fucking ages. Come on. Do you know what? I'm very happy with how this armor's holding up. I'm not. Come on. Yeah. <gasps> Team Blake, I'm so sorry. That was awful, awful clicks throughout that whole fight. I was so bad there. Not even gonna ask. Not even gonna ask. You don't wanna know? Don't wanna know. Okay. Alright. I love these and G's. Guys, be kind to kids. He's definitely down in the dumps. He is down in the dumps, guys, you know? He's 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 fuming with himself. So it might feel bad being a team rock, but imagine being kids right now, you know? He's he's struggling, Beezer G's. So be nice, everybody. But we're gonna generate. We are gonna generate three, 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 three. Wow. Let's see what that is. All right, guys. Let's spin that randomizer. Let's see what we get. Two twenty one. Okay. Two two one. Okay. Ooh. Oh yes. Barrows. Are you calling me? Are you calling me, Barrows? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. How am I going to get to Canifis? That's the question. Can I even get there? Hmm. This might be a struggle for now. I don't think we'll be able to do barrows yet, just because there's no actual way for me to really get here. Oh, the monastery. Nice. I mean, I don't have this one unlocked, but I know I have the Edgeville one next to it and whatnot. Um, sick. Okay, so I'll have five chunks to unlock, um, in this area. I'm definitely thinking Lava Dragons. Still will probably do the Crazy Arc, but now I could unlock the Lava Dragons, maybe get my magic up a bit, get some Runite Bolts, make some more money to then kill the Crazy Arc. That's the plan off the top of my head, but yeah. I'll, of course, think about it a little more, and, uh, we'll get back to you on the next episode. Um, maybe there is. Maybe I can work something out, but, um... Yeah, it's good to have this unlocked, but I don't think it's going to mean Barrows is doable. I mean, we don't even really have prayer pots yet, so um, probably not. But we do have a few chunks around here. We've got the uh, Alcarid here, so we could connect up. It's actually looking on it. It's not actually that great. But you know what? We'll deal with it. It's good to have this unlocked. We're going to need to unlock it at some point.